you know, the, the ability, the opportunity to work with this gemstone. Now, uh, this is one of the rarest gemstones on the planet. I've heard you talking about it this afternoon. I've been watching you for the last hour and a half. And, um, you know, you're completely and utterly right. You know, after red diamonds, after tapite, this gemstone sits there. And, you know, the, the amazing thing about this gemstone is it, it comes down to, Jenny, it's, it's chemical composition. The lightliness of the occurrence of this um, happening, you know, in present day, in multiple, place, multiple places in the world is very minimal. Mm -hmm. So just in the same chance that me and you go and buy a lottery ticket on a Wednesday night, hoping we're going to win on a Thursday, um, you've got more chance of me or you winning the lottery than this being literally found again anywhere on our planet. Really? So, yeah. Wow. So when you compare this Madagascar location, you know, this this one area of the world where this comes from, you know, they scientists have already looked into it, and you know, like, like I said, me or you are more than more than lucky, more than uh, more we're more likely, sorry, to go and win the the Powerball this weekend, and so. You know, it's it's the it's an equation that's probably about this long, and this is where I really like to get geeky. And it has so many different silicates, so many different properties that kind of that, that create this unique kind of uh, you know this unique. Good morning, jewellery makers. How are we all? Oh, are you all right? Um, now, 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 what have we got planned for you this Tuesday morning? Um, it's going to be a show with a difference. Let me just start with that, because our lovely Alison, who um, would be with me uh, this morning, unfortunately can't. Um, yeah, so unforeseen circumstances. Bless her. She's perfectly fine, by the way, so nobody, nobody worries. She's perfectly fine, but can't actually be with us in the studio this morning. However, so don't worry, don't we? We're still going to go ahead. Yeah, 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 she's fine. Hell, she's, she is perfectly fine before anyone worries. Um, but we're going to carry on regardless. We're going to still bring you all the amazing kits. And we do have photographs, I believe, of Alison's jewellery. Is that right? Yeah, so we're going to be uploading all of those as well. And I thought, right, well, because you don't want to just sit with little old me for five hours, do you? That, you know, you might get bored of me. So um, I was like, how can we mix this up? How can we make it um, all the more exciting? And I thought, and by the way, half of the office team don't even know this as of yet, so I'm completely throwing them under the bus. Um, <clears throat> but they've got to do it because I've said it on air. Um, so I said, I tell you what, I tell you what we'll do. Maybe in half hour slots, we'll have each and every single one of the JM crew that are in the studio um, or in the offices to actually pop on air and make some jewellery along with me. How does that sound? It doesn't, listen, don't expect, <coughs> excuse me, don't, ex don't expect <laughs> the skills of Alison Tarry. Listen, I'm not being disrespectful. Because, you know, lots of them don't have anywhere near your skills or, I guess, designer skills. Myself absolutely included in that, by the way. Um, there might be a lot of stretchies. Liam, rap loop, all day long. He's going to be doing the rap loop. So if you want a, if you want a demonstration on a rap loop, Liam's your man. Um, so, Liam, you'll come on air, won't you? Well, we'll get, we'll get Wayne to produce. You're coming on air. You're coming on air, Liam, to sit next to me. So that's already sorted. Lucy's already sorted out the microphones. They just don't know it as of yet. What have we got in terms of amazing gemstones to bring you today? Ooh, loads and loads and loads. We've got a beautiful deal of the day, all about your matte texture gemstone in the stunning amethyst. And you are getting three different sizes. So eight, six, and also your four millimeter. We have angelite. We have seraphonite in a gorgeous diamond cut strand. We've got a strand of garnet that I've never even seen before in these wonderful sort of hexagonal shapes. We've got Russian Amazonite. We've got one of the last remaining strands of Tiffany Opal in the entire business. And you know that is no longer being mined. So what's actually available in the market, that is it. So Tiffany Opal, one for the collectors. Russian Amazonite, have I said that? We've got Natural Ruby. Um, now I'm trying desperately to recall, forgive me if this is wrong, but I don't believe we've actually ever brought you Russian Emerald here at Jewelry Maker. I don't believe we have. Um, historically, it's been, it's been very much significant 
for many, many years. But actually, I, I don't recall it ever actually being on our screens. And that, by the way, that location is famed for having amazing brightness of color and unprecedented clarity. So that's exciting. We've actually got that in three separate strands. Burmese sapphire we also have coming your way, plus so much more. It's going to be mega. If you love your endless strands, by the way, um, then the kits at nine o'clock are going to be perfect, perfect for you. Um, it is viewers' choice within this hour, so that means that we're going to get very interactive. And can I ask as well, given the circumstances, given the fact that you know um, <coughs> it's 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 just little old me, um, should we? Can we be really interactive today? Can you send lots of text messages in to me? And um, it can be about. Oh, we can have a text topic, but it can be about uh, about gemstones. But I want it to be really, really interactive throughout the entirety of the morning. Any questions? Any questions? Do you want to know any goss Liam is saying? Okay, this could get interesting then. Do you want to know any goss about Friday? What's happening Friday? We filmed the VT yesterday. It's so bad, it's good. <laughs> it's possibly up there with one of the worst VTs we've ever filmed. But still, it's going to be an exciting day. So if you want to know about uh, JM at the fair, text in, and I'm sure we can, uh, we can answer those questions as well. Just general chit-chat. Let's just have a general chit-chat. Um, or, Liam just said, if you've got a text in topic that you want to talk about and discuss this morning, then there we go. That's, that, can, that can start us off. Um, but, yes, like I said, viewer's choice this hour, so you know that everything is on a time restraint. Um, everything is available literally at... at, at well, you can pre-order it firstly, but... The deals of this morning, um, of this hour rather, there's only a couple which are going lower, um, are set for that, for that saving for an hour. So make sure you check out your baskets uber, uber, uber quickly. It's like a menu, basically, of all your beautiful uh, opportunities. Locked and loaded. Um, Liam's saying, can I have a number five? I'll have a number 11. Uh, another four, number 14, please. And I'll have that to go. And I'll have that one to go. Yeah, there we are. There we go. Uh, but text in if you want me to bring those to air. Have a little look online, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com if there's anything you want me to bring to air. You can, you can tell me to do that. I am but your puppet. Um, okay, let's get this show underway, shall we, jewelry makers? With the most amazing early bird. I mean, I know that we've brought you Garnet. It's one of the most historical gemstones, uh, uh, favoured gemstones in the jewellery world. So, of course, it's been featured on Jewellery Maker. But have you ever seen Garnet like this? I don't know if we have, you know. They are enormous solitaires, effectively. I mean, can you imagine those dotted asymmetrically in amongst some maybe some beautiful pearls, which I can also bring you in your viewer's choice if you wanted to. I mean, that's just a, a natural marriage of gemstones, pearls and garnet together. Just look exceptional. But look at that beautiful cut. I mean, I can talk about the gemstones, of course. I can talk about the, the formation, uh, the cubic crystal structure, etc., etc. I can talk about that and how we've, uh, we've adorned it uh, dating far as back as three thousand BC but I think really what we need to discuss is this beautiful size and that really really unusual statement shape that's been brought together in this strand now you might be thinking the larger the gemstone the rarer it is obviously um, so you might be thinking that this is a considered strand we're at 14 pounds 99 already and we're not even stopping there we're going to go so much lower natural rich vibrant garnet all of that wonderful refraction looks incredible here in the studio but when you actually get this home, that's when the light performance really comes into its own because it's a gemstone that loves to show off in natural daylight. So if you actually uh, were to imagine it in a finished piece of jewellery, if you were to wear it outside in natural light, we will have a summer at some point, jewellery makers, I'm sure of that. Um, you know, that's when you're going to see the high refraction, the beautiful light performance that you get with rich, vibrant red garnet. Um, garnet has been... Uh, has been one of the world's most loved gemstones for many, many, many years, as I said previously, in a kaleidoscope of color. But in terms of popularity, red, without doubt, still leads the way. Now, how do we start an utterly epic Tuesday morning show? Liam says, it's a new cut. Well, I, yeah, newish. I've certainly not seen garnet in this cut. 
Should we, shall we start as we mean to go on? Should we put a 60 second clock onto your screen? Because this is, this is, this is, un, this is unusual. Would we all agree with that? Quite quirky, quite, uh, quite traditional also in the way that it's garnet and it's gonna complement, it's gonna complement uh, many of the gemstones I'm actually bringing you throughout the course of the morning as well. But one is a really big sizable statement solitaire. You're guaranteed 100 carats. Um, pop it in your baskets and we're gonna take it so, so, so low. Now, we can see you on the phone lines, we can see you uh, on the web and it, with it in your app. I also want lots of text messages this morning, if you don't mind, um, just so we can have a nice chat and it's just not me wittering on. Um, Liam says, ask us anything. Okay, this is fun. This is fun, within reason. Yes, of course, keep it clean. Um, our jewellery makers aren't dirty. What are we trying to talk about? No. So, yeah, any gossip? Yeah, text in. We'll have a little bit of fun with this, shall we? Not £14.99. We're going to take it to a viewer's choice deal. Um, you're thinking tennis bracelets, Penny. That's a great idea. Yeah, really beautiful. Because because of the flat surface, it's going to lay perfectly around the wrist line, isn't it? That would be unbelievable. You won't believe the early bird price tag for you. One of the largest solitaire garnet opportunities that I can bring you, and yet we go swoop straight down to under five pounds, four pounds and 74 pence. Look at that beautiful glowing red, loving the sort of a, a sort of organic hexagonal shape that you're getting here. Yes, you have those wonderful patterns and characteristics that we find in most of your beautiful natural gemstones and these are completely natural. Um, should have been 14.99 and outside of your early bird and your viewer's choice hour, that's quite possibly what it would stay at. Um, but today, like I said, little incentive um, to join us and stay with us on this morning's show. Hello, London. Hello to you, Amanda. Hi, Penny. Hello, Maeve. Hello to you, new customers. Hello to you, Anne. Hello on the phone lines. I can all see you there. Liam says, no, 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 no. Not enough people there. This is a really exciting strand. I totally agree because it's quite quirky. It's a little bit different. Uh, it's Tuesday morning, he says. There's an excuse. What? What on earth? This is a genuine natural garnet, the gemstone associated with fire, passion and romance that has been adorned in jewellery since 3500 BC and yet here's jewellery maker bringing it to you at £2.99. I mean how unbelievably beautiful would this be alongside those pearls? Adam, Adam you wear garnet every day? You've got garnet in your wedding ring. Ah, oh, that'll be the romance, Adam. Are you a romantic? Are you a hopeless romantic? I reckon you are, you know. Um, and it's yours and Jenny's birthstone. That's his wife, by the way. Ah, oh, see, he is a romantic, you know. You could find out all sorts. You could find out all sorts about the crew today because we're, so, we're literally saying, go on, text in, ask us questions. Um, uh, here's a question. Uh, how did you propose to your wife then, Adam? In a lift? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that answer, were you? In a lift? Oh, there we go then. There we go. Uh, I mean, was it planned? Uh, it was meant to be on a speedboat, but it was too choppy, so he did it in the lift instead. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Hello to you, Maureen. 20 and 2, please, Elle. Uh, what's that? Top of the morning to you all. We'll do number 20. Number two is actually a star by Maureen. So, um, yeah, just hold, hold fire on that one. We'll do 20 for you. But right now for your early bird. Okay, straight into number 20 for our Maureen. Thank you for joining me, Maureen. Lovely to have your company this morning. It was a lovely lift, apparently. <laughs> That's funny. I've got a funny, actually, proposal story. When my husband proposed to me, he took me to London. We were sat along the Thames having a really romantic meal. Anyway, he, uh, he, he, he pulls out the ring and says, yeah, will you marry me? And I start crying and all of that because I was also pregnant with Willow. And you could just see immediately next to us there was a table, a couple sat there, and the, and the man just went... <sighs> and a little bit, then just shuffled around in his pocket and went... It's like we, Tom totally stole his thunder. Oh. 
for the poor, blo the poor bloke. The poor bloke. And, yeah, it, I was like, oh, no, I felt ever so guilty. So, yeah, he was, I was like, oh, congratulations, trying to make light of it and everything. But, yeah, he was like, yeah, you stole my thunder. Anyway, back to the sea beads. £4.99. pence. Yeah, if you ask Tom about that, Liam, honestly, he tells that story way better than me. But you could see the disappointment in his face. You're getting all three tubes, by the way, for four ninety nine, and your eight O's as well, no less. Loving this beautiful, again, quite a garnet red, isn't it? Um, eight O's are, are the, are one of the larger sizes. It equates to, I believe, I'm not a seed bead expert, but it equates to how many beads you get within an inch. So the larger the number, sorry, the smaller the number, the larger. The, s the larger the number, the smaller the bead. Yes, I said that the right way around. So actually, eight O's are actually quite, uh, almost like a spacer bead-like shape. $4.99 for all three. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Plus, you've got the red colour, which you heard our guest designer, Fabulous Mark Smith, only yesterday talking about how elusive and difficult it is to get hold of your red sea beads. Hello, Emma. Text topic. What uh, things still give you, uh, what's that? That childish buzz. I still love hearing my name on TV. Mmm. Emma. Emma, Emma, Emma. Um, yeah, oh, what childish buzz. Childish buzz. Oh, I don't know. That's a tough question. What, Liam, what gives you a childish buzz? <laughs> whoopee cushions. <laughs> a, a whoopee cushion. I mean, I, f I still, f okay, I've got an answer to you, Emma. Um, I find it really funny when my four-year-old swears. Actually, don't. <laughs> I, and you try not to, you try not to laugh, of course, because it's really naughty and whatnot. But yes, yeah, especially if it's not an intentional swear word, I find that hilarious. Um, hello to you, Alison. Morning, Alan, Leo, and all the crew. Can you show number six, please? Certainly can. I'll do that for you now, my lovely. Um, oh, now uh, from these are no longer being made. The, is this Roski? Okay, so Swarovski have announced that they're no longer actually making the individual beads. Um, so that's not a decision that we made. That's a decision that Swarovski made. So um, this is probably one of the last chances you're going to get to get hold of Swarovski beads. Um, these are your bicone crystals. Look at that lovely selection of colour. Um, and in total... We've got 144 in this pack. Um, there's a real mixture of colours in here as well. Um, and in warm, very warm tones. I mean, that's what they're referencing, this uh, limited edition opportunity. It doesn't get more limited edition. Swarovski are not making bicones. They're not making your rondelles. They're not making beads full stop. It's not that we're not reordering them. They're not producing them anymore. I think they're focusing on uh, the actual jewellery that they create and sell within their own shops, which, of course, come at a premium. 19.99 for 140. 44 individual beautiful bicones in a selection of colors. I mean, I can see there um, you've got that champagne color. 15 of you have it in your baskets for the final seven. Um, so quite literally, we cannot reorder these, that we can't put about purchase them again. Um, and I can imagine if you were to try and buy them elsewhere, then the news will have spread because Swarovski is a massive brand. Then, yeah, it's, they're going to up their prices. Hello, Andrew. Can you show 25, please? Thank you. Very polite. Yes, of course I can, Andrew. Um, I'll do that for you now. Uh, the final few of those. Here we go, Andrew. Oh, lovely, Andrew. These are absolutely beautiful. Mookite drums. It's such a gorgeous shape. You've got these lovely curves, which really showcase the, the patterns and colours um, of this natural gemstone. There's only four of these left within the vault, though, so you have to be quite quick checking out. Um, not all of our prices have dropped, Liam's just saying on the web. Um, so, yeah, not all of them have actually dropped on the website, so Liam's going to take care of that message in, and then we can actually rectify it. Um, $9.99 for natural Australian mookite, one locational gemstone. You get these really beautiful fusions of colour from your ochres to your crimson reds to look at the lovely purple shades that you're getting at the front here, and then you've even got some of your latte tones, all completely natural and, and one locational. It comes from Western Australia um, along the Mooka Creek, uh, where this gemstone was actually discovered. $9.99. There are four of these available within the vault. Hello to you, Liz. My husband never actually asked me to marry him. He said, I could do this forever. Ah, oh, and that was that. And we were engaged. Ah, oh, that's, that's the most adorable proposal ever. That's amazing. 19, please, Al. No problem, June. I'll do that for you right now. I'll do that for you right now. 
Ah. Oh. Um, Liam's, uh, Liam's uh, mum and dad, uh, they were cooking dinner and, and his dad went, so do you want to get married or not? Did she just go, yeah, all right then, yeah. Yeah, all right then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't need to be a big grand statement. It's the feelings, isn't it, that's most important. Again, much like I said about your Swarovski, not com recommissioning your beads and your bicones, um, these were from Gemporia, our, our, our sister channel, and did we commission some ourselves? Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Um, yeah, but we're, I, I know the Atlas collection is a limited collection, isn't it? So um, the final few of your beautiful... Have I got the right one, Liam? No. And these are malachite. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so they've kind of been reconstituted to produce the actual, uh, sort of the, the globe itself. And then you have, um, I don't know, I'm not very good at geography. What do you call those, the lines? <laughs> not just a map, but the, 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 what do you call these bits? Longitude and latitude and all those kind of things. Yeah, you've got that on there. That's amazing. So you might know somebody that's going on travels. You might know somebody that is, um, I don't know, maybe uh, um, relocating, maybe. Um, but yeah, or, or you might be... Um, we're very aware as well with David Attenborough's about our need to actually look after Mother, um, our, our beautiful planet. So that might be the theme behind your collection. You get all three of them for £19.99. pence. Um, they were, by the way, on a pendant. One of those on a pendant <coughs> in the Atlas collection were about £60, I believe. Really lovely collection as well. Um, you've got the potential to actually make three of those for nineteen ninety nine. There are only how many? Fourteen. Fourteen left within the vault. Uh, Mary and Jerry, Janice, Amanda. Hello to you, Essex, Wiltshire, Kathleen, Heather, Angela, Caroline. Um, those of you that have any baskets, it's a limited quantity now. We're down to single figures. Hi, I'm Michaela. Uh, can I see thirty six lovely ladies and handsome gents thinking of a ring for Nana taking her out today? Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, love. Oh, and I love that you're with your Nana as well Michaela that's lovely because I know she's not around the corner for you so you have to travel quite a way what number did you say Michaela sorry uh, 36 36 36 um, there are only five by the way oh every single size is limited J to K P to Q and also the N to O oh it's a lovely ring shank this one look at the thickness um, of the actual shank the amount of precious metal that's on these lovely shoulders and then you have a, a, a classic four prong um, setting uh, that you can uh, that will house your nine by seven uh, millimeter calibrated gemstones. But at the same time, I don't see why you couldn't put a round bead in there, or certainly one of our cabochons in there. Um, yeah, there's only a limited quantity of them. Each each of the sizes um, are limited. J to K, N to O, and also your P to Q. We've got literally a couple of each. So do check out. Hello, Valerie. Hello to you, Michaela. I can see you there. There's two of the J to K. There's P, one of the P to Q, and there's two of the N to O. Um, so, yeah, very, very, very limited. Number seven, please, Al. No problem. Collector in Suffolk. I'll do that for you now. Make sure you check out on those beautiful uh, ring mounts. Might have to get one of those. Um, what did you say? Sorry. <laughs> seven. Oh, no one's with me today. Memory like a sieve. Memory like a sieve, yeah, we've been talking about how my, I have definitely delayed baby brain. Um, this is beautiful. We definitely should not have this. It's brand new, Liam has just said. Five metres of shell pearl. I mean, you could literally just wear it like that, couldn't you? How amazing that would be. There's so much, I'm actually struggling to display it for you. Now, you get, you get... All the sizes, oh my goodness, I mean, that just screams Chanel, doesn't it? You're getting a metre of four millimetres, two metres of your six millimetres, and two metres of your eight mil, uh, of your eight mil as well. Um, so this is perfect because, I mean, all the strands that we've got coming up, Liam, your Russian Amazonite, look how beautiful that is. Um, how about some of your gorgeous amethyst? All of these are going to look absolutely incredible. It's, a gr it's an amazing backdrop to all of your gemstones. Your angelite, look how lovely that is a combination. This is a gem we don't see very often. Your seraphonite. That's working out at £7.99 per metre for shell pearl. 
for shell pearl. You're guaranteed that perfectly uniform spherical shape. You're guaranteed very high luster with shell pearl. This is brand new. It should not be included in our viewer's choice, Liam says. And yet you're the man that scheduled it. Yes. Oh, Wayne did. Thanks, Wayne. You'll be seeing Wayne today, by the way. He is going to be, he's going to be uh, dragged on air is our lovely Wayne. He doesn't know it as of yet. Um, I want to buy some of these then. I'm definitely buying, that's five meters of shell pearl. And I'm thinking very Chanel inspired. I mean, Coco Chanel once said that every, every lady should have ropes and ropes of pearls. You've definitely got that in this bundle. Um, Helen would like number 46. No problem, Helen. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's lovely. Hang on a minute. Uh oh, hang on, because this one has just got a little, our studio sample's just got a little knot in it, hang on. There's only two of them. Hey, don't worry, this is the sample, so you obviously won't be getting this one. Ah, oh, no. Let's go to the record, yeah. Um, oh, my goodness me. Uh, your nine carats. Sterling silver, nine carat plated, sterling silver, 925 in a 24 inch chain. So it's gonna sit lower on the decolletage. That's beautiful. In fact, when I picked it up, did you say Helen requested this? Um, Helen, I actually thought it was nine carat gold because the plating is that high quality. Um, we're still under 10 pounds. Um, nearly sold out, well done, well done. Now, um, request for number four. Hang on. Oh, it's those pills. Yeah. Hiya, Joanne. Here's the pearls for you, my lovely gosh. I hope we've described these as near rounds. They're not potato pearls. We have described those potato. That's fantastic for you, Joanne, though, because that means you're paying a potato pearl price. But actually, do, do we all agree? Do we all agree they are very, very spherical? They might be the occasional anomaly um, because they are effectively, a, well, they're a genuine gemstone. They're an organic gemstone. We expect those little, little characteristics and quirks. That's £7.50 for beautiful... Um, like I said, I would personally describe these as, as near rounds. Yes, there's a couple of undulations, the ones at the front of your screens right now, but fantastic, um, meaning that you're actually getting, you're, I think you're actually getting a higher quality shape for a much lower price tag, purely, purely because we've included the word potato in the actual description. It's, a to, it, it's just the worst description of pearls, in my opinion, but it is something they use in the industry. Caroline, Joanne, hello to you, London, Emma, Margaret, uh, Suffolk, Jane, Catherine, Joanne, you're there have to check out though because these are limited um you are getting the two strands as well you're guaranteed the two strands have they uh, oh they've nearly sold out i've got two of them left one left hello julie 16 and 30 please no problem and Roz, you've also asked for 16. Oh, it's fabulous. I've started collecting these, you know, just really lovely uh, genuine gemstone um, ornaments, really, referred to as a, a free form. But something that you can just, I find them really tactile, you know, if ever, I do a lot when I'm prepping, actually, just sort of hold the gemstone and prepping for your shows. Um, so this is your free form flower agate. So you get these really lovely patterns within your flower agate totally natural we're not even stopping at 32 pounds um so yeah i mean if you're fascinated by gemstones if you really love uh, inspired by mother nature's treasures then it's just really nice to decorate your home with them as well 19 pounds 99 pence i love the fact you get areas of opacity and then look it's like a it's like another world another planet um where you have almost transparency liquid light transparency it's fascinating isn't it it kind of reminds me of your window opal which always for me, it's like another life form, another planet um, in a gemstone. $19.99 only uh, to get hold of this. And by the way, that is at a viewer's uh, choice saving. Now, um, coming up, by the way, just quickly, if I can, at half past nine, let me just show you this. And I'm going to scooch it over to next to me if that's all right. Every single... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I've ordered it over just to show you the consistency of quality. Sorry about that, uh, Adam and Paul. Look at the quality of this opal. OMG. They are coming up at half past the hour. Every single opal that we have in our vault is on this tea bar. And one of them might have your name on it. Um, this is going to the most ridiculous, for that quality, ridiculous 
Opal price point. I said to Liam earlier on, I was like, Liam, get them all over so we can show our viewers just how incredible the quality is. There's 38 of them in total, your ice Ethiopian Opal. That's coming up at half past Half past nine, approximately. Um, okay, number 34. <clears throat> a few of you have requested this. Oh, my goodness me. Julie. Oh, my goodness me. This is a Tahitian pearl. We absolutely should not have this. That's a 15 by 14 millimeter Tahitian pearl drop. Oh my goodness me. So it's drilled as you can see through the center. So you can literally just pop that onto wire or a head pin to create a root. I mean, to have a pearl, any pearl, of over in double figures is enormous. But if you remember, if you cast your mind back to when Charlie actually sat with me only a few days ago, it, he was talking about how the black lip oyster that produces the Titian pearls actually is quite small. It's actually quite a small mollusk. Um, so it's very, very, very rare to get large Tahitian pearls. And yet here you have a 15 by 14 millimeter opportunity at 49.99. I mean, this is the kind of uh, uh, pearl jewelry that does absolutely command um, prices of, uh, yeah, fully drilled through uh, prices in excess of four figures in many cases. I'm not saying that's the valuation of it, but that's what we expect. Um, okay, request for what, sorry? Number four and five. Um, four sold out, but I can bring you five now. Who was that for? Uh, Bren. Morning, Bren. Oh, it's one of your endless strands. I adore your Dalmatian, Jasper. Um, yeah, look at how much you're getting here. It's not a 38 centimetre strand. You've got 140 centimetres of natural Dalmatian Jasper. You can see where it gets its name from. You have, um, you have those beautiful spots. Um, I think alongside maybe some of the ruby that we've got coming up a little bit later on. What do we think? Natural ruby. This absolutely should not be £7.99, Liam. It absolutely should not be, uh, uh, well, to be honest, under a single figure price tag, because there's a lot. It's not your average strand. It's actually 140 centimetres of, of, uh, of perfect Dalmatian Jasper. Um, we're bringing you the serpentine jewellery makers um, in a few moments' time. Not often we actually get to talk about that beautiful natural gemstone. Morning, Jane. Good morning. Can you show number 33, please? Thank you. Um, texting. We're just having a general chit chat because our lovely Alison can't join us, sadly, this morning. But we're going to carry Carry on regardless. We're going to bring lots of the JM team on air. They don't know it yet, but that's what's happening. That's what's happening. No, they're not going to try. They're going to do it. They can be being bossy. <laughs> do it, do it. Yes, let's let's bring number 33. Um, <clears throat> they, they are. We can get kit team on. We can get... Um, this is for Jane. Georgia's deaf. Georgia, you're coming on air. Is she working from home? Oh, I hope not. We'll get Georgia on it. Jane, I'm amazed that this is in stock, to be truthful, because I launched your kunzai. Liam wants you to ask for gossip. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> if you want gossip, then message in. Oh, my goodness me, Jane. I am stunned that we even have this in stock because I launched it not so long ago. It flew out the door. For whatever reason, just one or two of these have fallen back in stock. Uh, Kunzai is, <clears throat> and you can tell by my vo the tone of my voice, it's a very rare, regardless of the most feminine gemstone on the planet. It's a member of the Spodumene family, and they have this really beautiful, um, I mean, look at that color, this really beautiful shade of sort of uh, uh, lavender pink. Um, it has a superpower, uh, your Kunzai, because it actually has the ability to absorb energy by day, which means the gemstone will continue to glow by night. Um, it is natural and in our, in our most exciting cut that we've launched in 2021, the satellite cut. I launched these only a couple of weeks ago and there's a handful of them left within the vault. So please don't leave this to chance. Uh, to be truthful, if there, there are any of them left, I'm going to be getting some because um, is there only three? Okay. There's only three left in the business. Well done, Jane. You've got yours. Um, there's a lot of people with it in the web, in, on, in their baskets and on the phone lines. I'll move on. And we've done number 16, but I'll flash it really quickly. I will. Quick flash. Quick flash of your agate, uh, your flower agate free form. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, 
$19.99 only. Look at that, areas of your uh, of translucency, beautiful areas of opacity. They call it flower agate. And it's totally and utterly natural. Really nice if you're kind of setting up your own little gemstone museum. This is little collectibles that you can put in around your home. They're also really tactile. Gemstones often are, but yeah, really lovely and tactile, these free forms. I often actually hold mine if I'm uh, sort of working or thinking, all those things. Thank you, Elle. I got two of those pills. Well done, Joanne. They're beautiful. You'll love those. And like I said, they're, they're, they're labelled as potato pearls, but in my opinion, they're, they're, they're much, much, they're much uh, finer quality um, in terms of its actual shape. There's only a couple of these left now, so I'll leave that with you. Um, and I'm going to move on to... Oh, I bought this strand. I've received this, actually, in my last order. There's only 12 left. Yeah, Hessenite garnet. All, all, um, did I pay... Yes, I did. Yes, it's $6.99. That's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Look at the quality of the Hessenite garnet. I bought this strand. It was delivered only a couple of days ago. And I say delivered because for some reason they posted it out to me. Don't know why. I'm like, I'm in the building almost every single day. $6.99 only for natural Hessenite garnet. It's, I mean, look at that dispersion. Look at that luster. That's natural colour. Um, if you love your amber, totally different gemstone, but it actually has that cognac feel about it as well. Um, hello to you, Alan. Can I see number 27? Keep dialing through. There's only 12 of those left within the vault. You can. You can for, for sure. Let's do seven, did you say? 27, 27, 27. Uh, yeah. That's over here. Oh, wow. Arissa kyanite in your cushions. I love a cushion cut. That's amazing, but you're also getting a really lovely pair. They're totally natural. Um, and often with kyanite, we, we expect, we do expect there to be, look at those famous words, those most sought after word in, uh, words in the kyanite world, not enhanced. Uh, we do actually expect there to be sort of feather-like inclusions. That's unbelievable. Look at that colour. One of the rarest colours in all of your gemstones is on your screens right now. That teal, a little bit indicolite-esque. Very rare to get in any gemstone. So absolutely one for the collectors and connoisseurs. You are guaranteed the pair of them as well. Um, we're 10 minutes away from your serpentine jewellery makers. So um, we've got, what, sorry? Lots of requests coming through that we've only got fours and threes. So we'll have to be really quick. Uh, request for number 44. Sure. Ooh. Ooh, comes in the box. Oh, it's one of the face rollers. The Aventurine face rollers. These are massive at the moment um, because basically it's meant to help us with different... Uh, uh, um, skin conditions and stress and all those things. Yeah, you basically roll the gemstone, the genuine gemstone, um, over air at parts of your face. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Liam's got a labradorite one. Um, they are very therapeutic because often gemstones have like cooling properties. Um, certain, and I don't know which one's which at this present moment in time, but certain gemstones will do, will, will target maybe your wrinkles, some will target maybe puffiness, some will target maybe um, tired eyes, all of those things. Um, but yeah, they're really, really relaxing as well. Uh, really great gift. An amazing, amazing gift. If you go into places like TK Maxx, they sell them, but not necessarily the actual gemstone. It's just the face roller. Uh, $14.99. Yeah, perfect gift. And I'm just going to get it out because you don't just get the Aventurine on the rollers. You actually get it on the handle too. Um, so you just rub it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that is incredible quality Aventurine as well. So straight away, I can tell you, these are really, it's really cool. It's a really cool touching gemstone. Um, so that's going to feel amazing. I don't want to rub this one over my face, but yeah, it's going to feel amazing. Um, actually against the skin. On the verge of selling out. No, next request was 43. Ooh, how on earth have we got these? There's five. There's literally five. So you have to be quite quick. Neon appetite in your satellite beads. Uh, it was meant to be 12.99. Um, but Liam, oh, did your fingers get tired, Liam? Yeah. <laughs> Fingers got tired, it's like, ah, oh, £12. Okay, it's meant to be £12.99. Na natural neon appetite in your beautiful, referred to as faceted drums, they're your satellite beads, aren't they? They're your satellite bead shape, which is probably one of the most successful uh, cuts that we've certainly launched this year. Can you believe we're, we're over halfway through the year already? Where does time go? £12, but there are five of these within the vault. So, oh, three, there's three left. Kath and, and uh, Maker on the web, you've got yours. I've got... Chris, Helen, Claire, new customer, all over allocated. I'll leave that with you. Um, request for number 41, Nephrite. 
Okay, so nephrite and jadeite, two different gemstones, both have absolutely been held in throughout Chinese culture. Uh, nephrite is um, is technically older than jadeite. It's actually older, and you get a completely different colour. It's a much richer colour um, than certainly the jadeite that we offer you here at Jewelry Maker. That's natural, by the way. Um, the luster's different. The chemical composition's different. Again, very, very sought after um, and desirable throughout many different cultures. The more sort of olive green, the more almost uh, uh, chrome tourmaline green that you get in your nephrite, the more desirable it is. Loving the cuts that you're getting here. You have almost like a liquid-like luster on the surface of nephrite. It's older than jadeite, both equally very popular um, throughout uh, uh, so Chinese cultures. Uh, definitely one of those gemstones that if, you, if, you, if you're fascinated by uh, sort of history, etc., then nephrite absolutely should be included in your collection. Loving that shape at £49.99 pence only. Um, Argyle and Butte, congratulations to you, new customers, well done. Keep dialing through again, lots of you there. Uh, let's bring you number 15. Liam's like, I'm desperate for someone to ask, to ask for some goss. Yeah, just have a little chat. Is there any goss you want to know? What are we up to? Um, oh my goodness me, this is obsidian, yeah, undeniably obsidian, look at this, you get this lovely galaxy, a phenomena effect within a natural gemstone, golden obsidian, oh my goodness, this would be perfect with, can I just put it on the back of my hand, alongside your Russian Amazonite that we've got coming up because the little flashes of gold that you see within this gemstone, again, totally natural. Um, it's a type of volcanic glass. Look how lovely it complements actually your Amazonite. <coughs> um, very poignant and significant for those of you that do your malas and your chakra jewelry because of course you have that sort of uh, jet black color, but a natural gemstone. Uh, likewise as well, like 4 99 sorry, I've just seen that. Four pounds 99 for, for gold and obsidian. Golden obsidian in particular, you pay a premium for golden obsidian because you have like almost like the Lanarkia trapped within the gemstone. Um, Anne wants to know what? <coughs> Morning all, is Jenny leaving? Yeah, that's quite well known though. Yeah, she is sadly, she's on to um, new adventures, bless her heart. Yeah, I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. We shall miss our Cleary. Um, yeah, bless her, she is, she is. She actually announced it, I think, the other day on, uh, on air. Um, our Cleary, but I'm sure we'll be able to stay in touch. Uh, moving on to, yeah, I'm sad about that, our Cleary. She's amazing as our Cleary, a ray of sunshine, beautiful on the inside and the out. How about some beautiful aquamarine, six millimeter rounds as well, loving this again with your angelite that you've got coming up would be amazing. Um, also really pretty with the seraphonite that we're actually, not seraphonite, serenite um, that we've got coming up. I mean, look at that, that's very, uh, very spring fresh, isn't it? Both completely natural gemstones as well. That's come up in a few moments time and you're six mil. So for those of you that were, Really enjoying, um, really enjoying Mark's show. He's talking about all things Kiss Cross. Six mil is perfect for that. But I'm just going to bring this up to the tea bar and, and show it alongside your Ethiopian ice opal. Look how amazing that complements your ice opal opportunity that's coming up at Harpers Nine. Amazing. Eight ninety nine only for aquamarine. Genuine aquamarine. Hello, Alison. Uh, my gossip is: what time do you get into work every morning? Um, every morning, everyone. Six o'clock. Sit, the morning crew, six o'clock. We're here at six o'clock. Can't get in any earlier because it's all locked. Uh, and we're literally sat outside the building. Um, we have been known to have our coffees in the car park before if we're all, uh, if we're all up and at her. But yeah, six o'clock we get you in the morning. So we're here at two hours before the, li uh, before the actual live show um, so we can actually get prepped and ready for an exciting, exciting morning. Um, and the mid-show get in at... Uh, the crew get in about half past nine and the presenters get in, producers and presenters get in at what time? Is it about, about, producers come in about 10 and I think the presenters get there about, about, about 11. I think it's, I don't really know. I think it's about 11 o'clock. But we're here at six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock. So we're the early birds of the jewellery maker family, aren't we? Early birds of the JM family. Up and at them. My alarm goes off about uh, about five o'clock every morning. Go down, make a cup of tea, let the dogs out. Yeah, five o'clock every morning. What time does yours go? Quarter two. Yeah, you travel a bit further than I do, don't you? <coughs> Liam's, half five, he says. Half five. Uh, and you live probably one of the furthest away. 
How quick do you just get in, run around the shower and then hop out? Basically, basically. He's in and out. Literally does, does a lap of the shower and then he's out, out the door. Ready, ready, good to go. Um, check those out. Okay, number... <clears throat> oh, lovely. I, I adore these combination strands. They're so beautiful. So you have your Amazonite and... Um, Amazonite and your lapis. Is this lapis as a combination? Yeah, beautiful combination. It is actually already knotted, so you could, if you wanted to, just attach one of your clasps to this. You could do that. Um, if you want to de-strand it, if you want to multi-buy it, it'd be the most amazing Marla. <coughs> that would be perfect. Two beautiful gemstones that work so perfectly together, sort of at either end of the, your tones of blue. Um, lapis lazuli uh, from the original location of source, and you also have your Amazonite in its natural colour. I mean, look how that glows. Um, you've got your midnight blue and sort of that wonderful warming tropical shade of, that, of natural Amazonite all coming your way in your eight millimeter rounds um, knotted but like I said you can de-strand this if you wish I only have a few of these available left within the vault though again this is quite a new collection that we launched only recently there's four of them left they flew out the vault absolutely flew out the vault um, hi Rachel hi Elle is the lovely Lucy back tomorrow morning she is back Rachel for one show only, one show. Yeah, sorry. I don't know where that came from. She is. She is. She's joining Carol on the morning show tomorrow. It is only for one show, though, because she's actually got a, um, a business that she, a very successful business that she actually uh, takes up all of our lovely Lucy's time now. But she's back for one show. Yes, tomorrow morning from, I don't know what time she's coming, eight o'clock, nine o'clock? Nine o'clock, there we go. So make sure you tune in with Carol tomorrow. Uh, 12 99 for the final few of these. Is it time? Okay, stay where you are on those phone lines. It is time for me to bring you a beautiful gemstone that we don't see very often on our screens. Um, yeah, I mean, stunning, tropical, um, fresh, natural colours in your serpentine, loving this cut as well. If you're a fan of green, then apparently you're quite a nurturing person, but this is quite an unusual green that we don't often see in gemstones up next. Serpentine. Now, as the name suggests, they actually named this gemstone because uh, the patterns that you sometimes see um, and also the colours uh, can be quite serpent-like. Um, it is totally natural uh, and it's a really beautiful, quite almost like, you know, when you've cut your grass and you actually see those little fresh shoots. Um, that, that doesn't happen very often in my house, the grass we leave till the end. But, you know, you see the little, the really fresh green at the bottom of the grass, uh, the grass shoot. That tell, that's what I see when I look at this beautiful gemstone. It's a gemstone of freshness. It's totally, naturally natural, and it literally glows. Um, now, take serpentine, facet into the star cut, and you get something as beautiful as this. It's crying out for knotting, don't you think? But at the same time, you can absolutely just rosary link. You could bubble style this. It will go perfectly alongside, I don't know, maybe the angelite that you've got coming up a little bit later on. Um, I could absolutely include in there some really gorgeous amethyst. It's all going to be complimentary. Or if you multi-bought on this opportunity, um, then it'll be the most amazing, amazing Marla style necklace. Now, I'm just going to refresh my memory. Okay, right, 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 right. Hot, right, jewelry makers. Um, <clears throat> Really? Okay, so jewelry makers, you want goss. Let me give you some gossip right now. Let me give you some gossip of what is happening right now. The graphics are live already. We don't see serpentine very often. It is a really beautiful, fresh, natural green. Natural green. It's not dyed or any or, or reconstituted or fisher filled. It's totally natural. I'm gonna give you a bit of gossip right now. Not so much gossip, more of a heads up. But this is going crazy low, and I have 174 opportunities. So if you want to make that Marla necklace, we're going to bring it to you at the most unbelievable affordable price tag. I'm just going to say, no way near what's on your screens right now. No way near. I tell you what, we'll get that 60-second clock onto your screens. Join us on the web and on the phone lines. 
the, I mean, you are on time restraint anyway in your viewer's choice. You're definitely on a time restraint in the fact that this is going to be an on-screen sellout. It's going that low. Liam, I want to get this. And do you know what I would actually put alongside it? Maybe a black gemstone, like a spinel or an onyx. You know, lime green and black would be really beautiful because it definitely has that natural lime green. I, we're taking this so, so, so low. So I really want you to actually um, sort of get the opportunity. So if you love your Marlas, which we see all the time on, our, on Jewelry Maker Shea and Makes, we see it all the time on. Um, our in-house designers create lots of them, which we love. They're huge. They're so popular at the moment. Marla necklaces. Big, sizable drill hole. Yes, that's a good point. I mean, some of your thickest uh, cords and wires will actually breeze through there, no problem. No way near what we're actually taking this to. There are 174 within the vault. Are you doing it, Liam? Are you going to do, do the latter? Are you? Okay. On-screen sellout coming your way. Why? It's serpentine, it's natural, it's the star cut, but also all of the above for £4.99. You can pretty much get three for not far off the price of what one should have been. £4.99 for serpentine. We don't see serpentine that often. Immediately... The 174 quantity is down to, okay, double figures. Yeah, immediately. I'm not surprised. Um, hello to you, Heather, saying morning all. How many on the strand, please? Let me count them for you, Heather. Um, no problem. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. I've got 48 on this strand, Heather. So that's a lot, isn't it? Uh, it's working out at, what, 10p per se, uh, serpentine um, and, and averaging about uh, three carats approximately per serpentine. I mean, it's that beautiful zesty lime green. I'm desperate to see this in, in sort of contrast to a black gemstone, maybe the obsidian that you had earlier on. Do you want me to put them alongside? And they'd be lovely with the obsidian or, ooh, 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 the shell pearl. Oh... Look, that's the shell pearl. There are two of the shell pearl bundles. Look how amazing that is as a combination. I mean, that is, that's, that's the perfect summer jewellery, isn't it? Layers of shell pearl with, with uh, sort of pops of lime green with your serpentine and gorgeous cuts. 70 of, of you actually have this still in your basket. If you want to get the shell pearl, that's quite limited now. So, again, please be quick at checking out on those. Um, don't forget, you've got 10 minutes before every single item from this hour disappears from your basket. So, um, and this is on the verge of selling out, to be truthful, because lots of you are getting fours, threes, twos. Um, I tell you what, whilst you, you continue your checkouts, whilst this sells out, because it's very close to doing that let's show off your makes it's the wall of fame starting us off this morning is melanie kears hello to you melanie Oh, wow, look at the intricacy. 275 you are, Melanie. Morning, jewellery makers and JM. I made this ring with labradorite, white topaz and garnet with silver plated wire, all from jewellery maker. She says, keep safe and keep making everyone. Regards, Melanie. Melanie, that's absolutely gorgeous. 276 is from Katie Mullins. Hello, Katie. Oh, that's beautiful. Love it. Hello, everybody. My entry to this week's Wall of Fame is a beaded dragon pen, dragonfly pendant. It's made with fire line, four millimeter faceted hematite and turquoise, gold and metallic iris 11 oh Mayuki beads. I hope you like it. Katie, we absolutely love it. That's stunning. Uh, 277 is from June Evans. Love it. Oh, what a sweet. That's beautiful. This is Tanzanite. And we actually have Tanzanite today. Hello, everybody. Please find and attach my Wall of Fame entry for this week. A Tanzanite and Mogok Ruby slider bracelet. Wowzers. Um, and matching earrings in gold on sterling silver. All items are from Jewelry Maker. I made this for my daughter's birthday as her birthday is her birthstone is Ruby. I hope you like it. Just loving the treats from JM. It just gets better and better. Good luck to fellow Waffers, and that's from June. June, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And if you love the treats, 
just you wait till Friday. Uh, 278 is, uh, is, is from Lorraine Smith. Lorraine, they're beautiful. Hi, jewelry makers. I made this set last week whilst watching Mark Smith's Memory Wire with Quartz Workshop. Um, I've used striped agate, which works so well, and a pair of matching earrings. Thanks for all the wonderful ideas you show us, uh, Mark, and all the findings are from jewelry maker. Good luck, everyone, she says. Lorraine, stunning. Uh, 279 is from Pip. Ah, oh, beautiful Pip, and I know that piece of jewellery. Hi all, please find attached my entry for uh, my first entry ever. Ah, oh, well, welcome to the Wall of Fame, Pip. Make sure you keep sending them in. Uh, this bracelet was made using the kit recently bought of Morganite and Aquamarine. All components were from JM. Hopefully, I'll be brave enough to submit some more of my creations. Please do, Pip, because that's absolutely beautiful. Loving that jewellery. Uh, 260 is from Susan O'Neill. Again, stunning, loving that. Morning all um, at JMHQ. I hope you like this necklace from a re very recent JM purchase. Amethyst faceted rounds and gold colored hematite discs. Um, I put it with a bee pendant that was from my stash. This necklace particularly made itself. I love it. Good luck to everybody and maybe even to me. I could use some. All the best to you all and thank you for your, uh, to the wonderful presenters and guest designers. They're all very inspiring and uplifting. Kindest regards, Susan. Oh, lots of love to you Susan what a lovely message and beautiful jewellery 281 is from Pat Ford oh amazing Pat hi all these are my entries to the wall of fame I had beach vibe going on using my shell white opal aquamarine neon appetite and seed beads I had great fun with these strands and will surely make at least another six to eight pieces of jewellery thanks for all your great ideas and that's from Pat Pat lovely 282 is from Abby Beautiful Abby. Good morning, jewelry makers. I was watching Mark's demo on Monday, uh, an, an alternative of memory wire, and thought you might like to see another form uh, of sun catcher made with one and a bit bracelet links. Um, it was. Uh, it was a convenient full circle to start a tree of life um, and a bit was used for the hook. All from Jewelry Maker, I hope you like it. With fingers crossed for a win and good luck to all the waffers in the drawer. Thanks Jewelry Maker for the mind expanding demos that keep us all thinking, working and sane in these confusing pandemic times. With lots of love, that's from Abby. Beautiful Abby, thank you. 283 is from Janine Cragg. Oh my goodness me, look at that, that's incredible. Uh, hi all at JM, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A seed, bezel, necklace and earrings. Good luck to everybody who has entered, although I really do need a win to feed my addiction. Lots of love to you all, that's from Janine in County Down. That's stunning, Janine. Last but by no means least uh, is 284 from Sue Got Sue, that's beautiful. Uh, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's pearl and pre-night bracelet with 925 sterling silver clasp all from jewelry maker and that's sue in derbyshire loving all of your makes and the draw by the way happens tomorrow um, and that will be with the lovely carol so make sure you tune in for that jewelry makers because that should be a lot of fun um, we've also got don't forget this amazing opal tea bar these this is this is your opals potentially um, that are coming up half past the nine Half past, the, half past the nine. <laughs> at half past the nine. Look at me trying to set. I'm trying to sound all street. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check out your baskets. The serpentine now is very, very, very limited. Um, 15. That's it. And it's brand new, isn't it, Liam? <clears throat> brand new strand. 15 of them left. It's that gorgeous lime green. It would also look lovely with smoky quartz, don't you think? Uh, that, that, that reminds me of your lime and chocolate sweets. Who loves them? I mean, you're either, it's like Marmite, isn't it? You either love them or loathe them. I love them, lime and chocolate sweets. $4.99 only. Natural, vibrant colour in your beautiful star cut. Uh, yeah, you would almost think that this has maybe been dyed or uh, um, heat treated at the very least. Not the case. Mother Nature doing incredible quality. There's the final, how many? Ten. Final 10. June just got three. Derbyshire's just got five. Shetland's just got two. London's just got two. Glamorgan's just got six. Middlesex just got three. Warwickshire's got two. You get the idea. So that 10 is not going to hang around, is it? It's not going to hang around. I've got time to squeeze in one more, so let's do it. Let's do it. Um, okay. Oh, Liam. This would go perfect with... Yes, it would go amazing with number 15, but I was also thinking it would go amazing with your, with your serpentine. There's the chocolate lime sweets that I was just talking about. Oh, delicious. I take it Paul doesn't like chocolate lime sweets by the expression on his face. They're delicious. 
Nom, 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 nom. Um, keep those messages coming in, jewelry makers. We want to be very interactive today. Um, natural golden obsidian. You can ask us all the questions. And um, because our lovely Alison can't make it in today, unfortunately. She's completely fine, by the way, but uh, she unfortunately can't make it. Something's popped up, which means she has to be at home. Um, so it's just little old me. But don't you worry. What we're going to do is we're going to be bringing on, uh, literally grabbing them from the chair, plonking our, our JM crew in the studio, make some jewellery. That's what we're going to do throughout the entirety of the morning. So it should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. Um, just so it's not just me rabbiting on uh, for the entire time. So Lucy's coming on. Paul, you're coming on. <laughs> yes. We're going to get the office team as well. We're going to get the office team. I mean, he, he is an absolute ray of sunshine. <laughs> No, he is, though he is, to be fair. He is. 229 only for your four millimeter plain round natural golden obsidians. They'd be perfect, actually, with not just your serpentine, I'm also thinking with your angelite, um, with your Russian Amazonite that we've got coming up. I really love that gorgeous combination, the sort of the richness of your golden obsidian with um uh with your with your Amazonite. Yeah, and, and we're saying, ask us the goss. Do you want to know any goss? Could ask the question. Can be anything. Can be anything. Uh, and I'll do my best to answer it if I know the goss that is. If I know it. I don't know all the goss that's going on, but we'll try and answer it between us. Um, it could be, uh, is there any office romances? Ooh, yeah. Um, there usually is in most work establishments, isn't there? Most, most work establishments. Is there... Um, I can answer that, though. There's not... <laughs> There's no romances here. Um, no, 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 we're all just really good friends. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> Ask the questions, all the gossip. Coming up, jewelry makers, we're still going to be bringing you the kits. We have got photographs of um, our lovely Alison's jewelry, but unfortunately she can't be with us. But don't worry, we're going to be bringing the crew, the team, the JM team that are here in the studios, usually behind the scenes. We're going to be bringing them on uh, throughout the course of the show to actually make along with us. Keep those messages coming through. So let's get interactive. Don't go anywhere, though, because more after this. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Roll up, roll up. Coming this Friday on Jewelry Maker, the greatest event in Jewelry Maker history. Discounts and gains. Oh, all the biggest, most thrilling fairground rides, giveaways, and prizes. Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a joy maker show this Friday the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you.
Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Busy, very busy, which is nice to have an events company that's busy coming out the other side of a pandemic. Just, th mm. just thinking about, well, mm. you might, what I was that? Might, <laughs> no, you might be, you might not be. Just well. thinking, next Wednesday, what are you up to? Next Wednesday. Let me look at the calendar. Oracle. Oh, I'm very grown up these days. I have to have a calendar Go to on, keep what track. Are you doing? What am I doing? Meet and go and have I coffee? Reckon, no, I reckon. Or what? Can you come in to work, to jewellery maker? What, for a cup of tea? To do the show with me. <laughs> Should we eat some cake? Oh my God, we'll have to eat cake. I can't eat any more cake, but yeah, we'll eat cake. We'll Should eat we do cake. it? Next Wednesday? Well, will I be allowed? Yes! Yes! Should we do it? On Wednesday? Wednesday. You're on? Let's do it. Ah! We're on. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Your first JM crew member is in the hot seat. I'll let her get mic'd up and everything as well. Um, but before we get, we are still bringing the kits. And, and listen, I'm just going to put this out there, no disrespect by the way, that don't expect Alice and Tari jewellery because we are nowhere near, we're not away, we're nowhere near as good as Alison. Is it all, would we all agree with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you're still going to be getting some lovely, lovely, happy faces on your screen. Now, just before um, we go across to our guest, our special guest, I'm going to talk to you about all things Angelite because this is a gemstone that is super, super popular amongst our jewel maker viewers. Um, it's a sentimental gemstone as well. I mean, I think that that's ultimately what jewelry is about, isn't it? I mean, it conjures up wonderful memories, whether you're wearing it, whether you're gifting it, um, the recipients, how they feel emotionally when they receive jewelry or how you feel most importantly when you're actually creating it as well. Angelite is actually a relatively new gemstone to the, uh, to the uh, gemstone world. It was discovered in Peru um, in 1987, and as the name suggests, it's got lots of connotations to the heavens above. Uh, many people actually believe that it helps us communicate with people that are no longer actually with us, uh, <clears throat> so lost loved ones in particular, uh, and it just it just really conjures up wonderful emotions, and I think that's why it's always incredibly popular here at Jewelry Maker, and actually uh, sort of in the in the broader JM uh, broad, broader jewelry market for sure. This strand, I can tell you, again, let me just jog my Oh, goodness me. It is going to sell out. We've got 111 of these. Um, <clears throat> Angelite, again, I don't think I, I'd, I think we'd struggle to actually put together a showcase of Angelite because we don't have a huge amount of it. It's totally and utterly natural. And it's a gemstone that I know um, our founder's wife, Sarah Bennett, is particularly fond of. Um, you, I've seen it in some of her collections. I've certainly seen it in the Gemporia Partnership Jewelry Maker collection also. Um, because it has this really beautiful opaque blue. 
and uh, and also an ability to glow it kind of captures onto light and it fluoresces under uv light but it will actually glow from the inside out it's like each and every single angel like gemstone has their own little aura about them now because i know that this is going to be an on-screen sellout i'm going to show you the strand and then we're going to get that 60 second clock rocking um it, it for sure going to be a sellout it always is it always always is it's such a beautiful beautiful gemstone and, I, and emotionally i always get quite emotional when i'm actually talking about uh, angel light as a gemstone because like i said it's got lots of sentiments around it even without the name itself it kind of lots of people actually reference uh so that heavenly like blue uh, and it is completely and utterly natural now these are coming your way in your 10 millimeter rounds you've got 300 carats beautiful consistency of angel light blue throughout the entirety of the actual strand again you're knotting um you can use it across pretty much every single medium because it's a classic round isn't it look at that lovely opacity can you also see the flecks of light can you see how they that there's a they call it an internal play of light within each of the gemstones in 25 seconds we're going to introduce the graphics um and that 111 quantity and liam has i've just heard in my ear liam said l this is i think this is the only strand of angel like rounds that i could actually get hold of um we have it in different shapes but if you're looking for rounds it's the only ones that he could actually include um in the schedule five seconds and it's gonna it's gonna erupt on the phone lines and on the web i know that for sure because there's certain gemstones that always actually produce that kind of reaction and angel light is one of them totally natural with little flecks of beautiful snow white White, um, sort of patterns inside and that's what we refer to with their internal play of life it's got a softness a tranquility a, a sentiment behind this natural genuine gemstone and yet believe it or not it's so new to the gemstone world 1987 in comparison to you know for example sapphires being adorned and, and, and included in jewelry since the 1800s angelite is actually within sort of our our generation already i can see com uh, confirmations being made now this is going so so so, so low if you wanted to make an entire angel like marlin necklace um, if you wanted to um, if you wanted to sort of multi-buy this opportunity then we are pricing it accordingly um, it's natural yeah absolutely it's a completely and utterly natural gemstone um, the fact that you know whether you believe in crystal healing or not um, I, I think most of us will agree that jewelry let's just, just talk jewelry generally um, <clears throat> has got a lot of sentiment behind it you know uh, certainly when I look at sapphire for example I think about my mum when I look at um, when I look at gemstones like uh, aquamarine, I think about my sister. I mean, there's lots of gemstones that actually sort of conjure up um, emotions and feelings, and this is definitely one of those. Graphics Alive, tons and tons and tons of you there. Are you ready? There's just over 100 of these available. And Liam says, I'm going to make this extra affordable. For natural angelite. Natural angelite in 10 millimeter rounds. We're not even stopping there. We're not even going to stop there. Are you ready? This is your star buy. And this is why Liam says it's absolutely going to be an on-screen sellout. Congratulations to those of you that have already, already made your confirmations. $12.99. A simple stretchy is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Think about all the gems that it's going to cut. It's going to complement as well. It work. It work heavenly alongside um, uh, your serpentine that you saw um, a few moments ago. It'll go amazing alongside your pearls. I mean, I showed it against the, that lovely bundle of your shell pearl earlier on. If you want a multi buy, here's your opportunity. It's included in lots of very designer collections. Not necessarily a mainstream gemstone, and that's purely because of the rarity of it um, it's very difficult to get hold of angelite there's only a couple of places that actually are, are sort of unearth this gemstone on the planet very 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 limited especially of this amazing quality 12.99 loads of you need to check out your baskets that is your star by price tag these are huge huge individual natural stones i find angelite very calming i agree sue it, it, it has this just certain gemstones i think jade does the same certain gemstones have this and kunzite it, it just it changes if you like how your uh, um if i'm talking to you on air for example you'll see immediately a change in how i actually uh, talk do you find do, do you agree with that um yes it has this sort of ability to sort of calm the senses it's very peaceful gemstone we've talked about tranquility as i said and sentiment 12.99 only hello marion hi sandra hello to you one jillian susan anita keep those messages coming through by the way um, so Jackie has asked for a 15 mil round mount. 
for the turquoise. Um, we don't have them in stock at the moment, but watch this space. There we go, Jackie. I can't tell you exactly when they are, but watch this space. They are definitely coming in. I think it's the perfect time to introduce our special guest, don't you? And she is a special guest. You know, what you don't know about this wonderful lady, she's normally behind the scenes, is that she keeps us running smoothly. Without this lovely lady, I would be... It would be chaos, yeah, complete and utter chaos. It's our lovely Lucy, everybody. Good morning. Good Lucy. morning. Yay. Yay. How you are, are we the all? first victim. I think, I think I was a bit too keen to volunteer, though. No. I practically ran on set and was like, oh, I've just found the microphone. It's ready. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> it's lovely to have you on it. It's nice to be here. Because, Lucy, you were saying you made jewellery. I have made one piece of jewellery. Okay, okay. In do you want to show time. us your piece of yes. jewellery? Yes. So, if I remember... Oh, she knows where the cameras are and everything. Oh, about the cameras. She knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a stretchy that I made out of a bundle that Tom Neary put together. Uh-huh. Which, when I told him the other day, I was like, what are you talking about? Um, so, I made one for me, one for my mum, one for both my sisters. My older sister doesn't have hers yet, so, Han, if you're watching, then... Sorry, that's a bit of a spoiler. Uh, <laughs> it's on its way to London to you. But yeah, so we've all got the same and I did all different like configurations, so they're all a bit different. Love and, it! Yeah. Absolutely. Do you know what? Straight away though, Lucy, you're talking about the sentiment of jewellery, aren't yeah. you? The scent and I really I'm a firm believer of that, especially when we're talking about Angel Light on our screens right now. It's sentimental jewellery. Oh, definitely, yeah. I wear quite a lot of like simple jewellery, but most of the pieces that I wear have got some kind of meaning, whether they're being for a birthday yeah. or you've bought them in a, like in a specific place. So I think, like you say, especially stones like Angel, like they are really sentimental. Yeah. Um, but lovely, no. Really yes. lovely. Now, you're going to make some jewellery, aren't you? I'm going to try. You're gonna, she's going she's gonna to give, give it a go, jewellery makers. I keep saying, no disrespect to, respect to our Lucy, <laughs> um, don't expect Alison Tarry makes. Okay, don't expect, but you're going to be working with some of the kits. Yes. So, should we show the kits? Um, and you can choose. You can choose which one you want to work with. So, I like the look of the amethyst and the citrine there, because that citrine is really just... Delicious. Yeah. Delicious, delicious. Yeah, yeah let's do really that now then. That's, um, I can see why you went for this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. You've got, you've got the gold of your citrine that always works perfectly with your, um, with your amethyst. Now, we do have Alison's makes that we can actually show you on photographs. She can't sadly be with us this morning. She's perfectly fine, so no, no, nobody worry, but unfortunately, she can't be here in the studio. Something's popped up. Um, anyway, but we're still going to do her kits, and we're going to literally grab JMT members to join me on the show. Um, so I don't bore you. Georgia, you're coming on here, lovely. Okay, you're coming on here. So what you're getting with your uh, your, your kits, you firstly, your rose gold coloured copper wire in your 0.6. Then, this is exciting, you've got your copper flat wire. Now, I'm no metalsmith, Bye. but I know that you can do things like all uh, your, your um, oh, what do you call it? What do you call it? All your soldering and all those kind of things um, with, with, with copper. And this is actually the, uh, your, your copper wire flat. So you can almost create bezels with these as well. Um, in terms of thicknesses and length, it's two millimetres and you get 50 centimetres on a 0.8. So flat wire, perfect for sort of wrapping and maybe like a halo around your gemstones. Um, the combination of beautiful gemstones that you're getting in this kit, so this is Lucy's choice, um, is your beautiful amethyst. Amethyst you're getting in your eight mil rounds, so really rich, gorgeous colour isn't it are you a fan of amethyst yes it's my little sister's birthstone so I've always liked an amethyst um, again there's those but, emotions yeah and again I think purple such like a like a decadent royal regal colour isn't it and you just yes. put it with most other clothes and it just really adds a little something extra doesn't adds it adds a little something do you know what else will add a little something loose oh that citrine strand omg Look at how beautiful they combine. I must admit, when I was prepping for today's show, this caught my attention as well. Mm. Amethyst and citrine. You know, they're, they're almost sibling gemstones, actually, aren't they? Because we all know that you can actually transform um, but through heat treatment one into the other. Uh, really beautiful, natural opportunities that you're getting here, adoring that citrine. Now, do you want to see what Alan's actually... Alan? Alison, Alan? <laughs> Not Alan. Who's Alan? <laughs> Who's Alan? <laughs> Alison. Let's show, let's show what... Uh, oh, oh, Alison. 
absolutely gorgeous. Look at those earrings creating that gorgeous um, sort of how do we, how am I going to how am I going to describe that? She'd come, if she was here, she'd be like, oh, this is my inspiration. This is what I did. Um, that beautiful swirl interwoven design using the flat wire. I think that is um, so caging those gemstones. I mean, loving those, loving the spe the pendant as well, and the entire kit, jewelry makers. You're also getting an additional an additional make through our with our lovely loose. Nineteen pounds ninety nine for the three strands alone. That's epic. Absolutely epic. Plus you're getting the copper wire, rose gold copper wire, plus also the bare copper flat wire. So that's working out at £6.66 per, per component. Uh, Lucy on air, you're a natural, oh, she is. Thanks, Gabrielle. Presenter next. Oh, I mean, the possibilities are endless, aren't it's, they? I, I, think, yeah. I think you should. Although I have to say, if we had to do a job swap, I can't guarantee it would be as organised as, as a new key. No, Can would. you imagine? It would be utter chaos. Because <laughs> uh, Lucy is super organised, like she is the most, yeah, like, got this, got this, got this, got this, got this. <laughs> Me, ah! It wouldn't be like that. But I think you could definitely, you could definitely present. I think you are a natural, I agree. $19.99 for these gorgeous kits. Keep on dialing through. Um, now, whilst I show the other three kits, I'm going to pass this over to our lovely oh. Lucy so you can have a little play. You can have a bit of fun. Thank you. Have a bit of fun with some kits. Um, okay. Which one would you like me to do next, then? Ah, oh, this one. This beautiful, uh, the purple and green. Oh, my goodness. That, and you've got, oh, my goodness. Is that spinel? Black spinel. Look how cleverly drilled these are. So almost creating like a floating spinel. Um, isn't that beautiful? So with the pearls that we had earlier on, look how they almost float because the drill holes, rather than going through the center, it's actually just at the top of the gemstones. Um, you also have your jasper in uh, your orchid sesame um, and also your olive green. Loving that combination of color. Wimbledon started, doesn't it? Isn't Wimbledon still underway? Um, this can't, I must admit, I haven't really watched much of it this year. Um, you've also got your rose gold colour copper wire in your 0.6, and then you've also got your lovely flat wire at uh, 2 millimetre thickness, 50 centimetres, and again in your 0.8. So really, really beautiful colour combinations. And loving the addition of the black spinel alongside your sesame jasper, um, just to add that extra opulence. This is called Antique Orchid. And again, feature, uh, featuring three beautiful strands, loving the colours. Um, this is what Alison has created. Oh, look at that. That flat wire is genius, isn't it? I mean, look at that, a very, a very geometric shape. So she's really incorporated the flat wire um, to, to actually make the actual sole pendant. Um, and I guess that's using something like the jig or, um, yeah, you could use the jig for that, couldn't you? Or maybe just using your actual pliers. The spinel on its own, by the way, in this kit is £24.99, that strand on its own. Or it should be, but you know also, not only do you get the inspiration on Jewelry Maker, you get the savings with kits too. So not $24.99, $17.99, goodness me, plus the two jasper strands in your orchid and green, plus then your lovely wire, um, so you've got your flat wire and you've also got your 0.6, um, gosh, that's what, so one, two, three, four, five, five components, and that's working out, what, three pounds... 60 three pound 60 per component you could almost cage your gemstones with your flat wire couldn't you again immediately lots of confirmations uh, thank you so much for um showing your support as well during today's show um, it is going to be a bit different for those of you that have just tuned in like i said alison can't be with us but we're still showing her jewelry um and we're going to drag on jm crew and team members onto the screen to do some little make make alongs um keep those messages coming through as well so because i don't want to just be wittering on for the next five hours i want to be talking to you so you can text us 78070 um yeah um do you want any goss do you are uh, is there anything you need to know about anything you've always wanted to find out about yeah now is your chance now is your chance use it use it if we can answer it we will we will um okay let's do the uh, let's do the blues liam those beautiful blues 
any goss that you want to know because sometimes you know I, I see a lot on facebook it's like oh you know lots lots of lots of people thinking oh this might be happening that might be happening this might be happening just ask the question now's the time if i can if i can answer it i will um okay in this kit you've got your beautiful sesame jasper in two different shades of blue so those of you that love your turquoise i'm not saying it is turquoise but quite similar um you also have <laughs> you also have um, your absolutely beautiful, look at this, multicolored jasper, very Indicolite-esque colors, and also your black Picasso. So four strands that you're getting in this kit, plus then your 0.6 rose gold colored copper wire, plus then the flat wire that we're featuring, which is a 50 centimeter length. Um, so huge gemstone quantity, four strands in total for your marbled marvel. Say that fast, marbled marvel, marbled marvel, marbled marvel. <clears throat> That's a bit of a, a tongue twister, isn't it? Bit of a tongue twister. Um, in your beautiful shades of blues. You've put the wrong graphics on. Oh, okay. All right, we'll come back to that one. Sorry. Liam. Ah, okay, we're doing this one. Marbled Marvel. It's all about your monochromes. Ah, I see, okay. Still four strands in your monochromes. Look at that. Um, so you have Picasso Jasper, and you can see it almost looks like uh, sort of etchings or um, artwork across the surface of the gemstone. Um, all about the monochromes, as I said. Uh, then you have your 0.6, and then you also have your flat wire again in the same thickness, width, and length as well. So your 0.8 millimeters, um, that's the thickness of the flat wire. 0.2 is obviously that way, and then 50 centimeters in the length itself. If you love your monochrome gemstones, then this is going to be absolutely perfect for you. Again, crying out for all of your knotting, amazing alongside with your wire work. Maybe you could create a feature connector or pendant. Um, okay, because we put the wrong graphics onto your screens, Liam says I'm going to do this. Eleven ninety nine for four strands. Again for the copper. Copper is a rare and precious metal, and yet that's. I don't know. I don't know the price of copper at the moment per uh, per gram. But for that, that seems amazing for the wire. Eleven ninety nine for all of these. Apologies that our lovely Alison can't be with us. She messaged me very early this morning. She's completely fine. Um, but yes, yeah, something's popped up, which means she can't be here in the studios. But we have got the photographs of her wonderful creations. Um, and like I said, we are plucking JM uh, uh, team members and dropping them in it and putting them on our screens. Hello, gorgeous ladies and fab crew. Loving the fun of having the crew on our screens. Will Liam be on at all? Yep. Yes, Liam, yes. You, he tried to get out of it, Mandy, and I was like, no, 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 no. You're coming on. And he was like, well, who's going to produce? Wayne. Wayne can produce. <laughs> He's not here yet, but yes, he will be coming on air. He hasn't got any choice. <laughs> he has got no choice. He can't make you come on loose and then him not come on air, Liam. <laughs> he will. We, Liam, you're not shy in coming on screen, are you? No, no. He's, 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 he's used to it. He's a pro. Eleven ninety nine is a bit of an apology price tag, by the way. Um, like I said, slightly unconventional show. Joanna, Elaine, hello to you, Claire, Mary and Jerry, Sue, Alison, Midlothian, Ella, Cornwall, new customers keep dialing through. Let's bring you the last kit. Lots of you are asking about the opals. They are coming up at 9.30 approximately. Um, so we'll do that. Well, after the kits, did you say? Okay. After Lucy's little demo. Our oh, poor Lucy. Have you actually got to do a demo? Yeah. I'm actually feeling quite confident about it as well. I had a bit of a shaky start, but I th I'm in my groove now. She's in your groove? Um, Check you out, Lucy. Oh, no, look at me. Check you out straight into the macrame. <laughs> Amazing. There is no ends to their talent, you know. Uh, it was me that said demos. I didn't. I, did I? Oh. Did I say? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realise I dropped you in it, Luce. 
<laughs> okay, Lucy's quite confident on the demo though. She's 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 happy about this. Island Paradise, all about your beautiful, lovely blues. Um, these are all, all four strands of gorgeous jasper. You've got your Amazonite jasper, frosted quartzite. I beg your pardon, um, and ivory teal jasper as well. Um, pretty colours, aren't they? Really, really pretty colours. Amazonite, by the way, is in reference to the actual colour that you're seeing here. It's not the actual gemstone. Um, beautiful. The frosted strand is your quartzite. That's the one that's bringing those sort of indica light like shades four strands of your eight millimeter rounds plus also you get your rose gold colored at 0.6 wire which will breeze through all of your gemstones and also you have the flat wire as well um in that's a different thickness i think yes no it's not 0 0.8 um 0.8 and 50 centimeters and two millimeters in its actual thickness 19.99 only to get hold of these everybody it should have been by the way 24.99 but because we haven't got Alison here we thought we'd do something a little bit naughty hello sharon morning lovely ladies is the copper flat wire uh coat uh sorry flat wire or coated this one here this is pure copper yeah, that is, no, that's not coated. So you can actually do all your, um, check me out, annealing. Oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you can do all your soldering. <laughs> I know. I listen to our wonderful designers. Uh, this one is actually a rose gold colored copper wire. So you can't do it with that. But this is pure copper. Yes, absolutely. What was that? Sorry. Um, Alison made an amazing bangle. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, she's clever, isn't she, Lou? She blows my mind, honestly. She's so clever, our Alison. Love that lady as well. She's such a poppet, isn't she? Such a nice lady. Um, okay, right then. Luce. Yes. Did you wake up this morning and think you'd be demoing on air? I did not wake up this morning and think I would be demoing on air. <laughs> well done but for stepping know, up to the uh, challenge. So, yes, here we are. Your first, the second piece of jewellery that our Lucy's ever, ever made, made. And she's doing it on live TV. Take it away, honey. So, you know, I thought, well, I could give the viewers what they want, which is another stretchy. And then I thought, <laughs> no, push yourself. Do something that scares you. So, Jenny has been talking loads about wish breaks that's recently and I think they're a really good way of you know when you ask someone to be a bridesmaid now you yeah. can do a little parcel we've obviously not seen friends and family recently so just a really nice little quick gift just to give someone super she says straightforward so I did cheat a bit and give myself a bit of a head start with my macrame so I've just done I think they're full square knots which is it's why the they're straight yeah. But they could be halves. I think when you do a half, it twists. Text in. Help Look, us yeah. out, jewellery makers. If, if you can, no, no I can Smith. answer a little bit. If you keep going in the same direction, then that's when it twists. Yeah. Yeah. So I taught myself to macrame so I could make one of those um, plant hanger things. Did you make one of those? Yeah, I made one for a friend for Christmas. Trish. I don't want to brag, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here she is, on air, giving it all up. Anyway, so I've just done a few little bits there. And then I'm just going to thread on. Oh, I've got the shakes now. Uh, listen, I'm putting you under pressure. Don't worry. Oh, isn't she doing well, everybody? I bet I looked just like my dad then. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, if you're watching. So I am going to improvise myself a little pattern. And I've gone for the citrine. I just think the cut of them gives them such a nice oh, kind of like glow almost yeah they do i agree with you it's uh, it's uh, take citrine which is always oh, it's one of the most popular of all your uh, of your um quartz families of course um it's also the gemstone of crafters loose we know that don't we well that's you and me isn't and it? that's probably maybe it's that gemstone that's given you all this creativity that probably. we're seeing on here because so, it's a uh, the crafter stone just to hold that first stone in place i'm just going to put another little knot in so let me just get this in the board there we go. Mark Smith is thinking, what is she doing? So, <laughs> this strand down here is my working cord. It is. Is that what we're going to call it? Yeah. I'm going to take the left cord and pop it over the top of the working cord. Right hand cord goes over the top of that. And then under both of those. Yeah. Through. Pull tight. Et voila. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Thank goodness You've just that worked. <laughs> so are you going for the twist? Uh, yeah, why Let's not? Let's twist it. We Let's twist now. it. Yeah, do it. So when I made the jade stretches, I actually did my dad a little macrame jade keyring because I didn't want him to be See, left you've out. made jewellery. 
You've definitely well, made your four egg. pieces. Four, four pieces. pieces and counting. Okay. Right. I'm going to thread on now. So Liam provided this morning, he appeared with these lovely little, little, and lunch your teas, uh, spacer beads. They're coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Lovely. If Which you again, want to make our lovely Lucy's jewellery. Little added bit of glow to your bracelet. Love it. Love Absolutely love one. it. The kits are very popular, by the way. You're loving Lucy's demos. Do text in as well. Come and say hello. Yeah, say hi. Show our support to our lovely Lucy. I think I'm out of a job. You're a natural, says Debbie, guest designer natural. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, <laughs> Isn't now, she let's doing behave. amazing? Uh, loving the show. And your jewellery is beautiful, Lucy. You're a natural, says Yvonne. Thanks, guys. My knots have gone awry, but you know, <laughs> that's fine. With, it's live telly, it happens to the best of them, you and know. And I think those. the best thing about macrame is that you can, you can unknot it quite easily and yeah. kind of start again. You can pick your pattern, do some half knots and the twist. You don't feel the twist anymore. Do, you know, it's just nice to chop and change. So that's good. So do a square knot in that one. Oh, you've not. Love it. Okay, I've developed a new technique <laughs> live on air for you today, which has provided the floating this beads. little floating bead. So yeah, love it. Absolutely when you see it. all the guest designers do that <laughs> next week, that's that's because of me. <laughs> Saw it here first. I like it. I like the Thanks. fact you've got movement. You're yeah. incorporating movement, Luce. You know. She's clever, isn't I'm she? I'm a rule breaker, me. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. She's doing so well, isn't she? I know what she? Liam's like, though. So, again, just in case we need to go over. So, left hand over the top, right hand over here, under both, and pull Shimmy, tight. shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Love it! It will. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this, loose. Thanks. i tell you what. Well... Yeah, yeah, yeah what, 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 setting the standard, What's setting Adam that bar. What's Adam going to do? That's what I want to know. Yeah, goodness <laughs> me. Adam, what are you going to make? Uh, a mess. A mess. <laughs> okay, well, that's all good. We like that too. Um, happy accidents, I think we call it in the JM world. Yeah. Amazing. Look at how beautiful. Lucy, that's lovely. Thanks. I think as well, though, you know, it is quite a, it looks quite complicated, but once you get into the flow, they do come together quite quickly um, and if you could get thicker cords it'd be great you know obviously the school holidays are coming up good thinking get the family involved love that absolutely love that and could i do this with the angel light loose oh yeah i could that'd I? look really nice what could, size are the angel light uh they're 10 mil rounds mm. they could or you could do a macrame necklace yes you could have one if you like if you said wish bracelet that would be nice just in the center and do you know what else this would work with the amazing crystal opal that we've got coming up. It's coming up next. Yeah. That amazing tea bar of play of colour. I mean, when Liam delivered, had them delivered over this morning, I looked at them and thought, he's going to make me take all of these out of all of the packets. Yeah. And I was a bit sad about it to begin with, but then when I put them all out on the tea bar, I thought, Liam, that was worth it because they look absolutely stunning. Don't they? Look yeah. at that. Uh, we brought them over because, they I mean, they are that amazing amazing the quality so these are coming up um, after Lucy's fabulous demonstration and Opal is my other sister's birthstone so it's a real price girl affair today isn't it it is it is we, it's like we knew you how you were gonna that uh, destiny that was mm -hmm. see fate so, made this happen what Mark Smith the guru of macrame would normally now do is just take something just to seal off the ends there so if you've got a thread zapper I think they yeah. work just to seal it sometimes Mark uses um just a lighter. I have neither of those things with me. <laughs> Just my trusty fist scars, which are the sponsored scissors of the uh, floor manager team. We're a big fan of those. We're not actually sponsored by them. Uh, yeah, we yeah, do I know them. what you mean. You yeah. use your fist scar scissors all the time. So, again, as a novice, I'm just going to put a little knot here to hold everything <laughs> in place. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, Mark or Naj is amazing at Macrame as well. I'm sure they have a much better way. And then take it off. Ta da! You've just got easy little witch brace, wish bracelet, tie them around your wrist, wait for it to fall off. 
Making and wishes. that's when your wish comes true. Exactly. I love it, Luce. Not a floating bead. Look how clever you are. There is no end to her talents, is there? No end to her talents. Keep those messages coming through as well. Who is going to be our next JM victim? I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to be bringing them on, plucking them from their seats. You don't need to do that work. Let's make sure that, you, uh, that you, you're coming on air. That's it. No choice in the matter. Right then, back to... <sighs> Back to unbelievable opportunities. When we heard about this beautiful strand, Liam and I discussed the quality and we both said, we both said, oh, she's going. Let me say bye-bye, oh. Luz. But you don't, no, you can go, you can go. You've got a job to do. So if you want to go, you can. Away. It's up to you. Are you staying or are you going? I'll stay for a bit. Stay for a bit, stay for a bit, stay for a bit. Okay, <laughs> so when we were, t we were discussing this star buy, and I sort of said, right, Liam, these are, these are some of the finest opals that certainly have grey star screens. Let's showcase the quality, the consistency of the quality that every single one of our viewers um, is going to be achieving. Let's order every single strand over, and then we can say, hello, this is going to you, this is going to you, this is going to you. Um, and we put them on the T-bar, or rather our lovely Lucy did, pop them on the T-bar to show you that consistent quality. This is Ethiopian opal. It is that most sought after variety that is regarded as ice opal, meaning that you get beautiful clarity within your opal, which allows us to appreciate play of color internally. And it has to be a star buy. Opal has always been considered as one of the most desirable of all your gemstones. And um, it's easy to see when you look at this beautiful T-bar Y. Now, this is the entire quantity that we have of this opportunity um, on the T-bar. And one of them could have your name on it. With its incredible play of colour, uh, Opal is without doubt one of the most exciting gemstones. And that play of colour comes occurs completely naturally. Many people still to this day actually believe that the play of colour is almost coated onto the surface of the gemstone. That's not the case, it's Mother Nature. And it's actually one of the oldest gemstones. Opal forms over millions of years. Water that has become trapped between cracks and crevices within the actual host rock and tiny little silica spheres, which when they're almost shoulder to shoulder, if you imagine like a brick wall, um, those microscopic silica spheres, that's when you see play of colour. Now, excitingly, with this location, um, because uh, Ethiopian opal was discovered in the 1990s, but more recently, uh, and I'm sort of 2014 sort of time, they found an area, as the main seam might sort of run out, they found an area just to the west of that location that actually uh, was unearthing what we call hydrophane. Hydrophane, uh, as the name suggests, is referencing the water-like beauty that you see within an opal. Um, it means that it allows us to see play of colour, not just on the surface of the opal, but right the way into the heart of the gemstone as well. But let's go back to those silica spheres. So imagine they're all perfectly uniformed, which they absolutely are, otherwise you wouldn't see this display. But one of the qualities that Ethiopian opal has above many others is uh, they have uh, a dominance of red. Now, why is that really important? Uh, red is one of the rarest colours to get in your opal, um, whether it be from Australia or, or any other location, red is one of the rarest and that's because that silica sphere needs to be much larger to produce that wonderful colour. Notice by what we're looking at on your screens, the flashes of reds um, and, and also your violet colours, those are, you know, in terms of rarity right up there at the very top of the, uh, of the list. Notice how prominent those colours are. Also, I want to emphasize, the more play of color, anything over 80% is regarded as an exceptional quality opal. But add to the fact that you're not just seeing play of color on the surface, you're seeing it even in the heart of the gemstone, makes this super exciting. There is not one single strand that doesn't bring you optimum play of color. And that's, that's the entire quantity that we have available for you, jury makers, the entire quantity. Now, what I want to do jury, is basically say, this is going to, in fact, I can already. Marilyn, one is on its way to you. You've just caught, uh, purchased yourself some absolutely exceptional um, ice opal. Ice opal is referring to that beautiful, can you see, it's almost like a, a sort of a frosty, clear color, ice-like color. This is on its way to you. Incredible, incredible 
incredible quality and play of color. Uh, hang on, Route One T, this is on its way to you. Jill, this is on its way to you. Mary, this is on its way to you. Marilyn, this is on its way to you. Um, so many of you have it in your baskets. Look at the quality of this Ethiopian opal, but it's even more than that Ethiopian opal. It's ice Ethiopian opal. It's from that very small location just to the west of what was the main seam that's producing uh, this beautiful natural body color, um, but with transparency, which allows us to see, as I said earlier on, the colors all the way through. We're actually massively over allocated. So who have I missed out? Virginia. One is on its way to you. Claire, one is on its way to you. London, you've got two. So two on their way to you. I've got to try and keep up with you all now. Sharon, one is on its way to you. I forget, I'll try and catch everyone's name. £59.99 pence is not your starve ideal. Glamorgan, three on their way to you. Did I say Susan in Staffordshire? One on its way to you. Wendy in Cambridgeshire, one on its way to you. Jilly in Cambridgeshire also, one on its way to you. Oh my goodness, Cheryl, you've got yours on its way to you. Uh, Amanda in Essex, one on its way to you. I only have 54 of these available. That is not where we're actually stopping here, jewelry makers. We had 54, but this is fine, fine quality. You can see that beautiful dispersion. It's an absolutely bonkers deal. Carola, one is on its way to you. London, three going to London. Congratulations. Ju Julie in Derbyshire, three are going to you. Anne in West Midlands, two are going to you. Um, there's only 17 left, if I counted that right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. No, nope, I've counted that wrong. Um, <laughs> Karen in Yorkshire, uh, Alison in Bristol, 2 to you. Amanda in Essex, 3 to you. Uh, we've gone down to that star by price. I mean, that's incredible. Look at how beautiful this wonderful opportunity is. $39.99. Look at the play of colour. And you know the opal does not... Does not, does not love our studio lighting, and yet you're still seeing those beautiful flashes, amazing flashes of play of color. Reds, purples, greens, blues. This, uh, I mean, look at that, if I actually shelter it. Look at the play of color that you're getting here in your ice opal opportunity. Ice opal is like a quad A to a tanzanite, basically, um, because you have that beautiful transparency. There's four of these left. Uh, so Manjit, two to you. Uh, Mo Molly in Belfast, one's on its way to you. Dorothy in Bedfordshire, one's on its way to you. Karen in Yorkshire, one's on its way to you. Uh, Jane in Northamptonshire, one's on its way to you. I'm sure I've missed people. I'm so sorry if I have. Um, I've got two left. I've definitely missed people. Edith, <laughs> Edith, Edith. Um, one's on its way to you, my lovely. Uh, who have I missed? Mary, have I said you? Samantha, I didn't say Samantha. One is on its way to you. Samuel, one on its way to you. Alison in Kent, one on its way to you. I'm down to the last one. So, okay. If you've made your confirmations, you have been successful. I mean, these are truly 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 beautiful um now if you haven't checked out there's one left if you haven't yet checked out there is poss a possibility of you being successful you can add it to your wish list has it gone jane from gloucestershire well done um, add it to your wish list if any do actually sort of fall out of uh, um, out of baskets for whatever reason um, then that's your second opportunity that's absolutely unbelievable incredible congratulations everybody I can't wait for you to see that now we have one more opal opportunity on the back of that sellout if you did miss out on that don't be too disheartened this next opportunity is and we have this We've been advised this quite firmly. We are never to repeat this next opportunity. Now, you know what? Okay, it's not ice opal. You haven't got the white, that white transparency. It is, however, honey opal. So you get that really beautiful sort of golden colour. The play of colour is absolutely unbelievable. Okay, I'm going to shelter it. Natural body colour, natural beautiful body colour, there's those silica spheres, don't forget studio lighting does not do opal any favours, look at that quality, play of colour, that honey tone that occurs completely and utterly natural, 
Look at that massive. I have Ethiopian opal uh, stud earrings in nine karat gold. They were very generously gifted to me. Um, they were actually gen generously gifted to me from one of our viewers. It's this color, and I love them. Uh, absolutely love them. No, they probably don't have the play of color that you're looking at right now, but I still wear them all the time. And again, it's that really beautiful honey warm shades that you're getting. This is a one time, never to be repeated opportunity. Again, look at the flashes of reds you're getting through. Now, I'll show you the should be price. You'll notice there's also a really beautiful graduation. If you missed out on the previous opportunity, you're still getting optimum play of color. Um, it's not as visible here in the studio, and that is because the uh, basically the studio lighting, and also you have that um, body color also. Now, we were um, told that we could match the previous. Now, um, £39.99, there's eight carats more. There's a seven millimeter solitaire in the center. I really like the honey shades. Those, it's almost champagne-esque. Now there are 107 of these available. It's a one-time opportunity. If you missed out on the ice opal, yes, it's different. There's lots of different varieties of opal. Think about how different Lightning Ridge looks to your Cuba PD. Think about how different uh, um, dendritic opal looks to your color, natural Peruvian opal. Um, likewise with Ethiopian opal, you can have it with opacity or you can have it with a natural color, which basically is, is what this is. But that doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice play of color. Now, we have authority, uh, we've been a, a permission, basically, to do a one-time deal for you there's a big quantity opportunity um, and the discussion that we had with our uh, with our management was okay that's fine but you have to that has to be sort of a high a high quantity uh, sort of uh, sell rate it will be in fact it could well be a sellout given the fact how low we're actually taking it to Liam's just said seven millimeter solitaire opal that on its own for what we're actually um, um, <clears throat> hinting at is really 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 and truly exciting I'm going to roll these towards you again be prepared to have the flashes of green the beautiful flashes of red there we are um, incredible warm colors natural natural golden and honey tones with the graduation it's a one-time deal jewelry makers here's your time to make your confirmations because these will not hang around at 19.99 imagine them especially if you separated them maybe actually put them in between some of your lovely pearls or maybe spinel i think would be quite beautiful um alternating them on a lovely neckline piece of jewelry would be just simply stunning wouldn't it i mean look at that it glows. They glow from the decolletage. They were not, uh, they were 100. Well done for making the most of this one-time deal. 19.99. Those beautiful honey golden shades. But what? No, Liam. That's what we were told. That was the discussion. <laughs> Liam, Liam, don't put me in a spot. The discussion that we had with our management was that you've got a one-time deal at 19.99. He truly is the bad boy of jewellery maker, isn't he, Luce? He never listens. He's such a rascal. Rascal is the good <laughs> word. You are a rascal. Get it home. 14.99. It could absolutely have been at 39.99. Um, it will not be. Definitely one of these. Leah, what, what have I just seen? <laughs> Why are you wearing a Santa coat? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's amazing. 90 of these remain. Carola, Carolyn, Ellen, Samantha, hello to you, Berkshire, London, Michelle, you've done it. Um, hello to you, Essex, Christine, Kent, Trisha, hi, Ruth Bonte, hello to you, Virginia, hello to you, Marie, Sue, you've got yours. Amanda's multi bought on this. It's a one time deal, one that we can't repeat physically, and that was meant to be at 19.99. Listen, it's his fault. Uh, it, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> He wants to film another VT, he says, because he's lost weight since then. Can we also <laughs> have you dressed up a little bit like Rude Boy? You know, like a little bit, a little bit. He's got a bad boy, a JM jumper, apparently. Oh, OK, <laughs> well, you need to wear that then. No, I've not seen it. Bring it in. Let's film that VT. Uh, 34 of these remain, actually, jewellery makers. Again, look at that beautiful play of colour. Over 70 of you have this in, the, in your baskets. Um, it's a one-time, never-to-be-repeated opportunity, but in reality, it is going to be a sellout. Um, Luce, I love the natural colours of opal. I mean, yes, it's beautiful to have the, the, sort of the, the, the hydrophane or the, the ice opal with that wonderful mm. transparency, but I really like the sort of warm natural colours that, that you get within this gemstone. Yeah, and I think it's a bit 
different, isn't yeah. it, as well? It's yeah. quite unique. Um, and I think it is the kind of stone that you would wear and people would come and say, oh, that's... What, what is that that you're wearing? And you'd tell them it was an opal, and I don't think they'd necessarily No, because we, kind of, we just kind of associate it to, like, With... more Australian opal, really, yeah. than even Ethiopian opal. I'm going to leave the last five there. Well done. That's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, we do have a Tanzanite opportunity coming your way in rounds. I mean, look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's coming up in one auction's time. Genuine Tanzanite. Very rare that we get. I mean, look at that beautiful uniformity of your cornflower blues. Loving that. I want to buy that strand. Um, that's coming your way in one auction's time. But first, but first, this was launched last week, Luce. I don't think I saw that last week. Oh, you were on holiday, weren't you? Oh. It was when you were on holiday. We do allow them. Yeah, we do have holidays from time yeah, to time. Yeah, we have time. <laughs> um, okay, I think it was last week. And by the way, Mookite, Howlite and that's rhodolite garnet in the centre there. That's not a seed bead. That's a rhodolite garnet. The howlite, by the way, is in the matte polish, which I just love. I mean, look how beautiful the howlite is. Look at those lovely patterns and markings that you've got. Um, it's one of the first strands of its kind, really. We launched it only last week. We've got the final few of these available, Jewelry Makers. Again, I'd just restrand that. It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. The combination of three gemstones in one. Three gemstones. Mookite, howlite. And your rhodolite garnet for eight pounds and ninety nine pence. These absolutely flew out the door, by the way, jewelry makers. They were they, they were so popular, and I can absolutely see why. Um, you've not only got the combination of gemstones, you've got the combination of textures because your mukite is polished, and then your howlite is that lovely matte. I, I don't want to say matte because it it isn't. It's not it's not like a um, a dull matte. It's not sandblasted. It's just it's not a high shine that we normally actually see. It's really lovely to create that texture. Eight. 99 only everybody do stay where you are um on those phone lines liam uh yeah yeah that's on the verge of selling out to the final few of those incredible they only launched last week and i think there's something that wayne's already on the uh, uh, sort of reordering right now um okay let's now do oh it's at this present moment in time that I would go, Luz, can you bring in the pearls? <laughs> but she's here. She's here right yeah. now. Um, our lovely floor manager, Lucy. Black tourmaline. Can you imagine this with the layers of pearls that you had earlier on? Can you imagine this with your Amazonite that you've got coming up? That's natural black tourmaline. Oh, I can't wait. <gasps> with your angelite. <laughs> with your... Serpentine with your, and I can't believe I've not mentioned this yet, deal of the day, which is beautiful amethyst. So we've got three strands for your deal of the day. Look how perfect that is as a combination as well. Wait until you see the saving on that. Natural black tourmaline. Oh, look at the luster. Liam says, I don't understand this even. No, not for tourmaline. Tour like I said, tourmaline is an expensive gemstone. So yes, okay, black is, is, is the most, uh, out of all your tourmalines, it's the most uh, um, frequent colour. But let's not forget it is still tourmaline. And it has this beautiful luster, um, light return across the surface, not a single facet. And yet you get this really beautiful, rich, decadent, glossy black. Looks amazing, amazing in combination to your gemstones. Most of us think, okay, monochrome, I'm thinking spinel and uh, spinel possibly or on possibly don't overlook black tourmaline because it's a really beautiful uh, glossy gemstone and very 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 expensive ordinarily 115 carats that you're getting this gorgeous strand it's been added to my order again i think it would be really lovely as a combination to your amazonite your angelite your amethyst that we've got coming up as well um monochrome gemstones always do and that's why they're so popular okay it is time jewelry makers for me to bring you um a really exciting opportunity now I i'm going to assume rightly or wrongly i know i shouldn't really do that because pe lots of people will be watching maybe for the first time um, or maybe are new to the sort of gemstone world but I'm going to assume on this occasion that Tanzanite you all know about it it's the gemstone that was discovered in the late 1960s 
and in that very sh launched by Tiffany's and Co but in that very short window of time um, it has gained popular global popularity possibly um, above or even surpassing uh, other colored gemstones particularly in the blue variety it's a member of the zoocyte family and it is colored um, by <clears throat> why have I gone blank vanadium thank you um, colored by, by vanadium the more vanadium the more isn't that the lovely blue is but what if I can just make a comparison with us here at Jewelry Maker we bring you tanzanite and, and because you're getting it effectively a parcel sometimes they're not perfectly color matched it's quite difficult to do that and yet we bring you tanzanite right now in the most uniformed color saturation in a single strand that I have ever seen. Ever. Luce, you've seen a lot of tanzanite in your time, haven't you? Yeah. Would you agree with what I've just said? They are perfectly complementary of one another, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't actually um, think it was tanzanite when I pulled it out to put on the tea bar this morning because it was so uniform yeah. i thought no it can't they normally can't have a slight be. variation yeah. don't they um but no it's absolutely beautiful i want this strand i'm desperate for this strand it's a four mil round do you want it as well liam yeah, yeah it's, per it's beautiful five to sorry five to six millimeters i beg your pardon they're even bigger than what i said look at that quality of color look at that uniformity of color now if you do things like um what's that with the eyes opal yes paul if you bought the ice opal, they would go beautifully alongside that because it's going to bring out the blues, isn't it? L look at how amazing. Oh, yes, Paul, that is, that's absolutely stunning because you've actually got the, the, the consistency of size then too. Look at that as quality. Um, now, I'm just going to just, just re-jog my memory. There's 40 of these available. Liam, are you doing it at that price? Okay. If you alternate your tanzanites between South Sea pearls, all of those high-end pearls, then this is perfect because, again, uniformity of colour. I could reference the fact that this is tanzanite in rounds. We don't often see tanzanite in rounds. But I have to focus on the fact that they are so perfectly colour matched, shoulder to shoulder. So if there were any sort of, uh, sort of uh, uh, discrepancies, if you like, between the actual shades, it would be obvious. This is completely from end to end in this full 38 centimeter strand corn flower blue now we have 40 of these within the vault imagine those five to six millimeter rounds just popped in between pearls and a restranded high end legacy piece of jewelry that you would create from this we could be at 99.99 but we're not gonna <laughs> we've got the clock on your screen Clock on your screen, ticking away. We're going to take this lower. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. Congratulations again to those of you that have already had the faith and confidence to say, okay, I know, I, I, you know, I know that's an amazing price point. And I can bring you to hands tonight maybe some which is sort of more your uh, very, very, very delicate, uh, delicate zoocyte blues. But we've got that entire complementary saturation from on a full 38 centimeter strand. You can get the ice opal and this tanzanite strand for less than what's on your screen. Yeah. I know, even Lucy's flabbergasted by that one. For less than what's on your screen. And Lucy, there's so much jewellery potential. So much jewellery potential that you can actually create from those two strands. Yeah, we do... Um We've had those slider bracelets with tanzanite on the end as yes. well, haven't we? And just like three or five of those just nice. in the middle of that would just look absolutely stunning. And again, I think tanzanite's quite an unusual stone, isn't it? It's not one that many people still kind of really know about or... Yeah. And it's, it's my favourite tanzanite. Is it? Is it your yeah. favourite gemstone? Yeah, so fun fact about me in the middle of a cell. Sorry, Liam, I'm taking over. <laughs> um, I actually climbed Kilimanjaro when I was 21. Did you? Yes. So Tanzanite holds a very special place Again, in my heart. Again, sentiment for that reason. right there. I'm trying to check you out. You know, check you out. I reckon I probably. I don't think I'll even get past the foot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Before thirty nine ninety nine, 
Look at the consistency of that absolutely beautiful blue. I did not know that about our amazing Lucy. I agree, Liz, by the way. It is a four strand, isn't it? It's absolutely exceptional quality. You can get the ice opal and also this tanzanite. Just the most delicious matching blues. Corn flower shade. Listen, we can we could bring you this strand if you like in your quad A, but by the way, it'd probably be more like thousands of pounds as opposed to 40 pounds. I really love the corn flower blue colours. Um, it's a gemstone which many of us we know already. It's targeted as the gemstone of new beginnings and um, firstborn uh, uh, to the children that you actually uh, that you actually have but I mean look at that lovely quality alongside a couple of the ice opals I've just heard have fallen back in stock too there's two ice opals so if you're one of those people that missed out you can still get hold of it now um, here is your opportunity that I mean that's just meant to happen isn't it this is made to be together. The perfect combination of your lovely strands. We've got two of your ice opal. Um, if you were told that you were unsuccessful um, or you have it in your baskets, there are two left now. Um, and I do want them all. I do want them all to be a sellout because they're too exceptional to be in a vault. Liam, he said, running out of time. We're cutting to a break. Oh, unbelievable. I probably, I think, oh no, I'll ask you. How many tanzanite strands have you seen on our screens? Hundreds? Thousands, maybe? Do they all have this uniformity of colour? Because I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Or well, certainly one of the... Not, that's, not, that's the first thing that struck me about this opportunity. It's literally, they are so perfectly colour matched. And you've heard from Jake, um, our gem investor, when he joins us on a, on a Thursday morning, say colour matching adds massive percentages to the price point. Ordinarily, $34.99, Wiltshire, Sheila, Claire, Amanda, Richard, Maria, Virginia, Jane, Stephanie, Carol, Kath, Sharon, new customers. Uh, yeah, it absolutely should not be that price tag. The final few of those, um, I'm going to leave that with you. Uh, how many do we have left of those, Liam? Nine. Nine left within the vault, so again, do check them out, and congratulations to you all. Still so much more to bring you, including your amazing deal of the day. We're going to be, de uh, we're going to be stepping into the, the realms of decadence with beautiful amethyst, but it'd be very remiss of me to, to, to cut into a break without saying thank you to our fantastic floor manager, Lucy! Thank you for having me! You're amazing! I've had so much fun! Uh, we, we, should we do it again sometime? Yeah, but maybe I'll have some warning next time. Okay, cause... fair enough. The, we won't just the face yeah. and the t-shirt. Okay, we're not give prepared. you an hour. There's a masterclass. Okay, okay? Yeah. No I'll, get the, I'll get the soldering iron out. <laughs> yeah, amazing. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, don't go anywhere because we'll be bringing more crew members onto our screens as well. Um, but yes, your deal of the day is up after this. Don't want to miss a jewellery maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat, and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Hi! Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> How are you? Busy. Very busy, which is nice to have an events company that's busy coming out the other side of a pandemic. Just, th mm. just thinking about, well, mm. you might, what I don't, was that? Might, no, you might be, you might not be. Just well, thinking, next Wednesday, what are you up to? Next Wednesday. Let me look at the calendar. The Oracle. Oh, I'm very grown up these days. I have to have a calendar Go to on, keep what track. Are what are you doing? What am I doing? Meet and go and have a coffee? Reckon, no, I reckon. A what? Can you come in to work, to jewellery maker? What, for a cup of tea? <laughs> to do the show with me. <laughs> Should we eat some cake? Oh my God, we'll have to eat cake. I can't eat any more cake, but yeah, we'll eat cake. We'll Should eat we cake. do it? Next Wednesday? Well, will I be allowed? Yes! Yes! Should we do it? On Wednesday? Wednesday. You're on? Let's do it. You're on. <laughs>
jewelry makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Roll up, roll up. Coming this Friday on Jewelry Maker, the greatest event in Jewelry Maker history. Discounts and gains, oh, all the biggest. Most thrilling fairground rides, giveaways, and prizes! Ah! Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a joy maker show this Friday, the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> <laughs> Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. So lovely to be with you this Tuesday morning and what an hour we have planned for you. To be truthful, it's an entire hour of Deal of the Days. An entire hour because we are going to be, as I said a few moments ago, delving into the depths of opulence, of beautiful decadence that high quality amethyst conjures up the image of. This is a gemstone that has been globally popular for centuries. Um, in fact, historically, this was a gemstone that was adorned by the likes of royalty and hierarchy, and it was a symbol of their status and their power. And certainly when you imagine sort of colors, if we were making that statement, then amethyst purple definitely uh, portrays that, I think. But bring it down to the actual more current, more uh, current market, it is still arguably one of the most popular gemstones. In fact, if you ask any of our guest designers, certainly those that actually uh, retail their jewellery or maybe have done sort of your artisanal markets and things like that, Mark used to say half of his display, um, half of his creations would have been made out of amethyst because that was the number one most popular seller um, in terms of gemstones. Imagine, in fact, just look at the, the, the screen behind me, that really beautiful deep purple. That's the colour that we aspire to when we're talking purple amethyst. Now, you know it comes in different shades. You can have praise light green, you can have pink amethyst, you can have rose de France. But in purple, it's almost like that crushed velvet, deep decadence that we're looking for in terms of its quality. The, we've, with this hour, we've actually got a huge selection of your cuts and shapes. And I'm just imagining, and I was for a second because I know our amazing beaders, our in-house designers, I don't know if they're in, they actually create some fantastic, um, some absolutely fantastic sort of knotted star necklaces, marla necklaces, uh, beaded necklaces, popping it in between all of your other gemstones. This really does portray that sort of uh, uh, that opulence, that, that, that beauty uh, that we aspire within jewellery making. 
Amethyst, as I said, it, it, it's a gemstone that has been around for thousands upon thousands of years. Um, very poignant also with your crystal healers. So for those of you that, I, I believe it's one of the chakra colors, I'm not too clued up on crystal healing. Um, but yes, it's, it's a gemstone that um, is apparently able to uh, um, empower us, um, change anger into tranquility, which I think is a great, uh, a great uh, thing to actually wear. Now, Amethyst is very expensive ordinarily. I think if you walked along sort of your mainstream market, if you were to go sort of in your high streets or to your expensive jewelers, you'll find amethyst pieces within their collections most certainly. Um, and it's not unusual to find amethyst pieces for hundreds upon hundreds of pounds, if not even four figures. I've certainly shown you slides and photographs in the past of amethyst for tens of thousands of pounds. And that still is the case. Amethyst is a gemstone which is sold at retailers and, and, and all Auction houses still on a, a, right now in this current market um, for fortunes, really considered price points, and yet here we are at Jewelry Maker bringing you big quantities at lower, more affordable uh, opportunities. Now. Let me just, I want you to understand that this doesn't mean that the quality of the amethyst that you're purchasing from us is maybe a lesser grade. It's categorically not the case. In fact, I've seen amethyst here at Jewelry Maker massively, massively uh, um, subside the quality of some, uh, some, some jewelers on the high street. This entire collection, and I do want to emphasize, this is a deal of the day hour, um, is all about the finest quality. And Liam actually went to the vault and chose out his favorite strands of amethyst. And, and Liam, you've been selling amethyst for, 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 for many years now, haven't you? So you know exactly what you're looking for. He's also put together a collection of the most varied cuts. We've got cubes, we've got drops, we've got rounds, we've got uh, the satin ones as well. Um, we've got star cuts, we've got nuggets, we've got pretty much every single shape of amethyst that you could wish for. So not only are we gonna get the opportunity to uh, to achieve opulence, but textures as well within those deeper colors. Now this deal of the day is an absolute giveaway. Um, and I have in total 250. Emphasis on giveaway. If this is practically giving rare, beautiful, globally prized gemstones at the lowest poss possible price point that we can even imagine. You're not even just getting one strand in our introduction deal of the day opportunity. You're actually going to be getting three, which then, I talk about opportunities, gives us possibilities of creating those really lovely long line Marla style necklaces, creating layered looks, uh, creating maximum amounts maybe if you're thinking on a business point of view, perfect for that because you can make a huge amount of creations out of this one deal of the day. In arguably one of the most popular finishes of your gemstone. Now, we've been bringing you your rounds for since we began, really, here at Jewelry Maker. Um, yeah, we celebrated our 11th birthday just, and we've always incorporated rounds into your shows. But quite recent, actually, is the introduction of your, of your mat. Technically, I, I don't look at them as mat. I look at them more like a satin finish. Um, so if you think about your, sort of your satin and silk finishes with, with paints and things like that, it's more of a satin finish within the actual gemstone. You're getting all three at an absolute giveaway saving. There are three, uh, sorry, 250 of these opportunities available. You are guaranteed the four, six, and the eight millimeter. Look at the decadence of color, that richness um, of purple, which is what we ultimately aspire to with your amethyst. A gemstone which has been, I don't know, traced back approximately four th to 4,000 BC. The name is believed to actually uh, originate from the Greek word um, amethustos, it's, and its meaning is to intoxicate. And I I absolutely think this gemstone is an intoxicating gem. Its colors, its richness, its decadence. You think decadence, you look at this color and I, I certainly uh, um, immediately think about the chocolate brand, you know the one I'm talking about. That's decadence, that's luxury, that's a treat, it's an indulgence, and definitely what all of those things Amethyst includes. All together you're getting 350 carats. Now if we were to bring you your deal of the day, right here, right now, at £29.99, pence, that's £10 per strand, that's your four, your eight, and also your six millimetre. There's so much potential across three 38 centimetre strands, but that is not your deal of the day.
I know that some of you be thinking, got Amethyst L, thank you. I've got lots in my stash already. How about we made you an offer for Zambian Amethyst, the location, by the way, that is synonymous to Gemfields, which is the brand, by the way, that also includes Fabergé into their uh, portfolio. I am going to bring you an opportunity that you can't afford to miss out on. It's, an, it's as, as close to a giveaway of gemstones in their natural form as we can possibly, possibly get. Now, whilst there were 250 already, already approximately 50 of these have been snapped up. Well done. In that beautiful satin finish that creates just a whole other realm of texture into your jewellery designs. A classic bundle for your deal of the day of four, six and eight millimetre rounds. This is your deal of the day. This is that giveaway that I was referencing. An opportunity so good that I don't think you can afford to miss out on. $14.99. Unbelievable. That's £5 per strand for Zambian amethyst, natural Zambian amethyst, stretchy bracelets, macrame, marlas, uh, um, channel setting. You can use these as little spacer beads if you wanted to. Knotting. You can alternate them, of course, with your other gemstones as well. I'm, I'm, in particular, I'm thinking about the Amazonite that we've got coming up. Look how lovely they complement one another. Beautiful. Totally and utterly natural. I showed you only a few days ago pieces of jewellery that were uh, sort of commissioned. There was Victorian pieces of jewellery that were tens of thousands of pounds. The reason why I'm actually mentioning those designs is not to make a comparison to the actual look of the piece of jewellery. It's to make a comparison to the quality of the colour that you're actually getting from other us and also for them of course and there's a massive difference in the price tag that you'll be investing in those we had 250 of them here are those pieces I can quickly show you I mean look at that beautiful again not making comparisons of the cut of the gemstone or the overall design 7,600 look at the actual quality of the color again 1,950 for that really beautiful a decolletage piece, quality of colour, that rich, opulent, deep purple that we aspire to. That's the quality of colour that you're getting from us here at Jewelry Maker as well. This one, auction site, £1,500 to get hold of. Stunning amethyst, really lovely, in sterling silver. That This same very, very gemstone. Look at the quality of the colour that you're seeing there and look at the quality that you're getting with your deal of the day, but at a fraction of the cost. Nikki, Shirley, Julia, Lynn, West Sussex, Samantha, Liz, Bernadette, hello to you, Karina, hello to you, Caroline, Ella, West Yorkshire, uh, Margaret, Karen, Staffordshire, Zara, Lanarkshire, Merseyside. You've got to check out your baskets. We had 250, but it is super, super busy on those phone lines. I would love to see this in one of your knotted Marla star necklaces. Um, one of the things that Sue made me recently, our in-house designers, is Sue, did you say Sue's in, in the building? Yeah, she might pop on in a, in a bit. Um, she made me a really beautiful Marla star necklace and it graduated from the large to the small, so actually towards the actual tassel with a four millimeter round. I absolutely love it. I'm almost flipping it around. Hiya, Liz. Um, love the costumes in the trailer for Friday and the acting was Oscar worthy. I mean, Liz, it's so bad. It's good, isn't it? It's so, so, so bad. Um, keep those messages coming through because it's just little old me here in the studio. It's your opportunity to fire those questions that, you, uh, that you've been wanting to be answered. Um, yeah, because we're going to have a very interactive show. Our Alison can't be with us, unfortunately. So let's have a nice little chat amongst friends. Um, Liam was saying, do you want to know any goss? So far, our jewellery maker customers do not gossip, Liam, because they haven't asked us any gossip. No gossip at all. I'm going to leave that with you because we're actually down to the final 50 of those. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's what time? The cubes. How quickly do we think cubes will sell out? Yeah, I think so as well. It's such a simple shift in shape, of course. And yet you can still do those same techniques that maybe you might do with the, the equivalent size in a round. But it brings you again more of a maybe contemporary edge to your jewellery making. I love faceted cubes. And in 2020, 
for sure it was one of our number one selling cuts and I heard that from our merchandise manager it was the number one uh, selling cut that we actually goodness me look at the length of that strand I wasn't expecting it to be that long um, of 2020 again this is Zambian emerald if we can, we will always uh, look to that location. Sorry, uh, did I say emerald? Sorry, amethyst. If we can, we will always look to that location. Um, and if it's good enough for Fabergé, I mean, these are the amethysts that you would, ex you know, you the same location that you find in Fabergé eggs, in Fabergé jewellery, that same location, that rich, vibrant opulence. Look at that quirky twist that contemporary cut that creates really beautiful linear like designs linear like designs um, you've got a full 60 carat opportunity of natural zambian amethyst natural zambian amethyst in your four millimeter rounds. Just pop in your spaces in between will create the most stunning jewelry. Channel setting, because they naturally have those sort of, uh, uh, sort of uh, linear lines means that they're gonna, they're gonna create that beautiful symmetry. 60 carats in your beautiful cubes. The number one selling cut and shape of 2020 um, is actually on your screens right now. And immediately we've got people delving in for this. Um, let me just cast my eyes across the actual um, st uh, uh, the showcase. Yeah, this is the only cube strand that we've got available. Yeah, the only cube opportunity. It's brand new. It's making its first appearance on your screens right now. And this is why Liam is super excited. Not only is it your cube cuts and your four mil, also because its introductory deal is £12.99. It's not a 15 centimetre strand, which would still be amazing. This is 38 centimetres. I could create, just by simple beading, a wraparound style bracelet, just like so. Probably have enough as well to, uh, left over to make some matching earrings. And it will go even further if I actually pop your spacer beads in there as well. It's the quality of colour, teamed with that beautiful cut, for £12.99. Hiya, Lynn! Oh, sorry, Jen. Hiya, Jen. Who is most likely to get into mischief at work at the Christmas party? 100% Wayne. <laughs> Wayne. Always Wayne. And he's in the office right now, you know. It's true, Wayne. Isn't it true, Laura? Mm -hmm. Give us a nod on this camera so, we, know, so we, we can't see you. Can't see you. Come here. Poke your head. Here. Isn't it Wayne? Uh-huh. Always Wayne. He's the naughty one at the Christmas party for sure. Hi, Elisa. Um, uh, I want gossip, please. When is the next secret sale? That was such a fun evening. Oh, I don't know. I actually don't know the answer to that. I don't know. We didn't even know about the secret sale. Didn't even know about it. Yeah. Um, okay. Hang on a minute. Liam says he wants to live up to his bad boy status. Minute clock on your screens. Not going fast enough. It's a brand new premiere opportunity, he says. That we go, we're going to go lower. Ah, oh, look who's joined us today. I did say we were plucking the JM team and dropping them on our screens. We've got, uh, we've got our lovely Sue, our gorgeous Hello. Sue. Thank you, Sue, for joining me. And Anne's in the studio as well. But you're camera shy, aren't you, Anne? She's not mic'd up. She's, and she's not mic'd up. Okay, oh, fair enough. But she is here, bless her. These are the two talented ladies that create the beautiful jewellery for the show that we reference all the time. I love your jewellery, girls. Thank I always, you. And, and I saw um, Anne the other day, went up to see Anne um, in your little office, and you were completely showered. You had so much to do, didn't you? Yeah. So much gemstones to actually start creating with. You're busy ladies, aren't you? <laughs> um, what do you think about the cubes then, Sue? I think they're lovely. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Are they easy to work with as well? Yeah, yeah, they put a bit of um, texture into your jewellery. Texture, I love that word. It's true, because you can, we'll bring you the rounds all day long. All day long. Cubes give you quite a modern twist, I actually do, think. Yeah. Really yeah. lovely modern twist. Now, because this is a brand new premiere opportunity, Sue, um, you know how it works. First time is the best time. Nine ninety nine. Wow. And there's, you, you'll, get, there's, you'll get loads from there, wouldn't loads, you? Yeah. And, and looking at the old strand there, don't, don't look at the strand and think you've got to use all of it in one piece because you can spread that out into your other gemstones. Yes, it's going to go a long way, isn't mm. it? And all your space as well. If you start incorporating yeah. your precious metals and things yeah. like that. 
it like, beads. That's easily a sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Easily a sweet easily, of jewellery. Yeah. yeah. And then probably more. Yeah. I mean, just one, because you've got that richness of colour. One on top of a pearl would be absolutely beautiful, yeah, wouldn't gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Nine ninety nine, an introductory deal. Um, hello to you. Hi, Kat. Who's the funniest JM member? Again, easy, that is. That's an easy question. No, I'm going to say Liam. <laughs> Liam, I think, is the funniest. Laura, Laura says her. No, Liam, you are hilarious. Would you agree with that, Adam? Yeah, he is funny. Well, Ross is also Ross hilarious. is funny, too. Ross is very funny. Who do you think so, as well? Yeah, I'm going for Liam. You're going to go Liam. Tom Neary is pretty funny as well. To be fair, they're all an absolute hoot. An absolute hoot. A joy to work with, Kat. That's a really good question. Who's the funniest? That's a, Yeah, I would say, Liam, I do think you're hilarious. I do think you're funny. Yeah. Um, it, but, uh, yeah, Paul's saying he's accidentally funny, which makes it even better. Um, even better. He comes out with some absolute gems sometimes. He asks these silly questions that are just hilarious, you know. Um, yeah, I love that. I do love that. Wendy, Rumanti, Marion, Judith, Alison, Amanda, Claire, Manchester, loads of multi buyers and that. Keep those. We're saying ask the gossip. Now's the time that you can ask the gossip. Um, because uh, I've already answered one. Is there any uh, is there any JM romances in the office? Ooh. No. Oh. No. Not no. There's not, unfortunately. I'd like to know that gossip as well. No, there's none. <laughs> there's none. But keep those questions coming through. Okay. I've been away More. for a week, so I need to catch up on gossip. You need to catch up. Mm. I'll fill you in later, so Okay. Fill you in. <laughs> right. Um, should we do some rounds? Yeah. Now, you know, Sue, that I'm absolutely in love with your Marla necklaces. I also saw, Anne, on your stall, you had some beautiful Marla necklaces. Were they, were they hugely popular? Yeah, yeah. I bet. Especially the Larimar one. The Larimar one, yes. Mm. Uh, so, Anne does really successful uh, events with beautiful jewellery. So, you need your rounds, don't you, for, uh, for your Marla style necklaces? And loads of celebrities are wearing um, Marla necklaces now, which I can imagine probably carry three-figure price tags, I would yeah. imagine. You can make that. Is it a challenge to make Marla necklaces? No, it's just so easy. Knotting? You can knot. You don't have to knot. You can add spaces in between, and you can just thread them straight on. You don't have to knot. Traditionally, you do knot. Yes, but it doesn't have to. It can be an inspired bag. It can bag. be an inspired. Marla you have style. Oh, ombre shades from your lavender amethyst to that deep, beautiful, decadent purple. There's only 32 of these, and immediately we've got collectors getting involved as well. So you could ombre a beautiful long line yeah. necklace with this. Let's go straight down. 9.99. Wow. Goodness me, for incredible, natural, in the various shades of your amethyst as well, from your decadent, um, rich saturations to the cooler colours. I mean, you could separate them out and create, if you like, two different pieces, mm -hmm. and it almost looked like you've purchased two separate strands. Yeah. It, it, Just it, it, ombre the shades, yeah, and you could Are you an ombreer? Are you yes. both ombreers? Yes. yes. Don't you make us love ombre, don't you? <laughs> you all love a bit of ombre. Um, I'm quite a random person, so I think I just like cut the strand and uh, dive on in there. Hiya, Jane. Uh, who's the clumsiest? Jane. Yeah, we've all Sue. said this. <laughs> Are you clumsy? Are you clumsy, Sue? You don't put a glass of water or anything near. Do you over glasses of water all the time, yeah, Anne? Usually on my thing. Uh, okay, so usually on Anne's desk. And we all went Jenny. Jenny's very clumsy. Oh. She is very... And she's also the messiest, by the way. Jenny wins messy awards, yeah. She's the messiest J JM member. Um, Organised <laughs> chaos. Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to go in the dressing room after Jenny's been in there. Mm -hmm. There is stuff everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Uh, 9.99 only for this. Again, limited. Let's now bring you something that would complement that strand so perfectly um, so I'm going to keep that on my on the back of my hand for one second but perfect with your really beautiful uh, with your six mils I mean so if you were shopping right now is that something that you would team together yeah I would and and in the same Marla necklace as well because we like to graduate the sizes as I well I was talking about that earlier on I love your graduation we're bringing you a six mil right now so you might need to multi-buy Another six mil. So versatile, aren't they? They are, yeah. You can use them. Super anything. versatile. Again, the consistency of the colour. £4.99. 
Okay. Liam says, that's a wakey-wakey deal, jewellery makers. Tuesday morning, we are bringing you natural Zambian amethyst, that rich decadence of colour, at under £5. Um, I don't even know if we can actually purchase it for what's on your screens. Um, I mean, and uh, I've asked this to, to, to lots of the guest designers. Is amethyst a popular seller with you? Yeah. People recognise it, don't they? Yes. Yeah, universally, they do. Yeah. It's, they know immediately that it's got that intrinsic value. Um, and whilst I'm talking to Anne, by the way, uh, we've got a question for you. So I'll shoot, uh, shout it across the studio. What is Anne's favourite gemstone? Her jewellery is always so beautiful. I think I know that. Pearls. Pearls. <laughs> pearls. Hands down, pearls. Let's put the same question to our lovely Sue. Favourite gemstone? Turquoise. Turquoise. That's a good one too. Mm, oh, turquoise. those two together. Mm, yeah, good. really mm. lovely. Really beautiful. Down to the final one. Now, whilst we've got you, Anne and Sue, shall we do some turquoise? Yeah, go on then. Because I actually do have, oh, the little four mils. Oh, three mils. Oh, this strand is gorgeous. Oh. This is, tur turquoise comes from all around the world. It's not just in the USA. Um, ultimately, it's the, uh, the intensity and the evenness of colour, which is what we're looking for, um, for quality. I love this. Three millimetre rounds. They would be very Astley Clark, stacker style bracelets for me. Yeah, they would. What, is that little, what you would do? Yeah, little space from between. Or, oh. or we need them for a little beady bead in the middle like this one here. Let's see, let's see. This is... Um, Oh, that's a gorgeous little stacker style bracelet. And they're three mils. I don't You've know created... two or threes. Oh, look at that. That's so beautiful, Sue. Really delicate, wonderful jewellery. Genuine turquoise that we're it looking at here. Look lovely, wouldn't it? Really pretty. It has that vibrancy that, you... I mean, if, to be truthful, if I looked at this, I'd have gone, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I would have assumed, would you agree? I'd yeah. have assumed that was Sleeping Beauty turquoise because it has that, rob, uh, that sort of robin egg blue that we all aspire to. Whilst you two lovely ladies are in the studio, um, we're going to use you as an excuse to do something extra special um, because it's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a different show. Alison can't be with us this morning. Turquoise is expensive. As a favourite gemstone, it's one of the. It, it, it's a costly gemstone, isn't oh, yeah. it? Yeah. If you go and try and buy turquoise from any jewellers, then you're going to pay premiums lots of money. Yeah. Yes, premiums. Not today. Not today. We have 100 of these available. Ah, oh, beautiful. Pop them in between your pills if you like. If you love them like Anne. Oh my goodness me. No way. No way. For turquoise, seven pounds no. ninety-nine. The ladies are shaking their heads in disbelief. So I, th I assume this is going to be twenty-five pounds about that, and a push maybe nineteen ninety-nine. Yeah. It's it, it. If you were to ask me where's the origin prior to knowing, I would have definitely assumed it was your Sleeping Beauty turquoise because look how minimal mm. the matrix actually is, and that's usually something which is quite e easy to uh, sort of decipher. Look at that wonderful quality. I really hope these sell out because that's absolutely crazy to be under £10. And yet again, it's a 38 centimetre strand. If we go back to those stacker style bracelets and beady beads, how many do I need for a beady bead? 12. 12? 12 to make the bead, yeah. And then, I don't know, a couple of, a few inches for the actual bracelet. Yeah. So you can make this, you can make that um, piece of jewellery probably multiple times over with the full 38 <coughs> centimetre strand. Yeah. You know that this is bonkers because the phone lines have gone absolutely crazy and there are multi buyers. I want to join you on it as well. 7 99 Congratulations, everybody. Now, I know that we do completely and utterly bombard our lovely uh, um, in house designers, Anne and Sue. I, if, I, <laughs> if I go up to their, uh, your, your uh, little office a little bit later on, you're always showered in gemstones. It's a lovely yes. place to be, though, isn't it? Yes. I suppose. Um, so, we're going to let you go back to your day job. But thank you so much, ladies, for popping in the studios. You're awesome. We love you. Welcome. Keep, keep that amazing job. What are you Bye, working everybody. on right now? Again. What are you working on right now? Um, I don't know yet. I've only I've just walked in. Oh, you have just walked in. <laughs> We've got some kits for Wednesday. Ah, uh, things for Friday as well. Oh, for the fair. Amazing, amazing. So you'll see those beautiful creations on the live show. Aren't they fabulous? Anne and Sue. We love our Anne and Sue. They're amazing. They need to be in the studio more. More and more and more and more and more. Um, but bless their hearts, they don't get enough time in the day. Um, we're going to do what?
Okay, um, yep, oh, love these. Beautiful irregular drops, um, amazing texture. You heard our Sue talk about it then because you can create sort of waterfall earrings or tessellate them maybe in between other gemstones. Again, look at that vibrancy and intensity of color. 80 carats that you're actually getting here. Should we do a bonkers giveaway deal again, shall we? For Amethyst, the gemstone which is globally recognized. You heard Anne say it from on the back of her most successful uh, um, sort of sale where she, she went to the three counties, I think it was, and she's had a hugely, hugely successful sale. It's gemstones like this we would naturally gravitate to. Eight pounds and 99 pence or is it or are we going to go lower even lower for the tessellations the beautiful shapes um top drilled irregular drops not 8.99 we want to see you there uh, keep those text messages coming through as well if you want the gas now is the time to ask Text us live in the studio, uh, 78070. It's a bit of an unconventional show because uh, um, our guest designer couldn't actually be with us this morning. So we're being very, very, very interactive. How low can Liam possibly take natural, beautiful amethyst? Hmm. Very, very low, I should imagine. Very, very low. And that's exactly what he is going to do. Um, it's a full 30 centimeter strand. Look at that. Layers. You can re create beautiful layers, uh, not just of your precious metal, but also of your gemstones. In five seconds, this is going even lower. We want to see you there. How low can we take natural, genuine amethyst with all of those lovely textures faceted by Mother Nature? Four pounds and 99 pence only. There you all there are. Oh, very good morning to you all, jewelry makers. Amazing, isn't it? Um, that, by the way, is what we would call a cost price. We can't even purchase it. Well, we can purchase it, but then when you start talking about broadcasting fees, um, staff, crew, all of that, you know, and they don't come cheap, believe me. They don't come cheap. $4.99 only uh, for this opportunity. Stephanie, Caroline, Christina, Sue. Hello, London, Carol, West Midlands, Pamela. Hi, new customers, Diana, Rubonti. Hello to you, Wiltshire, Oxford, Sussex, Christine, Stephanie, Amanda, Angela, Fiona. You're all there. Lovely to be with you. Just, yeah, just little wrap loops. You could create, ooh, 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 I've got an idea. An alternative to a bubble style bracelet, but with little drops instead of rounds. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Because you're going to get all the, you have the idea of a bubble style bracelet is texture and layers and movement imagine that now with just like a different shape and cut to maybe your usual uh, your usual round $4.99 pricing it for uh, a multi-buyable opportunity for your jewelry makers again for us to buy this is what's on your screen so you're getting pretty much a giveaway deal <clears throat> okay okay question coming from what what cars do we drive okay <laughs> uh, Liam's got a little red Corsa. Liam's got a little red Corsa. Uh, Paul's got a Leon, a Seat Leon. What's your car? A Honda Civic. It's the, it's the racer, like like a boy car. What have you got, Luz? Oh, I love Fiat 500s. I had one of those. That was my last car, actually, a little Fiat 500. Uh, Fiat 500. I've got a, a keyed Mercedes. Someone keyed my car the other day. Mm. <laughs> Liam's laughing. Liam's laughing. I just would like to know what happened. Uh, what you know, what they got out of it is all. Um, yeah, but uh, in better, uh, uh, Liam can trump me on this one actually. So he went down to his car um, one morning. Um, he, he has moved since, by the way, and his car was literally stripped back to the shell. So everything had been stolen. They robbed his bonnet, his bun, his, his bumper, and the lights. Who does that? Who does that? Like, why? Why would you do it? Why would you do it? Moving on, moving on. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, someone keyed my car. I'm ever so grateful for, for that. Okay, moving on to, moving on to. I'm not really a car person, to be fair. I don't really care about cars. I would drive whatever. I'm not that bothered. I've, I've had the, uh, the Ford, what are they called? What are they called, the big ones? No, yes, a Cougar. I had a Ford Cougar and a little Fiat 500. As long as it can fit everything in, I'm happy. Um, look at these elaborate, beautiful drops. Gorgeous, faceted drops. Oh, these are going to be amazing. But how many do we have of these, Liam? 
only 39 and this is going to a clearance price point for you oh I, 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 I there's something that I need uh, this sort of shape for it's pendulums we need pendulums for shows that are coming up in the future um, if this doesn't sell out then hopefully we'll be able to incorporate into that show however at £9.99 look at how decadent those beautiful drops are aren't they beautiful top to bottom as well and you've got a really generous drill hole um, so even some of your um, some, of, some of your wires uh, head pins will breeze through these um, so much so they're so statement they're so sizable they could also be included in your um, interior design I actually think it'd be amazing for light pulls yes as if you could have an amethyst light pull that would be very posh wouldn't it very very posh 0800 644 hi West, West Yorkshire Virginia West Midlands Ella Sue Janice on the verge of selling out well done keep going through let's now do Liam's lost it he's lost the you're faceted oh yes Liam do something naughty go on live up to that bad boy status you know you wanna 10 millimeter faceted rounds not only have you got the richness of color you have this beautiful luster that ricochets from facet to facet. Yes, they are very, uh, very juicy. I agree with you there, Ben. The two Bens are in, everybody. Hey. Hello, Bens. Hello. How are you doing? Very well, thank are you, you. going to make some jewellery for us on air? Should we have a little go? We have a little, no, 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 they've got prep to do. Um, I'll, try, I'll try my best. I'll see if I can get the bends on here. Um, okay, we have a big quantity opportunity here, jewellery makers, and we want... Should we create a hive of excitement with our wonderful viewers? Let's do it. Let's do it. Be really naughty, Liam. Really naughty. Extra naughty. Do it. Shall we? He's, he's doing it. He's doing it. I said even naughtier than that. Even naughtier. £4.99. Do you want to know how much we're making as a company? Zip. Nil. Nicht. Nada. Absolutely nothing on this opportunity other than friends and hopefully new jewellery maker customers to join the wonderful family. Again, a multi buyable opportunity in faceted rounds in your 10 mil. Um, again, lots of multi buyers. We had a big quantity of them, had past tense. Um, if you haven't yes, uh, yet dialed through, you can still do that, of course. Um, you've got sizable drill holes, so even some of your thickest cords and wires will breeze through there uh, very, very easily. I mean, I mean look, at the, look at what we've got coming up. We've got Russian Amazonite coming your way. Look how beautifully they complement one another, both in your 10 mil rounds. In fact, it's coming up next, so not too long to wait for that. I also want to highlight the fact we have one of the last remaining strands of Tiffany Opal in the business. That's coming up. That's all mined out, by the way. There is no more Tiffany Opal coming from the ground. Uh, that's coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. We've also got Russian Emerald being launched today. Uh, so it's a place to be. It is the place to be. Keep those questions coming in. Is there anything that you want to know? Any any gossip? Any, have you got any gossip, Benz? No, uh, no, you keep out of all that, don't you, to be fair. Can't, they, they're, not, they're not really into gossip. They're the most chilled people, probably. If you ask the question, who are the most chilled in the business, I would say the two Benz. Two Benz, for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, okay, before we move on to our star buy... Um, because we have actually promised these. It's actually what our lovely Lucy used in her demonstration. Um, her amazing demonstration that we had earlier on. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? Look at the facets on these gorgeous cubes. They'd also work really amazingly with your amethyst showcase. Um, you know, the, the richness of colours. You've got 30 in total across your rose quartz. How many? 20. 20 in total. Let me double check this because this one has got a really lovely sort of the, the yellow gold is like a, a helix pattern, a spiral pattern. And then you have your diamond cut precision that keep, creates almost little flowers um, on your rose gold. Now you're getting 20 of the rose gold. Oh, OK. I've only got 10 here, but you do get 20 of the rose so and, and 10 of the yellow gold. So in total, you are definitely getting the 30 of them. Um, these are your rose gold plated seven millimeter spacers. So again, multiply that by two. You get you get 20 of those and then 10 of the 
yellow, £14.99. pence. We need to bring back all these spaces. Spaces seem to be, you know, we, we bring you the sort of plain rounds, but actually the ones, the diamond carts, the Stardust collection, um, the different shapes and B caps, we need to bring more of those onto our screens because they used to be really, really popular, um, but we actually don't have that many anymore. Um, hello to you, Lynn. Hi, Elle and JM team. Not gossip, just concern. Who was guest designer today and, and are they okay? Gossip, which member would mostly like likely to swear oh okay i'll answer the first part part um it was allison it, she was meant to be on air she's absolutely fine she texted me very early this morning um she has, something's popped up basically and she can't be on our screen so she's fine she made amazing jewelry as well uh, but she needs to be at home today i've got more to show you as well throughout the master class so yes yeah, so we're we're improvising lynn now who's the one most likely to swear yeah, yeah? yeah. jenny yeah, Jenny. Although I can be a bit of a potty mouth as well from time to time. Um, yeah, I'm going to say Jenny. Yeah, is, is probably the biggest swearer. Not on air, though. Never on air. She's a good girl like that. Um, OK, let's do... Keep those questions coming. These are fun. They're a lot of fun. Poor Jenny has been mentioned a few times. <laughs> Jenny has been mentioned a few times, hasn't she? she we've, we've said she's the, certainly the messiest. She is the messiest, isn't she? Um, here we go. Right. These are incredible. I'm just putting one of them together. Gorgeous studs. Um, look how many that you're actually getting. Rose gold plated. Oh, did I pick up the wrong one? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, talk of stardust beads. You know, Liam, he does listen to me. I was talking about the stardust saying, where have they all gone? These will sell out. Oh, 26 of them. The 925 sterling silver stardust beads. Look at this. almost like they're parve set with beautiful diamonds, aren't they? Um, you get this wonderful light performance. I'm just going to hold one of them within a tweezer for you. Imagine those just popped in between your Amazonite or um, in your Amethyst or alongside maybe your uh, Tanzanite that you had earlier on or your turquoise or your isopal. They'll look absolutely sensational. It's, it's like bringing parve diamonds to your piece of jewellery without the diamonds. It's the texturing of your 925 stardust sterling silver you're getting a pack of 10 a pack of 10 of them um, and the size they are your six mil there are only 27 though uh, yeah i'm going to speak to i'm sure the buying team are already on it but i'm like where are the stardust beads we need more of this collection are they are they on reorder okay fabulous um because we need them don't we they're lovely in to combine and, and use on in between your gemstone again it's that lovely luster that you get on the surface of uh, your precious metal you're getting all 10 of them okay leaving that with you something that these would look unbelievable with is your next star buy I absolutely love this strand um, this is no longer being mined in this location which is a crying shame because unfortunately Russian Amazonite has been regarded and hailed as the finest in the world we're going there in this next star buy Okay, so um, Russian Amazonite, as I said, uh, has been hailed as the finest source uh, or location of source of this gemstone in the world. When we think about Amazonite, generally speaking, most of us actually think, okay, is that a gemstone that was found maybe alongside the Amazon River? It's actually the complete opposite. It was Russia that it was first discovered um, in the Ural Mountains. The Ural Mountains I'll be uh, talking about a little bit later on because the likes of your Russian emerald are found in that location as well. So it was found in the Ural Mountains and the Ilminsky Mountains, I should say, sorry. Um, and bar none, yeah, I would say it has been the most coveted of all, all locations of your Amazonite. Amazonite is a member of the Feldspar family. It is completely natural. It is never treated. And it's a gemstone of opacity. And you get these really beautiful patterns within, quite similar to that of your jadeite in actual fact. But with Amazonite, as with many colored gemstones, it's the color that gains the sort of the highest price tags and the most desire. And Russian Amazonite has got this insane glow. That's natural. That is completely and utterly natural. Now, where this gemstone was actually unearthed, it's in uh, the southern Ural Mountains in Western Russia. 
Um, gem enthusiasts from all over the planet enjoyed rich deposits of beautiful gemstones um, that have been mined in approximately a, a 50 mile area. This site, however, is an area of geological significance, um, so much so that the Russian Federation in 2008 actually said that we could no longer mine any gemstone, topaz, emerald, aquamarine, amazonite, were no longer allowed to be uh, unearthed from that ground as they preserved the world heritage of that site. Now, understandable why they actually intervened, but also very sad in the fact that we can't, we can't actually get this quality of this colour from this location anymore. Amazonite is revered in ancient history. Uh, in ancient Egypt, it's believed to install godlike confidence to the wearer. Um, uh, Russian Amazonite has been transported from Russia to Egypt um, for many years, although it, how it still remains a bit of a mystery. In, in the 21st century, as I said, restrictions were put into place to protect that nature reserve, which meant that the mining of this gemstone is no longer allowed. So what Russian Amazonite is in the business, uh, sorry, what Russian Amazonite is in the market is it, um, unless, of course, a mine founds, is found somewhere else. But from that most uh, prolific mine, historical mine, it is no more. Now, we have one or two Russian Amazonite opportunities again in the entire vault. Look at that sensational glow, that wonderful unrivaled saturation and an alluring patterning that you find only in Amazonite. Many of your crew here at Jewelry Maker are actually sharing the beliefs that Amazonite is now taking their number one spot and most favorite gemstone because of this reason, the quality and intensity of the color. Um, it's my number one, yeah, absolutely. It's Mark Smith's number one for sure. It's the quality of the color that you're actually getting. I'll also give you a little bit of a heads up I can't say that we're doing this with Russian Amazonite. I doubt it, to be truthful. But we are actually, the Gemporia Partnership, actually supply Amazonite to one of the big designer labels. So we source their Amazonite gemstone. Let that be an indication of the quality that you actually get. Um, okay, for big statement, 10 millimeter rounds. This is absolutely stock permitting, going to be added to my order. Russian Amazonite, I know that we can't get hold of it anymore. I know that it is regarded is the best in the world, those beautiful, vibrant colours, uh, those intense saturations, almost tropical saturations, which are quite surprising when you think about where um, it was first discovered. We are taking it to a star by price point, but you won't believe just how low it is. We can't source it anymore. We cannot get hold of Russian Amazonite. I can bring you Peruvian Amazonite. I can bring you other locations around the world. Russian Amazonite, definitely, definitely more challenging. £19.99 pence. For big statement, 10 mil rounds, can you imagine this beautifully knotted? Can you imagine this with your precious metal? Can you imagine a fraction of that carat weight that's on your screens right now in rose gold plated 925 sterling silver and a simple slider bracelet, which is the piece of jewellery that my husband bought me from Monica Veneda some years ago, that would have cost, I don't mind telling you this, £130. This is way, way, way more significant in its carat weight and it has the prestige of the the Russian deposit mine. There were how many of these available then, Liam? Oh, 75. Marilyn, Cardiff, Manchester, Liz, West Midlands, Sue, uh, Elaine, Virginia, customers on the phone lines, new customer, new customer, Pamela, Susan, another Susan, Jamela, hello to you, Patricia, Hampshire, Evelyn, Julia, Chrissy, Hampshire, another Hampshire. Check out your baskets because this is there's only 75 of these available. Hiya, Liz. Who is the most uh, who has the most influence over the prices? To be the producers, to be fair, because whilst the be behind the scenes they will actually set a target price, which is, and sometimes the, the powers that be will say, this is what we want you to sell it for, don't go any lower. It's the producers ultimately, because they're there in the hot seat and they can gauge. You've got to remember we're on live TV as well, so if it's not going fast enough, they can actually say, okay, drop the price a little bit more. They shouldn't, but they do. So definitely the producers, all of the producers, I would say, have that power. Um, hello to you, Tracer. Tracy, what football team does everyone support? Blues. Oh, there we go. The Blues. Adam? Ready. Reading? Reading? Random. Do you come from Reading? No. No! Okay, what football team do you sport, Liam? He doesn't. And nor me. I don't really get football. I don't really get football. He'd say Leicester just because that's his home county. Uh, Paul? QPR? 
Okay, don't even know where they are. Uh, Luce? She's a Manchester United girl. She's a Manchester United girl. There we go. There we go. Football. Shoom, over my head. I haven't got a clue. Haven't got a clue about that one. Uh, again, uh, what's that? You've got some news? Oh, yes. Ross is going to produce so Liam can come do a demo. Yeah! We're going to get Liam on our screens. Amazing. The final 75. Well, we had 75. The final few of those are actually available. There you are, Liam. You're coming on here. We're coming on here. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You have got no choice, Liam. You can't rope other people into it and you not do it. Right, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um... On the back of that football question, I was approached by Sky once to go and work there. And then I found out that it was for the football and I was like, I've got no interest. <laughs> and I couldn't, can't, I could not, I could not present a football channel because I know what, nothing about it. This is an endless strand of Amazonite. A hundred centimetres of Madagascan Amazonite. I mean, I would literally just re-strand that. Restrand that. Use maybe some of the spacer beads that you saw a few moments ago. Look again at that quality of colour. Totally natural. Again, we're drawn to uh, uh, Amazonite for the patterns. I always think like jadeite because jadeite, it's as much the colour as it is the patterning and the texture of the gemstone. Amazonite, you have these really beautiful swirls that occur naturally. It's, a, a, as I said, a variety of feldspar and it's coloured by trace amounts of lead. Perfectly safe, by the way. Um, it's been adorned in jewellery for 2,000 years. Found in ancient Egypt, which, as I said, how it actually got there, we don't quite know. Um, but they often refer to Amazonite as actually having uh, uh, the resemblance to modern art. But here's a fun fact. Your Amazonite glows. Um, they say it actually looks even more impressive at sunset and sunrise. Look at that wonderful natural colour. For 100 centimetres, so many of your JM crew are saying Amazonite is their number one at the moment. The quality that we have. I've got 60 of these opportunities. Um, I'm definitely getting involved in this little mini showcase, Liam. $19.99. Not for a 38 centimetre strand. That would be unbelievable. For 100 cent... Yeah, it's about two and a half of our usual Amazonite strands in their length. Um, that would work out at £7.99 for Peruvian Amazonite, that beautiful glow. Uh, it's 100 centimetres. You need to be quick because there's loads of you there. And I only had actually, look, the quantity. There you go, 60 of them available. Cardiff, Marilyn, Liz, hello to you, Carolyn, Somerset, West Midlands, Jeanette, West uh, Sussex, Jamela, Elizabeth, Julie, Evelyn. Check out your baskets. Keep those questions coming through. Keep those questions coming through. I think you should put, put that one on that you were asking. You, you mentioned Liam. Yeah, go on. Go on, that's fun. That's fun, that's fun. Hiya, Karen. Hi, Al. Who's the highest maintenance? So I assume you're talking presenters with that one. I assume you're talking presenters. High maintenance. I guess we all are in certain ways. Uh, in certain ways, we've all got our little, little... <laughs> Product-wise, we all are. Uh, Lucy? Jenny? Yeah, possibly. Should I say, say, yeah, Lucy or Jenny? Jenny will probably... If I said... And by the way, I would say this to them. I'm, I'm not saying I wouldn't say to them. Jenny would go, yeah, get that. She would, she would yeah, probably am, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Lucy probably would agree as well. You can ask her tomorrow, can't you? You can ask her. Um, Liam, are you high maintenance? Floor, Floor Lucy says Liam is high maintenance. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, probably that would be my guess. Maybe Lucy and Jenny. Yeah, I'm going to say. These are fun. Keep those questions coming through. Um, okay, moving on to? Love it. I'm loving this strand because you don't often see faceted Amazonite, do we? Don't often get a faceted Amazonite. Oh, my goodness me. These are absolutely beautiful. If you got the 10 millimeter uh, Star by Amazonite, I think you need this strand to go alongside it. Again, it's about that contrast. 
This is a bonkers deal. Faceted 10 millimeter rounds. Again, look at that consistency of quality. That's the star by that you just had. These are the faceted ones. Don't they look beautiful together? Uh, so not only have you got the natural patterning within your Amazonite, you actually also have this lovely uh, surface luster as light ricochets across. You can get Amazonite from all around the world. Um, yeah, ultimately, it doesn't really matter where it's from as long as it has that intensity of color um, and of lovely textures within. Hi, Lynn. I've got another question. Who has the most kids? I've seven, and yes, I am crazy. Or who wants to have uh, lots of kids? Who's got the most kids? I think we've all got the same. We've all got two. Wayne's got two. I've got two. Carol's got two. Lucy's got two. Jenny's got two. Adam's got two. Are you going to have any more, Adam? No, no he says, because he has twins. He's got new twins. I think we've all got two. I've got no intention of having any more. No intention of annual. I'm happy with the two. Two little poppets. Uh, Jenny's got two. I think we've all got about the same. Weird. Uh, that is weird. I've never thought about that before. Seven kids, Liz. I mean, uh, you must be so tired. Come the end of the night, I can barely hit, keep my eyes open because I'm so worn out. But, oh, my goodness me. Final 35 of these available. Alison, Susan, Liz, Marilyn, Cambridgeshire, Hello to Cardiff, Patricia, Sue, Nolene, Karen, Robert, Hello to Sari, Maeve, Suffolk, Julian, Wirrell, Hello to you all. They're going to sell out. It's a limited quantity. We don't often get faceted Amazonite. Another question. Amazing. Loving it. You're getting into it now aren't you um who's the laziest La i don't think many of them la many of us are lazy are we no because you do have to work hard here at jewelry maker to be fair laziest mm. i don't think any of us are lazy i don't think so I mean, I can be lazy outside of work, don't get me wrong. I do love a lazy day. It doesn't happen very often. Um, but I don't think it... Uh, uh, Liam hates lying in bed. Yeah, I, I, I love it when you get to the end of the day and you've been super productive and you've achieved things. Uh, but I do like a nice sort of chill day. Um, okay, stay where you are on that one. I'm going to show you this beautiful strand. We're going to pop the graphics on then and then we're going to come back immediately after the break. This is unbelievable again glow that's what one of the uh, the the qualities that amazonite should have usually it's by sunset or sunrise that you see that glow but look at how these are radiating faceted rondelles three to two millimeters and a full 38 centimeter strand it's coming your way right now we'll be bringing the saving after this jewelry makers did you know that no matter how many times you purchase no matter how many times you check out you only pay one postage and packaging per day Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Roll up, roll up. Coming this Friday on Jewel Maker, the greatest event in Jewel Maker history. Discounts and gains, oh, all the biggest, most thrilling. Fairground rides. Giveaways and prizes. Ah! Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a Joy Maker show this Friday, the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> <laughs> Jewelry Maker's exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. 
They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m., click on Watch Live, and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Busy, very busy, which is nice to have an events company that's busy coming out the other side of a pandemic. Just, th mm. just thinking about, well, mm. you might, oh, what's that? Might, no, you might be, you might not be. Just well, thinking, next Wednesday, what are you up to? Next Wednesday. Let me look at the calendar. Oracle. Oh, I'm very grown up these days. I have to have a calendar Go to on, keep what track. Are what are you doing? What am I doing? Meet and go and have a coffee? Reckon, no, I reckon. Or what? Can you come in to work, to jewellery maker? What, for a cup of tea? <laughs> to do the show with me. <laughs> Should we eat some cake? Oh my God, we'll have to eat cake. I can't eat any more cake, but yeah, we'll eat cake. We'll Should eat we do cake. it? Next Wednesday. Well, will I be allowed? Yes! Yes! Should we do it? On Wednesday? Wednesday. You're on? Let's do it. Ah! We're on. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back in stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Oh, we don't see the glow quite like this every single day. Oh my goodness me, you have an elevation of glow in this beautiful strand jewelry makers, totally naturally. Doesn't it defy, boggles my brain when I look at a, stra when I look at a genuine gemstone that hasn't been enhanced, a single iota, and think that that has come from Mother Nature. And they, it's almost like they have their own little magic power in every single solitaire gemstone. This is a star by opportunity. It's the only Rondell strand that I actually have. Do you see where I'm coming from? It's almost electrifying quality. Um, in your Rondells, which again, I could probably count on one hand how many strands we've got within the entire, entire business. Imagine these with your ice opals that you had earlier on. Imagine these with your Russian Amazonite. I agree, Liam, some of the best quality that he says I've ever ever seen the glow it's you know we'll talk normally about the patterning we'll talk normally about the color of course the saturation and that's absolutely relevant but this it's the glow that takes center stage um, in these natural amazonite opportunities <clears throat> we are taking this <coughs> excuse me to a star by deal those of you that have already made your confirmations, that's that's exactly what I would be doing as well. It radiates across uh, across the skin tone. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence only. That's unbelievable. And also will complement many of the strands that I'm actually bringing you, have brought you, and are going to be bringing you um, without the court throughout the course of the show. It's completely natural. It's like every single one of these beautiful gemstones has a little glow hidden from within. 38 centimeter strand, natural Peruvian Amazonite, 
radiating against the skin. I mean, imagine combining it. I'm just picking this up because it's the nearest one to me, but combining it with different alternate colors. In this case, it is your lovely sunstone. So just popping your Amazonite in between, uh, maybe altering uh, sort of different color gemstones. Look at how they pop. They literally pop. Um, these are a strand, by the way, that's actually come from one of the kits that's coming up in the next hour. We're still playing them. We are still playing them. Again, uh, with your tiger's eye. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we only had a few of these, so again, getting quite limited. We got a message from Kat. Hiya, Kat. And she's asking, if I was stuck on a desert island with one crew member, who would be the best person to survive with? Can I answer that one first? Adam, because he was a chef. <laughs> yes, so he will be able to feed you. And I do feel like, Adam, you'd be able to do the manly stuff as well. Build fires. Can you do that? I don't know me very well. No, no, not so much. Okay, who do you think? Um, on a desert island that would help cats survive. I'm getting Lucy, maybe? She did climb Mount Kilimanjaro. That's pretty epic. She climbed yeah. Mount Kilimanjaro, so I reckon she's got a certain survival skill. You reckon Paul? I don't think, no, Paul. Greatest respect, I don't think you. <laughs> He did a survival course. Oh, okay, okay. So there we are. Paul is actually our resident Bear Grylls. There we are. <laughs> there we go. I would have said Paul had just gone me. Oh, there's no food. Twelve ninety nine only for your beautiful Amazon. Like, these are fun questions. Keep them coming through, everybody. Again, um, I think they work perfectly with your deal of the day. The lovely. Uh, um, Amethyst that we had just a few moments ago. Final few of those. Right, let's do the Tiffany Opal. Um, I want to just, I need to, in all seriousness, I will always have a laugh and a joke, but there are certain opportunities that are really important, and Tiffany Opal is what, definitely one of those. So it comes from Utah in the USA. It was found, discovered in Utah, and that's the only place uh, that actually has, uh, uh, has unearthed this gemstone. And it's a very, very rare combination of gemstones now they haven't been reconstituted together mother nature so first you have the rarity of your opal and then you have the rarity of your fluorite now if you imagine gemstones occurring you know they might be little uh, little tiny scatterings of deposits they might be seams opal works usually along sort of uh, traps in cracks and crevices so you imagine them to be separate don't you now in that one location in utah usa two completely different gemstones of completely different structures well opal doesn't even have a crystal structure fluorite does have literally merged together and it's the only place in the world that has actually found tiffany opal sometimes referred to as ice cream opal as well now sadly and i'll read this out to you tiffany opal is no longer coming out of the mine so once the existing supply of tiffany opal in the market is is exhausted it's gone that's it. You have a beautiful fusion of two gemstones, fluorite and opal, found in only the Brush Wellman Beryllium Mine in uh, Utah, as I said, Western Utah. It is composed predominantly of opalized fluorite, uh, but sometimes it can actually have mixtures of other gemstones in there as well. Please beware of imitations because other places, given the rarity of this, have actually done uh, your reconstituted varieties, taken those two gemstones and reconstituted them together. This is natural and it is one of the only strands that we have left and probably will have in the entire JM vault. For collectors and connoisseurs, Tiffany Opal is absolutely one that should be on your radar. We had the 8mm Tiffany Opal, they've gone. I first launched Tiffany Opal alongside my good friend and neighbour as well, Marie, who you might remember, some years ago. And they were priced at, by the way, 60 odd pounds. I remember it quite clearly. Now, the mine's closed. We're bringing you 10mm rounds, that same beautiful quality. The, the last and final opportunities that we have here at Jewelry Maker for Tiffany Opal, probably ever, and I can say that with quite, you know, firm beliefs. The only 10 millimeter strand that we actually have, it's completely natural. This is not reconstituted. This is not dyed. It's not brassiated. This is natural 
opal fluorite, Tiffany opal as it's sometimes referred to, or ice cream opal. Get your certificate of authenticity. Those of you that are collectors and connoisseurs, this is absolutely one that you should be snaffling up. Um, because the reality is, if you come back to me maybe in a week's time, a month's time, six months, a year, whatever it is, and said, can I have Tiffany, uh, can I purchase some Tiffany opal? The probability is going to be that I'll have to say no, because we can't actually purchase or if we do purchase it again because never say never it's going to be um, sort of in the in the supply chain already it's in the market already and people know that the mine is closed that's quite well widely documented so the price per carat is going to gone through the roof now for those of you that have already said you know what L I know the rarity I love the beauty of the gemstones that wonderful fusion you can see the fusion can't you of your fluorites the purple and then you have that lovely opacity and that's your opal that runs within the actual gemstone itself how many do I have okay this is the only Tiffany opal 10 mil strand that we have there are 100 available for you this morning oh my goodness me uh, it was about two years ago that I launched Tiffany opal along with my friend Marie on our very screens she's a gemologist as well she was super excited about bringing this to our screens and I don't mind telling you they were about 50 60 pounds those strands we had two or three I think it was um, way back then they're at 50 60 pounds now we're able to bring them to you at 11 pound 99 the buy power has grown we have got oh, part of the gemporia partnership you know this is a beautiful gemstone that i can imagine our sister channel will include an entire collection if they can or could there were a hundred collectors have gone nuts absolutely nuts for it you need to check out uh well done to those of you that have said you know what l i don't just want the one i want to multi-buy on it as well dumfries and galloway edith wiltshire manchester helen jane janice hello to christina linda caroline uh, graham June, congratulations to you all. Keep dialing through. And um, we've got a message coming through from Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi, lovely boys and girls. Uh, what pets does everybody own? Ah, okay. Uh, who'd like to start this one off? Um, Liam's got a golden Labrador. What's its name? Elmo. Ah, that's really cute. Have you got any pets, Adam? I've got a brown cocker spaniel. A brown cocker spaniel called Socks. Socks. Cute. Paul, have you got any pets? Nobody's got a field mouse in his garden called cheeses. Cheeses. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, Luce, have you got any pets? No pets. Right, I've got two dogs and a rabbit because one of them died recently. Um, so, yeah, I've got Brutus and Bo. Brutus has been on your screens, actually. And we've got Bam Bam the bunny. We've got Bam Bam the bunny, yeah. So, yeah, um, and Willow would absolutely have more, given the chance. Given the chance. <laughs> yeah, poor, uh, yeah, poor Bam Bam. He's on his own at the moment, so he gets a lot of attention, loads of attention. We're all definitely animal lovers here at, at JM, for sure. I think we need to have another pet day where we can bring all the animals on our screens. It would be utter chaos. Can you imagine all our hounds running around? They, it would be utter chaos, but the, probably the most joyous day ever. Hiya, June. This is gorgeous. Not sure what I'll make with it yet, but what a treat. I agree. I mean, do you, know, you know what, June? Actually purchasing it is the main thing here um, because I can't, I can't, we won't be able to repeat uh, Tiffany Opal um, much longer. It is running out. Well done to you, Mandy. Woohoo, got two. I saw you, my darling. Well done. Josephine, Gwen, Louise, June. Hello to you, Heather, Alison, Kim, Fiona. Keep dialing through. This needs to sell out. After all your explanation of how rare this is, I was not expecting that price. Shocking. I agree, Liz. Honestly, I swear Liam filters out everything that I say. He ignores me. There we go. He's just said it. He says he just ignores me. Fair enough. Fair enough. But you know what? We are all about the deals. So so sorry to those people that missed out on that. Well, tr uh, I don't. We haven't got any more, have we? We haven't got any more. Um, okay. Should we do the kits? Now, let me just explain for those of you that might have just tuned in, wanting, uh, waiting to see the lovely Alison. Unfortunately, she can't be with us this morning. Something's popped up and she has to be at home. Um, but we're going to soldier on regardless. She's fine, by the way. She's absolutely fine. Um, but we're going to soldier on regardless. So I tell you what we'll do, because we've got photographs of Alison's jewellery. We just can't obviously do the demonstration. Um, so we can show the photographs. And we're just going to do bonkers kit prices. How does that sound? Yeah? Is that... Is that we're improvising, basically. We're also going to drag some more of the JM crew. Believe it or not, the office is re relatively empty today, typically. They've all decided not to come in. <laughs> Maybe we actually announced it too early and they're all like, uh, I'm just working from home today. 
I bet you that is what they've done. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you what, we'll just do bonkers kit prices. Although Liam is going to join me in the next hour. Shall we start with... This is pretty. Beryl. Labradorite. Rose quartz. Turquoise coloured uh, magnesite. And sterling silver wire in this kit. Bonkers kits price because obviously we haven't got our designer here today. Um, so we're just going to give you another incentive to stay with us, basically. Beautiful, genuine gemstones. Look at this straight away. You actually have your matte, multicolored beryl. Look how pretty that strand is. Isn't that lovely? Um, you've got your diamond, oh, sorry, star cut rose quartz. You have matte labradorite, which I simply adore. You also have your magnesite in these absolutely beautiful tropical blues. And also your sterling silver wire. Um, so that is precious sterling silver, really soft, supple and malleable as well. You're getting one meters of your uh, 0.6 millimeter sterling silver, solid 925 sterling silver wire. I mean, that's really beautiful. These are definitely used together. I'd actually use that maybe separately, maybe with the hot orange coming up, coming up. I think that's a really nice combination as well. Um, but four strands of beautiful, genuine gemstones plus 925 sterling silver. Now, again, because obviously this is quite an unconventional show, we don't have your guest designers to join us at the masterclass, um, unforeseen circumstances. But what we'll do, we'll make up for it with rock bottom kit prices, you know, because we don't want to not include the kits. We still want to bring you the kits. There's massive savings to be had um, with your kits. And we could still show you the pieces of jewellery in terms of photographs. We can, I'm right in that Liam aren't I yes yes so here we go this is one of uh, lovely Alison's makes oh Alison that's beautiful isn't it so she's stuck with the barrels who's ombre classic Alison um, and of course your beautiful uh, matte labradorite in there as well super pretty bit of rosary Lincoln standard beading as well finished with a, a lovely class there that I think she's made out of the 925 stunning silver or so you are getting 100 carats of your two oh wait wait it is turquoise though it's treated turquoise, but it is turquoise. I've been saying this is magnesite. It's turquoise. Hold up. Listen, there's lots of ways to treat your gemstones. We treat tanzanite. Nobody seems to bat an eye at that. This is genuine turquoise. We want to. We aspire to that beautiful robin egg blue. And we've achieved that through a treatment process. Nothing wrong with that. Natural multicolored beryl, rose quartz in your diamond cut six mils, and also your natural labradorite six millimeter rounds. This is a high end kit, Liam. That's a meter of nine uh, nine two five sterling silver. So this on its own is fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. On a good day, maybe on a star buy, you might, we might bring this to you at £12.99. Okay. You've got genuine turquoise, multicolored beryl, rose quartz and labradorite, some of your all-time favourites. But this is a bit of a, yeah, it's an apology price point. That's crazy. For, turqu for the turquoise strand, for the multicolored beryl strand, for those on their own, that's amazing. You know you can get the wire... Us. Normally it's fourteen ninety nine. Sometimes we'll do it for twelve ninety nine if it's an unbelievable deal. How many do we have of your island vibes? A hundred of this kit. If this doesn't sell out, I need to have a strongly worded conversation with myself because that's genuine turquoise and literally unbeknown to me. It should. I agree with you, Liz. Uh, well, that kit should not be less than fifty pounds. I'm a bit worried now. I well, don't worry. Don't worry. Again, we do have the authority to actually do this because Alison's not here, so we can't give you the demonstration. So we're making up for it in other ways. I agree with you, Liz. Though that's bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. The silver wire normally, even if we said twelve ninety nine on a good day. The, the fact that that is, it's dyed turquoise. It is still turquoise. This is multicolored beryl. That's beautiful rose quartz. That's one of your favorite gemstones in your labradorite in the matte texture. Goodness me, that's amazing. You may, you, I tell you what, you delivered there, Liam. You definitely, definitely delivered. That's an unbelievable saving. We had 100 of them. It's an apology price point. Thank you so much for being understanding. Um, now, we, before we go on to the other kits, Liam says, I found something. He's made a bit of a boo-boo. 
He says, I, uh, Elle, I apologise, I thought we'd sold out the 8 mil Tiffany Opals. Okay. How many have you got? There are a few. Okay. A very, very, very few. For whatever reason, a couple have sold, uh, a couple have fallen back into the vault. So we, saw, we brought this strand. I haven't got it here. Now, oh, we've got the recording. Okay, so we can show you this. That's 8 millimeter Tiffany Opal. So we brought this last week, Liam. And we thought they sold out. For whatever reason, one or two has fallen back into the vault. Because the 10 millimeter that you've just seen sold out so quickly, I don't want anyone to be disappointed. Um, here's your, well, sort of uh, second chance, really, that we have. And, and it's probably the last chance, last chance saloon to actually get hold of Tiffany Opal. Highly, unlike, highly, highly unlikely that I'll be able to bring this gemstone to air because the mine is gone. Um, what's in the market is what's in the market. If we do see it, if we do see it, uh, um, if we do see it thereafter, then it's probably, it's a fair assumption, would we all agree, going to be at a higher premium. These are your 8 mil rounds, so if you missed out on the 10 mil, which how many people missed out? Way over 100 people, Liam's saying. We're going to go straight down because we don't have a huge quantity. Again, worthwhile getting a certificate of authenticity because it is Tiffany Opal, and that's really important to actually sort of highlight that's unbelievable. Liam, I'll repeat what I said earlier on. I launched Tiffany Opal with Marie um, some couple of years ago, I think it was, and they were like 50, 60 pounds. Unbelievable. We're at 10 pounds for a gemstone. A gemstone, natural combination of gemstones, which is not being unearthed anymore. News broke. I'll read that paragraph. No longer coming from the mind. Once the existing supply within the market is exhausted, it's gone. There we go. It's gone. Highly unlikely that we're actually going to see this anytime, um, any uh, anytime soon. Um, wowzers, wowzers. I hope you, uh, if you've got a phone in your hand, please do stay where you are. We are busy across the Gemporia partnership at the moment. So there's about a four minute queue, but don't worry. We know that you are there. You still have got the opportunity to get hold of these, but I would definitely suggest if you can go in on the website or the app. Um, if you have got uh, it in your baskets online, then again, make sure you check out because Tiffany Opal, uh, the, I mean, I would, I don't want you to miss out. Over 100 people missed out on the 10 millimeter rounds. This is the eight mils that we thought we sold out of last week. And we had just a few of them actually uh, sort of uh, fall back into the vault. Um, hello to you, Mandy. Uh, who is most likely to spontaneously start dancing around the office? Oh, I did that yesterday. Randomly. I don't know. Who's a, who's a spontaneous dancer? Hmm. Uh, Liam's a spontaneous singer. I guess they probably me. I probably would. Yeah, yeah. I used to go. I used to go into the office and sing to some of the office crew. Yeah, I always do my break out my mum dance. Every so often, have a little dance. I used to go in. And, yeah. <laughs> if my husband, if my husband was watching right now, he was cringing. He's like, stop it. If I do it at home, he's like, stop it with the shoulders, will you? Stop it. And I do it all the more just to make it embarrass him. Yes, I'm a spontaneous dancer. Um, I used to go in and dance and sing to some of the office crew. Um, yeah, I haven't done that in a while. And that's the virus's fault, though, I think. I would do. Nine, 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 these are good. These are good questions, aren't they? These are really good questions. Uh, but to be fair, I think we're all pretty spontaneous. Spontaneous. Jenny probably would do something like that as well. Carol, would she dance? No, she's a singer, isn't she? I think Carol's definitely a singer. Um, okay, down to the last few of these remaining. Hayley, Linda, uh, Carol, all good luck because it's, it's still in your baskets. Hello to you, Collector, saying, if time and money were no ob object, which new hobby would you like to take up? Travel. Is that a hobby? It can be a hobby. Yeah, I just I want a hobby of going on holidays. Money, was, okay, new hobby. Um, I'd like to be able to facet gemstones. I suppose that would be quite expensive to learn. I don't know. What would you? What if money was no object? What hobby would you take up, Liam? Yours would be something daredevil, daredevil, wouldn't it? Or flight, skydiving, or to be a pilot. He'd like to train to be a pilot. What would you like to do? I'd, I'd like to do racing, car racing. Car racing. That's a good answer. That is a good answer. You do love the Formula One, don't you? Guaranteed to send me to sleep, that is. <laughs> it must be the sound.
Um, okay, what have you... How, where have you found this? Okay, Liam, Liam has just had a conversation with Wayne. Now, this was reserved for a forthcoming deal of the day, so we've had it from the initial launch. Is, has he given you permission to play it now? It is so, so exclusive. I can't believe he's even said yes. Deal of the days, let me just, just, just emphasise, deal of the days are scheduled months in advance, and that is, this is the last that we actually have. I'm amazed that we're even allowed it to be truthful because your deal of the days are you do not touch those as product because they're scheduled, planned, purchased for in advance. However, Wayne has said you can do it right now. I don't even have it here in the studio. We're going to have to go off a recording on this one. Oh, my goodness me. So this was planned for a deal of the day a few weeks uh, in the future. We're bringing it to now because basically they're all selling out. So it's almost a case of, okay, well, everyone's there. Everyone wants the Tiffany Opal. Let's do it at the same time. It makes sense, I suppose. And it is only fair. I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. That is natural. A rare, beautiful fusion, a, a mixture of minerals uh, that have occurred solely by Mother Nature in one location on the planet. Um, it consists of fluorite and opal, sometimes referred to as ice cream opal or opalized fluorite, found in only uh, the Brush, Wellm and Beryllium mines in, to uh, in Utah, western Utah. And it is composed predominantly of opal and fluorite, obviously. Just consider for a second whilst you're all dialing through. You have a seam of opal, which doesn't actually have a crystal structure. It's actually a gemstone that originates from silica water over, over, over thousands upon thousands of years. Then you have fluorite, which does have a crystal structure. I mean, you have those two beautiful rare uh, gemstones that haven't run sort of in the same vicinity of. The seams have literally merged. It's not been re constituted it's not been brassiated it hasn't been uh, pieced together in the mosaic it's all down to mother nature and it's one locational but the most important information that you need to know right now jury makers is that there is no longer any tiffany opal coming from that mine so once the existing supply within the gem market is exhausted it is gone it is gone completely I'm not saying that we can't get hold of Tiffany Opal in the future. We possibly could. If anyone could, I think uh, jury maker could. However, if the mine is completely exhausted and gone and there is no other mine to actually go to, what do you think those suppliers are going to do with their price per carat? It's going to skyrocket, exactly. Now, when I launched it some f two, three years ago alongside Marie, we had a strand like this, you know, Liam. We had a strand like this. It was shorter. Firstly, it's quite what is it? Well, I think we called them like the samples lengths, um, and it was fifty pounds. Liam says we can beat that. You're getting sixty carats of large pendants, thirty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Oh, wait a minute! It's a deal of the day, of course. Are you going to do the deal of the day price tag then? Okay. Let's do it. 60 seconds onto your screen, jewelry makers. For those of you that are completely loving the obsession of Tiffany Opal, and it has taken, by the way, the, uh, so the collectors, the connoisseurs, gemstone world by storm. Um, it's fascinating to see the rarity of fluorite. It's fascinating to see the rarity of opal. But imagine those two, which have almost morphed together to create an entirely brand new gemstone. Naturally, in 35 seconds, we are going to take what is a deal of the day for the future, right here, right now. Um, so make sure you make the most of it. How many did we have actual quantity-wise for that deal of the day? 103. It's actually a very limited deal of the day, but then it is Tiffany's opal. Let's not get complacent here. Um, what? What can't you change? Okay, don't worry, there's the quantity, we have 104. 
Oh, we haven't got that now. For some reason, our, our graphics are just having a funny five minutes. I think because we bombarded them. The only Tiffany Opal drops that I can get my hands on, jewelry makers, beautiful, beautiful, natural fusion of color. The purple, of course, is that wonderful Tiffany Opal, um, fluor is the fluorite. Um, the beautiful creamy white is from the actual Opal. Again, it's a natural fusion, 1999. 1999 for this wonderful rarity from this one locational opportunity it'll go beautifully alongside the rounds that you've had in the eight mil or the ten mils um, but it's last chance saloon really and that might sound very dramatic i don't mean it to the reality is though i can bring you i can bring you i can bring you opal i can bring you fluorite i can't bring you tiffany opal which is basically the combination of the two or it's very unlikely that i'll be doing that in the future hello rachel uh who's the female Feeder. Yeah, me. I do feed people. I like feeding. Um, I haven't done that for a while, though. We had a nice little picnic in the garden, didn't we, the other day? Rub, uh, the weather's kind of prevented that. Yeah, you've just reminded me. I think I need to feed them again. <laughs> feed them again. Bake a cake. I'll get Tom to bake the cake, actually, and bring someone in. Yeah, I do like feeding people. I like, I, I, like, uh, I, like, I like cooking and things like that. I'm not the best cook. I'm sure Adam is by far the best. Um, but, yeah, I like feeding people. Who's the grumpiest? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Uh, yeah, Paul's not grumpy, even though we joke about it. He isn't actually grumpy. Who's the grumpiest? Uh, Bruce, yeah, Bruce. Tom Stewart, a little bit. <laughs> uh, Wayne has his moments. I could be grumpy. I think we all can. I could be grumpy as well, to be fair. Uh, and to be fair, if I've got it on me, you can't half tell. <laughs> it's written all over my face. Written all over my face. Are you all right, Al? Yes. <laughs> I'm a sulker as well. Again, to a fault, that is. Um, keep, those, uh, uh, keep those confirmations coming through. A few more kits to actually bring you. Now, oh, can we do the tiger's eye? This is gorgeous. I'll be purchasing this kit solely for that strand, but to be truthful, they're all amazing. Um, okay, let's do this gorgeous star cut tiger's eye kit. That's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Liam, now, just to recap, everybody, we are doing it with these kits too, aren't we? Because we haven't got a guest designer today, um, unable to actually attend, we're going to give them to you at apology, uh, apology prices. So, um, going so, so, so low. Alison, what has what our lovely Alison made? Um, ah! Oh, so that's on the wire, isn't it, as well? She's done a lovely little bubble star bracelets on the wire. With the little, can you see, you've got the S hook at the top there as well. And that's not a wrap loop. Those are those little spirals, those little coils. Um, so you're getting the wire too in this kit. That's 0.6 in your rose gold colored copper wire. So you're getting that. You've also got some really beautiful sunstone in your six mil rounds. You've also got some absolutely amazing bronzite, which we don't see very often. And you've got your smoky quartz. I love this kit. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, perfect here, little bubble style bracelets like Alison's made. Um, but again, Marla's all of the above. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So I, I, that's that's instead of doing the wrap loop, that's like the little spiral, so it creates a little cluster of um, of rose quartz luster. Your safari chic. Seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence for four strands of natural, genuine gemstones. Is that right? Oh, hang on a minute. Is the smoky quartz natural? Uh, okay, so that's the one which is actually treated. Your uh, tiger's eye natural, bronzite natural, sunstone uh, is, is natural. And of course, you also get your wire as well. Loving this color combination. Really beautiful, earthy, like shade. Uh, a mixture of your cuts and shapes as well. Apology price point. So what should this have been then, Liam? $24.99. $24.99, but that's one, two, three, four, five components at working out at £3.60. Is that right? About £3.60 per component, approximately. Um, yeah, purely because our lovely... £3.60, as if I did that in my head. Um, purely because our Alison actually can't be with us today. Uh, keep on dialing through, um, because I've got two more kits to actually bring you. Did you think I was going to launch that over at you? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Okay. 
The next kit includes your 925 sterling silver wire. Ooh, this is lovely. The combination, uh, multicolour gemstone strand you've actually got here. So a mixture of your lovely jasper, howlite, I can see in there as well. You've got matte and polish textures, isn't it? can you see there? Matte polish and polish uh, gems. You have your black rutile quartz and definitely the star show in my eyes is that amazing look at the tourmaline oh my goodness me faceted cube tourmaline strand plus the 925 sterling silver as well again natural gemstones that you're looking at here with your black rutile you get these really striking like impressionist art uh, patterns in the gemstone multicolored tourmaline again in this uh, in your faceted cubes yeah look at that liam I, for this strand on its own can i don't want to you to think that i'm being I don't know, I don't need to think that I'm being insulting to those gemstones because I'm definitely not. But look at this strand of tourmaline over the rainbow. You've got ruby-like colours in here. You've got chrome tourmaline. You've got your, your beautiful, rich, cinnamon-like shades. This is the star of the show for me and I've got no idea what Liam's taken it to. It should have been, should have been, still at a saving, should be an over £30, 30 pound kit. The nature, the fact that you actually have your, uh, your multicoloured tourmaline in coins. When do we ever see that? But, like I said earlier on, Alison's not with us. It might seem like a little random price point, but we're doing it purely because... It's a different masterclass to what we would normally expect. £23 only. That quality of, ru uh, of, of sorry, tourmaline. Saw the hot pink, saw rubellite. Um, and of course you're getting all the other gemstones and the 925 sterling silver wire. All three strands for £23. I'd happily pay that for the tourmaline. We said earlier on that a metre of your point, what, eight, what measurement is it? Um, your point six sterling silver wire, you're talking about, what was it, £12.99 on a good day? That, that would be maybe at a star buy or maybe tied within a bundle. Um, normally £14.99. But for the strand of the tourmaline for £23, so beautiful. Have we got any makes from this kit? Um, so Alison actually had these and we have actually got photographs of some of her creations so much potential so much potential um, Wowzers She's used the actual rounds in a bead loom, separated each of the gemstones. She's put the tourmaline at the front, creating, you know, like us, she's thinking the star of the show for sure. And then you have the black rutile quartz, which are actually uh, sort of back of the neckline. £23 only um, for all four high-end components with your 925 sterling silver. Your rutile, uh, your rutile quartz, your beautiful uh, multi-gem multi strand as well, plus also uh, the tourmaline itself, that feature strand. I mean, tourmaline is an expensive gemstone, um, especially when you've got hot pinks like, like at the centre of the screen right now. But faceted cubes, when do we see faceted cubes? We don't, you're right, yeah, we don't. And that on its own at £23 would be absolutely amazing. We've gone even beyond the savings of your usual kits, which is incredible, by the way. But we don't have the designer here, so basically we go, oh, let's do something even extra naughty. We have had permission, by the way, from the kit team to do that. Hello to you, Esamine. Hello to you, Geraldine. Hello to you, Rwanti, Sheila, Manchester, Susan, Jane, uh, Donna, Lisa, new customers, Sander, Sa Sharon. I've got two, two, yes, two more kits to bring you. Okay. This one, definitely got a bit of a holiday vibe, this one. That was my holiday dance. <laughs> it was a bit Strictly, wasn't it? Oh, I'd love to do Strictly. I think I'd be so bad, though. I reckon I'd probably do... Oh, was it Dancing on Ice? No, it was Strictly, with Anne Widdicombe when she just kind of went skidding across the floor. That would be me. I'd do something like that. This is so beautifully tropical. This lovely colourway, vibrant orange. You've mixed again your faceted rounds, um, and that's in your. Uh, you've got blue magnesite, orange magnesite, um, and sodalite faceted rounds as well. So really pretty. Oh, and another one. Sorry, I beg your pardon. That's beautiful, isn't it? Still not done though, because you've actually got your uh, wire. This is non-tarnished wire. Um, if I actually tilt it forward, you can see non-tarnished round. Last wire. Um, 
five meters of your 0.6 so you know sometimes jewelry does tarnish from time to time especially if you wear it a lot if you put perfumes and hairspray and things like that it can tarnish this is anti-tarnish um uh, for 14 pounds sorry 99 pence for the four strands plus also the spool of your five meter brass wire anti-tarnish wire this is tropicana Club Tropicana drinks are free. We all wanted to sing it, didn't we? If you weren't already. Um, loving those beautiful, vibrant colours. Amazing, amazing, amazing uh, deal and price point for these. Again, there's lots of potential that you can do with your classic six mil rounds. Um, and we'll, of course, still upload Alison's makes um, onto... Uh, onto uh, Facebook, etc. Okay, let's do... What, sorry? Oh, Liam, natural ruby, boomy sapphire coming up in the next hour. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. Look at this. Now, I was talking about tiger's eye. It's a gemstone, again, in Chinese culture that is incredibly significant and poignant um, because they consider tigers to be the king of all beasts, the master of protection, um, and also meant to sort of uh, bring... In terms of your gemstone, tiger's eye is meant to bring the wearer courage um, to achieve and to aspire. Now, tiger's eye also responds really well to the dying process because you might think that it would mask that chatoyancy. In actual fact, it highlights the chatoyancy in the gemstone. They're utterly, utterly beautiful, aren't they? These are 10 millimeter rounds, uh, purple tiger's eye. We actually had a purple tiger's eye opportunity not so long ago and they flew out the door. They would look sensational, I think, with your Tiffany opal, don't you think? Or maybe alongside your Russian Amber's Night that we had earlier on, just contrasting those together. Really pretty. It's definitely been added to my order. Tiger's Eye, full of chatoyancy, that natural phenomena effect. Should we take it to a brand new all-time low? For 10 millimeter, purple Tiger's Eye. This would be £14.99. In my head, that sits comfortably. £7.99 today. Marlers, stretchies, macrame, um, let me see, rosary linking, uh, on your elastics for sure. There's so much potential. They could be the guru beads. They could be uh, just one, if you like, on a piece of leather for your gents' jewellery as well. Because let's be honest, uh, we get spoilt a lot, ladies, in gemstones. It's lovely to be able to see gemstones like Tiger's Eye that gents can absolutely wear. You know, one with the technique that Lucy demonstrated earlier on in the show. A little bit of macrame either side. Really lovely in gents' jewellery in your... Uh, but at the same time, I'd wear it too. I definitely wear the purple tiger's eye. It, look how it elevates. It absolutely elevates the chatoyancy. Jane, Cardiff, Julie, Lisa, Kim, Maureen, Jane, James, Dorothy, new customer, Kaylee, congratulations to you. It is busy on the phone lines. I can see there is a little bit of a queue. Thank you so much for your patience. Our call centre are, are amazing and they're keeping up with how, how busy it is. We're giving you rock bottom deals. This is actually sort of a very unplanned, almost clearance show um, because it's not how we actually had planned it unforeseen circumstances so basically we've taken things down to yeah silly deals just like this just like this amazing absolutely amazing okay keep on dialing through keep dialing through because you might have noticed i kind of paused and hesitated for a little bit there uh we spoke about Tiffany Opal and the fact that that mine is gone. It's gone, it's deplete. What's in the market is in the market. Should we do it go to another mine? Not gemstone, the gemstone's still available um, around the world. However, the Mahenge mine is gone completely. I'm about to bring you natural purity of color. This is something uh, for those people that really want the finest quality gemstones. This next star buy is it. Um, so for those of you that have heard of Mahenge Spinel, maybe you've watched our sister channel. Um, I know that they do some or had some uh, amazing collections of Mahenge Spinel jewellery. Um, it is the location that arguably put uh, 
coloured spinel on the map. And that's not just me saying that, that's actually documented by the GIA and also uh, certainly the jewellery editor. They wrote about how it was mehenge spinel, the vibrancy and the purity, those are two words that I used on the introduction to this opportunity, that made the entire gem world sort of sit up and take stock. Now, if you, for one second, think purple sapphire, how does mehenge purple spinel actually sort of pip it to the post? We talk about a purity. Often with certain gemstones, you get secondary colors, pleochros and triochros, which are absolutely beautiful. But if you're looking for a purity of one saturation, then spinel is absolutely one of the gemstones for you to go to. Now, I'm going to show you. Are we starting with the oval, Liam? Okay. So... The sole reason that people are familiar now, or many people are actually familiar, with natural purple or other coloured spinels is because of the Mehenge mine. Um, with breathtaking quality that surpassed, it's, you know, th this location surpassed the quality of many other mines, if not all other mines around the world. Big news of its discovery in 2000, in August 2007, um, hit the gem market. Very large, amazing specimens of spinel crystal, much like this, erupted into the gem world. Um, Tucson went crazy for it. However, for yield, for top quality yield like this, um, there was only a few, a, a tiny percentage of gemstones actually uh, being available on the market. What is so exciting about Mahenge Spinel is that high in saturation that you're seeing here. You can find hot pinks, deep purples, even unique neon-like colours. Um, but with very little secondary colours, they talk about purity. There's no greys, there's no browns, there's no secondary hues um, like you might find in other sources of Spinel around the world. Though the miners in that location have searched extensively in and around the surrounding areas for this very material... Um, it seems to be a one-of-a-kind discovery. Uh, this is not unusual with this exceptionally fine quality gemstones. It happened with Kashmir in the Sapphire, for sure, Brazil in Tourmaline, of course. But prices rocketed because of the rarity and the sheer quality. And it is said, uh, it is said that it's only a matter of time that Mahenge Spinel will actually be available within the market or maybe through the likes of Sotheby's or Christie's. This mine is closed. There is no more, it's no longer being mined, it's no longer being unearthed from the ground, which is a real shame because, as I said, it has a supremacy above all other spinels around the world. And it is the location that really put coloured spinel on the map. You're about to get the opportunity to purchase a perfect 50 point half carat natural Mahenge spinel. Now, let's be really, really ruthless. Can you find any imperfections? Can you find any inclusions or any window of gemstone? No, nor me. Nor me. This is a gem that I think would absolutely sit firmly within your most finest gemstone and jewellery acquisitions. The mine is gone. You can read about it on the GIA website, the fact that this is this is the location that put Mahenge Spinel on the map. Um, it was only 2000 and, uh, 2007 that that location was actually uh, discovered. Look at that purity of colour. So, I mean, I can bring you Spinel from other locations. They're still absolutely pretty, uh, beautiful, um, but they sometimes have a secondary hue of grey, sometimes have a secondary hue of brown this is pure vibrant natural purple natural the gemstone that that you know spinel used to be hugely overlooked by the likes of sapphires and colored diamonds we used to overlook this beautiful gemstone it has a natural beauty and here we are bringing it to you at a 69 pounds and 99 price tag we can't purchase mehenge spinel i don't believe don't quote me i don't believe even our sister channel actually has mehenge spinel within their collection at the moment it might be something that they've been hot they're sitting on and they're they're planning for the future i'm not entirely sure but one thing i can guarantee is that the mine is gone um, there is nothing else being unearthed from this location and it is regarded as the best in the world you are getting a perfect perfect half carat solitaire We have 50 of these available in the world.
That's it. That is it. Look at the quality of your Mahenge Spinel. A classic 7x5 millimeter calibration. We talk about heirlooms and legacy. This is absolutely one of those. If there are any of these left, I am for sure joining you on it. Um, I don't have Mahenge Spinel, sadly. Hopefully today is the day that we actually change that jewelry makers for us all. You can still get this home on your split pay. Natural purity of your color. It's discovery, as I sense, an absolute a hive of, um, of excitement in the gemstone world and the Tucson Fair. It was all about Mahenge Spinel. There are gemstones really that become the, that uh, sort of that, that, that most desired gem, the most featured and talked about gemstone in these, in these big events. I'm certain if, again, Jake was with us right now, he'd be going crazy about this. I know that Spinel is one of his absolute favorite gemstones. And here we are at 69. <clears throat> $69.99 only. There are just a few of these available. Oh my goodness, are you doing it, Liam? If you've been thinking, Elle, you're, you're, you're kind of rabbiting on there for a second, that's because what you might not know, jewelry makers, is behind the scenes, Liam actually texted Wayne, our gemstone buyer, who would probably have actually sourced these for you and said, can I do something extra special for the final few? There's 50 of them in the vault. That's not many. Bearing in mind that I know, without even asking the question, that we, we won't be able to purchase Mahenge Spinel. It's, it, the mine is gone. It closed. It closed. I think it was around 2012, I think. Don't quote me on that one. But yeah, the mine is already gone. Certainly when I was uh, actually presenting on our sister channel, the, the, the mine had closed at that point. We're not going to stop at $69.99. We are going to take this lower. We're going to keep that split pay onto your screen. This is one of those opportunities that really only comes around once or twice in any lifetime. Natural, beautiful purple spinel. Natural. Most sapphire, most purple sapphires certainly would have undergone some kind of treatment. Um, we have 50 of these available. It's a one-time opportunity not to be repeated, and I think we need to stand firm on that one as well. Oh, my goodness me. That would be the most beautiful. Can, put me, can you put me down for a few of these, Liam? If I can. I mean, I collect gemstones. It's not about the actual piece of jewellery in this case that I can potentially make. It's about the acquisition of the gemstone itself. Sorry, I'm trying desperately to open this now. I'm super excited for you all to get a perfect 50 point, a f perfect 50 point solitaire. I'm just going to take this out so I can actually show it in as, as a finished piece of jewellery almost. We can imagine it, can't we, as a finished piece of jewellery. Natural, natural Mahenge Spinel. Absolutely unbelievable. You do need to check out your baskets though. That is a bonkers one time only ever 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 deal that if you know we can bring you certain gemstones which will be you know 10 pounds 20 pounds mahenge spinel does not sit in that does not sit in that kind of that grade look at that as a finished piece of jewelry can you imagine the four figure price tag that it can and should actually command that's not a gemstone which has been heat treated. It hasn't been fissure filled. It is all solely mother nature. And it is Mahenge Spinel, that location, that mine, which firmly, firmly put Spinel, collared Spinel actually on the market. We've traveled to that location. I know that it's, uh, it's um, uh, John Soul, is that right? John Sol, that's actually responsible for uh, the collared Mahenge Spinel, um, invested hugely owned by Mark Soul, um, that, that actually invested in uh, your Mahenge Spinel. And at one point, it became no longer financially viable to continue mining this gemstone. That's not to say that there's no more of it in the ground, but so little of it was coming from the ground that it couldn't, it, it couldn't be sustained. $39.99 to be able to bring you this beautiful, beautiful quality. 20 of you have this in your basket. Please don't wait. 50 now. There we go. Okay, we only had 50 from the very beginning, and you've still got it on your split pay. You can get this home that fine mehenge quality that deep purity of color that vibrancy with zero secondary hues 
You can get it home for £13.33. Pence. Carola, Russell, Karen, hello to you, Stella, guest designer, Caro, hello, lovely. Um, make sure you check out to get yours. Alison, Denise, Lorraine, Sally, you're there as well. Um, we've got multi buyers. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to be getting a few of them because I'm thinking now, at that price point, it could be a potential suite, couldn't it? Now, I have one more Mahenge Spinel to bring you. Unbelievable, that is. Natural. Bearing in mind these are natural, and obviously you get a difference in your saturation colours. Is that... Okay. Thirty-five carats. Sorry, points. We wish. We wish. Can you imagine the price tag if it was 35 carats? Millions, yeah, absolutely, for Mahenge Spinel. Big news of its discovery in August 2007. Several large spinel crystals uh, erupted into the gemstone world, um, quickly uh, elevating the, the status of Mahenge spinel. Though the yield of top quality of rough was only a few percent. Like this, I would definitely regard that as top quality. There are very few inclusions within this round brilliant cut. What is so exciting about this material of Mahenge spinel is the high intense natural saturation. You get colours like hot pinks, deep purples, vibrant blues even from this mine with a neon like glow. The colour is pure with zero to uh, zero grey or brown secondary hues which is found in a lot of spinels in different locations. The colour is consistent. Um, yeah, and I can't believe, to be truthful, what we're actually about to do. It is a staggering 35-point natural 5-millimeter Mahenge Spinel. That, by the way, is approximately the size of my engagement ring. Uh, approximately. So if you can imagine that in a classic four-pronged Tiffany setting, imagine how beautiful that would be. £24.99. pence. Oh, my goodness me. It was last on your screens at £39.99. It's at this present moment in time I start feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous in the fact that our sister channel could be watching right now and they're thinking, that's Mahenge Spinel. Seriously, that should be set into gold and it should absolutely be commanded a much higher price tag. It's certainly one of the most, uh, most exceptionally beautiful natural ge colour gemstones that you could acquire. Like I said, it is this location that put the, 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 the Spinel, coloured Spinel, on the map because of the quality that was coming and being unearthed from that location. Um, again, new customers, make sure you check out your baskets. Hello to you all. Keep on dialing through. I'm going to leave the final couple of opportunities. That is a one time, uh, sort of a, uh, you know, one of those opportunities that we can't afford to miss out on. Now, gosh, one final hour. Um, we're going to be bringing the lovely Wayne into the studio, Jewelry Makers. I would have brought more, but it's like they heard that I wanted them to come in the studio and everyone decided to work from home. Not Wayne, sorry. Liam. Liam, you are, aren't you? He's going to come in for a bit. He's going to come in for a bit. Don't go anywhere there because we've also got the launch of Russian Emerald happening. Natural Ruby, Burmese Sapphire. Oh, it's going to be unbelievable. We've even got, we've got some what? Paparaccia Sapphire. It's all about your beautiful high-end uh, high strands in the next hour at affordable prices. We'll be back after this. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you purchase an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Are you busy very busy which is nice to have an events company that's busy coming out the other side of a pandemic just th mm. just thinking about well mm. you, might, oh, don't, that? Might, no, you <laughs> might be you might not be just well, thinking next wednesday what are you up to 
next Wednesday. Let me look at the calendar. Oracle. Oh, I'm very grown up these days. I have to have a calendar Go to on, keep what track. Are you doing? What am I doing? Meet and go and have I coffee? Reckon, no. I reckon. A what? Can you come in to work, to jewelry maker? What, for a cup of tea? To do the show with me. <laughs> Should we eat some cake? Oh my God, we'll have to eat cake. I can't eat any more cake, but yeah, we'll eat cake. We'll Should eat we do cake. it? Next Wednesday? Well, will I be allowed? Yes! Yes! Should we do it? On Wednesday? Wednesday. You're on? Let's do it. We're on. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. This is exciting and actually I'm really pleased that we, we showed a uh, fantastic Jake there because I know that this will be something that will be would excite him as well. Um, Russian emerald. Now, I'm, forgive me if I'm saying this incorrectly. Whilst it has been around for centuries, this location has been uh, celebrated for uh, for the quality of emeralds that was discovered in around the Ural Mountains for for hundreds of years. I, I do believe here at Jewelry Maker, this might be one of the only opportunities, if if not the first opportunity, that we've actually given it to you to purchase. Um, and we are talking fine pedigree of, uh, of location of source here. So much so that the GIA actually wrote about it. And I have got some slides that I can show you um, about that. So this is actually off the GIA website. This is not my PowerPoint. This is from the GIA themselves um, that, that write about uh, the Ural, Ural Mountains. 
Uh, so, an update on the Ural em Emerald Mines. The Emeralds of the Ural Mountains, in what uh, is now called the Russian Federation, have been known for more than 160 years. They were famous worldwide during the early part of the 20th century. However, because of little information, we often find that, by the way, with, genuine, with, with uh, Russian gemstones, um, little information was, uh, was made available about these deposits. Many new gem industries concluded that they'd actually been exhausted, so they thought that was it. They thought Russia an emerald from the Ural mountain mines were gone completely. However, however, um, we have discovered that they have reopened four of the mines which promise to increase the commercial production of this gemstone or of this source of gemstone. Uh, so here are a few examples. Now, again, this is from the GIA website, and it's showcasing um, a few of your Russian emeralds. As you can see, one of the things, uh, some of the qualities that you get of Russian emerald is a really deep, intense saturation. That, alongside beautiful clarity, which clarity is not something that generally we use um, when discussing uh, emeralds. It's not a, a trait or a characteristic that emeralds generally have. They're expected to have inclusions, or what we refer to as le jardin in particular but notice how these have got just beautiful almost eye clean clarity and that is something that is synonymous to in particular uh, the Russian deposit mine itself so as you can see beautiful high-end pieces of jewelry even in its rough crystal form I mean this is a large Russian emerald crystal which is still embedded um, into the rough itself that's a picture from Richard Hughes uh, Richard W Hughes um, he's arguably probably one of the most influential names um, in the colored gemstone world. Uh, it's his book that Jake always references. And it's him that's talking about the deposits that you're about to get the opportunity to purchase as well. So here we go. Again, this is on the GIA website. It's worth noting, and this is something that, this is the sentence really that I took away from the, you know, this article. It's quite lengthy, so I've just sort of, uh, sort of snapshotted just a few of the most important sort of pieces of information for you. It's worth noting that Russian stones saw bright colours and very high clarity. I mean, I have never seen emeralds with such an intensity as what's pictured here. Um, the one, the emerald cut in the centre there, look at that secondary hue of blue. Um, in the round brilliant cut, I've never seen emerald display such brilliance as, as those, but whilst maintaining that intense saturation. And they are natural, by the way, completely natural, with zero filling um, in any of those. It's not unusual to have an emerald where those cracks that you sometimes see in the gemstone but will be fissure filled to improve the clarity itself. So it's really key that we notice that the Russian deposits, um, which are, like I said, they were thought to have been depleted. That was an assumption that was actually made. Um, there are, we have confirmation that there are a few mines actually now open, um, but they're famed and celebrated uh, for these beautiful and vibrant colours. Now, this channel, um, Liam you, Liam, you have actually worked on this channel. You know when you were saying about the hand models to me? They actually have hand models. So you have the presenter um, who's talking. They have a hand model. Um, so you don't see them. You don't see them, you just see their hand. Um, Liam has actually worked with the person, uh, with the presenter here. This is a USA channel, and I thought, I'm going to take a, a screen grab of that as well. So I watched it. This is, as you can see, an estate Russian emerald ring. I was telling Tom about that story, actually, Liam, last night. Um, featuring, as you can see, a fine quality, vibrant Russian emerald. But notice the price. That is... What it sold for, by the way, what's on its screens on your screens right now, fifty-seven thousand U.S. dollars. Um, and they do what? Sorry. They offer, yeah. So, so what? So they do it almost like you would do if you were at Sotheby's or um, any of those places. It's like people will message in and go, okay, I'll offer this, and then base as you can see the one thousand. What is it? How do they increment? So they'll uh, you can actually jump on top. It's a, like a live auction, quite literally. So we they're not we they don't do the prices. It's actually offered into. I mean, I have to tell you that is a stunning, stunning piece of jewelry. But fifty seven thousand US dollars for not a Colombian emerald, not for a Zambian emerald, for a Russian emerald. And by the way, insane diamonds either side. It is this, this location 
that took that feature, um, that feature stone in this estate piece of jewellery. So again, let's go back. Vibrant greens with incredible, incredible clarity. Russian emeralds have been around for some 160 years and it is known to hold the supremacy. One of the most precious of all your gemstones, emerald, absolutely is. It has rich hues, virtually synonymous to the colour of green. In the world of emeralds, whilst Colombian mines do reign supreme, it's true no other region in the world produces the quantity of that quality. However, that's not to overlook other countries. Other countries do produce fine quality emeralds, like what's on our screens right now, Russian emeralds, Zambian emeralds, Brazilian emeralds, Af uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Z uh, Zimbabwe, uh, all produce fine quality as well, just not to the same volume that maybe Colombia does. And that's one of the only reasons, really, that Colombian emerald is sort of hailed, if you like, as the finest quality. It's also down to the quantity that they, they produce of this quality. Russia has been an important source of emeralds since its discovery, um, alongside gemstones like Alexandrite. Um, it's found in a location, and forgive my pronunciation here, uh, at the Tokovia River alongside uh, Malishiva. That's where this deposit actually is. Um, and what is most obvious, like I said, is that really beautiful, intense colour. The brightness with a high level of clarity, um, often surpassing other locations as well. This, to my knowledge, and it is to my knowledge, is the first time that we've brought you Russian Emerald here at Jewelry Maker. To my knowledge. And I have it in three strands. Three strands. It's three strands, isn't it? One strand. I beg your pardon. Are you ready? I almost put, I almost put another slide on the end, and I so wish I did. There was a, a website called Gem Pundit. If you look on there for Russian emerald, look at the quality. They were like 500 pounds, 500 US dollars for different carat weights. Again, you'll notice the color. You'll notice the clarity. And you'll notice that it rivals exactly what you're about to see in this star by opportunity. I beg your pardon, this is the only strand of Russian emerald that I have. I thought I had a little, a little parcel. Look at that clarity. Oh my goodness me, the only strand that we have available of Russian emerald. How many then, Liam? 30 in the world. Again, look at that beautiful, vibrant glow, that wonderful, rich, very distinctive emerald green color, teamed with clarity, which is completely and utterly un unprecedented. We are gonna make this opportunity available to you all. It is natural Russian emerald. That's unbelievable, that lever of clar clarity. We don't often see that. You've got a really beautiful, delicate, secondary hue of blue coming through. Something, again, an attribute that Colombian emerald absolutely is hailed for. Um, but they don't, you don't see the quantity. You don't see the quantity of Russian emerald in the mine um, of this caliber anyway because so little of it actually comes from the locations itself. We have only a handful of these opportunities available. O stands for oiling, which is, uh, yeah, it's natural basically. It stands for oiling. We just put it across the surface of the gemstone. It's like you and I put moisturizer on the morning. I say that every single day. You're about to get the opportunity to purchase 10 carats of natural Russian Russian emerald in this exquisite clarity, the only strand I have, not the £57,000, and I'm not making direct comparisons, obviously, but it's the same pedigree location. We're at 199 for 10 carats. 10 carats of arguably one of the most precious of all your colored gemstones in the world from what, whatever location. And yet, we are absolutely nowhere near done. We are taking this under £100. I'll put that out there. It is going to a double-figure price tag. Wayne, if, the, if, if, if was it Wayne that bought this? Yeah, Wayne, this is insane. I would love to be able to do an entire hour of Russian Emerald. The reality is it's probably not going to happen. Oh, gosh, just a few of you are going to be able to purchase this. They were, what, 30, did you say? 
30 of these available in the vault at 49 pounds and 99 pence clarity of emerald which is completely unrivaled in my opinion surpassing the quality uh, for that attribute to many other locations around the world i don't think many colombian emeralds would actually bring you this level of clarity certainly not on under 50 pounds there were 30 of these available in the vault we have absolute connoisseurs I mean, again this is heirloom legacy jewelry the final 20 of these susan jane county durham karen moray sorry you've done it london congratulations to you gloucestershire there hampshire there surrey's there another durham's there west midlands is there as well we only have 30 of these available look at that beautiful presence and glow I mean, i'm casting my mind back to when i actually uh sort of spoke to a family friend who's got a jewelers in wales back in wales still a family friend's one of my dad's best friends and he said he was him that talked to me about emerald for the very first time and he actually said l the most important important thing that an emerald can have is a presence that's always stuck with me and this definitely it, it absolutely absolutely exudes presence I've got a couple of those left so I'll leave it with you good luck to each and every single one of you that really is sensational now we do have a couple of other emerald opportunities goodness me this is Brazilian emerald again I wouldn't have thought that because of the actual color Brazilian emerald can be a bit darker um, normally I would say like a forest green definitely not here again that lovely vibrancy it's brand new I've got a big quantity of these natural Brazilian emerald in your beauty I want this strand that's lovely isn't it yeah, that's really beautiful and so much potential in terms of what I can make out of this as well um, Yeah, just a couple in like a trilogy ring would be beautiful alongside your wire work uh, restranding quite simply restranding on some of your flex right or your beading thread and um, this is a brand new premiere opportunity and i want to make one of the most precious of all your colored gemstones i, I never believed that i would own per emerald did you did you ever think that you'd be able to purchase emerald um i didn't because i always realized it was so expensive um it was going to be one of those gemstones that was maybe an aspirational uh, purchase something that i if I'm, i might be lucky enough to possibly actually um in Inherit at some point uh, but actually thanks to the wonderful jewel maker we can own that luxury we can own that beautiful uh, beautiful patterning that occurs with this gemstone for 14 pounds and 99 pence this is not an emerald colored simulant gemstone this is genuine emerald in your beautiful faceted cubes goodness me for a full 38 centimetre strand. Hold up a minute. Hold up. I get it. This happens every time around lunchtime. Let me just wait, 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 wait. I know you're getting hungry. I know you're starting to think about your lunch. You might even be making it whilst I'm whispering on in the background. Can I just grab your attention? Uh, your attention for a second attention attention for one second now country of origin yes it's important is it the most important thing no probably not it's the quality of the actual gemstones ultimately the intensity of saturation and um, the vibrancy as long as it doesn't hinder as long as the patterning le jardin doesn't hinder the vibrancy of the color then you have aspirational quality emerald we're at 14 pounds 99 not for one of your 14 centimeter strands for a full 38 centimeter strand i'm not i'm i'm purchasing not just one of these liam um i'm this is probably one of the best brazilian emerald strands that i think we've actually brought to air no i don't know we can't go any lower than that that's a bonkers deal already. And we're just looking at the core screens and just thinking, okay, there's not nearly enough of you on the phone lines to uh, justify yeah we're holding firm on that one liam we can't drop that price that's absolutely beautiful exceptional quality um okay stay 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 where you are on the phone lines uh i'll be getting probably two or three of those and it's going to be simple tennis style bracelets just a couple of your spaces in between um okay let's now do it's the strand isn't it Here's a sentence we don't say every single day. Natural ruby. If you have the number 95 in your mind, when we look at natural ruby, or when we think about ruby, that's, that's the percentage of ruby that tends to be treated. Now, we launched this strand not that long ago. We had hundreds, didn't we, Liam? And we have 15 of them left. Natural ruby. 
uh, I showed you uh, again a presentation about uh, uh, the, the GIA were mentioning about uh, different locations around the world because Burmese ruby is on the verge of depletion. Um, again, you heard that from Jake. Very little Burmese ruby is available, especially in its natural form. So other locations around the world, gem experts are going to Mozambique, Madagascar, and um, to sort of to, to fill the uh, the void that will be left when Burmese ruby is deplete. It's located Locations just like this. Uh, so this is, uh, did you say Madagascar? This is ma natural Madagascan ruby, um, and it's this location that, uh, 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 which is kind of written about and documented within this article. Sorry, the jewelry editor. African rubies be, uh, fill the void left behind Burmese rubies with their flashes of rich red. Uh, with prized Burmese ruby mines virtually depleted, gem hunters um, have turned to Africa in their quest to find the perfect red gemstone. Um, now, I don't know if that piece that you're seeing right now is treated, possibly. It doesn't really matter. It's got that pure pigeon blood color um, but yes we're having to look at different locations around the world this is an exquisite piece of made by Cartier this is the presentation that I showed you during the launch of this very strand and I have only 15 um, in fact I've got less than that now remaining again look at that vibrancy look at that intensity look at that beautiful secondary hue of pink coming through natural ruby you're getting here and it's different locations that gem hunters are traveling to to actually fill the shoes um, that will be left when Burmese uh, Burmese ruby is all but deplete high quality and you're getting 58 carats of Madaga madagascan rich ruby pigeon blood red we're going to match that launch price for you it's possibly one of the only ruby strands that we actually have in your rounds as well it's certainly one of the few oh it is the only there we go um it is certainly one of the few natural ruby opportunities that we have we're matching that launch price for you at 24 pounds and 99 pence this is why it went absolutely nuts we had we had hundreds we had actually a hundred and something quantity um but the final single figure was it 200 Okay, we've got the, uh, the final single figure quantities. They're too beautiful, too rare, too precious to actually have within the vault. Um, so, Alison, Davinia, Jay Matty, uh, Margaret Ruwanti, L. I have this strand of ruby. They're gorgeous. They are, Lisa, aren't they? Thank you so much for messaging in. And they're natural. If you get your certificate of authenticity, you'll see those two magic words, not enhanced. That is almost unheard of in the world of rubies. It has that beautiful uh, uh, pigeon blood color. I know it's an expression but it is what we use in the ruby world it's that primary that wonderful intensity of red with a secondary hue of pink coming through there's four of them left so some of you are going to be missing out on this opportunity in fact guess what it's gone well done well done well done i do have two more strands of natural ruby that's crazy let's do the drops natural ruby oh this is unbelievable absolutely unbelievable look at that see the see the pinkish color coming through that's not fisher filled it's not fisher filled that's mother nature solely mother nature this is brand new premiere opportunity i want to just go back to the article whilst liam puts the uh, graphics onto your screen so this is the jewellery editor, which I would always, always, always uh, recognise and, uh, and sort of, it's worth reading if you follow your gemstones. Gemfields, I've mentioned them already today, a mining company dedicated to conquering the colour gemstone market has added a large number um, and more consistent quality of rubies to the supply chain, chain from uh, Monte Perez ruby, uh, from Mozambique, where's this from, Liam? This is still matter. It doesn't matter. Um, and this is a new source is having considered impact on the global ruby market. Last December, Gemfields reported that its auction of Mozambique rubies raised a $43.3 million at the highest in history on, on a natural ruby opportunity. What e this, is the, this is the key paragraph. Whatever the origin of a ruby, and they can be found on several continents, it's the pigeon blood ruby that sets a gold standard and 
traditionally these have been from Burma. Pigeon's blood is a term used to describe a particular hue of ruby, regardless of its origin, which is used by gem laboratories to dealers to classify the actual stone. It's not the country of origin which is most important. It's the status of pigeon blood colour and also natural, natural opportunities, just like this beautiful brand new um, drop up. Look at that secondary hue of, of pink. That's the pigeon blood colour colour that we actually aspire to. Do you notice that the jewellery editor didn't men mention once about clarity? Because that's not really uh, um, something that we discuss when we're talking about emeralds and rubies. It's about the colour saturation. Natural, brand new premier opportunity. Are you going to do the most unbelievable introductory opportunity? Oh, yes, Liam says. Natural, genuine ruby at 24 pounds. Oh, Liam, you're not, you're not, you're not. There are 97 of these available. We have two natural ruby opportunities. Is that right? Yes. This is your Madagascan ruby. Again, if you think back to the, the beginning of that article, it's not about the origin, but it's about looking for gem hunters are scouring the globe, looking for other locations and deposits that can fill the void that Burmese ruby will actually have on the impact uh, on the ruby market. Is this one of those locations? Categorically, absolutely yes, because you do get those beautiful pigeon blood colors, and this is natural. We're at $24.99, and I agree, Liam, they should absolutely be skyrocketing at this price point they are don't get me wrong but we're even uh suggesting to take this lower i think this is going to be a one show wonder strand i don't think this is going to be on your screen here afterwards because we don't have the quantity of it especially if it's going low what are you going to do prepare me for it liam oh crazy this is absolutely crazy again this is this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for natural ruby i can bring you fisher field ruby at 24.99 I can't, I, one thing I can't, I, I, I know that we won't be able to achieve is natural, natural ruby at £14.99 and these absolutely beautiful, exquisite drops. Just one of those dotted in between your beautiful cultured pearls. It is madness, I agree. 56 carats that you're getting here. There was 97 opportunities with that beautiful graduation. Can you imagine those separated in between some of your Charlie Barron pearls? Ah, oh, my goodness me. Think back to that beautiful Burmese, that Cartier pearl, uh, uh, Cartier necklace that you, you saw. Again, gain inspiration from these very high jewelers gain inspiration from the likes of Chopard, uh the likes of cartier here the likes of and those are beads by the way those aren't round brilliant cuts those are faceted rondelles the shape that you work with on a daily basis the final 67 65 they're flying out the door natural it's worthwhile most most definitely getting your certificate of authenticity because a hundred percent i would absolutely i think it'd be a really sh a real shame to not get hold of that document because it's an assumption made by all gem dealers, collectors and jewellers that Ru uh, Ruby will actually be Fisher filled. This isn't. You have that supreme quality without that treatment process. Well done June. Congratulations County Durham. Well done Dorset, Jay Matty, Marilyn, Alison, Cambridgeshire, Angela, Karen, New uh, East Sussex as well. Pamela, you've got yours. There was 97 and there's so many of you with it in your baskets. You run the very real risk of, run of missing out on this opportunity. Uh, opportunity. Gillian Gladys, hello to you. Uh, Devon's just got theirs. Staffordshire, Jane, London, Donna, Beverly, Helen, Manchester bought four. I don't blame you. Susan, Russell, there's multi bought. Uh, uh, West Midlands, hello to you. I love your name, by the way. Uh, Lilania, that's a pretty name. Jennifer, Bristol, you're there as well. Hiya, Julie, enjoying the show. If there were no travel restrictions, where are the team's favorite holiday destinations? Ooh, that's a good question, Julie. Keep on dialing through for this one. Favorite holiday destinations, okay. Um, okay, the, uh, favorite holiday, favorite holiday. I'm gonna say, um, not somewhere that I'm lucky enough to go very frequently, but I, w I did go to uh, um, the Bahamas, um, uh, favorite because I saw my brother get married there and that was lovely, many, many years ago. It was wonderful, it was really wonderful. What's your favorite holiday destination? He's thinking about it. Cuba, Paul says, Cuba, yeah, lovely. He likes the Canary Islands. Yeah, Liam likes the Canary Islands. What about you, Adam? 
went to Fiji. Fiji? Wowzers. Amazing. Someone's uh, earning a bit too much then, clearly, to be travelling to Fiji. What about you, Luce? Thailand, yeah, beautiful. Australia was pretty amazing as well, although I, I wouldn't relish the flight again. The flight is pretty... I loved Australia. My sister lived over there for a while. That was amazing. On the verge of selling out. On the verge of selling out. Although lots of spiders... There are a lot of spiders in Australia, which I'm terrified of spiders. Uh, so th is this, this is from the same parcel? Oh, do you know what? You've got silks... You pay a premium for silks and ruby. Can I just show you something? Prime example of why inclusions should not be... Can you see that? Inclusions should not be sniffed at. When you see inclusions in ruby, they produce silks. It's almost like a chatoyancy. Now, so it catches the light. You have that lovely driving range chatoyancy. That, that alone... Liam, if you do anything remotely around what you just did... For that one stone on its own, I'd be happy. Because you have silk inclusions. For that one stone on its own, and I don't know what Liam's taking it to. He's a law unto himself today, honestly. Natural Madagascan ruby. That wonderful, deep intensity, that absolutely beautiful, natural pigeon blood colour and these lovely uh, sort of organic tumble shapes. So this is how I imagine uh, ruby being unearthed from the ground, not a single facet being actually influenced to the gemstone, allowing Mother Nature to actually carve her perfect shapes. What she envisage, envisaged, uh, I can't say it, envisaged when she actually created this gemstone. This is totally natural. Um, so this is the only... The, the three ruby opportunities that you have seen, is that right? Am I right in saying the only natural ruby that we have? Yes. Yeah, on our shift side currently, that's the only natural ruby opportunities. 56 carats of big, beautiful, natural statement stones in these Mother Nature shapes. She's, de she's decided on the actual cut of these. Obviously, a little bit of polishing, but for that one, which includes those lovely, beautiful, natural silks, I would pay £14.99 and then some for that one stone on its own. What an opportunity for the collectors and connoisseurs. It's a brand new premiere opportunity. Um, um, I don't have a huge amount of these available within the vault. It is madness, Liam. It's complete and utter madness. You saw earlier on, again, look at those lovely pieces of jewellery. Look at the beautiful intensities and saturations that you saw within the Cartier piece. Can you take a sort of a, a snapshot photograph in your mind of that colour? It's colour that I'm focusing on. Never mind, all, you know, the brand. Never mind the diamonds. Never mind the actual design for one second. Just take a snapshot of that lovely colour. And look at what you are getting here. A beautiful vibrancy, that secondary pinkish hue of natural Madagascan ruby. And they weren't even faceted round brilliant cuts in that necklace that Cartier created. They were rondelles, effectively. $14.99 is crazy, crazy, crazy low. I want to go back to that one with the silks. No, don't do it. Okay, do it. Go on. There's nobody in the office, is there? Everyone's decided to work from home because I think I scared them by saying that I'm going to drag them on air. <laughs> Everybody's working from home. I mean, that's fine. Listen, powers that be. Whilst, you, whilst you've avoided the live television screens, you wouldn't think they'd all be so camera shy. It also means that you haven't got any, any say over what we can do in the studios. Natural... Madagascan ruby. Again, I'm showcasing this one because you've got those beautiful silks. Look at that. That's incredibly rare. And then I could probably go along the strand and show lots of those. Liam is going to be joining me in the studios. Again, there's silks there. Can you see those flashes of, uh, flashes of light? £14.99 pence only, but we are suggesting that we're going to take it even lower. Natural colour. Um, yeah, Wayne is actually here, so he might have something to say about this opportunity. There were 100. Mavis, hello to you, Charles. Hello to you, Esamine. Hello to you, Donna, Hannah, Gladys, Kathy, Sharon, Russell, Janice, London, uh, John, Beverly, Helen, Susan, Mary. Uh, it's this month's birthstone as well. So for those of you that are uh, our July babies, this is one for you. Um, it's my little girl's birthstone as well, Willow. So this would be really lovely to be able to make her a genuine ruby piece of jewellery and it not actually break 
break the bank plus knowing that it will be effectively a legacy piece because that's no reflection of the true value or worth we're going right madness absolute madness absolute madness a single figure price tag for rush uh, sorry for natural ruby absolute madness i'm sorry i'm shouting right now i don't mean to shout that is crazy i don't think i've uh, I, i'm trying yes i've brought you natural ruby yes i have but it's not very often it's very seldom seen Burmese ruby at some is on the is on the verge of depletion, which is a real sh real shame. Amazing quality ruby you get from that location, regardless of the country of origin. It's that pure, vibrant pigeon blood colour that we actually aspire to. If you have traits and qualities like those lovely silks, um, then yeah, incredibly incredibly exciting. We're at a single figure uh, price tag. That's crazy for natural ruby. Um, half the stock has gone already. Liam has just informed me. Um, yeah, if you know July babies, in fact, my sister-in-law is a July baby as well. It'd be amazing to be able to create a piece of jewellery for her. And again, it'd be ruby, genuine natural ruby, not simulant, not synthetic. You can buy synthetic ruby as well. They use it quite a lot in industry as well in your jewel as jewellery and gemstones as well. This is the real deal, and it is completely and utterly unenhanced, natural opportunities with those beautiful silvery uh, silks within the gemstone. I had 100. Gosh, check out your baskets, because, again, it might, uh, it might be a sellout imminently. Pauline, Pamela, Dorset. Hello, Sheila. Hello, new customers. Hello to you, West Midlands. Hello to you, uh, Marilyn, Cambridge, Janine, Helen, Alison. Uh, Ayrshire, Leslie, you've got yours as well. Kim, Carol, good luck. Margaret, Linda, good luck. Emma, good luck. Olga, good luck. London, good luck. New customer on the web. Helen, good luck. Mary, good luck. Merseyside, good luck. Anne in London, good luck. Debbie, good luck. Manchester, good luck. These are people that are not actually haven't yet confirmed. I've got less than how many? Twenty. Less than 20. I can hear the beautiful, beautiful chilled out tones of our Ross now in my ear. And that means one thing. Your yeah, Liam's on the way. He's stepping into the studio. Um, he's going to do a demo as well. Love it. Absolutely love it. He says, be prepared for the worst demo ever. We don't care, Liam. We just want to see your lovely smiley face. That's all we care. Okay, that's all we care about. Unbelievable quality for natural ruby i'll leave those final few and it is literally a final a final few okay uh can we go back to ross sorry you've just sat in the seat and i'm already bossing i don't mean to boss you around my lovely ross there was i've just shown a um, a powerpoint uh, written by the jewelry editor and there's one piece of jewelry that is made by cartier beautiful layers you've got si diamonds in there i can't quite read the spec can you can you read that to me uh it's a Cartier Makeda necklace in platinum set with 15.29 oval shaped rubies from Mozambique alongside rose cut and pear cup shaped diamonds and cabochon cut beads, 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 not rounds. Uh, sorry, not, not round brilliant cuts. The ruby choker can be detached and worn separately from the diamond necklace. That's Cartier. Now, I wouldn't even begin to imagine how much that piece of jewellery is. And the reason why I'm showing you that again is because it's beads. They are faceted beads. So if you're inspired by that piece of jewellery and you are thinking, I can make something like that. Okay, we might not be able to include the platinum. It, you're a fine jeweller, absolutely. You could include precious metals in other forms, couldn't you? I think this is the strand for you. If you want to make that piece of jewellery, this is your ruby opportunity. Oh, you have the most beautiful, beautiful shades, those rich colours. Ombre, so a lot of the work has been done with it, uh, with this strand. It's actually, can you see, mirror image. So you're getting, uh, if you just restranded it, that would be beautiful. If you wanted to make that Cartier-inspired piece of jewellery, then of course, uh, probably a multi-buy. However, for natural ruby, so is, it, is it heat treated natural? He treated, okay, so that's fine. A little, they would already have that beautiful pigeon blood color. We encourage that beauty with um, just a little bit of heat treatment. So many actual laboratories don't even regard that as a treatment in itself. Anyway, we have, we've mentioned it there. Look at how beautiful those lovely shades are. Rich pigeon blood color as we were referencing a few moments ago. If you want to get hold, uh, if you want to recreate that beautiful Cartier inspired piece, 
This has not been on your screen, this opportunity, for over a month, so it's actually quite new to our screens. You're getting third... Oh, really? It's only been on the mid? Only ever been on the mid show. Um, and it flew out the door then. Of course it did. Look how beautiful. There are 50 of them left within the vault. Over 100 of these have been snapped up by collectors and connoisseurs. This month's birthstone, should we do something extra special? It has been quite an unconventional show, I get that. Listen, Alison couldn't be with me, unfortunately, but um, we, we've hopefully made up for that with, in terms of the savings um, that, that we've brought you. And we're gonna do exactly the same again. One price drop, there's 50 of them left. You won't believe just how low we're actually going on this. Hundreds of these have already been enjoyed by collectors and connoisseurs. Hundreds already. Oh, for the decadence of the final 50, the final 50 under 20 pounds. That's 32 carats of beautiful faceted rondelles. The wonderful shades that you get of your ruby. If you want to make that Cartier piece, then you can do it, obviously, at a fraction of the cost. Or be inspired by that piece, shall we say. Incredible quality. Just a little bit of heat treatment, just to uh, sort of uh, elevate slightly the presence and vibrancy of colour. Absolutely beautiful. Helen, Maureen, Manchester, hello to West Midlands, London, Rachel, Cumbria, Sharon. It is regarded as the king of your uh, coloured gemstones, and it's absolutely so easy to see why. Uh, you know, Ruby has this hierarchy, if you like, within gemstones. Um, it, it, it is that uh, it, it's regarded as a king, as I said, and it commands immediately um, a very, very, very high price point, irrespective of where you're actually sourcing it from. Fine quality ruby can be one of the most expensive of all your coloured uh, gemstones. Wow. And here we are bringing you 32 carats at under £20. Um, the main man has just stepped in. You've been longing. You've been longing to see him all morning. We've got Liam and Guess what he's doing? Hello. Making jewellery. Hi, Liam. Hi. Why is he cheating? I'm just, no, just getting a, a little bit ahead. That's okay. Well, kind of. I mean, I'm having a go. You're having a go. You practice in your rap loop, aren't you? Liam, by the way, is very smug about the fact that he can do a rap loop and I'm rubbish. <laughs> I'm rubbish, so you best do the best rap loop ever. I mean, the worst thing is, is that I've just tried to do a rap loop again on our card. <laughs> 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 so, uh, you best start, start so practicing. I think we just need Lucy back. We need Lucy. No, you yeah. don't. You're not getting out of it that quickly. I mean, you're working with that beautiful Brazilian emerald strand as well. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I'd, I'd take this just so I could just chop it up. To be fair, yeah, because it is a nice. And there's so much of it. Um, how many left? Li uh, sorry, what did you just do? Less than ten of the natural ruby, by the way, in your tumbles. Less than ten of those actually remain. Where did I put it? I don't know where yeah. I put it. Oh, you've got it, Liam. You snaffled it, I see. Yeah, stole it. Um, if you want that strand, there's single figure quantities, Ross is uh, kindly telling us now. We had hundreds, didn't we, at the beginning of that auction? Uh, yeah. Just over a hundred. What are you going to do with that then, Liam? Well... Apart from grab that one in the centre. <laughs> I know you're after the one with the silks. I can't say I blame you. <laughs> kind of perks, perks of being a designer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is mine now. I'm yeah. going to keep it. <laughs> you get to keep I'm going to turn this into a stretchy. Yeah, lovely. Can you make me one? Yeah, yeah. There's, two, there's enough for two. There's enough for two. Uh, but I won't show you how to make stretchy because... I think everyone knows how to make a stretchy, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Good old stretchy. Uh, Liam's going to be making, a, uh, making away with these beautiful natural rubies. What about your rubies? What are you doing with those? Well, I might just wrap loop it. <laughs> 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 well, I won't because the, the 0 0.8 doesn't fit. Okay, keep have a little rummage. Hi, lovely Ellen, Liam. Nice to see you on your screens, Liam. Oh, thanks. Oh, I love bringing Liam on it. <laughs> I was going to say, is, is that my mum? Is that? <laughs> is your mum watching now? Uh, no, because I won't tell her. Why won't you tell her? Why nah. not? Lucy's mum's watching yeah, you Lucy's right now. Yeah, Lucy's mum was really excited about seeing me. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, he's, you've got a lovely, happy face. Go for it, Liam. Well done, you, says Hazel. He can do it. He can do it. Absolutely. I've seen his rap loops. They are pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so down to the final couple of those available, did you say? It's going to be, I think, what I always call a one, uh, a one show, uh, wonder strand. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ooh, where do we go, Ross? What do you want me to do? Uh, yes. Now, this is a mixture of ruby and sapphire. The only difference between ruby and sapphire basically is sapphire comes in lots of colours. When the pink intensifies and there's 
uh, sort of optimum amount of chromium it turns into your ruby basically so they're kind of like siblings this is unbelievable beautiful uh, beautiful little delicate two millimeter facet rounds last of stock opportunities and we're going to take it extra low over 100 of these flew out the door on the launch again this is like tennis style bracelet what do you think of this then lovely Liam I love this strand it's natural and Burmese yeah I think and as well it's because that you get the two different colors isn't it well so, uh, actually I say two you get quite a lot of different colors in it you get sapphire and ruby in yeah. this opportunity it's all natural and it's all Burmese I would almost ombre <laughs> yeah, see, that's my designer right now. <laughs> Love it. He does listen. I'm going to show you what we should be bringing this to you at. Now, again, at the beginning of that jewellery editor article, um, we were discussing the fact that Burmese rubies and sapphires are on the verge of depletion. Now, we should have been natural Burmese ruby uh, for 10 carats on. Again, can I just quickly, Ross, show the beginning of that article from the jewellery editor, the big, beginning slide. It just says about how sapphires, well, it says about rubies, which means that sapphires also will be the same status, are on the verge of depletion, and gem hunters and experts are actually having to, don't worry if you can't, are having to look elsewhere, um, other continents, to actually fill those very big shoes, um, very, very big shoes to fill. Um, so, yeah, the jewellery editor actually wrote about Burmese uh, ruby. Um, and just here, here we go. African rubies fill the void left by Burmese rubies. So make the assumption sapphires exactly the same with their flashes of rich red. With prized Burmese ruby mines virtually deplete, gem hunters have turned to Africa in their quest to find perfect red gemstones. If they say that about rubies, the same will apply about your sapphires. Shall we show, show you how many of these we have available? Oh, they're utterly beautiful. Now, there are 45... Ross, I'm going to repeat what Ross is saying. He says, Elle, I promise you, once what? Once we crash the price, because nobody is going to be paying $49.99, that 45 quantity is going to disappear. Okay. Do you know what he's got up his sleeve then? I don't. <laughs> I can't remember the price. I remember we made the jewellery. Remember we made those, the stack oh, those of bracelets. bracelets. Yeah, and they... They were, they were getting flew. so many compliments about it. Yeah, I do remember. Are you ready? A closeout deal on Burmese ruby and sapphire. Natural. Are you ready? I do remember. We made little stretchy bracelets, didn't we, Liam? Yeah. Ah, oh, they would be... I think I made... You went to make one. Oh, is this that one? Yeah. yeah. I made the bracelet and, oh, my goodness natural Burmese ruby and sapphire. We didn't do that, did we? I don't think we did. Ross, did we do that? Oh, okay, he's just named me. I was just trying Eleanor to blame Eleanor Stevens Ross. and Liam Dickens. It's in, it, look, it's there in the archives. We've been named and shamed, Liam. Yeah, that's a bit, that's That was naughty. naughty. So we can't blame Ross on this one. That's us. <sighs> totally us. Uh, seven <sighs> pounds, and he's not wrong by Ross is saying as soon as that price point appears on your screens, they're going to disappear. You could do your little wrap with your wrap loops, Liam. You yeah. could do a little cluster on top of a pearl or something like that. That well, would be lovely, wouldn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Because basically, you know, Alison's design earlier, and she did the wrap loops, but she did them with wire. She did. By making it like a little. Have you done a little connector there? Turny thing, is it? Well, <laughs> I suppose you. <laughs> I suppose you could. <laughs> a little turny thing. I, I, I suppose Ooh. you could turn it into a connector, but that was basically she's used the oh, wire to make. You've done that's a little like mini stopper. gizmo. Yeah, that's like the stopper, that's and then that's your charm. That's very good, Liam. That's very good. A little coil, basically. Basically, a coil is yeah. what I was looking for. <laughs> um, Bin said, said turny thing. Turny thing. We knew what you meant, though. Yeah. We're down to the final eight of these. Do check out. Uh, Ross was not wrong. He was not wrong. Look at that. Beautiful selection of colours. And um, we've got a 30-second queue on the phone line, so please do bear with us. That's nothing, is it? When you phone most companies and you're, you're hanging on the phone lines for ages, our call centre are amazing. Um, and it is free off uh, your, uh, your landline. Hello, sorry. Hello to you, Angela. Hello to you, Stirlingshire. Geraldine, Richard and Elia. Hello to you, Susan, Shirley, David, Carol. You're there as well, Con. Constance, Stilling Show's bought six of them as well. Congratulations. Essex has just bought three. Amazing. It's Liam, everybody. He's the man that, that basically tells me what to do every single time. You do, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm really quiet. You're not quiet. <laughs> you're, not, you're not. You're not. You're quieter than usual. 
yeah. then yeah that, that, i think that's fair to say um you're not shy though liam are you no i'm not sure no you're definitely no. not shy um okay Ooh, ooh, ooh. that's a question ross do you know what i like i like it all actually i like the burmese blue sapphire which one uh the 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 cut stones yeah yeah they are beautiful so liam Oh my goodness, they're cushion carts. <laughs> cushion cut. Oh my goodness me, you're not wrong. These are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, they've not been on your screens in over a month. You're actually getting the perfect, perfect pair. Again, it comes with... It actually comes with your certificate of authenticity, certified Burmese blue sapphire, the N stands for natural, um, and you're guaranteed two of your five millimeter cushion cuts. Oh my goodness. I mean, legacy heirloom, this is something you pass on to future generations. There are how many? 17 of these left, that's it. That is it. Perfectly paired, I mean, Liam, we here, our, our fantastic Jake Thompson referencing the fact that as soon as you pair gemstones, yeah, the price it goes, goes up. up. Yeah, because it's so difficult, especially with natural gemstones. Yeah. They go through the roof. Lit oh, every single time. He always says it, doesn't he? Every time. Every time. Beautiful. Imagine those in stud earrings. I'm going to get some of these. It's my birthstone. Ooh, if you're yeah. a sapphire... Oh, cufflinks. Cufflinks. I think, I'm sure he said that um, cufflink mounts are on the way. They are. And that would be amazing in cufflinks. It would. I just need a shirt that I can put cufflinks in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll make, you've got to make an occasion just to wear them. Yeah. A special occasion. Look at that quality. That is absolutely unbelievable quality. Natural Burmese ruby. Now, I'm going to show you what we should do. And then we're going to go, meh. Chuck that out the window, and then we're going to take the final 17. So on the launch in December last year, we brought you this very opportunity at £79.99. pence. You can get it home for £26.66 pence on your split pay. The final 17. It's taking a location in a vault. Um, Ross is like, listen, I hate to name and shame you again, Al, but you and Liam... He's just calling us out, isn't he? He's totally calling us out. That's, that's all he's doing. <laughs> we did go lower, Ross. You know what? Ross, Ross. And I'm not sorry. Nah, nor me. I'm, I'm not, not sorry. Are you sorry, Liam? N sorry, not sorry. No. No. Hashtag. Yeah. Not I sorry. Just, I just mute the managers. <laughs> it's still on your split pay. We're taking it lower for a pair of beautiful natural Burmese sapphires. Hashtag not sorry. 49.99. This gemstone, remember that article. Uh, your rubies and your sapphires are on the verge of depletion from Burma, um, which is a real shame because it's, it's been synonymous to amazing quality. It's, it's basically Kashmir, Burmese, Ceylon. Those are the three sort of yeah. areas, really, um, within Sapphire. Burmese is going to be slip into the Kashmir status very, very soon is what they're saying. The final 10 of these available. Yep, we did it. Put your hand up, Liam. <laughs> Hashtag. Don't the kids do this? Is, is that what... That's hashtag, isn't it? Is that how cool you are now? Is that how cool we are? <laughs> I don't know. Mum dancing hashtag. <laughs> I never said I was cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 26 now. He's not 26. 26. Yes, he's 26. Oh, I'm not Liam. down with the kids. No, I've never been down with the kids. Three of these are left within the vault, jewelry makers. What an acquisition! Congratulations, and it comes within the with, with the certificate as well. Sorry, um, put my teeth back in. Goodness me, we're running out of time, Liam. Um, Liam, Liam, we're running out of time. What you got to do your demo and show us what you made, or you're not doing it? Oh nah. I just I, I mean I'll I just explain. <laughs> Uh, okay. Whose jewellery have you taken that from then? No, I... <laughs> no. So I've made this one half. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's lovely. Why are, they, why are they in different colours? Why are you doing them in different colours? I, I just thought I'd mess... I, I thought I'd just try try the... Which one I prefer. Okay. Either gold-coloured wire or, or rose-coloured wire. I'm not, I mean, you're not wrong. You're the designer. Yeah, exactly. So, there basically, I'll just mix my me metals up. Why not? Just, and then make a whole bracelet. Beautiful. I love that idea. Should we do one more deal? Oh, it's green sapphire. Again, um, natural. That's beautiful. And actually, you've got some really beautiful... Yeah, these are stunning. Little delicate briolettes. 
um, your little briolette carts. I mean, just imagine these clustered on top of, again, some really fine quality, uh, high luster, nucleate, uh, nucleated pearls. Briolettes is one of the most complicated cuts to actually uh, facet. And you can see that really, can't you? The intricacy that you actually get. Plus then the drilling. Those as waterfall earrings would be nice, wouldn't they? Really lovely. I just put a, a little cluster. They're natural greens. Yeah, they're nice. With stunning clarity. So um, I don't know if this is actually the case. It's not really, uh, really important right now. But because you have such an unprecedented clarity, I'm thinking possibly Burmese. It could maybe be Songhia, which again is is deplete. Look at that. You've got bicolored, uh, bicolored sapphire in this opportunity. Again, it's the same strand that I have here, and that's completely and utterly natural. Beautiful glowing greens. Um, we're not even stopping. We're going even lower. It's probably one of our final auctions of the of the morning show. Been a lot of fun today. Ninety nine ninety nine for natural green sapphire. But actually, you're getting your bi coloured green sapphires too. Um, wow! It's our last auction, and I know it's been a little bit unconventional today. We've had to think on our feet, yeah, haven't we? But it's been fun. Now, would you like to make a sort of a final statement on this morning's show, as in with the price? A brand new low price? Shall we? 100% yes. A brand new low price, never been here before. That's what Ross just said. <laughs> <laughs> His arm doesn't take much twisting. Oh, OK. Yeah, OK, that's What good. are you doing? Yeah, if you just... <laughs> What did you I mean, say? I think that's amazing. But... What did you say? <gasps> Wait, yeah, but this is in my name. <laughs> okay, do it. It's done. It's done. It's done. Goodness me! It even made Liam and I stop talking for a second a there. Bit, I've, I've gone a bit hot and sweaty now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is bonkers. Seventeen ninety nine. Your name is still logged on the computer system, yeah, Liam. So that's why he's done it. Yeah. I mean, Totally. Natural green sapphire, these everyone. beautiful briolette cuts. Again, it's like it's like we don't we disregard the fact that I've just said this is one of the most challenging cuts to actually achieve um, in your in your gemstones, but here we are, under twenty pounds. We're running out of time today. Take a little look back on the um, uh, on the website for all of the amazing deals that we bought. It's been epic. Liam. It has been amazing. It's been good fun. What's your favourite? What's been your favourite deal? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. That's tricky. A Russian, yeah, to be fair, probably this one. Yeah, and also the Russian emerald, I have to say. Yeah, that was And good. the Amazonite was pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm running out of time. When are you back with us, Liam? Friday for Carnival Day. Oh, it's Carnival Ooh, Day. I'll have moustache on. Yeah, with your moustache. She's quite a grosser. Yeah. Very fine moustache. Don't go your agenda up next. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Busy, very busy, which is nice to have an events company that's busy coming out the other side of a pandemic. Just, th mm. just thinking about, well, mm. you might, what I don't, was that? I don't know, you might be, you might not be. Just well. thinking, next Wednesday, what are you up to? Next Wednesday. 
let me look at the calendar. Oh, I'm very grown up these days. I have to have a calendar to Go keep on, what track. Are you doing? What, are you doing? what am I doing? Meet and go and have I coffee? Reckon, no. I reckon. Or what? Can you come in to work, to jewelry maker? What, for a cup of tea? To do the show with me. <laughs> Should we eat some cake? Oh my God, we'll have to eat cake. I can't eat any more cake, but yeah, we'll eat cake. We'll Should eat we do cake. it? Next Wednesday? Well, will I be allowed? Yes! Yes! Should we do it? On Wednesday? Wednesday. You're on? Let's do it. Ah! We're on. Roll up, roll up. Coming this Friday on Jewel Maker, the greatest event in Jewel Maker history. Discounts and gains, oh, all the biggest, most thrilling. Fairground rides. Giveaways and prizes. Ah! Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a joy maker show this Friday, the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> <laughs>《《Jewelry Maker》，We've got some really exciting news. After ten and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity, and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Have a question or query for Jewelry Maker? Then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. A great big good afternoon to you. Welcome. You are, of course, watching Jewelry Maker during our wonderful masterclass hour, and have we got a masterclass for you? But before I talk to you about the masterclass, there's a little box with a question mark in front of me. It's not my own thoughts running around my head. It is, in fact, a mystery strand. Now, whatever is in this box is going... Say it again to me, Ross, in case I get it wrong. That's what I thought you said. Under two pounds. And listen, it's not light. It's weighty. It's a weighty strand going at two o'clock on the dot, under two at two. Don't say I didn't warn you, set your alarms because we are gonna go a little bit crazy today. Now, our masterclass is all about seed beading. And of course, seed beading wouldn't be seed beading if we didn't have one of seed beading's royalty here with us here today. Please welcome the princess of seed beads. It is Aww. Monica. Hello. It's nice that you call me princess. <laughs> the princess of seed beading. That's what you are. Is that, are you okay with that? Yeah, that's perfect. The goddess or a prin no, what princess? Princess is good. Okay. <laughs> now, Monica, your the purple design I want to concentrate on first because it literally is jaw-droppingly phenomenal. If you wanted an insight into how wonderful this lady right next to me is, it's there for you. We don't even need words. Look at this incredible design, incredible craftsmanship. Look how neat it is. Look at the flow of it. If you want to be able to learn how to do this sensational technique, then you need to stay with us because the masterclass is all about seed beads, Moni, isn't it? It is, yes. It's all about the herringbone stitch, which is one of my favourite stitches. Um, so I asked for these kits to be put together so I could show different ways that you can use the herringbone stitch. So let's have a peruse across the rest of the jewellery because it is just amazing. Now we've got the kits that go with. We're not going to overwhelm you with too many kits. 
You have got loads of opportunities. We've got four kits today. Um, so you've got only four choices, which I think is good because sometimes when we've got too much choice, you're just like, oh, I can't decide. So we're going to start with the kit that made that show-stopping piece. But that's not the only pieces there. There's loads more uh, that Monica has done, as always, because Monica doesn't do sleep. Because she says sleeping <laughs> is cheating when you could be beading. Of course. That is... Uh, that is Monica's mantra, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I, I really want somebody to do a seed bead embroidery in a frame saying sleeping is cheating when you could be beading and send it to Monica. <laughs> I would do it, but, you know, I don't have the talent. Here we go. But I can sing at her. Not that that's a talent, more an annoyance. Uh, this kit has the most beautiful frosted amethyst in it. I just love that frosted amethyst because it gives you such a depth. And you'll see, with Monica's piece, I think it's, it's really actually important this strand and it's given that 1920s vibe of even more you've got such an incredible piece of, of jewelry there and, and and i think having it frosted lends itself to that era doesn't it it does and it contrasts really nicely with the rainbow effect on the seed beads as well i think i love it mm. i just love it it reminds me of so many things but it really reminds me of 1920s decor and this design, actually, if you if you sort of split it in half in the middle, I thought it would look really nice sort of um, appliqued onto like a jacket lapel or something exactly. like that. Exactly, yes. Yeah. The minute you look at it, you think, oh my gosh, yeah. that would look beautiful embroidered into something, wouldn't yeah. it? Um, you're right. It's got such Art Deco vibes about it. I love it so much. Then you've got a deep purple amethyst four mil strand. So that's going to work really well. And Monica's used that. Uh, around the back of the necklace and she's used and it to front. tip the pieces as well yeah. and at the and yeah mm. and at the front as well just to give the piece the, the tapers at their little tips so this is this is something that's really i didn't say that then but <laughs> thought i said something else uh, have a look now moni did you use every single one of your seed beads no not even close <laughs> wow so you'd be able to make replicas of this with rounds wow monica the neckline piece is Bleeping amazing! <laughs> and that's and, and that's from the guest designer, was it De Bruges? Oh, she well, swears yeah, a lot, yeah. so I know exactly what she was saying. I can confirm that Lady Garrett might be ordering Monica's kits. <laughs> I don't think there's a might about it, Jen, you absolute loomburger. Now, um, we have also got Atos in black opaque. We have got for you dark amber transparent then we have got your 11 o's in berry lined light topaz i want to be berry lined <laughs> these are stunning monica's art deco piece stunning are you ready to shop and i'm not just talking to jen garrett because we already know the answer to that one it's called ultraviolet and if you want to be able to complete this gorgeous piece of jewelry then it's just 14.99 today so it, you know what, I feel like you're paying for the two amethyst strands and you're getting the seed beads for free. This is such an amazing project. Have a look, two amethyst strands, February's birthstone, three beautiful tubes of seed beads. This really is an absolute steal of a deal. Make sure you're securing your order. Susan has, Sue, Jen, she's got hers. Go on, Garrett. Uh, Buckinghamshire, <laughs> Alison in Bristol, Mary in Lancashire, Alison Highlands, Geraldine in Wiltshire, Karen, Pauline, Jonathan, Sarah in Cambridge, Jen in Greater Manchester. Another maker on the phone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of you. But what I forgot to tell you, this kit is um, actually limited it's an exclusive kit we only ever had 70 of these so it's got 30% got, uh, of the stock has already gone loads of you there you need to check out baskets Caroline County Antrim you've got to check out Susan in Hampshire's joined us it's great to have you all on board thank you for choosing Jewelry Maker don't forget if you've already shopped with us today all you've got to do is tick the box that says combine order I forgot to tell you how to shop what kind of person am I? There's three ways you can do it. 0800 644 if you're dialing. Jewelrymaker.com. If you're online, you've got to make sure you are all checked in and ready to go. But Big Ben in the style of Jen Garrett going absolutely wild in her living room because she's got her seed beads. What's the quickest way to shop? Tap the app. Tap the app. It's free to download and all the usual ways you can pay with PayPal, debit card or credit card. $14.99 for this one. Over half the stock has now gone. Jen's just bought two. Jennifer in Greater Manchester. Joan has joined us. Brian uh, in London. Every time I hear Brian, I always sing the uh, song by Arctic Monkeys. Brian. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Sean in Cardiff says, Monica, can you please do a booklet for your magnificent purple pieces? Breathtaking.
cake. Well, to be honest with you, this, this purple piece, that's what I'm going to show you in the masterclass. Um, it wouldn't be enough to fill a, a booklet because it would be like one page. <laughs> so, Sean, hit your record button or go back on YouTube if you haven't got the record facility. Wow, Monica, this is amazing, says Collector in Buck. Oh, it's Marjorie in Buckinghamshire. I had to get the kit. Marjorie, also, I do not blame you. Also, I didn't I didn't use all the gemstones either, so you still have plenty enough in the kit to make uh, a matching bracelet Stop. and probably some earrings as well. Oh my so. gosh, amazing. Mm. So this really is ridiculous value. It is. I mean, you could, you could easily make a three-piece set to match that. Um, yeah. Fabulous. Now, I'm going to give you a recap of the deal of the day, actually, because I'll tell you something, it will go. It will make... If you want to make another piece of what oh, Monica's yes. made, you need the deal of the day. Um, because you'll have plenty seed beads to make another one. Yeah. So if you wanted to make another one, we thought we'd give you a remind day vu of your deal of the day, which is three frosted strands of gorgeous amethyst. That's not your price. Uh, we're going to give you, is it 10, 8, uh, 4, 6, and 8? 4, 6, and 8. Oh, it's right in front of me, isn't it? Z ZUP 059, brand new today, a trio for 14 99 wow. Super value, and it just goes to show the value of the kit as well, because you've got two strands in there for 14 99 plus the three tubes of seed beads. Uh, so you could get two kits, you could get you could get uh, this as well, totally up to you. Uh, but I tell you what, all we're, all we're doing is giving you phenomenal value, isn't it? How wonderful is this? Don't forget, you can text us in throughout the show, six, uh, no, seven... I've forgotten it. 78070. <laughs> I, was, I went to give us a, our old number. Start your message with the word, James Studio. Monica, you are a goddess, says Karen. Got my kit, and I can't wait. I'll call her the CB goddess. You're right, Karen. You're right. She's more the goddess than the princess, isn't she? Okay, this kit's now got a limited stock, I've got to let you know. Don't forget at two o'clock, whatever's in this box is going under two pound. Madness. Now, I love this zoisite. Zoisite, zo I call it zoisite. Some people, some people call it. We all call it something different. It's weird. Now I'm going to show you this strand, because is this zoisite as well? This is jasper. I really love it. These are jasper. Oh. But look at this. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it looks Isn't so much fun? like the zoisite, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. But then it's pinker, so that's why I thought oh. I don't know if it was. Isn't it lovely? I really enjoyed this colour combination. It's not colours that I would have thought to put together, but actually it works so well. I love them. I love them. And you've used this kit in, in the, the bracelets, bracelets that are at the front here. Yeah, and I want to show you something on the bracelet in a minute once you've shown the whole kit. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. So you want to show us something once I've gone through the strands? Okay. Yeah. Then we've got some Ruby Zoisite in here. And if you've been watching Dave's Trough shows, you'll know how really uh, special this gemstone is. You've got... A true sparkle there. Then, then look at this. You have got seed beads in galvanized silver 11 O's, matte silver light -like green 8 O's, and berry in 11 O's. Oh, I love that. That berry is brilliant. I love that. Berry. Is this the berry? It is, yeah. But what does it say in the tube? Because I'm sure it's, it's galvanized. Galvanized or berry. Yeah, yeah. Galvanized. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. We're going to give you such a special price again. Here's our thanks to you for shopping with us. MBXC29. It's going under £20. And remember, you've got Ruby's Oil site in there, uh, which is a really prestigious gemstone. It's called Cherry Bakewell, and that's made me hungry. Seventeen ninety nine, two brand new strands. I love that jasper. You can't get this jasper, by the way, outside of the kit, and you can't get the zoisite out of the kit. This again is another limited edition kit, so please make sure you're quick. We don't have loads of these, uh, and I don't. And I met, honestly, you need to make sure you don't miss out. I love the way that you almost you get such a lovely composition between the galvanized beads. Yeah. It looks it looks so smooth. So what was what was it that you wanted to well, show? What us, I wanted Mani? to show you is we often make flat bracelets like this um uh, even you know if you ignore the the gemstones in there it's just a flat herring bun we do peyote stitch and things like that mm. sometimes you don't know what to do with the class but the end at the end of it so i had a bit of a light bulb moment oh good let's see. and what i did was i attached two bars from the toggle clasp here she goes look at that and i thought that was that was quite a clever idea i thought money <laughs> She's, this is why she doesn't bother sleeping, because she gets ideas. She so gets ideas like this at four o'clock in the morning. I can't believe you don't sleep and you've got no eye bags. Do you know how annoyed I am about that? Like the other day I said to Monica, like, what, you don't sleep? Why have you not got black bags under your eyes? Do you have, 
you have filler under your eyes? She's like, no. I, do I get, was like, do you know how annoying this is? I do get dark circles, but you can no, cover that with makeup. No, you don't. <laughs> you never get them. If that was me, I'd look like Zelda from, you know, the, what was Zelda from? No, you know, like she was a puppet. Look at Zelda. I think it was like Thunderbirds or something. Just look, put Zelda in, in Google and you'll see. And that's me when I get out of bed. Just put Zelda in and you'll see her. Can you see her? No, like this, I'll show you. She looks just like me. Right. <laughs> I think she was on the, she was on the, hang on, I'll show you what she looks like. Yeah, there she is. It's really quite, it, it actually makes me a bit scared when I see her. So this is Zelda from the 80s. The boys don't know about Zelda from the 80s. If you look on, I'm scared of rubber puppets actually, so I can't, it actually is freaking me out. This is Zelda. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> there you go. So that was the original 80s Zelda. Um, not okay with that. Maybe that's why I'm scared of rubber puppets. <laughs> Sorry everyone if you just got scared by, do you remember that when you were little and being absolutely freaked? Why did they put that on a kid's show? That was a kid's show. Why? It's the same with Watership Down. Stop trying to torture kids. Now, <laughs> Watership Down was like the worst, wasn't it? If you heard bright eyes, you'd, be, you'd literally just lose it. Literally lose it. Now, Bronzite is next and Garnet, which you know Garnet's one of my favorites. I love this. Look at the depth of this Garnet. This is beautiful. May I have some torch time with this Garnet? Thanks. I don't know if I've got a... Yeah, I have. I just want to put it on a torch. So I want to show you the gorgeous colour behind it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Torch, I see. Why is my torch playing me up? Everything's playing me up today, everyone. Look at this. I just needed to give it torch time. I'm blinding myself with that. <gasps> Do you wow. see what I mean? I mean, come on. Brr. Gosh. That is leggy, isn't it? Oh. You could look at that forever. Can, I mean, that has got clarity and colour, and it's so deep, and I love that. Hidden hidden treasures. Sorry, I just whipped that away then. I thought my hands were more skillful. Then you've got bronzite. What a lovely combination. I think this could take you into the sort of winter months. And look at the gorgeous colours of the seed beads. These go together so nicely. Monica put these kits together, by the way, just so you know. Moni put these... So well done, Monica. Your colour combinations are, are banging. You've got matte champagne... You've got metallic dark bronze, cranberry gold luster. I love that combination. I love it. Real country colours, definitely up my street. 1999, beautiful garnet. And those are big garnets they are. Let me look. Oh, what are they, 10 millimetres or 12? Imagine I've got them, I've got it wrong. How are they six to six and a half? Oh, I suppose they are actually, yeah. I should have been looking at them when I guessed the size of them. <laughs> I was thinking more about the colour. Big colour, big personality. Uh, it's called Cranberry Crush, 19 pounds and 99 pence. I absolutely love this kit. Look at those colours, they're gorgeous. <laughs> Three tubes of Mayuki seed beads here. Make mm. sure you're checking out baskets. Absolutely gorgeous, I love that kit. One more kit to go. Have you made with this one, Monia? I didn't have that kit. You didn't get that one? No. Hmm. Would have looked nice as the necklace as well, that yeah, kit. Yeah, it would have, wouldn't yeah. it? I love that necklace so much. <laughs> It is a great necklace, isn't it, everyone? It's a great necklace. Come on, should we do the Charleston? <gasps> Somebody pass me my cigarette holder. What do they drink? Martinis or something? What do they drink? Yeah. In the champagne, I'd say. Yeah. In the Art Deco, what do you reckon? And those gorgeous beaded dresses that can only be worn by people who've got straight down figures. <laughs> yeah. I'd have done no good, would I? Because they all were like dead skinny and with no like curves. Now. This one, this is bright and bold. And actually, when we were doing our Facebook Live, Jen yeah. was it Jen Garrett who said, oh my gosh, the orange mm. piece? It is fantastic. What a celebration of colour. What a summer carnival. What an absolute Notting Hill of a necklace. I love it. That's fabulous. Endless strand of carnelian. When was the last time you saw carnelian? Wow. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Because what happened when I did this yesterday, they went ka-ching. My automatic thing when I've got bees like this is to try and do Cat's Cradle on it. I think I'm at the Grands circa 1986. Now, um, here we go. You know, when we didn't have iPads, we had to entertain ourselves. Look at that colour. What an Egyptian classic. Then you're getting, look at these. So these come in a packet and they are, I'm just trying to find them. Opaque orange, 11 O's. 
and you get five grams of those. They are a bit sexy, those are, aren't they? Mm. They're making me want to sing, like, exercise songs. <laughs> uh, then we've got eight O's and 11 O's. Eight O's in uh, the galvanised gold, 11 O's in the black. They look a little bit like caviar, don't they? If you're, if you're bougie like that, but it's not the only thing you've got. You also get black rutile quartz. I love black and orange together. Black and yellow, black and yellow. It's black and orange, black and orange. We should be closing there, but we're not gonna. Just because, see, that's just with the, the gold and the uh, black and it looks black, phenomenal. Yeah. It's a really sexy combination, black and gold. And then what I thought was it looks quite nice if I take this one. Sorry, can I just grab it from there? And I shift it over to here. Oh, she's doubling up. Mm -hmm. She's double, She's going double or bust. <laughs> and both of those are using herringbone stitch, um, interestingly. It looks very different because the, the orange one, I, I did the herringbone stitch using the six mil rounds, which is nothing to stop you doing that. And then I just embellished afterwards with some seed beads. But it's the same stitch. And the black one is also herringbone stitch. The same stitch, twisted herringbone, both of them. The black one uh, is just using the black seed beads and two, well, four black seed beads and two gold ones in the, in the round. So the gold ones are bigger, so that's why you get that effect. It looks great. Mm. It looks fantastic. Six millimeter rounds, and you have got 140 centimeters of those. It's just, and that means 140 centimeters is a lot. That means you can go on an Alton Towers ride if you're 140 centimeters high. <laughs> 14.99 UOXC30. That's what I always think 140 centimeters. I remember looking at it when I was little, going, Why aren't I 140 centimeters yet? I really want to go on that ride. Uh, 14.99 for your black retail quartz and your carnelian and your two tubes of seed beads and your opaque orange. You get five grams of those too. Lowest price of the kits we've matched for you. It's called Tango Twist. This and the Amethyst kit, both for just under £30. Who's going to do it today? Well, loads of you. June, you've got yours. Maker in Buckinghamshire, Barbara's Shopping, Lynn and Susan, Janice in Greater London Town. I have got uh, Diane in Gwynedd. I have got Elizabeth in Donegal. I've got Joyce. I've got Sue. I've got Jen Jen. I have got Wendy. I've got Julie. I have got Pauline and Jan and Margaret and Peter. Maureen in Cumbria, Alison in Bristol, Rachel in Somerset, Maker in Staffordshire with two. Uh, Peter, did I say Peter? Uh, I have got West Sussex on the phones. I've got Sarah in Yorkshire. There's loads of you. Uh, it's great to see your names. Maureen's just come through from Cumbria on the phones as well. Uh, John and Susan have just popped one in their basket. Lots of you getting involved with this price. Well, an endless strand of carnelian. And by the way, I don't think we have much carnelian at all in stock at the moment. So this is one of the only uh, opportunities for you to get some. I, I, I've never seen an endless strand of carnelian. So if you love carnelian even and you think, Jenny, I've never seen beaded in my life, get this kit for the carnelian alone. Yeah. An endless strand of carnelian would sell at 14 99 yeah. any normal day of the week. And it, it would. And it really just goes on and on because I made that necklace, which is obviously three, uh, three strands, mm -hmm. four, four strands. Yeah. Yeah. essentially twisted together and then I've, I've also got the the bits at the back which is also the carnelian and I still have probably 60 centimeters of the strand left over so more than a normal so nearly two strands left over yeah because an average strand here is about 38 30, centimeters yeah there's a strand and a half left over probably well that's mad isn't it yeah. Look at all your gorgeous names on the bottom of my screen. Lots of you shopping today. And I know you're absolutely chomping at the bit uh, to gallop away and get, uh, get crafty. So what I want you to do now is if you have the facility, hit your record button on your phone. If you don't, don't panic. We actually repeat all of our shows on our YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please click and subscribe our YouTube channel. And you will also have a back catalogue of all of our masterclasses there at your disposal. So you can go and you can put in the search bar uh, a particular technique. And, and then there might be a masterclass to match it. So are you ready to hit that record button? Are you ready to sit back, relax and learn? Let's see you, hand you over to the warrior of the seed beads. <laughs> so um, I'm going to bring the necklace over because it's always easier if I can talk about it. So the reason that it's, I said it's quite an easy necklace to make and I couldn't really make a booklet out of it because there's just not enough instructions. Uh, is because it's just made up of this little section, uh, where can I show you here? That little section repeated over and over again. 
okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make one of those sections and how to go into the next one along. And then to be honest with you, I just started um, sort of twisting them this way and then the other way and, and I wanted to see how it sort of came out and then I kind of went randomly with it to be honest. Uh, and that's how it ended up. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of those sections and then uh, as I said, I'll show you how to go into the next one. So it just starts out as, I'm gonna use the orange seed bees here because they're easier to see on screen than the sort of the rainbow effect um, ones because they're quite sparkly so you can't see them that well. So you're just gonna start out with normal flat herringbone stitch, okay? So you're gonna pick up four of your base color seed bees, so the orange ones in this case. I don't have a stopper bead on my thread. I'm using um, eight pound fire line here, but you could use six pound uh, only because I had the eight, eight pound um, here in the studio, I think. I think at home I use the six pound, so either one works just fine. And a size 10 beading needle. And then use as much thread as you're comfortable working with, because you will need to add in to finish the whole necklace. It does take up quite a lot of thread. Um, okay, so you're just gonna pick up four of your beads and you're gonna bring them down to the end of your thread. Now, you wanna leave quite a big tail. You want to leave probably um, sort of a, a foot uh, of a tail thread because I'm starting here at this point. So the tail thread is what I use to do this section here, okay? And I went back and forth twice. So you need probably about a foot, at least a foot, maybe 50 centimeters of a tail thread, okay? So I'm not gonna leave that much here. I'm just gonna do a little bit here. So you're gonna go through those four beads a second time so you can tie them together in a circle, okay? And then just tie a double knot in there. You can do it with a stopper bead if you really against knots. I know some people don't like tying knots. I just find it easier to do a knot, really. And you're not going to see it when it's finished, to be honest with you. Right. So now you've got your four beads sitting. Okay. So I'm going to go through two of them, just so that I'm away from the knot. So I've got two sitting like that and two sitting next to it in the same direction. Okay. So go through two of them. So what you want to do is you want to add another two next to it on this side. So you're going to pick up two more of your orange seed beads. And you're gonna go through those two that you're coming out of in the same direction again. Okay, like that. It's just basic ladder stitch. And then you're gonna go through the last two that you just added so that you're coming out of the last two in your row. Okay, so now I've got three pairs like that. Okay, then you're gonna do the same thing again. So pick up two more, go back through the two that you're coming out of in the same direction again like that, so now you've got four, and then go through the last two, and you need to carry on like that until you've got eight. And the reason you need eight is because herringbone stitch works in columns of two, so two bead columns, essentially. Um, so if you have a look at this, I need four columns, one, two, three, four, to be able to put three sets of the gemstones in between. So that's why I need to start with eight beads at the top, okay, so I've got five. Obviously, if you want to do only two sections of gemstones, you would need to start with six, but you can do it wider as well. You could do a great big one and have it as a pendant. Just depends on what sizes uh, of gemstones you have uh, to graduate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight, okay. So now you've got your eight there, go through the last two so that you're coming out of the last pair. Okay, so that's your, your base. That's a bit we we all straighten out afterwards. Now you're gonna start working your herringbone stitch. So you're gonna pick up two of your beads again. You're coming out of this last one on the edge. You're gonna go down the next one along, but only the, the first one. So don't go down both beads. Just go down the top bead. Okay, so that'll make those two sit there on top of the other two. And then you're gonna go to the next one along and you're gonna come up through that next one here. Your beads are quite close together, so it's quite difficult to get through them in between them, but just persevere. It's only the first row that's a bit more difficult. And then again, you're gonna pick up two. You're gonna go down the next one, just a single bead. And again, it's a little bit tricky to get through in between them because they're nice and tight. Be careful not to stick your finger. I did stick my finger quite a few times when I was doing this necklace. <laughs> and then up the next one. And then two again. Down the next one along. 
up the next one. So you have to do four stitches like that, which will give you your four double columns. Okay, now you're gonna go down the last one again, the same as before, and then you need to turn around to go back in the other direction. Now, you'll see what you need to be doing, if I flip it over, right, I need to be coming out of this last bead that way, but my thread currently is coming down in the opposite direction. If I just went up there, it would come undone because I've just come through there, right? So my thread is going through that way. I can't just go back up again, but I need to be coming out of this one at the top. So I'm gonna go up the previous one, so the middle one in the, in the column, in the next column along, basically. So go through that middle one there, can you see? Okay, because then your thread will sit in between those two beads and it's gonna disappear in the hole there, okay? Now my thread is coming out in between the top two beads in the second column. So now I just jump across to the last column and come up through the last bead. So this is important because you're gonna do this turn at the end of every row. So I'll show you a few more times in a minute. So now I'm coming out of the very last top bead there, okay? So I'm gonna flip it over because it's easier for me to stitch that way. Then I'm gonna do the same thing again. So pick up two of my seed beads, go down the next one, and now it becomes easier to come up the one after because your beads are sitting a little bit further apart. So you can go through up the next one along. So you'll notice when you start actually doing it is that you can do that in all in one go. So go down the next one and straight away you can come up the one next to it. So that makes it a lot, lot uh, quicker. So can you see how it's starting to look like a herringbone effect? Hence, hence the name. Okay, so just make them sit, open out like that and sit. Can you see that sort of the herringbone effect happening there? Okay, so you need to have four, four rows like this. So one, two, three, four. Okay, first two, or two rows, the first first row essentially that you did. So I've got four beads going that way. Now again, I need to do the turn. So I'm coming down the middle bead there. So I need to go up the same, the, the bead alongside it basically in the, in the column, in the next column over. And then up through the last bead here. Okay, so now again, I'm coming out of the last bead. So I'm turning it over again. So now you're gonna do the same thing, but now we're gonna start to sort of fan it out. So you're gonna go, you're gonna pick up your two orange beads, come down the next bead along, and then I'm gonna pick up another 11 o in another color, okay, before I come up the first bead in the next column, okay? Then again, pick up two beads, okay, go down the next bead along, pick up one in the other color, and then come up the first column of, of the next one, okay? Then two again, down those two, pick one up, and then the last two. Then you're doing the same turn again, so go down the one bead, come up the bead alongside it, and then come up the last bead in your current row. Okay, so can you see it's starting to fan out. The last beads that you just did, some of them are sort of misbehaving a little bit, so just wiggle them around so that they're sitting kind of next to each other nicely like that. Okay, now I'm turning it over. So now we're gonna start fanning it out even more. Now we're gonna start adding in the eight O's. Okay, so you pick up your two oranges again, same as before. Go down the next bead that's next to it. Now we're gonna pick up an eight, okay, and then so ignore that other color seed bead that you put in the middle there. Jump across to the next orange column and come up the first bead in the next column, okay? Then you're gonna pick up your two oranges again. Go down the next orange, okay? Then you're gonna pick up your eight again. Come up the top bead, first top bead in the next column, then your two oranges again, down. It's a really easy stitch to be honest with you, but you can do so many different shapes with it. Okay, and then your last two, and then you do the same turn again. So down the last bead, up the one in the previous column, and then up the last one in this column. Okay, it looks like a little crown like that actually. <laughs> then turn it over. Now, this is where it starts becoming a little bit different because 
you'll see that the 8-0 bead is obviously bigger than the 11 so it's taking up two rows worth of space. So you can't just keep adding in between here because you're, those rows are going to grow much quicker than your, than your 11 rows. So what you're going to do now is you're going to pick up your two orange beads, you're going to go down the next orange, and you're not going to add a bead in between here. You're going to go through the same 8 that you've already got there and the first 11 in the next column. So essentially now you're just building the orange columns Okay, so pick up two again, through the, the orange, through the black, and through the first orange in the next column. So can you see how my, my orange rows are growing, or my orange columns are growing, but the black is staying, because I need to make space for a larger bead coming in the next row. Okay. And then the same turn again on the end. through the bead next to it, and then up through the very last bead. Okay, so flip it over. Now we're gonna start with the four millimeter rounds. Okay, so pick up your two oranges again, same as before. Go down the next one. Okay, then pick up your four millimeter amethyst. Go through the first orange in the next column, so that fits in there really nicely now. Okay, then your two oranges again, into the next one, four millimeter, up through this one, two more orange, okay, that's your third one, and then the same turn again at the end, you're always doing the same turn on both ends. Okay, so now it's really starting to fan out nicely. Now again, you need to grow your orange columns to sort of catch up with the, with the four mils. So pick up your two oranges, go through the next orange and through the same amethyst again and up through the first orange in the next column. Okay. Now your four millimeter amethysts are even bigger than your eight millimeters. Okay, so you did two rows of the orange beads through the eight millimeters. You need to do three rows through the four millimeter, not the eight millimeters, the eight toes. You need to do three rows through the four millimeters. So that was my second row. Then I'll do the turn. Okay. Now, this is the only row you're gonna do ever so slightly differently because my orange rows are big enough now that to go past the four millimeters, so I could add something in here. But the next bead I want to add in is the, is the are those six millimeter, eight millimeter? I can't remember. Um, anyway, the larger amethyst. Um, so I need to make a bit more space here, okay? So again, I just want to grow the orange rows, okay? But I can't just go from this orange bead, if I pick up my next two orange, right, and go down there. I don't want to go straight into the purple because there's going to be a bit of thread showing here, which I don't really want to see. So I'm going to go down two of the orange beads here. It'll still work out if you only go down the one bead. That's, that's fine. It's just I didn't want to see so much thread. Then you go through your four millimeter again, and then don't forget to come up two on the other side again. Okay. So pick up your two orange, go down two, through the purple bead of the amethyst, come up two beads here, and then your two oranges, go down two oranges. Sometimes you can go straight through the amethyst at the same time. Up two, and then just do, oh, I'm missing one of them. Just do the same turn again. You don't have to go back down two beads for the turn. You can just do the turn the same as you did before. So just go down one bead, up this next one that's next to it, and then up the one at the end of the row. Okay, so can you see now there's quite a big space there, so my, my larger beads can fit nicely in there. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up my two oranges again. You can probably guess what I'm going to do now pick up the oranges, then pick up the large amethyst, jump across to the first orange in the next column, pull it quite tight, 
um, because it wants to open out even more than you need it to. So just keep your tension quite tight with this, um, with this design. Okay, so next amethyst, up through the next orange. Okay, and then your two beads again. And your next amethyst. And again, the same turn again. Okay. So now again, we want to grow our orange beads again. So we're going to do the same thing as we did before. Just pick up orange, 11 O's, go down the one next to it, through your large amethyst. That's already there. So this is the second row that we're doing with the larger beads. Oh, don't forget to come up through your first orange bead. Then pick up two more orange, down the next one, through the purple, up through the orange. Then pick up another two. Okay, so it's, it's not difficult at all. And it makes a really nice, um, really nice fan shape. It would look nice for earrings just like that, to be honest. Okay, you do your turn again at the end. Now for the third row, because this is the last uh, sort of large bead that I'm adding, I just want the orange beads to grow just enough to go past the purple beads. I don't need it to go long enough so I can put something else in between. So I just want to do one more row, but what I did here is, so can you see I've got this shape made now? Okay, so I want to carry on with the next shape along this edge here. So these two points here, I'm just going to put one bead on each one here because I'm going to finish those two off. Okay, I'm going to put two in between here because I'm going to carry on with that later. And I want to put two on this end. So when I turn this around, I'm going to pick up one bead. I'm going to go down the next orange. Now here I can go straight into the eight millimeter or six millimeter because um, it's a bigger bead, so it hides the thread better, and it pulls in your herringbone stitch a little bit as well, makes it look a bit neater. Okay, so come up the first one, and then I'm going to add one bead again. Did you come up with this design all by yourself? Like, what did you what do you do first? Do you write it down? Do you have it in no. your head and just bead? Do you sketch it? No, nothing. Actually, I just went along. As a <laughs> um, well, I mean, this this is a wow. basic. This is essentially a basic technique. Um, if you look at the bracelet, uh, this one here. Um, I, yes, but I'm looking at that bracelet and I'm seeing no connection to the neck. Like, well, do you know what I mean? Can, like, you, see, can you see on the side? You do that? On the side, you started the same way with your yeah. flat herringbone, and then you and then I increased. I put in so the middle section. Let me just bring it over. Can you see where I I've don't? Got, I, yeah, I kind of I do, but so I also just don't know how your mind has suddenly gone. Oh, I'm going to do this. Well. It's because you're meant to be a beader. That's why. <laughs> I just went with it and this is what came out. <laughs> well, it's brilliant. Don't ask me questions, I can't answer. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I just did it, okay? <laughs> so you haven't got pixies that do it for you and then go, this is how you explain it. No. <laughs> There's no rumple stilt skin coming along spinning the straw into gold for you. No. <laughs> Okay, so now here, I'm going to need to add two beads again because these are the two columns that are going to carry on. So add my two beads, go through the amethyst. You might be able to go through at the same time. If not, it doesn't matter. You can just take it in two steps. Come up the last one. And then your two oranges again, okay? And then you do your turn. Now this time, when you do the turn, uh, it's going to be a little bit simpler because um, I want to grow this one, this column, one more um, set of, one more pair of beads. So I'm not going to go back across to the first bead. I'm just going to go straight up the two on this side, like that, okay? And I'm going to add another two, okay? And then I'm going to go back down uh, two beads. And I'm going to come straight up this side again. Now I need to come up three because that's where my thread is coming out of the third bead now because I added one at the top of it. Right, so now I want my thread to be coming out of this first bead here, not the one on the edge, okay? 
So now I'm going to start my second section. So I need this bit here where, remember I had the eight pairs of beads. So I want that section to be across here, okay? So I'm going to do the ladder stitch again. So I'm going to pick up two more of my orange beads and I'm just going to ignore everything else except for those top four beads there, okay? And I'm going to do my ladder stitch next to those. So just go through the, those two beads again. So you stitch two beads next to it and then go back down the two new beads like so, and then pick up your next two orange, go down those two beads, and keep adding two beads next to it, just like that, until you have your eight again, to start your next little fan. Okay, and then if it loosens out like that, just pull on your beads and pull on your thread until it all tightens up nicely. Okay, it doesn't have to be very tight because, as I said, when you do your next row, it all kind of tightens up anyway. Okay, just try to keep it sort of neat-ish looking. <laughs> right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six pairs. So just add two more, so that's seven. Down the last two. And then, the, and then two more, okay? So now I've added the last two. I'm not gonna come up the two there because now I want to join it to the end of this column here, okay? Can you see? So what I want to do, so I'm coming out of the second last bead at the bottom, I'm just gonna go down. This, this column here is gonna be corresponding to that second column there, can you see? So I'm gonna go down a few beads here, it doesn't matter how many, you can go down two, you can go down three, whatever. And then just go up the corresponding bead on the other side and then all the way up through those two that you've just done as well. So in this case, I'm going up five beads just to attach it to the next column there, okay? Um, I did a, another go, so I went back down the two again and then just went down the first bead in my previous beading just to make it a little bit more secure. It would probably be fine if you only went through it once, but I like to be sure, so I just went through it again. So now you can see, now I'm coming out of my last bead here, and I'm gonna carry on the same way as I did this section here. So just do one row of simple basic herringbone, another row, and then you've got your four base rows, those four rows there, and then start adding in the expanding beads. Again, the same as you did here. And then that's going to give you, can you see I've got that shape there, then I'm gonna carry on here, so this will carry on there, that'll give you the next shape. And then all you need to do is just keep going like that, I went until I had four fans here, and then I wanted to go the other way. So then uh, my thread ended up coming out here. Then all you need to do is just work your way through, make sure then you put your little points on that side of your fan, because you're gonna carry on down here, work your way through until your thread is coming out the bottom, and then do the same thing, but turning this way, okay? And then I made two halves almost of the necklace. Oh, now I've got all tangled up here. Give me a second. So I made two halves. Right, so I made that half first without this. I made that half and I just wiggled. So I went four, four that way, a couple that way, a few that way. Uh, I'll put a picture of the finished necklace up on my Facebook after the show so you'll be able to see how many lefts and how many rights uh, to do. And then I did this one as a separate thread. I started again at the top and then I, I mirrored this top section here until I got to there and then I joined it in there because I kind of wanted it to have just like a, a pendant section at the bottom. And actually I made a mistake, but it quite turned out quite well actually, because you'll see that my starting thread, my tail thread starts here, whereas on the other side it started oh, there. Yeah, but because side. the whole necklace is kind of asymmetrical, it actually works out better that way. Okay. And then I just used my tail thread. I went through these beads to get the length that I wanted, through a closed jump ring, back again, through the other bead in that column, hmm. not the one that I was coming out of, through the other one. I went back up again, back down again, and then finished off my thread here. Okay. And that do you was knot it. it at all or not? You just I do. It? I do a couple of half hitch knots uh, okay. and then just work, work my way through. And that's it really. It's really simple actually. Well, you say that. You say that. <laughs> simple when you know how. Uh, thank you so much, Monica. Now I've, got, I've had the left right in my hand uh, the whole uh, way through that demonstration. Oh, it's coming up at three o'clock. This is the one I have in my car next to my, uh, next to my holy water. I tell you about this, don't I? 
I know I might be mad. I might be. It's very, very possible. But now I'm going to give you a strand that I just love. I just love this strand. It's so beautiful. Rubies and sapphires together. What could be better than this? It's from... Oh, you've got Burmese rubies here. Oh, yeah. And Burmese sapphire. Does it get any better than this? <laughs> they had the two millimetres on this morning. It completely sold out. Now, Burmese gemstones, any gemstone out of Burma, we know has this prestige. Yeah. But Burmese, Burmese gemstones are some of the best, if not the best, particularly when we're talking about ruby in the world. You know, they say you want the best rubies, you go to Burma. Burma is closed. Burma is not... Um, so they've closed all the mines for all of the different gemstones in Burma, and they are taking back control of their mines. We are going to see a backlash of that. We are going to see a price uh, increase. It's only to be expected, isn't it? Burmese jade, said to be the best. Burmese ruby and sapphire. If you are a true gemstone connoisseur, you'll know what's in front of you right now. Should never, ever be nine pounds and 99 if anything doesn't make sense is this deal right here completely natural because of our partnership with the wonderful gemporia we are able to get burmese gemstones not only that but instead of jacking up the price because they're from burma we're giving them to you at a really exclusive offer please know that globally this is more than a reduced price this is an absolute if you see it you've got to buy it price 15 chances whether you want to buy it to sell it straight on i would absolutely say to you and this is so important when you've got a gemstone with the caliber such as the, the caliber i've got in front of me here please get the certificate of authenticity it's 25 pence you can get it for free by just printing it off but it really makes sense to pay pay that 25p and get the card the cards look like this and this is for a loose gems and I got later on, but it just certifies where everything's from. And that gives you that added kudos to your strand. Now, if you want to go and get it valued, you want to sell it, to sell it with that, um, with that, that certificate, it means so much more. Down to the last seven, you've got to check out baskets. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, we've only got seven. I'm going to tell you, if I call your name, you've got an unchecked basket. Lynn in town and where Sarah in Yorkshire. Make up a two in a basket on the, uh, on the website. Liz, uh, Greater London, Claire in Yorkshire, Hazel. Uh, you've all got unchecked baskets. Now, this will sell out. Bernadette and Carlo, you've taken two. Cheshire's taken two. Uh, Lynn, you've just taken two, taking us right down. I think that's sold out. Well done to everybody. Now, let's give you the... Where is that strand? There, right in front of me. Where's my... Ah, it's gone all the way down there. Sorry. I have got a six millimeter strand of morganite and aquamarine. So two, of course, of uh, under the under the Beryl family. Two of the members of the Beryl family is what I actually wanted to say, but words just failed me for a minute. So here you go. Amethyst, which is uh, March's birth gemstone, and Morganite, of course, which was a gemstone discovered by the same chap who discovered Kunzite, George Frederick Kunz, who was one of the biggest influencers of our time when it comes to, when it comes to gemstones. These two colors work so beautifully together, don't they? They are the pastel, the baby pinks, and the baby blue. What a great christening gift. What a great one for bridesmaids to wear. ORP 005, perfect summer combination, morganite and aquamarine for $12.99. Now, $12.99 for one of these gemstones on the strand is great, but to have two of some of the most beautiful members of the Beryl family uh, collaborated there on one strand is just, it's, it's just a steal. It is, and the thing is, you would have to buy two separate strands ordinarily to get those uh, two gemstones. Now, I'm gonna keep going. This is lovely. I'm a bit worried I'm going to lose that. There we go. So here we have Moonstone, and it's multicolored Moonstone. So we were talking about the myths and legends behind Moonstone, weren't we, just the other day? Sorry, I'm just going to flip that then. There we go. Um, so, yeah, we were talking about the benefits of having Moonstone if you are into crystal healing. Do you remember, uh, Ben, it was the fertility one? Yeah, that was his favorite one, yeah. So we've got here the birth gemstone for June, and you've got such beauty in this stone it's such it's got such an ethereal quality to it it does look enchanted doesn't it i i love this gemstone especially when the quality is as phenomenal as as this is it really takes your breath away it's going under 10 pounds what beautiful feminine colors we've got here ballet slipper pink together with the the white and the creams i think this is just gorgeous 
899 VIP 05. Don't forget at two o'clock very shortly, we have got a mystery box going under two pounds for you. 90 carats of Moonstone. These plain rounds are totally natural. They're six millimeters and they're going to work in so many different ways for your jewelry. Now, because they are all, you, they're all naturally put together, they, this is natural. These colors you don't have to worry about. They've done it. Mother Nature's done it for you. She's put together colors that just work. This is how they come in nature and you don't you, you don't have that added pressure because it is an added pressure, isn't it? 90 carats. Now we're going to give you some K2 Jasper. Now another six millimeter gemstone. K2 we've seen in lots of different shapes and sizes, but not so many rounds. Um, we have got for you that lovely size. And I think this is a unisex gem, so I think it's got a lot of interest in it. And you've got those wonderful blue. I don't know. I've got no idea why, but it reminds me of poppy fields. And I, I can't tell you why, because it's blue. But it, I don't know why. Every time I look at this, it reminds me of a painting that's of a poppy field. And I've got no idea. You know when you're just like, I don't know why it reminds me of that. It just does. You're just going to have to accept my apologies because my brain's a little bit weird, particularly today. Uh, 0800 644 655 if you are dialing for this one. Uh, if you're online, make sure you're logged in. If not, the app's the quickest way to shop. Now, K2 Jasper like this looks great knotted, great in macrame, great in just straight up stretchy bracelets. But this would be great for an anklet too. Six millimeters work in earrings. They work in all the techniques, really. They are your, you know, they, we were talking, Gemma Crow and I were talking, and, and I know Laura Binding said this yesterday, they're the desert island size, aren't they, a six millimeter? ULG P71 is your item code, 90 carats of K2 Jasper. <laughs> and your price is on its way. 0800 644 655 is really busy today, so hit your number one button if you do get caught in a queue. Here we go, under 10 pounds, great price, a phenomenal price. Where's the mystery box? This bad boy is going under two pounds in the next hour. Make sure you're there for it because if you have got a couple of, a couple of pounds in your bank account today and you wanna get something really gorgeous that you could perhaps make a profit from, then stick around. If you've already paid your PMP, stick around. I've got some basket fillers for you. 90 carats K2 Jasper on your screen just now. Totally and utterly natural. ULG P71, six pounds and 99 pence. So don't forget to join us after the break for uh, that aforementioned mystery box. I will see you guys after this. Roll up, roll up. Coming this Friday on Jewelry Maker, the greatest event in Jewelry Maker history. Discounts and gains, oh, all the biggest, most thrilling fairground rides, giveaways, and prizes. Ah! Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a Joy Maker show this Friday, the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> <laughs> Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Did you know that we are live every day from 8am through to 5pm? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD from 1pm to 5pm. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store.
Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewellerymaker.com. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Welcome back. Yes, it is indeed time. Well, I've got it open. I've got my box open. Uh, for the mystery box, whatever is in this box is going under £2. Monica, what can you think of that could possibly go under £2? Oh, goodness me. This is what it sounds like. A very short strand of chips and nuggets, maybe. <laughs> it's not a short strand, but you might have got chips and nuggets right. Ben? Uh, under £2, so don't go wild. Half the magnetic class. <laughs> <laughs> Half a magnet, you know? No, it is a strand and it is a gemstone. Oh. A natural gemstone. Natural. A natural gemstone. A gemstone of many colours. Many colours. Like many my mother colors. gave, made for me. No, sorry, that's my coat of many colours by Dolly Parton. <laughs> uh, that Mother Nature gave to me. A gemstone of many colours. A gemstone... I think they're quite fruity, quite... Light, quite floral colours. Think sweet peas. A gemstone that glows! No. Yes! I'm going to give you, for under £2 today, not any old gemstone, not any old strand, a long strand of beautiful, a bouquet of colour. It's fluorite, everybody, with the most amazing clarity. It's totally natural. This is a gemstone that fluoresces naturally. It has that phosphorescence. And you know what? It's going under two pounds. This is your pocket money deal today. Are these glass, Ben? Are these glass, Ben? No. Are these treated, Ben? No. <laughs> are these a mad deal, Ben? Yes. These are not glass, they are not resin. If you take yourself to your local beadery, there's a, there's a queue on the phone lines already. Uh, you're ready to put it in your box. I promise you it's going under two pounds. You know where it's going. Just make sure. Everybody has bought more, five for under 10 pounds today is what we're saying. That's what I'm saying to you. And it's not a 38 centimeter strand, Ben. No. It's an 85 centimeter strand 
which is more than double our average strand. Essentially, this is two and a quarter strands that we are giving you for under two pounds. If you're starting your jewelry making journey with us here today, this is your strand. If you are creating jewelry to make to sell and you want to give your customers great low prices, but still genuine gemstones, this is your strand. If you want to make to sell for a profit, this is your strand. If you want to use floral accents in your tree of life, this is your strand. Let's shop. 199 QLP 043 already quarter of the stock of a very large stock has gone. 330 carats of beautiful, beautiful flora. I've got Mary, I've got Pauline with two. I've got Lynn with three. I have got Alison with four. Cheshire takes three. Carol's got two. I've got Midlothian with two, Warwickshire with two. Well done to Sarah. Maker in West Yorkshire, you've got three. Staffordshire's got two. Most of you are. Uh, Dorney, three for you. Pauline, two for you. 70% of our, our buyers have multi-bought. Uh, Lydia in Pennsylvania, where pencils are made. Lorraine in Wiltshire takes two. Andrea's shopping also. Pauline in Tyne and Ware, two for you. Hampshire takes two. Dublin takes two. Maker in London takes two. Marilee in Arizona is shopping. I have got so many of you there. There. What a plethora of colours. Okay, Monica, you're a seed beater first and foremost. When chips and nuggets land in your hand, where did your designer brain take you? Oh, it, it takes me to sort of organic shapes and, and things with movement. And I like, uh, uh, I like things that sort of sway when you move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So would you mix these with seed beads? Would you collaborate um, them with the seed bead projects? You could, you could, you could space them out if you wanted to make them go further with some seed beads in between. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you put in something like a, like a metallic color, like a metallic silver or, mm. or like a metallic lilac uh, in seed beads. You so can your get galvanized that sort of beads would be yeah. great. Yeah, and then you galvanized can really space silver. them out, and the, the lilac ones would look really nice in between those. I think they're beautiful, aren't they? We know your favorite color is purple and there's plenty for you yes. to uh, pick from that. <laughs> and I do think if you, listen, we have got a huge queue on the phone. If you press one, we can still guarantee that you're going to get these. But if you haven't pressed one, I can't guarantee it, I'm afraid. 199 QLP 043. We are now approaching limited stock. Julianne's got five. We are approaching limited stock. That went really, really quickly. It jumped, I know, in stock, but you've literally jumped on this deal, and I don't blame you. £1.99 today for something that's totally natural, a gemstone that's been mined for, a gemstone that has been drill holed for you, a gemstone that has been finished off, sewn up with love, and not just a tiny... This is a sample price, you know, and we're giving you 85 centimetres. We're giving you the whole dish for 1.99. Not just a little taster, you're getting the entire dish. A meal of a gemstone strand. Uh, loads of you there. Liz, you've got yours. Debbie, you've got yours. Message just in. I have got these, the best fluorite I have seen from Sue in Bristol. Thank you, Sue. I love Bristol, I do. Take advantage of that price. Claire takes three, Louise takes two, Hazel takes two. Uh, I have got Greater London with two, Margaret, John in Yorkshire's got three, Karen's got three, Maker in Yorkshire's got nine. Go wow. on, Yorkshire, nine for you. What are you gonna do with all nine? How wonderful. Oh, grrr. that looks like that is really about to sell out now. That's gonna go there, actually. Uh, so we're going to have a little fluorite showcase for you just now. I'm going to give you, where are my diamond shaped ones? There they are. A little, a little look, a little look, a little butcher's hook at the diamonds. Here we go. So you've got the diamonds there. Great if you are a uh, loomer. You've been looming for this kind of deal. <laughs> <laughs> They're brand new today. I've also got these little sparkling rounds for you. They're four millimeters. So if you're more in a beady, in a small beady uh, frame of mind, these four millimeters are going under five pounds. We're going to put them on pre-order for you just now. They're going under five pounds at the end of the hour. Now we are going to go to some cubes. Cubes have been really popular. And I've seen these cubes before and I really love them. They've got, actually, the strand I had the other day of cubes was half, half the size of this. Look how long this strand is. Oh. Like this. Do you know, you can make loads of um, stacker bracelets out of this. It's really long. You've got almost indicolite colours in here. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that colour. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, we've got some information for you. 
uh, to share with you on this gorgeous gemstone. Now, fluorite. Uh, so you've got the elements uh, in purple of water, green, air, uh, your chakras, your purple, your third eye, uh, and of course the heart from the green. Uh, we have got the planet of Mercury that this is connected to. It has a receptive energy. It's said to be a genius stone, and it's connected with intuition, mental abilities, focus, clarity, universal, universal consciousness, easy for me to say, absorbs negative energies and rejuvenates your aura. So if you believe in the healing aspects of gemstones and you know me, I'm there for it. I'm there for it. Capricorn and Pisces with your uh, purple. And we've got that here. Connection, focus, creativity with that purple. So you've got the third eye and the crown chakra. Uh, Capricorn and Pisces and air and water. And it has a cubic crystal system, does fluorite. I love stuff like that, I do, Ross. Thank you. <laughs> Literally, if I had a tail, I'd wag it. I would. Okay. We're going to give you for this beautiful strand. So, you know, you can use this in your chakra bracelets. You can use this in your healing bracelets. You can use a small section of this in a wish bracelet, just one. $9.99. And it's a really long strand. We're saying 37 centimetres, but I think it's a little bit longer. I don't know whether it's because normally with cubes we go a bit shorter. It's beautiful clarity. Look at that colour. You can see the glow there. Now, that flora is glowing there. It's under the UV light and it's glowing. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the glow. Oh, I love it. A phosphorescent gemstone, PGSF83, 55 carats, and it is just stunning. This is a little bit too much ooh la la, isn't it? Uh, what about square gemstones? What about this shape for you, Moni? A cube, where will it sit in your designs? Well, they make really nice um, beady beads because of the because. Oh yeah, because the they're the spiky ones. Yeah, well, no, actually, it turns into almost like a cube, like Does a large it? cube, yeah. Ah, yeah. that's lovely. It is, yeah. It's, it's a bit more geometric version of a, of a beady bead. What would we call it? A cubie bead. A cube, oh, yeah. A cubie bead. A cubie cube. A, cube. a beady cube. A beady cube, yeah. <laughs> a beady cube. These are the only cubes we've got in the show. Make sure you're securing yours. Remember the rounds are going under five pounds. They're available on pre-order. To get onto pre-order, go visit our website, click on Watch Us Live, and then have a scroll underneath, and you'll see something that says pre-order. Click on pre-order, and it'll be on there. Hope, hopefully, I've explained that right. Now, we're gonna, here, they, here they are, under five, coming up. Let's give you next. Rondells. Have you seen how purple these are? I've got purple fluorite for you. Ooh. Are you going to come at me with your purple chakras then, Ross? He has. He is going to. I'm very delighted by this. Look at that colour. I love it. Ooh. Isn't it beautiful? It does look a little bit like sapphire, doesn't it? Oh, I think that's what a it's gorgeous strand. This is like brand a, new. It's like a blackberry colour, isn't it? Yes, like when you eat blackberries and you get yeah. the, the colour on your lips yeah, still. Yeah. Yes, I love it. So beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I think it's... Be so it's known as the Genius Stone, remember? Mm. And I've got uh, we've got some particular information on this gemstone. And, and literally... So purple is the most peace-giving of the fluorites. It says multicolour, but this is definitely all purples and pinks, isn't it? Let's have a look. So here, fluorite with the purple in it is the connection, the focus, the energy. It's connected to your uh, third eye and crown chakra, Capricorn and Pisces, air and water are the elements, and the cubic uh, system, crystal system. I love this. So, Purple fluorite is the most peace-giving of the fluorites. It's dedicated to the devotion aspects of the third of the mind uh, that connect with the spirit. It purifies the mind and enhances mental acuity, stimulating the third eye chakra in order to bring a logical and conscious awareness of the mental process. It's an 
excellent crystal for focused meditation and boosts one's intuitive, intuitive, sorry, uh, and psychic abilities. Purple fluorite is a stone of protection and an ideal dream crystal. Depending one from evil, defending one from evil spirits and bad dreams, it radiates a marvelous energy throughout the entire body, uh, at relieving stress, discomfort, and physical blockages. If you believe in that kind of thing, if you don't, then it's just a beautiful gem, so that you need to get in your collection uh, because it's gonna go with so many different colors. VQRU05 is your item code. It's only 7 99 It's a brilliant price, isn't it? Brand new strand, never seen before. Oh, look at it with my jadeite. I feel all zen now. Isn't that just oh. lovely? Isn't it beautiful, Moni? Oh, it is, yes. I'm definitely about that. Isn't it? It's gorgeous. It'll go with the nephrite we've got on later as well. What have I done with the nephrite strand? I did it earlier. Put that together. <laughs> gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you're as quick as can be. I, sorry, I'm on my oracle, rather, on my page with your names. Alison, Karen, Cambridgeshire, Cheshire. Uh, I've got Pauline, uh, Maker in Cheshire with two, and then Pauline. I've got Susan in West Yorkshire with two as well. Lots of you uh, going for this a couple of times. I think it would make the most beautiful necklace and uh, bracelet combination. I really do. I love that colour so much. It's right in the, it's kind of, it's hard to explain, isn't it? It's not, it's neither pink nor purple. It's somewhere beautifully nestled in between. I mean, you've got some deep purple ones in there, sure. Hot, some hot pink, yeah, yeah. Really gorgeous. 799 VQR, U05. I've got more fluorite though coming up for you just now. Which one are we going to go for next, Rossi? Under five pounds, have a look at this. Do you know, you could actually space these purple and pink ones out with this, couldn't you? Let's go with Pips. Yes, Pippity Pips. This is such a good cut. I love it. And it's a recent cut. We, I don't know why. It's, it baffles me. It's so weird, isn't it? Like, this is a shape and it's, you know, something that we could have come out with ages ago. But we, nobody ever had. Not just us, like the world. And uh, we've got them, these beautiful Pips. Now, these are a combination of all the colours of fluorite. These, again, if you've just bought these will go really nicely together. Now, uh, there's a lot of green in this, but there's a lot of purple. Do you know what? I think, it, I think you've got everything aside from... No, you have got golden in here as well. So let's learn a little bit more about the green fluorite. So it's about growth, re-energizing and healing. Uh, in terms of chakra, we're talking about the heart and the third eye. It's for Capricorn and Pisces. Uh, we have got the air and earth elements and the crystal system is at the cubic. So Capricorn and Pisces. Any Capricorns in here? When's Capricorn? Is it January? I think it's January, but I might be wrong. I don't know about the change. I don't, I don't, I don't. Yours changed. I don't believe in the change. You don't believe in any of it? No, my brother doesn't. Capricorn's July, so it's now. What do I know? <laughs> I thought cancer was July, the crab. Oh, it's December to January. It was January, yeah. Uh, now, multicolored fluorite. That's for, whether you believe in horoscopes or not, I do. I, I don't for a minute, and then I look at it and go, no, I am typical of all those traits. <laughs> I am such a Taurus. Yeah. Like, every yeah. part of me is a typical Taurian. Really? Yeah. Not Tory, Torian. Uh, what are you again, Monica? You're June. Le Libra, September. Oh, I love a Libra. My mum's a Libra. Oh, yeah. Are you ever so indecisive? Yes. <laughs> well, see, see what I mean? <laughs> Five ninety tiny nine. These for earrings, they look so gorgeous. And just think how summery they'll look. Great around the neckline. They're very delicate. I like the idea of these cascading down. I love the idea of you rosary linking them too. Uh, so let's talk about green fluorite. Draw on green fluorite to clear negative energy from a room or workspace and to absorb pollution from the environment according to myth and legend. Uh, place in an area where children play to minimise conflict and place in a pocket of a child whose travel... Uh, who? Hang on. 
place in the pocket of children who travel fume-filled streets or play in urban areas. Uh, oh. Keep a green fluorite crystal in the garden to attract butterflies. Oh, how lovely. I love a butterfly. 599YHNV09 is your item code. Message just in. Joe says, I was memory wiring flora in uh, strong sunshine and the blue was electric. Oh my gosh, when you get this gemstone out in the sunlight, isn't it amazing? And don't you love it even more? You're just like, oh, it's like a mermaid's treasure. 5.99, 35 carats of multicolored fluorite, faceted puffy coins, incredible. Next up is a bundle of frosted fluorites. Gosh, you've got loads. So these are all the frosted fluorites that we have in the building. And we put them in the show for you. So I get, oh, okay, let me look at your sizes. That one goes there, that one goes there, that one goes there. So I've got two of each, yeah? four, six and eight millimetres, and you get two of each. So you've got six strands here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is lovely. Look at all of these beads. And they're all frosted. This would work oh. very well with your design, Moni. It would, yes. Oh, you could use, you could pick out the greens or you could pick out the purples or you could mix them up. I, yeah. I definitely think so. I love that frosted. It looks a lot like a, it looks like sea glass that you would pick up on the beach. It does. It looks it? just yeah. like sea glass, doesn't it? Brand new bundle, by the way. Never seen before. Use fluorite to clear mental fog, confusion, or conflicting ideas, or to quiet worried thoughts and anxiety. Mm. It's ideal for overcoming any form of disorganisation, and it's perfect for increasing thought and concentration. An excellent study and learning tool, fluorite helps absorb new information and improves uh, memorization and retention. Used regularly, it nurtures the intelligence and is believed to raise the IQ. Oh. oh, clever us. Well, you can never be too clever, can you? It, well, um, sometimes maybe you can be too clever. What do you think? You're a bit too clever and look where it's got you, mister. I know. See, sometimes you're just better off not knowing. Now, <laughs> 29 for all six. That's five pounds a strand. We've only 23 of these left. It is, it's more like, it's not really double trouble, is it? Because there's six, like, it just feels like it's, it's a, it's a madder deal than that. Ayrshire, you've got yours, West Yorkshire, Karen, you've got yours, Maeve in Durham, Sussex, you're shopping. You're on the phone to this as well. We are busy on the phone lines today. Don't forget, have we completely sold out of the two pound strand? Add the two pound strand to your order. Add the two pound strand to your order. If you don't, I think you will massively regret it. Still on the website for you, two pounds for a fluorite strand of chips and nuggets. Yeah. And it was an 84 centimeter strand. The madness that deal was. Add it to, add it to your order. Ben's just getting it for us now. Where is it? Is it in the box? The mystery box? Where's my strand gone? Hmm. We don't know where it's gone. Oh wait, I've got it right in front of me. I couldn't see for looking. I am so annoying. Let's put them together. It's just going to break it up that little bit more, isn't it? Definitely, you've got to do it. Right, we've only got 12 left. These are going to sell out. Add this to your basket. It's a basket adder. It's two pounds, one ninety-nine. Uh, so we have got four, six and eight mil and you're getting two of each and they're all frosted. Great for macrame, great for any project actually. Great, I'd love to see those little four millimetres in an anklet. And imagine that on holiday or out at night time, you'd be like a fireflyer. Fireflyer? Firefly. <laughs> Oh, those words and me. Now, don't forget we've got these little sparklers coming up for you very, very soon. But for now, let's do some little pairs. These are lovely. And I tell you what, I like the tops of these because they're smooth. This is a brand new strand. It's not been on air before. Oh, it's a bit tangled. Just give me a sec. Look how smooth they are. Do you know, these do look like they're, f they're fill full of water. Like someone's filled them up with juice. Look at that. Look, isn't that lovely? <laughs> Can you see? I love that. Oh, yeah, I think this is fabulous.
Yeah, I think this is beautiful. I think I'll put this, I would just have this as pendants. Monica, this would be be this would be really wonderful as drops on your piece you of jewelry could. there at the bottom. Yes, yes. It would work really well like that. So these will incorporate really nicely with seed beads. You could just add them to the sort of the middle of the fan. Yeah, that's what you? I mean, yes, yeah. as a drop. Yeah. And give it that sort of little point. Yeah. Oh, nice. Aren't they lovely? They gather up beautifully. What about hair vines? Oh, yes. Ready? WDP 039. 12 pounds and 99 pence. Super, 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 super value. Now, I reckon these are less than a pound each. There's definitely more than... Let's have a count, a count of them. Hang on. They're very easy to tangle themselves up, by the way, just in case you get these home and you're like, oh, right, you go over there, you go over there, and you go over there. Right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's not just me who talks to my beads. <laughs> <laughs> 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 27, 27, 48 pence a gemstone. I think we can deal with that, especially if we're, if we're making to sell. It's a profit maker, right? It's, it's a genuine gemstone. It's genuine fluorite. Remember to print off your certificate of authenticity. You can print it off with, with these people. I definitely believe they're fluorite because they look exactly like fluorite. Now... Let's give you those diamonds. A couple of bloomers have been on there uh, and uh, you've been asking for them. So it's time to give you fluorite diamonds. We have got some rainbow fluorite on this strand. We've got all of the colors pretty much apart from the gold. And in fact, we've got some information for rainbow fluorite. I'm definitely seeing rainbows here. Rainbow fluorite, free spirit and insight. Rainbow fluorite promotes independent, creative thinking and encourages decision making. Great for you creators out there. It clears the mind from negative energies and it stabilizes emotions and raises the metaphysical con uh, cons consciousness. It was all blurred, so I couldn't see it, whether it was concisiveness or consciousness. Now. You've got lots of rainbow fluorite in here. Isn't that wonderful? They're brand new. They're absolutely huge diamonds. I think these look really nice on the hair. Look at that one there. Really nice in rings. We've got memory wire coming up, right? And you could just make one, one of these on a memory wire ring. Ease, the easiest make you're ever gonna make. Yeah. Be brilliant. Yeah. It looked great. In fact, I might do it. It's happening, it's happening. I'll just take one from the, I'll just take one, so. Oh, just drop one. Uh, don't worry, Ben, don't worry. I'll go gold, I think. Now, I know I'm not supposed to cut my memory wire with this, yeah, I've got some memory wire cut. Oh, have you? Thank you. You're brilliant. Thanks a million. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I didn't think that through, <laughs> did I? <laughs> Hang on a sec. This is a great demonstration by Jenny Cleary. Well, I'm trying to make a ring. Because it'll take two seconds, except the most... <laughs> As if you don't fling your memory wire <laughs> across the room. Yeah, there we go, got it. Thanks, Moni, darling. Sure. They're brilliant, they are. They are. Get yeah. them from us. I th I'm sure I did. I get most of my tools from JM. They're amazing. Okay, so I'm just simply going to make a memory wire ring out of this. I'm going to put that in there. And then tuck that in there. Hang on a sec. I might need them back. I might need to go shorter, Money. Sure. Do you mind? Da, 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 da. Thanks, darling. So, 
I've made a ring, a memory wire ring, that is far too big for me. The memory wire, and let me just, let me just, I wanna. Oh, I could have taken my own eye out then. <laughs> Didn't care about the risks, did I? And I should know better, me of all people. So, what I'm trying to do is tuck that in there. I've done it, I've done it. Since no, you, I haven't. Since you're playing around with the memory wire, do you have the memory wire there with you? I do. Can I steal a, a ring of the necklace wire? Ring? <laughs> no, necklace. The necklace. <laughs> See, we all love memory wire. Everyone's <laughs> like, did you say memory wire? You'll need these, look. Thank you. So I'm just, what I was trying to do, get back over there, memory wire, is just simply make, <laughs> she says simply, <laughs> a memory wire ring by putting this in here. But she overcomplicated her life, as usual, Jenny Cleary. In the book of Jenny Cleary, that's how it's going to start. Look at this. <laughs> so I've just made a memory wire ring out of it. It could not be any easier to make memory wire rings. And it just looks, I like that shape. I just think, yeah. I mean, I said it could not be any easier. I made it complicated for myself <laughs> because I just didn't cut it right. But it's just straight up, isn't it? Straight up, easy. Yeah, simple. It's, it's um, minimalistic, that's the word I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, and it's all yeah. about the gemstone. Yeah. 7.99, brand new strand. I've got, I flinged one off to Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-one, two, three, four, thirty-four on my strand. You should have there or thereabouts. Seven pounds ninety-nine, twenty-three pence uh, per gemstone. You've got that gorgeous colour there. Well done to Maker in Cheshire. Alison takes three. West Midlands, Jane, Christine in Devon, Karen in Essex, Gloria in Martha Tidville. I've got uh, another Maker in Essex. Lots of you there. Pop a piece of fluorite in your pocket, Ben, for intelligence. No, you're, you're too clever as it is, actually. Seven ninety nine. He already thinks too much. It's true. IQ of someone really clever. Have you got high IQ, Ben? I don't know. You should do an IQ test for bounce. We should all do one, see, see who's the cleverest. It doesn't even matter who's the cleverest, does it? What do you measure intelligence on, anyway? Just question. Yeah, but, like... You could be really, really clever at other stuff. Like, mm -hmm. you know, there isn't, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Einstein quote was something like, if you tell a fish it's something else, its whole life, it'll go through it. That's right, that's right. If you, t if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it'll go through its whole life thinking it's stupid. That's right, well, it is a good quote, isn't it? Good old Einstein. Fluorite fasted round, six millimetres. Now, these are going to go very well with these. Which are your star by? They're coming up uh, under five pounds. Remember, and they're brand new. These are sparkalicious. I like these just as um, straight up stretchy bracelets. I think they look yeah. great like that. Um, because they give you a great sparkle and they give you the colour. And the thing is, if you... Sorry, I suddenly started talking really fast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Down, Jenny. Whoa, whoa. Um, if you put this in a stretchy bracelet, you can you can see it and you can see the glow, can't you? I don't know what happened to me. My tongue started running and I had to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, I've not even had caffeine. Oh, only a little bit of caffeine. What did you put in my tea there? <laughs> Brand new strands. Great clarity. Don't forget to text us. We miss you when, when you don't. Is it thundering where you are? Now, I've got fluorite in a candle that I've just um, got. I, I've sent the... I think I put it on my Facebook page. I might have put it on my Instagram. Jenny Cleary presenter on Facebook. I, I'm burning these gemstone candles at the moment and they are literally next level amazing. Um, and one of them had fluorite. It was an intuition candle. It had fluorite and... Um, lapis lazuli in it. The heavens have opened Goodness here. Me. We're going to get a thunderstorm. Should we all go outside with our crystals? Have you got an outside camera? Let's go outside, dance in the rain with our crystals and cast some spells. Yeah, anyone? I went for a run in a thund thunderstorm the other day. It was my, I loved it. 7 99 You know why I loved it? No one else around, apart from me and the dogs. 7 99 SQG P27. This is your fluorite, brand new strand, absolutely beautiful. 
Uh, you know what? This is going to look great in dream catchers too, isn't it? Yes. I love the clarity. I love the colour glow on it. Let's have another. Let's have another trinket from Ross, shall we? Fluorite. Here we go. Uh, oh, so this is all the different colours which we've got here. So the element uh, elements purple for water, green is for air, the chakra. Purple is the third eye, green is the heart. Uh, it's uh, connected with the planet Mercury and its energy is receptive. So we all like to receive a bit of energy, don't we? Um, now, genius stone is what this is called. And it's about intuition, mental abilities, focus, clarity, universal consciousness, absorbs negative energies and rejuvenates our auras. Me and Ben are constantly in need of an aura rejuvenation, aren't we, Ben? Yes. We are. 799 SQG P27 is your item code. Checking out baskets is absolutely the way to go. OMG, what are you doing to me, Jenny? I wasn't going to spend today, but so far I've bought the whole show. <laughs> I love fluorite. <laughs> oh, Karen, this one's for you then. This one is for you. Uh, what are you guys doing? We wanted you to text us in. Are you scared of the thunder and lightning? Is it there where you are? Are you beading in it? Are you energizing your crystals in it? Are you into crystal healing or do you think it's stuff and nonsense? Stuff and nonsense for you, Ma Monica? No. Um, Would you like it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know much about it, but, um, but I do think there's some truth to it, yeah. I think the more you handle genuine gemstones, the more you sort of think, yeah. I'm getting something here. It definitely feels different when you're wearing a gemstone yeah. necklace, for example, than if you're wearing something else. For yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. I love it. Candles burning. Full moons, rainstorms, they're my kind of thing. Now, Ben, you're not going out and dancing in the rain. Not without me. Aww. OK? If we come back in after the break drenched, it's because we all went out in the rain. Shall we all do it? Do you dare us? Well, first, we're going to do something else risky. We're not just going to dance in the thunder and lightning. We're going to give you a star buy that's under five pounds. These are gorgeous. The clarity, the colour mix. These are really delicate in terms of their colour. And I think it's all, of, it, I mean, the clarity is right there, isn't it? So for me, I'd, I'd automatically think these are going to glow unbelievably because, because the clarity is right there. Beautiful facets. Beautiful clarity. Saturation of colour is right there. All the things we love about fluorite. Now, if you bought the bigger rounds, these are going to be a great addition. If you bought the frosted rounds, these are going to be a great addition to break up the frosting. If you want to put these in chandelier earrings, I think they're going to add colour. I think they're going to add grace. And of course, you're going to get that glow. We've got five seconds to go. And let's shop for an under five pound deal. PGG P93 is your item code, 30 carats of fluorite. 20% of the stock already gone on pre-order. Maker in Cheshire took two, Sharon took three, Elaine, uh, Helen took two, Wendy in Cambridgeshire. We promised you them from, uh, for under five pounds and you all came in. Susan, Karen, Lynn, Mary, Emma says, oh, that's pretty. I added the U, Emma, I hope you don't mind. In Hertfordshire. Hey, what's it doing in Hertfordshire, Emma? Is it nice or is it chucking it down? Just for when I go home. Are you ready? Under five pound deal. You know where it's going. Four pounds and 99 pence for these absolute beauties. Now again, Monica, these can be added to seed beads. The Kiss Cross yes. design would look good with these, wouldn't it? Oh yes, yes. And the four millimeter ones are really sort of easy to use if you want to add it in between. Um, it's almost like the, uh, do you remember we had the four millimeter um, Swarovski bicones? So any of the four millimeter faceted gemstones work really well where you, with seed beading where you would normally use the Swarovski bicones. But of course then you can add your genuine gemstones which makes it that much more interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. There's, there's just loads that you can, uh, you can do with a four mil. Yeah. Make them larger by bringing them all together, keep yeah. it delicate. Yes. Yeah. 
make chandelier earrings, use these for tassels. Most of you multi-buying. Emma in Hertfordshire took two. Mary took two. April, Sally Ann, Margaret in Inver uh, Clyde. Patricia, Susan, Pauline takes two. Lynn in Wiltshire takes two. Helen takes two. Florian in Renfrewshire, that's a lovely name. Maker in uh, Greater London takes three. Sharon in Lanarkshire, three for you, Elaine. In Lothian is shopping. Angus, two for you. Uh, I've got Maker in Essex with two. Marilyn in Wiltshire on the phones. Uh, loads of you coming through there. Beautiful, aren't they? Brands banking new today, £4.99. PGGP93. Stick around with us today at Jury Maker. We've still got loads and loads to come. Uh, we love your company. Keep your messages flowing. Uh, and don't forget, anything that Elle had this morning is still available on the website. So go and check it out. There were loads of fabulous deals. Liam was bringing out deals as well. He loves being on the camera, that one, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. He loves it. Did he do a demonstration, did he? Have it. Well, Liam does actually make jewellery quite a lot. Listen, if, if Liam's in a job, he's in the job. You have to know that, which is why you should never become undercover police, because he gets so absorbed in the job that if he was like an undercover for a drug raid or something, he'd get too involved. He'd get too involved. He'd think he was Al Capone. Now, <laughs> can you imagine? He'd be like Scarface. Now, we're going to give you the memory wire. <laughs> Rose gold first. By the way, I didn't ask you what colour memory wire you wanted. I just gave um, you gold. Was that it's okay? It's alright. The gold will be fine. Are you sure? You don't I... want... Because I can give you any colour. Um, it's alright. I've used the gold now. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. The rosa. I love that colour I do. Absolutely love it. Memory wire is brilliant because it just makes the easiest, it just makes the easiest jewellery. You can literally load it up. So Monica, what did you want it for? Explain to us what well, your idea Well, I can show you what I'm was. working on with my challenge kit. See, the reason I like um, memory wire. <gasps> Here she goes. Is because, I mean, it's not even finished yet and I can just put it on there and it will stay. Um, it's really strong, it holds, it holds a nice shape. Uh, you know, I mean, I could have hung that on chain, which would still be nice, but it would have been more of a V shape. So mm. if you want to do a piece of jewellery that's a, that's a round shape. Ah, good point. Uh, you know, then it really holds the shape well. Even sort of things like seed beaded tubes, you can put memory wire through the middle uh, of a seed beaded tube and it will hold a nice round shape, uh, almost like a, like, a, like a collar. It looks great. You can use it for doing things like dream catchers as well. You yeah. can have it up like that and put your thread on it. What about macrame? You can use them as macrame frames. So yeah. you have got 14 coils of um, bracelets, 14 coils of rings. That's essentially 14 individual rings, 14 individual bracelets, or 10 individual necklaces, all for 3 99 That's just a pound a coil. Great quality memory wire this is rose gold on uh, on your memory wire which is made it, you know memory wire it's called that because it wants to re, re, it wants to keep its position yeah. it keeps a memory of, of its position and it doesn't want to doesn't want to be a square it doesn't want to be anything it doesn't want to be anything than what it is but having said that you can bend it you can uh, make you can, it you can put a, a break in it so you can make sort of like a i did a show recently where all of my, my makes were sort of the marquise shape. Mm -hmm. So you can take the bracelet oh, yeah, wire, can, for example, yeah, and you yeah. can bend it to turn it into a marquise shape and it'll hold that shape really yeah. nicely as well. So whatever you bend it into, it, it will hold it. Uh, and I recently saw quite a nice like idea. That. Somebody used the bracelet wire as the, as the base for a tree of life. Because the hardest part, I think, with the tree of life is to make the wire frame and to keep it round while you're working on it. Yeah. You know, but if you use memory wire, it will hold the shape you're, for you. You're right, yes, that's mm. perfect. And you can use it like an embroidery, like, like an embroidery hoop. Exactly, exactly, yeah. There you go, it's your beadoidery hoop. <laughs> 3 99 Beadoidery. Sounds like something from New York. Uh, beadoidery. Uh, Marion, you've got yours. Linda, you've got yours. Jeanette, Margaret. Oh, gosh, there's loads of you. Uh, next up is the traditional gold coming up for you. Love this colour. So this colour always reminds me of... Um, Star Wars, A New Hope, when they go to, when they go to um, Obi-Wan Kenobi's and he, C-3PO has an oil bath and comes out of it and he's <laughs> really, really clean. It always reminds me of that. I don't know why. Am I mad? Perhaps. 
Do you know what I mean, though? When he comes out and he's super shiny. And when he gets his award at the end, he's super shiny as well. 399 RSP 060. Uh, so it is, it's your C3PO colour. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> That's 14... what I was going to say. Do you, have you, you, do you watch... Uh... I've seen the Star Wars, the original uh, three. I haven't seen the new ones. I've seen, one, I've seen the one new one. Mm. Um, but yeah, I know all the words to Star Wars. Oh, really? How bad is that? <laughs> So I watched it so much when I was little. I literally know all the words to it. Uh, $3.99 to, a new, to, you know, the original three. Yeah, yeah. RSP owes £63.99. pence. is not it wonderful? It is, isn't it? Anything that makes you think of Harrison Ford is pretty wonderful, isn't it? Don't you think? And yes, there he is! No. <laughs> but that's when he's in the desert and he's about to go over here. I can tell by the stars. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love C-3PO. Now, we're going to give you the silver. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Did everyone have the Millennium Falcon? Do you know what my mum did with mine? This makes me livid to this day. Gave it to my cousin Duncan. No. Livid. Duncan. Don't get me started on Duncan. No, no. <laughs> classic Duncan. That is so classic Duncan. <laughs> oh no, I do love him. Here we go. Your mum gave your N64 to your cousin. Okay, this is our text message subject of the day. What did your mum give to your cousin that scarred you for life? Mine is the Millennium Falcon. It went to my cousin Duncan. Um, everybody's got it. A mother, your mum gives your cousin something and you're like, what did you give him that for? Well, you never play with it. It's the Millennium Falcon. You're not supposed to play with it, woman. You're supposed to cherish it. Oh, she really annoyed. I'm still annoyed about it. I'm still annoyed about it. Can't let it go. I had a shiny Charizard Pokemon card. You had a shiny Charizard Pokemon card? And my mum gave it to my cousin. Your mum gave it to your cousin? My cousin has since just not got it anymore. Your cousin hasn't got it anymore? Yeah. And they're worth a lot of money now. Idiot. I mean your cousin and your mum, not you. Yeah. Sorry. I shouldn't say that anymore. No, she is. For that alone. It's those little things that you can do as a parent that your kids will never forgive you for, by the way. They'll keep that little thing. I've probably done it to my kids. RMP 028 399. I've still got my son's Tumble Tots t shirt because he wouldn't let me throw that away. <laughs> He's 16! It's about this big! Uh, RMP, he was like, that's my first gym t shirt. Uh, 3 99 tumble tots. He used to take it. He used to just go on crash mats and stuff. About a year old. I don't know. Uh, Lynn in Somerset, two for you. Shan takes four. Linda takes two. Liesel in Cardiff. Claire, you've got two. Maker and Cheshire's got three. Loads of you there. We've got a challenge kit with Moni coming up for you and a demonstration. We're going to give you the nephrite as well coming up after the break, which I am there for. I love my nephrite. In fact, I'm going to give my nephrite a rub and try not to worry about my cousin Duncan having my Millennium Falcon. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Email help at jewelrymaker.com Drop us a message on our Facebook page. Did you know that we are live every day from 8am through to 5pm? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD from 1pm to 5pm. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Roll up, roll up. 
coming this Friday on Jewel Maker, the greatest event in Jewel Maker history. Discounts and gains, oh, all the biggest, most thrilling fairground rides, giveaways and prizes. Ah! Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a joy maker show this Friday the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> <laughs>
which is interesting because obviously your memory wine has got a curve in it. So your, your, gem, your gemstones need to have a big enough hole to accommodate the curve section in your memory wire because yeah. the bit that's in the gemstone is also curved, obviously. And especially if you have larger gemstones like your angelite, uh, if your holes are not big enough, then even if your wire will go in, it won't go through because of the curve. Yeah. So these angelite are dead easy to put on the, on the memory wire, no problem at all. So it's really, it's really great, yeah. Perfect. Now you're going to give us a demonstration, Moni. Please uh, take one, it away. One thing I wanted to say is I've been meaning to have a go with these um, sort of straight-edged angel lights um, at mm. home. Obviously, in a challenge, I didn't have time to to play around with them that much. But because the edges are straight, I mean, if you compare them to the um, to the lapis, you can see that the um, the angel has got a flat edge. So I would want to try to use it almost like a like a carrier bead when yeah. you see beading to sort of uh, seed bead a, a peyote band around the edge, like so, oh, to give yeah. it a frame. Uh, almost like bezeling, but you don't need to go over the top because it, it, you can bead it tight enough to hold onto the sides. But you can't do that with the with the curved, with the puffy squares because obviously it would slip, so you would have to pull it in. But I've been really um, wanting to give those a try, so maybe I'll have a go at home with a few pieces that I have left. Right. So for now, I thought I'd just put all of them together because as you were saying earlier, it all looks quite um, quite Egyptian. Uh, to be honest. So, I mean, this is a really simple make, but if somebody's just starting out, then that's another reason why memory wire is good to use because uh, it's just so easy to work with. Um, so just to, to do this necklace, all I did was I laid out my, um, my lapis and I worked out how many were on a strand. Uh, and so the way I laid them out is um, I put six lapis on the middle strand here and then five on either side, and then four, and then three, and then two, and then one. So I had enough, and I still had three left over to do uh, some earrings afterwards. Okay, and then I made these little dangly bits just to thread on. So I'll quickly show you how to do that in case somebody is just starting out. So you need something at the end to stop your beads from falling off. So I found some little silver uh, spacer beads. I don't know if they come in, they should, yes, they do. They come in the in the findings kit that you, uh, that you get with the, um, with this kit, so they're in there. So just take one of the little silver beads, uh, thread it onto a little piece of your beading thread, which is uh, probably about 20 centimeters, you don't need very much. Okay, bring it down to the bottom. Then I took one of the rondelles, threaded that on, bring it down so that your, your thread is folded in half, okay? Bring it down to the bottom really nice and tight, so that's holding onto the end there, okay? And then I threaded on one angelite, then another rondelle, and then a lapis, and then another rondelle. So for this particular one, I'm just gonna thread on two of the lapis, and then another rondelle. Okay, so I've got that there. And then you're gonna thread on a crimp bead onto both of the threads, just as you've been threading on your gemstones. Okay, bring it down to the bottom. And then if you have the crimping pliers, that's great. If you don't, you can just use your normal flat nose pliers. And then take the end of your beading thread, or beading wire really, and turn it around and put it back through. You only need to take one. Um, sometimes you have a lot of strands of your beading wire and you haven't got enough space in a crimp to turn them all back. Because obviously if you have like six strands of your beading wire and you turn them all back, you can't fit 12 strands through your crimp bead. But you don't need to. You only need to take one of them back to create your loop at the end. So I like to put it through the crimp and through a couple of the gemstones. Okay, just push it in until it comes out of one of your gemstones because I, if, if possible, I don't like to cut it off right at the crimp. Um, it should still be okay, but if you cut it too close, it might come undone. So I like to put it through a couple of gemstones just to be sure. And then hold on to your, your beading wire on that end so you can push your gemstones down nice and tight. And then the easiest way to make your loop here, the size that you want it to be, is hold on to, so when you pull your, your tail here, Okay, you're gonna pull one side of your beading wire, so in this case, that side. So take your pliers and hold on to the other side and onto your loose end, and then you can pull it, and all the, the crimp will stay nice and close to all your beads, everything will stay nice and tight, and your loop will just get smaller. So make it a, whatever size you want. So in this case, the size I wanted the loops to be 
is if I threaded them on to my memory wire in between my rondelles, okay, then I wanted the loop to be so big so that the bees didn't get caught in between the beads that are threaded onto my memory wire. So do you know what I mean? So the loop needs to be sort of the same size as your little rondelles there. Okay, so just make your loop there. And then if you have the crimping pliers, then you've got this knot here, which is like a, a V shape that goes into another V. Okay, so put your crimp into there. When I first started using the crimping pliers, actually, um, I squished my crimp flat first, and then I tried to put it into this V to create the, the V shape with my crimping pliers. But uh, then I realized it's really difficult to get it to stay in there until I realized that you don't have to squish it flat. You just put it into that V and then you squish it and it will automatically make that shape for you. And then you can close close it with the, uh, what are on the, with the other groups on the crimp, uh, the other grooves on the crimping pliers and you have a nice little crimp there. If you don't have your pliers, just use your flat nose pliers um, just the same way. Your crimp will be slightly bigger because obviously then you just squish it flat with your normal pliers. Uh, but in this design, it doesn't really matter. You're not really going to see it. Um, and it also, the other reason is um, if this is at the back of your neck where a clasp is, if you just flatten your crimp, it might make it a little bit itchy on your neck. Um, but with this particular design, it doesn't matter because it's sitting in between a lot of gemstones, so it doesn't really have any contact with your skin. So you can just use your normal flat nose pliers if you wanted to. Okay, and then I'm going to take my uh, normal wire cutters and cut off all the loose ends. And then I try to tuck in this little end into the next gemstone just to hide it away. And then to cut this one off, you need to make sure you don't cut the loop now. So the best way to do that is to turn this back where your crimp is, hold onto it, onto the loose end, and then you can just cut it like so really close to your loop. Okay, so now you've got your little bits like that. And then after that, it's just a really simply a case of threading it on to your memory wire in whatever order you want. So I've got these longer ones threaded on here already, so that's a four. And then I've got um, a rondelle, an angelite, another rondelle. So now I need one that is three lapis long. And then another rondelle. And so on and so on. So now I didn't need another angelite. So after that, it's just a case of threading. And then to make your, um, the clasp end on your, on your memory wire, I will show you in a second. Let me just thread a few more of these on. So the easiest way I find is because obviously this is gonna be uh, quite a heavy necklace. If you had a lighter necklace, like a, something seed beaded, or maybe you just had a small pendant hanging off of it or something like that, then you can just uh, turn the ends back so they're not sharp and they will stay on your neck just like that. But if you have quite a heavy necklace like this one here, then I still like to put a clasp on. So the easiest way to do that is just take your normal round nose pliers and um, can you see how it's curving this way? Okay, so the way I like to do it is to do a loop out this way, okay? Uh, not because this is how it's gonna sit on your neck flat like that. So you don't want it to come up this way or to go down into your, into your skin. So you need it sort of to be on the same plane as your memory wire. So hold it like so and just turn. It's a little bit harder to turn than your normal wire. So just be quite strong with it and turn it until it goes a little bit further than where you want it to be because it will bounce back a little bit. So can you see I've got a really nice round loop there now, okay? Do the same thing on the other end, and then all you do is just, just put your, you could put a, an extension chain on there if you wanted to, um, but if you didn't, you can just take your, sorry, I haven't got my findings out yet. <laughs> just take a, a clasp and a jump ring. There we go. Use your pliers to open a jump ring out. Where's the opening on it? It's there. Just like that. Pick up your clasp. Put it onto one of these loops. Obviously, you'd have a loop on the other end as well. And then you've got the little extra security. And again, if you put a bit of a chain, an extra chain in there, then um, it could go a little bit longer as well. So I'm trying to use my round nose pliers here, which is completely the wrong one to use. but. There you go, just like that. And then this way, if your, 
if your uh, necklace bounces up a little bit onto your neck, it doesn't matter because your, your clasp moves around, so it can overlap if, if it wanted to a little bit. Uh, but at the same time, if your, neck, if your necklace gets caught on something or if it's really heavy, then it's not going to fall off because you have your clasp there to make sure it stays in place. So you can add a clasp to memory wire. And that's it. Thank you so much, Moni. Uh, any questions for Monica, please uh, get them through to us. We've got the nephrite jade coming up for you just now, and I couldn't be more delighted to bring you one of my utter favourites. It's got to be a star by. From British Columbia, we bring you Nephrite Jade was the original jade that the Chinese went to. So it was the original that started up the in you know the whole prophecy behind jade that it is the gemstone of good fortune, that it is the gemstone said uh, to bless whomever it touches with light and life and abundance, good fortune in all ways, in home, in health, in work, in family, in all ways. Now, I just want to talk to you about the location of where this gemstone is mined. In British Columbia, it, it, you, they've gone so deep into the ground now that they have to use machinery. Now, machinery is incredibly expensive uh, to mine with. So they're, they're using these great big cranes, great big drills. This is, so we have got a VT which is on, uh, uh, I, think it's, I think it's under British Columbia or Canadian nephrite. Um, now, if you look at the Canadian nephrite pieces, you'll see that um, it, it really, really is expensive mining um, for it with all the machines. And, and it doesn't matter because the return back to those uh, British Columbian mines is, is colossal, is huge, because the Chinese market take this gemstone so seriously. So they go in there with their drills and they, and they go in there with their expensive mining processes they can sell these pieces for huge amounts of money. Bring to your attention uh, one of the most expensive pieces of, in fact, no, it's the most expensive uh, jade jewellery, and it was uh, a which I'm just going to look at now. You have a look at this while I do that. Um, because this piece went for millions, this jade necklace. Um, and I want the colour of the jade that Sotheby's auctioned for so many millions of pounds. And I want you to, let me just find it. Uh, it's got a Cartier clasp on it, but it is the most expensive jade piece. Here I have it. So it's, um, and I'm just gonna draw, uh, right, so Hatton, uh, Medivani jade necklace by Cartier sells for 27.44 million uh, and is believed, believed to have been a wedding gift to an American socialite. Um, and you can see it here. So look at the color of this. Now I'm wearing jade, I'm wearing our jade. Now I want to show you our nephrite jade. Which one's closer in color? It's closer in color, isn't it? To the Cartier one. I'm wearing our other jade. And I'm, listen, I'm not, um, I'm not knocking our jade. I wear it every day, you know me. I'm very superstitious. But I do believe that this color is far closer to that expensive jade color. So here you go, Cartier pays record 27 million for a jadeite necklace at Sotheby's. So it's Cartier that bought it. Um, on the April the 6th, Cartier beat out eight bidders to pay the world record for million for the legendary jadeite necklace, necklace at Sotheby's uh, Magnificent Jewels Auction in Hong Kong. Wow. 
So in Hong Kong and in China, this gemstone is the business. It's the diamond. It's, it's the one that everyone wants. I got this last time. It has an amazing deep color uh, green. It's absolutely stunning. I've got this strand here. So I've got this one, right, that we've got left is in this hour. So this is the one I've got and it's the same color. I love them. I just love why I've got it because I get a feeling every time I touch it I just I just do news from Dave Troth it's so highly in the east we rarely get a chance to get hold of it in the west the and left right stay in the east because of the Chinese market pays such a high premium for it we were able to secure this lockdown situation in 2020 this nephrite couldn't be shipped into the east and it was uh, cancelled we were offered a one deal on this material now i'm delighted to bring you that cartier green that sotheby's auction green i love this and remember it's expensive it's canadian nephrite which is is really expensive because they have to use the drills now blg p69 is your item code please make sure you get your nephrite, especially if you're as superstitious as I am. You know what I'm like. The last remaining chance for you, BLG P And you're gonna do how many? What did you just say to me? Okay, so you're not paying 149.99. Anywhere else in the world, you, you probably would. Okay, we've only got four left. Let's give you a price quickly. Okay, we're gonna give you more than 100 pounds that price blg p69 they've been on a couple of times before this is your last chance we're down to the last four once it's gone this will be it no more canadian nephrite three chances we're over allocated 39.99 i've got more for you so if you missed out then if you're on the phones you're going to miss out if you haven't hit one you're going to miss out uh, you've got to check out baskets look at this for a color six thousand and thirty eight pounds and 19 pence beautiful yeah it's beautiful beautiful and you want it near your pulse if you're superstitious. 27 in baskets. You've got to check out. We've got one left. Who's going to take the last one? It's gone. It's gone. I'm sorry. That's not available now. Uh, ovals? The diamonds. Okay. Or co corner drawers, uh, squares. These are lovely. I love them. I just love them. 32 of you missed out on that last one. Don't worry. I've got another one. goosebumps in fact you'll be able to see my goosebumps let me move the lace this is you you see them they're on my chest i don't you probably don't want to see my goosebumpy chest but they're there i promise you here's my goosebumpy arm they give me goosebumps can you see my goosebumps or not i am goosey i love them i love them so much i do believe in Look at that colour, come on. I love it. Uh, KDG P07, stay on the phones. I know some of you missed out on the last one. Stay on the phones, few of you have. Well done. So, 10 carats more. And you can see it's, it's got that, that difference of uh, shape. And you've got that lovely edge to these. So I would put these in rings. Isn't it lovely? Right. Wonderful. Shape. Beautiful. Have you seen the big boulder? Is that what you're looking at? The boys are like going, oh my gosh, this is mad. I know, look at this big boulder. So this is in British Columbia. Whoa. So at the Polar Pride boulder called the Find of the Millennium by trade experts was discovered in Canada. The 18 ton boulder was split in half for carving. Look at that color. Whoa. Where I got the thing from, I got from the same source. This is where I got the machinery um, information out of because it, it's mad, isn't it? Isn't it amazing? Imagine slicing that in half. This is how much effort goes into getting nephrite. Have a look at this. Nephrite mining in British Columbia is very challenging. Winters are a lot, well listen, if anyone that's been to Canada knows, 
Winters are harsh. There's a lot of snow. They're long and harshly cold and deposits are remote. So mining can only happen during the short summer season, about 60 days a year. Almost all the secondary deposits are exhausted. So current mining is almost all from primary deposits. Uh, transporting the heavy equipment to the mining sites is backbreaking work. And now they've gone in with machines, which is so expensive. We're gonna go straight to your price with this one because so many people missed out last time. Over already. I can't see my names, my system's gone bananas. KQG P07 is your item code. 110 carats. This is this is the madness, you know. 39 pounds and 99 pence. 10 chances. KQG. P07, 39.99, that is a super price uh, for Canadian. Right, please make sure as quick as can be, 10 millimeters, and you've got those lovely edges on there. 0800 644 jurymaker.com. If you're dialing in and check it out, Maker in Greater Manchester, uh, Sheila, Sandra, Jane. Linda, Maker in Sussex, Avis, Liz with two. Cheshire, you've got yours, Greater Manchester. Uh, Karen in Georgia takes two. Three chances remain and then they have gone and sold out. We are over allocated by quite a few of you. So if you have an unchecked basket and you don't press your one, one key on the phones, then you're not going, Maureen's press one. You should get, oh, you might not get one. Two chances, last two. You, uh, oh, Jean in Cardiff comes in as well. This is gonna sell out any second now. Any second now and it's gone. Nephrite, Canadian Nephrite, one of the luckiest gemstones on earth. One left. Joyce in Georgia, are you going to get it? Maureen in Cumbria are on the phones. You're waiting, and I'm sorry for the queue. Oh, it's gone to Joyce in Georgia. Well done. Now, two more left. This is the strand I have in my collection, and I'm going to presume. Are we going to do the candy beans? I was presuming, wasn't I? Dear, before I go. I was listening to that in the car. A bit of Paolo Natini, I was. <laughs> 300 carats. Wow. I think this is the bougiest strand of nephrite we have, without a doubt. They're massive, they're colossal. A necklace, of course. I'd do like a Marla style with this, or prayer beads with it. Yeah. yeah, let's have a look at British Columbia, if that's okay, please. Oh, look how beautiful it is. I love Canada so much. The primary nephrite deposits in British Columbia are all located in highly mountainous areas. This is a view of the Jade Mountains in the province's northwest corner. The extremely rugged terrain and harsh winters make nephrite mining very challenging. And that was uh, courtesy of Jade West something. Didn't see the end. Oh, I love, I miss Canada. I used to go every month. Oh. 100 catch you love it then it's so you you're so toronto you just don't even know it <laughs> you can't okay my uh, producer ross is gonna do something but they're massive how much like 300 carats what were we at last time yeah 110 was the biggest wasn't it i think this is prettier than chinese jade joyce i think it is too it's just beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay, you can see it. I love it. I was not expecting these to only be wow. 39.99. I'd say this should have been Yes, these are these are these are huge. Massive carrot, brilliant colour. The colour is absolutely banging. 39.99, we've only three there that it hurts to tell you. Greater Manchester, you need to check out. You've got three in a basket. You've got to check them all out now, otherwise you'll miss out. Annette, Maker in, oh my gosh. One left, Sandra, Jane, Jan, who's going to get this gone? <laughs> okay, this is my strand. I have got this. It stays next to the holy water in my car, and today I had it I had a... Some crazy driver pulled, it, pulled in front of me on the motorway today and I had to hold this afterwards. Grabbed it out of my cup holder and held it. You've got to have your nephrite. Look at the colour. Right, so I've got this because the colour just gets me. It gets me. This is so vibrant. This is so strong. 
It's got great clarity. Let's have another look at that Cartier piece, if, if, if you please. Look at that colour. Natural, totally natural. Look at that Cartier colour. Cartier pays record 27 million for jadeite necklace. Look at this. Nephrite jade for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful example of colour there. This is breathtaking. 100 carats. Sorry, I, it's in my... Okay, well, this is the one I've got. It was my favourite, that's why I've got it. It doesn't mean that the others aren't beautiful because they're all beautiful and I have to have all of them. But this one, I, I personally loved... Uh, because I want these for my meditation, so I just want to hold it. I'm not making anything out of mine. I'm holding it. As I tell you, every single blooming day. I've got, I've got jewellery out of jade, out of Burmese jade here, which I keep to rub and ask for good fortune. And this is for my when I need a quick burst of luck. These are the ones, because look at the colour. I know it's natural. I know that this is the original jade that the Chinese, so many years ago, so many hundreds of years ago, it was this gemstone, actually, that started off the prophecy for jade. So for me, it has that tradition. For me, that's something to hold on to. Tradition, I'm a very traditional person, I think. And I know it sounds mad, because you think that I'm probably the least traditional person in the world, but I'm not. I love ancient traditions. I love history. I am quite a traditional person. If that's you, this is your strand. And we're going to the lowest price out of all of them. But I didn't pay the lowest price for mine. I remember, because I, I, it wasn't because these were the price that I paid them. Is that the price that I paid? What's the, is that the lowest price there that's ever been seen? We're going to give you the lowest price now. GRG, P91, Maeve was straight in, Cheshire was straight in, Yorkshire, Alison in Tyrone. I just love the green, it's my favourite colour as well. Everybody paying the same low price. Nephrite from Canada. Have you already got this? If you have, you'll probably want it again, don't you? I'd love a mala. I'd do a mala out of it or a rosary rosary beads mm. with a big cross on the end i give you canadian nephrite for just 24 pounds wow. and 99 pence this really is a phenom one left one oh last one sorry yeah this is it this is it for the nephrite we don't have any more left um 24.99 these are the last of the parcels all of the strands you just saw you'll never see again they're gone the same thing's going to happen with this one. This is the one that I've got in my own personal collection. Whether that means anything to you, I don't, it's sold out and gone. I just think if you see gemstones every day and one takes your fancy, I see them every day. I see that I love them. Sometimes you just get connected with them. Mm. Well, I do do that. I get real connected with stuff. Now, how lovely was that? Did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed that. Now, everything's completely sold out, but the corn... Oh, everything... Oh, one's popped back. Quickly, <laughs> quick, quick, quick. So these, just one, there's only one. If you're on the phone to the call center um, now, then you might get it. Um, if you say, can you add this one? This is the only one that's left and we've got one. Somebody's basket, the card didn't go through. Okay, great. Well, not great for them, but great for you at home <laughs> if you wanted it. Now, let's go, let's stick with some colors. Now these are opals, like we've never seen them before. Look at this. Paradise, look at the, so these, you in, I think that I think that the colour has been injected inside them. It's dyed, but look at the pin fire. What, like sea glass? What do you mean? Oh, oh they look like um, what jellyfish? Not jellyfish. I don't know what Ross is talking about. Look at that! That's amazing, isn't it? Oh. To still get the pin fire through yeah. that with the. They're a bit sexy, aren't they? What glow things in the sea? What are they talking? I don't know what the boys are talking about. Plankton. Plankton. Yeah. Plankton there's a, glow. There's a certain breed. There's a, a breed of glowing plankton. Can I see it? 
Can I see a plank? <gasps> oh. oh my gosh, does that happen? Where does it happen? I want to go to that beach. I know on the beach. What, that's Brighton? Oh, wow. Stop. I've been to Brighton loads and I've never seen that. No, I haven't. <laughs> but to be fair, at night time I'm probably drunk, so. <laughs> Bioluminescence. Thank you, Ben. I love Brighton, I do. It's really cool. Look at the the boy. Ben says this is the fav his favourite strand he's ever seen. Do you know, I've never seen anything like this. $29.99. Ben says he sees beads every day. And sometimes he could take or leave them. But this one has stopped him in his tracks and made him listen. It's grabbed him by the face and said, kiss me, Ben. 29.99, 12 chances. 29.99, eight chances left. These are sell out today. They are absolutely fabulous. Veronica, Belinda, you've got yours. Uh, Linda in Sussex, Maker in Essex, Shayla. Uh, Jan in Torfan, lots of you going for this, but we've only got seven left, so you're going to have to be really quick. I love that, Torfan Jan. You know, Jan, Jan, Torfan Jan. Mikey B's got his. This is Bognery. Oh my gosh, I want to go to these beaches and see these things. When does it occur? Wow. When does it occur? All the time, every night? Does anyone live near the beach? Has anyone seen this? Text us in. You know, it might be a thing like, you know how when, you know, you get turtles scurrying, the baby one, like it only happens at certain times of the year. Mm. You saw it Auntie, did you? Yeah, my brother saw loads and loads of um, turtles in the sea in Greece. And I didn't even know they were in Greece. Look at that. Only two left. We'll leave them with you. Someone get one for Ben, he says. Let's give you now. Oh, yeah, these are lovely. I love these. And you all like these as well, Moni. Look at the quality and the shape, everything. Oh, oh I like the shape. The pin so... fire is really, you have to get really close to these because the pin fire is insane. I think you just have to get near to them. Look, there, you can see it. You can see the pin. Look at the pin fire. The closer you get, it is like a mosaic, isn't it? These are make nice pendants Ooh. too. I love that shape I do. Look at these, they're a bit sexy, aren't they? Opal giving you the most amazing pin fire. How many of these do we have? Oh, we've only got 15, 14. But these feel good too. I'm trying to think, I think they would be pendants. I think so. Quite a few different pendants. They'd look quite nice in sort of like a waterfall style, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, because then you can really see the movement. Yeah, loads and loads and loads and loads of movement, yeah. I think, is what these need. The eye stone, this is called. The Roman historian Pliny the Elder described Opalus. <laughs> Ben's laughing at Pliny the Elder. Might have been Pliny. <laughs> Pliny. 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 Did I say it wrong then? What did I call him? Pliny. Pliny. The, uh, described Opalus, the opal, as a precious stone containing the fiery flame of the carbuncle, uh, the resplendent purple of the amethyst and the sea green glory of the emerald, all shining together in incredible union and exquisite pleasure. It was considered by all in the ancient world to be the most bewitching and mysterious of all gems. Known for its ability to bring one's traits and characteristics to the surface for examination and transformation, Opal absorbs and reflects light and picks up thoughts and feelings, desires and buried emotions, amplifying them and returning them to the source. Ooh. Wow. That's good to know, isn't it? Let's have a hold of the Queen of Gems, it's called, fell from grace and is linked with rumours, misfortunes, and mysterious fatalities. Mm. Ooh. 
Opal was redeemed in the 20th century and is today an absolute favourite gem, especially as the birthstone for those born in October. Traditionally, it is also the gift given for a 14th wedding anniversary. Hmm. Isn't that lovely? Seven left, just seven. There's loads of myth and legend behind this. Absolutely stacked. Sense of calm, security, stone of protection. Um, resonate your energies with the mother goddess and are exceptional gifts for mothers or mothers to be. A seductive stone associated with love and passion, desire and eroticism. It can be used to intensify what one is feeling and to release inhibitions. However, the stone can divide and scatter energy, so one should be well centered before using opal to explore or amplify your feelings. It's a very magical gemstone, isn't it? Now, neon appetite, an aquamarine strand, yes, the mixed strand, yeah. This will go with the one we opened the show with. Mm -hmm. Isn't it lovely? Oh, aren't those two nice together? Aren't they gorgeous? Love blues oh. together. Yeah. We love a blue. We love a blue, Monny. Now, what should be in here, darling? That's not, the cupboard is bare. I do not have that. There's nothing in there. I've got a bag, OFP 021. Okay. Malachite capuchins you want, yeah? KWP 023. Oh, they're in 17. Okay. These, they're huge. They're, oh. I wouldn't call those cabochons. They're not cabochons. No, but I like Are we calling those. them cabochons? Those would be pendants. Well, they're not, they're not cabochons. They're like... That's like calling a bucket a spade. <laughs> now, for want of a better, but they're lush. They're massive, great drops, humongous. Oh. And they're, are they half drilled? Oh, brilliant, they're half drilled drops. They, they're brilliant, these. Yes, very much love for these. They're huge, yeah. Oh, I, I would this. make that straight up into a pendant. We know that malachite is being used. Oh, it's a hat pin now. Mm. Isn't that... Look at the colour. It's so leggy, isn't it? I love the colour of my... Yeah, I love malachite. Everybody's saying they... I enjoy... I love malachite. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Oh, no, that didn't go there. Like little Russian dolls. No, hang on, hang on. Got that wrong. Get over there, you. Let's put Daddy back. I love that. Oh. <laughs> I love that. It, it reminds you of if you have like a little doll's house, it's a little vase for the table yes. in the doll's house. I'm going to now lie them like this so you can see they've, they've got big bottoms, much like myself. Because I love the bottoms of them. Wouldn't that look lovely? Like in a ring up like that. Well, I was thinking of using them as cufflinks. Definitely. Because then you see oh, them you're so from Gucci. that Gucci. <laughs> Gucci have a collection of cufflinks with this gemstone in. Oh, really? So Gucci, Monica. Monica. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> That's what I'd have called you if we were little. <laughs> Monica. Let's do the rounds. Oh, I love these. Look how shiny they are. Let's put you in size order. There's Daddy. There's Mummy. Oh, these looks, they're a bit sexy, aren't they? Totally natural. And look at the colour. Yeah. So, a gemstone. That is in the World Cup. Our grade of malachite, we get it from the same place as Gucci, Von Cleef. You want to see the Gucci malachite? It's exactly the same gemstone. Mother Na we all get it from Mother Nature. It's only the designs that are Gucci or Von Cleef, and gorgeous though they are, they're quite pricey, aren't they? So you've got an 8mm, a 9, a 10, and an 11mm gemstone here. Uh, in total, you've got 14 carats to take home, KWP 023. Oh, no. Under £5. Hang on. 
So just over a pound each? Just over, sorry, I meant. Whoa. That is what I said, is it? Just over a pound each. So these are what? One pound 25 each. I'm maffed. Just as I'm leaving as well, I'm getting maths right. You've taught me well, I'm ready. I'm ready to fly. Um, now, this is the kind of price that, oh, I love it. 145 Invermay, oh, which is 18 nice. karat gold on sterling silver. It's lovely. But Von Cleef's even more expensive. So is Gucci. And Fendi. Fendi have um, this gemstone too. And have you got kids who like bougie things? <laughs> Ross went, look at this. Happy hearts. Two thousand, is it Von Cleef? I don't know. It's not a Von Cleef. It's lovely. Two and a half thousand pounds. You could, buy a, you could buy your first car for that. Well, less than that. Well, actually, you could buy a couple of cars, couldn't you? I don't know what cars are. Yeah, but we passed our test ages ago. I remember my first proper lush car, and it was £1,000 in 1997. 1997, £1,000. So that would have been quite a lot. Look at this. Look at the palace. Oh, I love it. Imagine having that. It's just like my hallway, Ben, isn't it? It's just like my hallway. <laughs> I wish. This is uh, Ross's kitchen. It is lovely. It's not really Ross's. Look at the lamp. Oh, I love it. 400 To be fair, right, that's a lot of malachite. That's a decent price, $475. You don't think it's all mal... Oh, no, I reckon it'll just be a slice of malachite, won't it? It won't be... Yeah. Oh, my gosh, look at this. Wow. Now, that's that amazing. Be, that will be solid malachite, that one. <laughs> that's beautiful, that would, yeah. There's a malachite bathtub with, listen to this, 18 karat gold taps. Wow. How do you even keep those taps from lime scaling? You'd be devo, wouldn't you, if you came in and they were all had... You'd be like, they're 18 karat gold. You'd be scrubbing them like mad. Ah, oh, near me, I love a bath. I'd love to sink into a malachite hot bath of luxury. What would you put in it? Oils or bubbles? Water. A bath bomb. Well, I dropped some malachite in there as well. well if it was malachite There's and the solid gold, you'd put nothing in it. <laughs> just, you know, what, don't just touch be, it. Just be nude in it. <laughs> no, you'd put don't. water in it, though. In it. You wouldn't even, of course you would. I'd love to. Maybe just for show. <laughs> no way. You'd have to get in it. You can't have a malachite bath and not get in it. You wouldn't let anyone in dirty get in it, though. You'd have to have a shower before you got in the Malachite bath, because don't be getting your dirty self in my bath. I do think that's something... Like, I wouldn't get in the bath dirty. Yeah. I have to wash my face and everything outside of the bath, then get in. Here's the World Cup with the Malachite. Here we go. It's coming home, everyone. That one's not, because it's the Euros. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see what the myths and legends are. A protection stone, it's uh, to absorb negative energies and pollutants from the atmosphere and from the body. It guards against radiation. Uh, as a stone of travel, malachite protects and overcomes fears of flying if you empower the crystal before a trip by holding it and envisioning, envisioning, your, envisioning yourself in the wings of the Archangel Raphael. Helps with jet lag, encourages smooth business travel, is known for being a stone of support. Um, for anyone who's in the airline... It's all about being up in the air, really. Yeah, that, that's what I think. I'm going to be honest with you, Ben. Ben was like, right, so when Myth and Legends happened, like hundreds of years ago, someone actually said, this will be great for business meetings and aircraft travel. Yeah, I do. I, I agree with you. I'm not sure about the association of that with that because it can't be historical, so I don't actually... No, I think it's a travel stone I get, but I don't think you should come at us with modern-day travel because... These are ancient traditions, so I'm, I'm not okay, hun. But I, I don't um, believe in, like, drains being bad luck because drains haven't been around forever. Come at me with three magpies and it's three for a girl and I'm sat there thinking all day, what, what about a girl? What about a girl? I don't know. Everything will become clear. I've just got to trust the universe to do that. Is it impatience that makes us superstitious? Do you ever think, I want to know what the future is, so I'm going to go and have my tarot's mm. read, or I'm going to go and have my fortune read. And that's just so yeah, impatient that, of us. That and, sounds and about right, yeah. We don't trust the universe. Yeah. But I'm constantly looking at my horoscopes, doing a tarot card, really? constantly doing these things, because I'm impatient to know what's going to happen to me. 
I've got to calm down. Stop. What do you think? Look at the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be going to Tucson anymore, what with me not working here, uh, which I'm very sad about. <laughs> Ben's going to go instead. Benny Cleary. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Benefer. Benevra, actually, you'd be. Benevra. You could pass for a boy version of me, you know. You'd have to grow in certain places, though, and shrink in others. Uh, QLR U81, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is said to be the world's best turquoise. Why? Because of its lack of matrix. The matrix that commonly runs through a turquoise, which is, is, is black, or it can be sort of like a goldy brown colour. That's the matrix, the veins that run through the gemstone. And actually, sometimes they are what make us identify this gemstone as turquoise. But as you don't have a matrix in this gemstone, or very few matrix, um, then this, it, it bumps up the price because it's all pure colour. The Sleeping Beauty turquoise mine is closed. We don't, there isn't any, it's, it's closed. There isn't anything coming out at the moment, and so they've closed the mine. It is sleeping, she sleeps. Yeah. The beauty sleeps. QLRU81. Here we go. Sleeping Beauty turquoise uh, comes from the Sleeping Beauty mine near... Uh, Globe, Arizona. Since the early 1970s, this mine was a major producer of turquoise uh, artisans and jewellery companies love Sleeping uh, Beauty Turquoise for its lack of matrix and reliable even colour. There are currently no plans to mine new turquoise. No plans. They don't think there's any there. They think it will be uh, a waste of money to mine it because they don't think it's there. They think it's gone. They think they've exhausted A beautiful turquoise, a really prestigious just $29.99. One tiny piece of this gemstone should fetch that price. Get your certificate of authenticity. I want you to have that so that people don't question that your turquoise is sleeping beauty turquoise. This is certainly the real deal. Make sure you are checking out baskets. Loads of you there. Well done, Jane in the Shire, Pete in Norfolk. I've got Alison in Cheshire, Jacqueline in Merseyside. Susan is shopping also. Uh, I think we need to live to enjoy the day and hope tomorrow will be just as lovely. Julie, yes. I so agree with you, but I'm so impatient. <laughs> I get real bad, like I get anxiety about stuff all the time. So I think if you do get that, you constantly are looking for when it's gonna be better and when, when the next thing, is this gonna happen? Is that gonna, you're constantly doing that. Your mind can't stop. You do need to just chill, don't you? And be like at peace with yourself. And I'm trying to do that. Try and be more zen. A lot of people, I think a lot of my friends, obviously that's probably why we're friends. I like it though. My friend Yasmin is like every day up tarot card. We've got to just stop. Trust the universe. Do it. Mother Nature, yeah, go for a walk. If, you, if I don't go for a walk and calm my thoughts down, then sometimes I can't. It's like... And Ben, you're a little bit like, you're like me. We're very similar, me and Ben, in lots of ways. And very different in lots of ways too. Um, but we are, we, we often have a little like, oh, do you get like this? And Ben's like, yeah. And everyone listens and just thinks, those two? <laughs> those two. Now, which one? Three. These are beautiful. But yeah, you're right. We shouldn't look at, shouldn't, we shouldn't try and wish our life away to know all the answers. Where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in it? PHSF97 is your item code for this one. Beautiful Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Graduated plain rondelles. These are four by two to seven by five millimeters. Th these are big for Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Yeah. Aren't these huge? Seven by five, goodness me. Oh, you'd have to make a necklace out of it, wouldn't you? Yes. I would have to put it with some, oh, we had all the carnelian we had in the kit. Yes, we did. Well, that's Ooh. a traditional thing to yeah. do. If, you know, in, in Egypt, that's what they would yeah. do, isn't it? I love, so this is December's birth gemstone. The Capricorns out there. It's Capricorns and Sagittarius, isn't it, for December? 1999. Get your certificate of authenticity, please. I, I really think it's worth it. I really do. So let me give you some uh, meaning. I know some people hate it when I do this. I do read your messages. Some people love it. You can't please all of the people all of the time, though. That's what I say. So turquoise is perhaps the oldest stone in man's history. The talisman of kings. 
shamans and warriors. It's a stone of protection, strong and opaque yet soothing to the touch, healing to the eye as if carved from an azure heaven. It's slipped to earth. Its unique shade of blue, often blue-green, lends its name turquoise to all things of this tranquil hue. The delicate veining or mottled webbing in cream or brown or black is inherent to the stone and serve to enhance its character. Well, in fact, you can see a little bit of matrixing here, but not a lot. Uh, so, turquoise beads date back... Listen to this, it's, it's one of the oldest gemstones. Turquoise beads date back to 5,000 BC and have been found in Iraq and the, Egypt, um, and the Egyptians were mining the stones in the Sinai in 3200 BC, and that's according to Simmons 419. The death mask of Tutankhamun was studded with turquoise, as were the mosaic masks dedicated to the gods, the fabulous uh, inlaid skulls, shields, and power statues of Mok... Can I say this? Moctezuma, the last ruler of the Ad uh, for nearly a thousand years, Native Americans have mined and fashioned turquoise, using it to guard their burial sites. Their gems have been found from Argentina to New Mexico. Indian priests wore it in the ceremonies when calling upon the great spirit of the sky. Many honoured turquoise uh, as a universal stone, believing their minds would become one with the universe when wearing it. Because of its ability to change colours, it was used in prophecy for divining. Wow. I'm all for this. There's loads of, uh, loads of it. For centuries, it's been recognised as possessing the power to protect riders from injury due to falls. I need this. Huh. I can't take myself away from it. Now, number four, more turquoise. Oh, I love these cubes. Under £10 this is going. So hot, too sweet. So, Chinese. Ah, I've got something on Chinese. Tibetan turquoise or Chinese turquoise is green and carries a slightly different vibration than the more vivid blue. It is especially useful for clearing the throat chakra and blockages of suppressed self-expression. Um, as jewellery, it is worn by men and women alike and considered a promise of fidelity and protectiveness to a lover or partner. It is used in sacred prayer beads, adorns musical instruments, prayer wheels and bells, and a turquoise rosary is said to re uh, relate uh, prayer to whatever deity is being invoked. Tibetan turquoise is traditionally received as a gift. Oh, we got Chinese here. Um, this, is, this is lovely, isn't it? Under 10 pounds. There's loads of, loads on turquoise. Nine pounds and ninety-two pence. I'd put these in rings. I'd put these in um, in with your slider bracelets. I think there's a lot to love about these cubes, and they, they've got that difference about them. I think these could be masculine, even though they're faceted. Definitely, they're almost robin's eggs. So you've got the the green turquoise in here that uh, I was just talking to you about. Maker in Greater Manchester has taken three. Wendy's taken two. Essex, you've got yours. So in London, Brenda is shopping. Greater Manchester is shopping. Loads and loads of you there. 9.99 NRG P37 is your item code. Thank you for shopping with Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for choosing us. Don't forget uh, that it's 1 p.m. all day long. All you've got to do is click the box that says uh, combine order at the bottom of your order and you don't pay any more than once. Uh, Belinda, four for you. Four for Belinda. Go on, Belin. Uh, four for Manchester. Sarah, you've got yours. Deborah in Berkshire. Thank you to everybody. Thank you very much. Hope you're all having a wonderful it, you know, I can't thank you enough for choosing Jewelry Maker for, for all your craftiness. Now, it's time for... What have I done with it? It's here. You'll start by. I've got the right strand, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. I just seem far too organised for me. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got it. Wait, I've got it. Yeah, look at me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Here we go. Launched last month. 300 of you went for it. So if you've got this, you want to buy it again, don't you? You're probably... You're probably coming to the end of your strand. You probably want to. You probably want to make a marlin necklace out of this, don't you? You probably want to. 
pearl knot it, don't you? Well, we're going to match the launch price. So if you've got it the first time round, we've got the last 50. Remember, last time this was on, 300 of you bought it. You're saying what, sorry? It sold out. Oh, okay. So Ross has just said, sorry, sorry. It sold out. We ordered 50 more. Okay, great. Back in stock. Why do you only order 50, though? If 300, that's all they could get. Okay. Fair play. Look at those deep ocean blues. Wonderful appetite. Next to, of course, the tranquility of aquamarine. Yeah, we're going from the deep to the tranquil. Nowhere near your finish. Isn't it lovely? It is all types of moods, this, isn't it? It's stormy and deep, and then it's tranquil and calm. Stormy and deep, tranquil and calm. This is like our mind, Ben. <laughs> Literally from one second to the next. <laughs> OFP, O21. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. I definitely think in Marla's. Have you got Susie's Marla necklace DVD? This belongs in your collection if you have. Beautiful gemstones. In the next hour, is it going to be viewer's choice? Yes, it is. Monica's going to be sharing the load with me and co-presenting. She loves doing that. Eight ninety-nine. Monica, you didn't. You liked it last time. You were like, no, I can't. And I was like, well, you are. I made Monica do it. I pushed her off the proverbial top board. Under £10, at 8 99 And Wendy takes two. Jane in Gloucestershire, Lorraine. Susan and Brian are at it again. Julian and Frederick in Monmouthshire. Audrey in County Antrim. You've got yours. Christine in Yorkshire is shopping. Oh, it's so lovely to have your company. Thank you so very much for choosing us. multi buyers galore. 55 carats. OFP 021. Now is the time for Pete in Norfolk, Alison in Cheshire, Christine in Yorkshire. Now is the time for Angela in Greater London to get hers. Uh, stretchy braces straight up into... Um, into your memory wire, of course. There's loads you can do with them. And don't forget, you've got the optimum six mil round, your desert island bead size, if you're a beader, according to the likes of Gemma Crow and uh, Laura Binding. Desert. What's your desert island disc, though? What's your desert island? What are you taking? What do you reckon? Maybe the White Album. You're taking the White Album? It's just got so much on it. just got so much on it. Now, what about you? What about you? Desert Island Disc? Who are you taking? You can take a mixture of people. You can have like five songs on it. Okay. This changes. Do you not? So on Radio 4, they have something called Desert Island Discs, and mm. it's you, you're stranded on a desert island, and you are allowed to take like a, so, a collection of songs with you, and a book, and. Oh, okay, so you think it's. Okay, well, okay, you can take an album, whatever. You can take a whole album. I don't know what, what mine would be. I would take something like Best of the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> yes, then you've got a whole collection. Love it. That's it. I don't know what I would take. I don't know. Who's Rumours? Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Is that the one, right? So when I was younger, I talk about this all the time, and my mum, I can't remember the album. Right, there was an album she had, and it was, a, it was a lion on the front, but it was sketched, right? But when you looked at it, it was made out of people. Oh, wow. What was that? And it would be something like, my mum was a proper hippie, so I don't know what it was. She did listen to Fleetwood Mac all the time, though. Always had music on at home, always on the, on the thingy, you know. Look at these. These are a bit Alice and Terry, aren't they? Daggers and beads. Aren't they beautiful? Mm. You know me. I blinking loves me. A, um, a, a shape like this, a shield, but I love an emerald as well. Santana. That was it! It was Santana. Yeah. What, as in Maria, Maria. Black magic woman. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I remember that song. That was the album cover. Thank you for Googling that for me. She used to play that album all the time. Look at this. You can't come at my mum with Sting, though. She gets very offended. She hates him. Really? 9 .99, 35 carats of emerald. Bottom side.
drilled. Oof, sounds uncomfortable. 9.99 XJV X59. Um, you, I think pendants. I think rings. Yes. Definitely pendants. But, I, but you know the wire work daggers that Alison Terry did. Yeah. I think they're a it's bit a medieval, aren't they? Mm. Mm. Like an amulet. Yes. Is that what I mean? But look in a ring. If I was Guinevere, that might be my ring. I'd love to go back to medieval times. Just for a couple of days, though, because, you know, the internet and heating and that. Uh, <laughs> 9.99 and, like, toilets. You'd like to be a rich Victorian. Why would that be the best time to be alive, Ben? Ben says... Yeah, maybe I'd like to go back to France in, sort of, 1502, but being wealthy. I'll skip around the wars, though. I don't really want to be involved in that. Now, let's squeeze another one in for you. I love these. These are a bit Gemma Crow. Kiss cross design. I think, that, and I think these will go great in a chaps piece. Picture Jasper star cuts. Love this. I think these could be fair masculine. Do you? Oh yeah, definitely. I think that's lovely. Four ninety nine. Oh, wow. Seventy carats of picture jasper. Um, I think I want to use like a hemp cord with these. Yeah. I feel like they'd look good with macrame. Oh, recently I saw a um, really nice bead embroidered piece that was black with picture jasper, and you wouldn't think of putting picture jasper with black, but it looked amazing. Yeah. Do you know what? It has got flecks of black it in does, it though, so yeah. it works. Yeah, but you wouldn't automatically think of it. You would think maybe it's not. It brown, yeah, but actually it looks amazing with black. Make sure you're checking out 70 carats DBG P47. Now, it's a viewer's choice in the next hour. Don't you go anywhere. Monica co-presents Jewelry Maker with me, Jenny Cleary, after this. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Roll up, roll up. Coming this Friday on Jewellery Maker, the greatest event in Jewellery Maker history. Discounts and gains, oh, all the biggest, most thrilling, fairground rides, giveaways and prizes! Ah! Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a joy maker show this Friday the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive 
deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to maker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, you're watching Jewelry Maker, and you join us. I should be stood up for this hour. I don't <laughs> sit down for this hour. What am I doing? I've got far relaxed. Go away, chair. That was smoothly done, wasn't it? It's viewer's choice. That means you get to decide what comes up on air. How do you get involved? You head to the website, www.jurymaker.com. Have a little click on Watch Us Live, and then you scroll. That's what you do. We'll show you that in just a moment's time. Now, all of the products are, are labelled number one to about... What are you up to over there, Moni? Oh, it's me, 31. 1 to 31. Monica's going to be co-presenting. She's in the sort of middle lane of uh, the, of the <laughs> numbers. Lane. She thought she got away with it, but she hadn't. No one gets away with it on my watch. Uh, so uh, there is a catch of the prices. That so Everything's going to be at the price that's supposed to be, apart from the emerald and the kunzite, yeah? No, the emerald is priced accordingly. Um, the kunzite and the neon appetite and the peridot is going lower in price. And what about the Moroccan amethyst? That's going lower as well. So let's have a look at the website, www.jurymaker.com. Everything that's on there is numbered. And all you've got to do is click on my face. There you go. Give me a good poke. Click, click. There we go. And scroll on down. So everything is numbered from 1 to 38. 31, sorry. Uh, one to four are going lower in price. Everything else is at its price that uh, is set on the website. These, these prices are only yours for an hour at five o'clock on the dot. The prices disappear and you, will, you won't see the products. You'll see the products that were on earlier on today. So we're going to start with the Moroccan... Oh, the emerald, sorry. We're going to start with the emerald drops. These are a star buy and they are jam-packed Full of colour, full of carrot weight. Emerald is... Oh, do you know, actually, Emerald was one of Henry VIII's favourite gemstones when mm. twinned with ruby. Oh. So there we go. And you know I've got a slight Henry VIII crush. Have a look. Only when he was nice. Look at those colours. Look, that's a gorgeous one. That's a gorgeous one. I love the deep ones. These could go in rings. These could go as pendants. They could go in earrings easily. Of course. They're only eight ninety nine Now... Let's not get complacent. These are a genuine, <laughs> precious gemstone. They're oiled. And can I just tell you something? Ordinarily, we'd put spacers in between each one. Now, what that does is make them all hang down. So you're getting double the amount on the strand because we haven't put spacers. We've jam-packed them so they're up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. They're trotting their way through. How mad is that? It's emerald. It's emerald, <laughs> May's gem birth gemstone, a Legend precious gemstone. <laughs> you know, emerald like emerald, sapphire, ruby, diamond. That emerald, are they real? <laughs> yes, they're already oiled. They're natural, safe for an oiling. Nothing we don't all do when we get out of the bath. Yvonne, maker in Cheshire. I made the mistake of having a few oil baths lately, mm -hmm. but I have to stand in my bath to get in the shower. Bad mistake, because you can't get rid of the oil and it gets very <laughs> slippy. Pink's album. All I know so far, you have got here, it's, is fantastic. 
Oh my gosh, I've never, I've never actually listened to that, so I'll give it a go. Uh, 13 please, says Hazel. I like it, Hazel. This is, Hazel started something here. You need to text us in which number you want. I forgot to tell you that. But we want to know what your favourite album of all time is. 78070, start your message with the word JM Studio. It could be Bob Marley's Legend album for me. I don't know. Mm. I just love it. You say the best of the Beatles. Mm. I'm more of a kinks girl than the Beatles. I'm not going to... I think the Beatles are a bit too clean for me. Do you... Do you not think the Beatles are the take that of their day, really, or not? My mum, my mum's obsessed with the Beatles. Only a fool would say that, apparently. Well, I'm more of a Kinks girl. You don't like the Kinks more than the Beatles? Mm. Yeah, I do. I'd, I'd take the Doors, please. <laughs> well, you guys don't like the Kinks. Okay. All right. Well, I, they're really going wild in my head. All right. I like the Beatles. I just don't love them. I mean, they're good. A couple of the songs that are really good, but. Mm. Uh, now, just go oh, to 13. <laughs> You've got 13, it's 30, Monica's. Yeah. I'll stop talking now, which is preferable. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a really beautiful strand of amazingly blue pearls. Uh, Look at those. The, they're flat on one side, which is really nice as well. Because you can use these for... You could actually put these in bead embroidery, couldn't you, because of the flat one side. Oh, that would look Yeah, really they could nice. go on beading foundation, couldn't yeah, they? they could, yes. Very nice. Let me put it in my hand. I love that electric blue. Yes. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. And, and they have decent sized um, drill holes as well. Some, sometimes pearls have really small holes, but these are really good. Have they got a thread? Yeah, they've got a thread through they've them. Got a thread they? inside. I reckon you could probably get a 0.6 millimeter wide easily through there. I've just realized you haven't got a monitor, so I'm coming. I'm coming with your monitor. There we go. There's your item number and price, <laughs> Monty. Excellent. I was looking up on the wall. Yeah, it's too far away. away. <laughs> <laughs> so the item number is WVGP73. And it's only $3.99 for genuine pearls. Wow, that's amazing. These would be really nice for you something blue if you're, if you're yeah. uh, making bridal jewellery. Mm. Gorgeous. You could hang this off the back of a necklace on the clasp. Yes, that would look lovely. White pearl necklace. Yes, as you're something these. blue, like yeah. a little hint of it. Or you could uh, sew it into a garter. Yes. yes. I can't imagine ever getting married. 23, please, thank you. But what's your favourite album, Dawn, in Herefordshire? Ooh. Maybe she doesn't know. Ooh. 23 is you nice. again, Moni, isn't it? These are a really nice colour, aren't they? Red Jasper. I do like red Jasper. I love a bit of Jasper. Yeah. That is a powerful colour, isn't it? It is, yes. Terracotta, yes, it is oh, very terracotta. terracotta isn't it? Eight millimetre rounds and a really nice long thirty-eight centimetre. Lovely spread. with the navy against your against your outfit, it actually, does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, I love oh. that. Oh, I wouldn't have thought of putting it with navy, but yes, it looks really. Oh, nice. I love reds yes. and navy. It's a little bit French, isn't it? Yes, yes. I don't know why. It just but, is. But it's it's a it's a sort of a more of a sophisticated red, isn't it? Though? Yeah. It's not uh, not that red. It's really nice. Mm. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's nice kind of like, it's not terracotta, but it, yeah. but it's not poppy red either. It's somewhere yeah, in between those exactly. two. Yeah, it's just four ninety nine. I just saw that now. Wow. Oh, you've got 52 minutes to get that. Before the price goes back up. Wow. Dawny said, Led Zepp. So Led Zeppelin, number four. Number four. <laughs> oh, the four album. What, sing me a song from that album. These are all just albums of my mum. My mum used to have number four. Oh no, the album was four. I just said that. Well, maybe, see what's wrong with well, me. Maybe I've she got... still wants to see number four. Maybe that's why she texted in that album. <laughs> Let's do it. I, mean, I haven't got anything in. I, it's a star right. buy, so we can't <laughs> give you that yet, but we are going to give it you. Don't worry. Now. But I like what she did. Yeah. I like what you did there. Oh. Any more? Any more for any more? Here we go. Um, the Wall, Pink Floyd. Twi yes. Yeah. Need no education. Oi, teacher. Look at this. Do you remember Sade? My dad used to play Sade yeah. all the time. He went through a real phase of Sade. Yeah, she didn't have very many songs that Your I liked. Your love is king. <laughs> they were all quite melancholy, yeah. weren't they? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He was going for a weird phase then. <laughs> <laughs> Three ninety nine. I, I read that as Bambino leaf, and I thought <laughs> I love that it's Bambino leaf. I call my son Gambino. That's his nickname. 
$3.99 for 95 carats of jasper. And I love this strand. I think it's really earthy, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's got all the different patterns and some of it. It's them. a bit yeah. beachy. Yes. This in an, in an anklet would be really nice. It would. And it's a pocket money price, $3.99, isn't it? Jacqueline Russell in Bedfordshire. This time. Go on, Russ. It is raining anyway. You get in that bed, Russ. Two for you. Lynn takes three. Uh, sorry, Russell. Do you mind me calling you Russ? Penny and Rhonda. I just shortened your name. Uh, Christina, Tracy, Dennis and Pearl. Oh, Dennis and Pearl. I always talk about them. It's like Dennis and Pearl are coming around for dinner. Get your good china out. Do you know, you know, do you know what I mean? Um, five, please. My favourite album, album is Rio. Duran Duran. Yes, I love Duran Duran. Oh, I did. I loved Duran Duran. $3.99. GBG P43 is your item code. Yeah, I was definitely a Duran Duran fan. Do you remember when, this isn't Duran Duran connected by the way, when Apple gave us a free album? Do you remember that boys? Do you remember when Apple, was it Apple Music gave you a free album? You I, too. I got so angry. I don't want no get Bono. Get off me, get off my playlist Bono. Get away from it. <laughs> I got really angry. <laughs> Can't stand Bono now. Um, which number is it now? Number five. Each to their own, though. Each to their own. We could offend some people here, couldn't we? Because there's a lot of Bono fans out there. And I'm not included in that list. Here we go. Ombre. I love Rubelite. Look at this colour. Yes. Look at that. Ooh. What an amazing colour this is. Ombre Rubelite. Juicy, aren't they? Rubelite is... Such a beautiful gemstone. Of course, it comes from the tourmaline family, uh, or the tourmaline variety of gemstones. Uh, and rubellite has been used by the likes of Cartier. Mm. There's a piece, there's a Cartier rubellite ring that's priced on application. That's how special wow. this gemstone is. There's some really bougie pieces out there uh, that contain this gemstone. HMG P69, £7.99, 15 carats of ombre rubellite. I'll show you the ombre. It's very slight ombre. It's nothing to be over exaggerated. I, I mean, I don't think it's massively ombre, I'm going to be on, honest with you. <laughs> Sonia, you've got yours, maker in Cheshire, Lynn and Ayrshire, Pat in Derbyshire, and a maker... Ooh, juicy! Mm. Juicy! It actually looks really nice against your jadeite. Do you know what? I love pink and green together. Yeah. They're botanical. It's like, it's like flowers and leaves, isn't mm, it? Yeah. Definitely. It's gorgeous. But let's, let's put it also with this star by. Oh, yes. That's nice as well, isn't it? Like that, like that together. We had a similar strand like that yesterday, but that's a different one. HNG P69, 7.99. Next message in, not that kind, Anastasia, I remember her. Is it, come on, be a man about it. I'm in love. <laughs> I like that. She didn't have a very nice life though, does she? Did she? Did she not? Is she still around? Yeah. Lovely, beautiful woman she was. Lovely. I think she got poorly, didn't she? Well, God, God love her then. Uh, now, where, where, what was the number? I was too busy singing, come on, be a man about it. Oh, 15 of me. That's you. <laughs> I'm getting all carried away with the songs I am. Oh, I was looking at this one. I was hoping somebody would ask for this because I couldn't figure out what it is. Brecciated Jasper. African green. Is it brecciated or brecciated? I'm just going to say Double African green Jasper. <laughs> Double C is ch, ch isn't it? If we're Italian, yeah. I don't know what it is, but it looks really nice. Yeah. It looks like it looks a bit ooh. like ooh, it looks like uh, Italian ooh. marble, doesn't it? Well, then let's it, then let's call it brecciated. <laughs> I'd love to be Italian, wouldn't you? Not particularly, no. Would you not? <laughs> Love it. I'd be so exotic. Although I'd love to eat their food. <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with the Shire? What's wrong with Glamour from Gloucestershire? Nothing. It is beautiful, yeah. I don't know. I just fancy being Italian. I just, you can get bored with your own self. Sometimes I'm just bored with hearing the sound of my name. Are you not? Do you look in the mirror and think, I'd love it if just we could just change ourselves daily, like wake up a completely different look. Different culture, different everything. Be amazing. Mm. No? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> oh, there's something wrong with me, isn't there? Get bored too easily. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with this old Jenny. 
I'm just, I wonder, like, you know, snakes can shed their skins. Yeah. We should be able to do that. Oh. Just going to shed. But they, anyway. still, but they still look the same afterwards, don't they? Just don't with know, the fresh new skin, but the same colours. OK, then what about chameleons? They can change yeah. colour. They can change everything about themselves. But then they're just pretending. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We're getting really deep now. It's like therapy, isn't it? <laughs> MJGP0. Yeah. Message us in number 24, please. Either of the greatest hits, uh, the greatest hits albums of Bon Jovi or Tina Turner. Oh, yes, I yes, agree yes, with that. Yes. 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 Which that, one? That's the winner so far. I think. Take me down, is, is Bon Jovi Take Me Down to the Paradise City? It's like Guns N' Roses, isn't it? Bon Jovi's so handsome. Living mm, on a Prayer, living yes. On a prayer. And obviously Tina Turner, Proud Mary. That's my party song. Yeah. When I hear ding, 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 ding. All my girls line up and we do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sing Proud Mary and go da da da. It's our thing. Love it. These are really nice. This colour is. Oh, I amazing. love the colour. Yeah. Hey, that would go with jadeite Jade as well, light. wouldn't it? Yes. Mm -mm. Or with the angel eyes. Oh, let me put it yes, it too. would. Do you know what? We don't yeah. normally have that um, drill. They're normally drilled through the centre oval, so it's nice to see them drilled at the top, isn't Ooh, it? nice with the angel light, I think. Love, yeah. I love pink and blue together. I just That looks lovely, Monica. It does, doesn't it? Oh, it's Gorgeous. So, it's, just, it's sort of the same pink as the angel light as the blue, isn't it? Yeah, the same saturation. Yeah. She's right. She's not wrong, everyone. You're right about the drill holes. They're really interesting, aren't they? Really? Yeah. Oh, they look just nice, just like that. It's like little pebbles. Out. Yeah. Really pretty. Paula in West Midlands or Paula, depending on whether you're Spanish or English. Peach, you've got yours. Susan, you've got yours. Could you not be Spanish? I'd love to be Spanish as well. Mm. No? OK. Mm. Yeah, to speak Spanish. Hola, como esta? Ben's <laughs> <laughs> speaking Spanish back to me now. Uh, I can walk in and ask for like a Coca-Cola and stuff. That really? Nice. Yeah. That's easy, isn't it? Like, una Coca-Cola, por favor. And then they say, grande, pequeña. Mm -hmm. Large or small. Oh, right. Algo más? Anything else? Nada más? Nothing mm. else. Or si. And then you say, un té con leche. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what con leche means. <laughs> With milk, because yeah. con is because con carne is with <laughs> yeah. with meat, right? Uh, Rocky Horror Show, twenty. Yes, do, do, I can tell you a story about the Rocky Horror Show. So my sister was obsessed with it, and I, there was a, si a seven year difference between me and my sister. And she used to let me watch it, and my mum said it was fine. It wasn't fine, by the way, mum. <laughs> and I went to school, and I decided I was going to put on a whole production of Rocky Horror Show. Mm. I'd have been seven. Wow. Right. <laughs> Really inappropriate. <laughs> so I am singing the song that Susan Sarandon sings, the ta 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 song, Seven. <laughs> and my mum gets called in because I've got everyone lined up singing that song. <laughs> and do you know what the lyrics to that song are? I can't say them, but th I was seven. <laughs> and, and my mum, like now, I'm like, why did you think it was appropriate for Alex to let me watch that? And she was like, oh, I don't really know. Brilliant, mum. <laughs> Really brilliant. I quite like the sound of your mum. <laughs> She's, she was too chilled, Monica. And I keep saying to her, like, Mum, when I was out doing those things, I was out doing those things. What, 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 oh, you were fine. <laughs> mum! <laughs> I got stuck down a hole that I was digging to Australia and no one was... Adam bound out to pull me out by the legs. <laughs> no one was there. Now, <laughs> anyway. To, look, Mary Cleary was done by the time she had me. I'm the fourth child. Oh, right. Just cool. And I was, the, I was the most high maintenance out of all of us. So she was done. Mary Cleary done. Now, I have got for you such a lovely bracelet kit. I love this. And it's the only one that we've got with the ends on it. Mm. So you've got these amazing ends, look. You put these in here and you can squidge them or you can glue them. So they've got crimps on the end, do you see? and they go on your leather. So that's your leather cord ends. Now these are really hard to find, but then you've got the star. So this is, makes a wish bracelet or any kind of bracelet you want. You've got the star and then you've got all the silver beads that go with it, look. And it's 95 sterling silver. And it's sterling silver, yes, Molly. Yes. Seven tiny 99. Hmm. And 
and it's real leather cord. Let me sniff it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Brothers in Arms album with oh, Money yes. for Nothing, very cool. Is that Money for Nothing and your chicks for so, free? Checks for free, yeah? My mum used to listen to that and I never used to get it. Dire Straits, isn't it? Yep. Dire Straits, dire yeah. Straits, yeah. Yeah, it is. Now. Okay, so many of you have requested the Peridot. It is a star buy, oh, which means we're taking the price down. You're already putting in your basket the price it's on the web for. So, let's give it to you. I just mm. sang the song at Monica that I sang at school and she was like, I, was like, I know I was seven. <laughs> Here we go. Let's give you the Peridot August birth gemstone. Look at this gorgeous colour. Oh, I love the clarity. I love this gemstone. It's the epitome of the springtime. So already a huge percent of the stock has, has gone at 9 99 We're taking the price down for you majorly. You've got 45 carats of a gemstone that was Cleopatra's favourite. Admittedly, she did think it was... Uh, she thought she had um, emerald, but... It was a Peridot mine she owned. It was discovered years and years later. We won't tell her. She doesn't need to know. What you, what you don't know, don't hurt you. Now, did you know that some um, specimens of Peridot were found on Mars during one of those grabby digs? They brought it back. Mm. Really? You know, they go over there with whatever it is, mm. the sciencey rockets with their grabby digs, and they bring it back, and then everybody goes through it, and they're like, Peridot! Mm. There's that, you know. I mean, those aren't the technical terms for the no Ben, but... You know, I'm not that, I'm not blessed with the brains of you. <laughs> These rosary linked every day of the week. These with garnet, deep, beautiful mm. garnet, any day of the week. August birth gemstone, giving you a vibrance. Now this is formed in the Earth's mantle, the same as a diamond. All right. Mm. It's the only other gem that's, that's formed in the same way as a diamond. And it's so really, I think there's some interest in that. And it's nice if you put them with pearls because then the green almost like uh, reflects onto the pearls. Onto the yeah, it? yeah. yeah. You're right, this, is, this mm. looks beautiful with pearls. I'd like to see Peridot pearls and garnet in a real regal piece. Oh, yes. Linda was straight in. So's Veronica, Wendy, Tracy, Russell, Jane. Uh, another Linda, Sally, Jackie. Maker in my shire, two for you. HGG P75, 6 wow. for you. This is a great price, uh, 45 carats of gorgeous Peridot. Don't forget, this is next month's birth gemstone. So August birth gemstone. Uh, loads of you are coming in for it, and we're delighted to have your company. Thank you so much for choosing Jewelry Maker. What a steal of a deal we're getting. It is brand spanking new. Wenda, two for you. Jane has got three. Carolyn, Northamptonshire, Diana. Uh, Suffolk, Tracy in Surrey, you've got yours. Brand new, never seen before, and in rounds. Of course, a popular shape and size. Great with lapis lazuli, actually, and I've got some here. If you want to go a bit Egyptian on us, then these mm. two work very well together, don't they? Yes. Oh, I love that. But also equally great with pink, and I'm going to take that strand of rubelite that we had and put those together. Now they're a bit rhubarby. Oh, yes. Look at those together. If you bought either... And don't forget, it's one PMP. And these two... So have a look at these two together. That's lovely as well, isn't it? I love it. I do. 6 99 Peridot from Brazil. Linda, Claire in London. Conway's got two. Deborah. Carol, you've got yours. Penny is shopping for this. Uh, Linda in East Sussex. Lynn in Ayrshire. Uh, loads of you there. Don't forget to text in. We love hearing from you. It is... Our absolute pleasure this hour because we get to hear from you more. I love your text messages. Can you believe it's July? Can you believe it's going to be August next month? Can we believe we're still not over this pandemic? Oh, yeah. What a couple of years it's been. It's mad, right? It's the madness. Yeah. Now, yes, I do mind you shortening my name. Oh, I'm so sorry, Russell. <laughs> Uh, Genesis, seconds out. Can I see number two, uh, 25 and number four, please? Of course you can. I'm so sorry, Russell. I won't ever do it again. Now, uh, that's number four. We've just played it. So hopefully you're in less of a mood with me. And number 25, if you want anything for you, Russell, with your full name. <laughs> Here we go. 
Yeah, do you know what? Sometimes people call me Jen that don't know me and it makes me feel weird. I'm not sure. About no, you do know me. It's fine. It's when you just meet someone and they're like, come on, Jen. And I'm like, let's get this straight right away. You don't know me. <laughs> Therefore, my name is Jenny to you. Ginevra, we're really getting formal. <laughs> so I get it, Russell. I get it. Oh, actually, that went together with a peridot. That yes. will, won't it? Yeah, in America, do they call peridot peridot? I love that American accent, peridot. I think if I was going to marry an American, they'd have to be a Texan for the accent. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Such a good accent, isn't it? <laughs> Look at white topaz. So this is a representative of November's birth gemstone. And I think these would look lovely on a tiara, wouldn't they? They would. Super sparkly, wouldn't it? Super or sparkly. Or stuck to a veil, even. Sewn into the veil to mm. weigh it down, yes. One day. This is a question regarding the peridot, we think. Um, and it says, can they go into memory wire, please? Um, great show, Jenny. And that's Sally. Mi Sally isn't calling herself Meatloaf. That's her favourite <laughs> album. Yes. And we were just talking about a Rocky Horror Show, weren't we? And, and Meatloaf was in that. All right. He, what, what did he, I mean, he was Eddie in it. Uh, Have you never seen Rocky Horror Show? I haven't, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you need to watch it. Will they go in memory wire? Can you, can you? What did I just do? Oh, nothing important. What do you think, Moni? Uh, I can't get to the hall. Hang on. Moni's finding out for you, Sal. Meatloaf. Is, is Meatloaf like a bat out of hell? Yeah. yeah I like think a bat so. out of hell. I've got a bit of memory white here. I would do anything for love, but I wouldn't do that. Give me oh, a second. not that. What do you think she asked him to do? I had some memory white here. Yeah. Nah, he definitely would have done that. I think it would. You think it would? There you go, Moni's, Moni's saying ya. Yeah. She thinks it would. So there we go. So 7 99 for your white topaz. Uh, now, we've had uh, so many requests for which one? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it now. Certified natural, natural Moroccan amethyst. Now, most of the world's amethyst actually is heat treated. We bring you a lot of heat treated here, but this is 80 points. So working its way towards a whole carrot of beautiful Moroccan amethyst. To have this natural is just ooh la la. To have it certified, I am loving these. We had some of these yesterday, do you remember? And my gosh, I love that colour. This is an eight by six. I put it with gold or rose gold, but it still looks great with silver. Yeah. It does. But I just think, keep the richness. This is sumptuous. There's a regality uh, connected to this colour, yeah, I think. Yeah, definitely, definitely. 9.99 T-O-U, P63 is your item code. 1.7. See, I, mine says 80 points. And that says, oh, and it says 80 points there, so I don't know why that said something different. I'm sorry but that it's in the... It's because we under-promise and over-deliver, apparently. Apparently it's up to, up to that. Will I take it out? I think I should take it out of the packet. I will. Ah, I will, I will, I will. Where's me little... Um... Do you know something? Do you know how annoyed I get when I can't find my gem grabber? I've got one. It's okay. I found my gem grabber. There we go. Now the one that's going around there, you'll see there's a big scratch on that. We've used that because it's our sample. You won't get that one. Now, come on you. My gem grabber is not trying to play with me here. It's gem grabber's faulty. Do you know that? Right, forget that. I'm gonna, it's all right. I've got me gem tweezers. I've got them like, don't worry. Here we go, look at the clarity. This is so beautiful. 
Isn't that gorgeous? And look at the depth. Gorgeous. We're already under 10 pounds. Would it go that way in a ring? Oh, look at the way that the player crows them on. This oh. is outstanding. Oh my gosh, I love this. And you've got to remember this is a natural gem, so you can encase your seed beads around this if you want to. Moroccan amethyst, under five pounds. That is unreal. You've only got that price for half an hour, so now is the time to shop. 30 minutes and we take this price away. Uh, 4.99, I mean, Monica, yeah. that is insane, isn't it? I would definitely get more than one of those and put it in almost like a trilogy ring or something like that, or a ring and a pair of earrings. Mm -hmm. You could take it to a jeweler's and have it set. Yeah. You could rock up, knock on Hayley Kruger's door and say, oh, Hayley, let me in. I've got some beautiful gemstones. Look at that colour. Look at that player cruise and look at the bottom of the gemstone. Look at the pink. Blues and mm. pinks and purples. Mm -mm. Nice. Gorgeous, natural, certified. Totally and utterly certified. Look at that. Uh, I haven't got names, wait there. Let me just... Susan and Brian and Lydia in Pennsylvania. And guess what's made in Pennsylvania? Pencils. Pencils, of course. <laughs> of course. What else would be made there? Martin, you've got yours. Jean in Merseyside. Susan in Leicester takes two. Claire, you've got yours in Greater London Town. Isn't it leggy, the colour? Uh, it's, it's some gemstone, that, isn't it? Beautiful. For four, I, you, honestly, you can't associate the two together, I don't think. Please, can I see? 16, also, 15. I would oh, like... Um, I, I would take a Muse album. Yes, I love a bit of Muse. Mm. Do you like a bit of Muse, Ben? You'd be into Muse. Oh, yeah. Ben likes a bit of Muse. Muse is good to have on the car, right? I like old Muse. Old Muse. Old, yeah. <laughs> yeah? I like old Muse. So we've got some Unicite here, I believe. I know what my mum would take. Anything by... What's that guy she's obsessed with again, Ben? What's his name? No, my mum's obsessed with the guy. No, she's obsessed with... Oh, my gosh, why can't I remember his name? The guy who did the Queen tribute thing. What's his name? Adam Lambert, literally, my mum is obsessed with him. Really? Yeah, an unhealthy <laughs> obsession. This is 199. Unikite for 199. Four millimeter rounds. <laughs> and it's a full proper full length strand as well. It's not a short strand or anything. Good gracious. 38 centimeter strand. We have a few things here that the Unikite would look really nice with. We had the red jasper earlier. Which oh yeah, that would look nice. Oh, that's a nice combination, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. that's wintry as well, isn't yes. it? Yes. Like really autumnal. Nice. It feels a bit autumnal today, everybody, doesn't it? I swear the sun is coming back one day. I think next week the sun is coming back to us. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, which is grand. Because I'm working all week this week. It can rain as much as it likes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on Sunday. Well, I'm here on Sunday when it's Wimbledon final day. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're working with me, though, I think. Yeah. What day, what time? Afternoon? Afternoon, yeah. Yeah, we're together. That's all right, I can always record it. We can have some top <laughs> Wimbledon deals. Fog on the Tyne. Fog on the Tyne! Um, is that... Fog on the Tyne is all mine, all mine. Is that it? What's Lindisfarne? Number 17, please. Yes. Fog on the Tyne is all mine, all mine. No, I know who sang that. Gazza did a remix, didn't he? Pauline, oh, what's number 17? Is that I've you, Monique? Yeah, yes, I've got it. What is it? Oh, a it's power a, shell. A power shell, a baloney shell. It's um, free dive for them in New Zealand. Yeah. Well, Have you ever been to New Zealand? I haven't, no. No. I'd love to mm. go. Yeah. Um, I recently had some of these in, um, in some kits and I did some uh, bezel pendants with it. So oh, wow. If you need some ideas of what to do with them, you can look at my Facebook page. There's a few pictures on there. And the both, sides, both of the sides are really nice. Oh, look at that side. That one's even better. And it's really, um, it's really substantial as well. It's not just a little flat thing. It's super. I wonder if it's drilled. Oh, it is drilled. What is drilled? All the way through or just it, half? No, it's all the way. Oh, hang on. No, I can see right through it. It's drilled all the way through. Brilliant. Uh, you might be able to see it on that end there. Is it hard to go through there with thread, though? Because do you have to find the end? Would you go with wire? 
probably wire or a needle would be easier, but it's mm. not that tiny a hole. If I can see all the way through it, I think you'd be able to get through it with beading, mm. beading wire. Oh as well. yeah, true that. Oh, really nice. Mm. I love that. It's massive. It is. Yes, it's well forty by fifty. That's really good. I'd love to go to New Zealand as well and watch them free dive yes. for it. Imagine just yeah, I would go to Hobbiton. That's the first thing I'd do. Hundred percent. Should we go together then, Ben? Let's go. Uh, and you, Ben, are you coming? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy and Kent, Rebecca in Yorkshire, Trudy has got two, Julie, Christina, Maureen's got two, Sandra, Anne, Essex, Beverly, Tracy, Susan, Sarah, Maker in, uh, on the phones, lots of you actually, Sarah in Greater Manchester, we've got a Sarah in Nottinghamshire, uh, lots of you there. Mm. Oh, it's a great, it's a pocket money prize, isn't it? Yeah. Fill your boots. You've got about 20 minutes until, 20 minutes, sorry, until these prices disappear. So do make sure you are checking out your baskets. These would be really nice just to have sitting on your coffee table, wouldn't they? Definitely, oh, in a bowl, yeah. Yeah. Early, but you can't deny it, yeah. Early Bowie. Can I see number 20, please? Yeah, Early Bowie. 20. and Absolutely, Lisa. Oh, to both. Pretty. Very pretty. Oh, Ooh, nice colour as well. Gorgeous. Oh, is this? Don't just hate it just in case I'm wrong. Is it rose quartz? It is rose quartz. Wow, it's got such a strong colour. It's really strong. It's beautiful. Yeah. Really nice. Sparkly, faceted, four millimetre round. So pretty, isn't that go with the peridot? Um, Somebody's asked yes. to see the peridot. Number four, says Emma in Hertfordshire. You've got the peridot. Oh, have I got it? Yeah. Yeah, of course I have. Of course I have, Gail. Hang on. For join. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look at the sparkle. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's ends. nice, isn't it? Goodness me. Oh, They're I really love nice. those two together. Oh. Makes you think of sort of pink roses, doesn't it? Yes. Gorgeous. Very nice. Four pounds and 99 pence for these rose quartz. And, and rose quartz are very easily recognised gemstone, I think, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. But this one's particularly strong colour. Usually it's a little bit, um, it's not as strong normally, I think. This one's really nice strand, I think. Tracy says, hi girls, I'm getting back into jewellery making and loving the show. I've got the peridot, it's mm -hmm. heavenly. Oh, Tracy, I'm glad you're getting back into jewellery making. Have you had a break? What have you been doing? Other makey things, making cakes? Making cakes, doing a bit of sewing? Or maybe just been working too much? Perhaps that's it. 4 99 is your price and you don't have to message us just because you want to see something you can message us anything you like anything monica did you come here to jewelry maker because you were a viewer or did we come and find you what happened uh what do you mean to as a guest designer yeah um at first i was a viewer yeah because i started watching in 2012 i think yeah and then finally by sort of 2018 i picked up the courage to come to a workshop <laughs> Right. And then it went from there. Who was, whose workshop did you go right, to? I had to be Mark's with these seat beating. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, what, and then Mark said, you should go on the telly. He did kind of, yes. <laughs> was it Mark Smith that put you yeah. into the position? Yeah. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? Now, another message saying, and this is from Mandy, who's a JM addict. Anything by the monkeys. Yes! Here we go. <laughs> Walking down the street. Weren't they one of the first manufactured bands, the monkeys? But they were great. We're here with the monkeys. You can't. They were great, weren't they? Like feel good songs. What else did yeah. they sing? Trace says, been busy working at the NHS. Yes, Tracy! Aww. Now gearing down and getting uh, life back. Thank you so much, Tracy. Yeah. Well done, Tracy. Everyone in my ears going, well done, Tracy. Well done, Tracy. It's not an easy job, no. I'll tell you that. Got my second vaccine last Saturday. Well, Did you? Saturday, this past Did Saturday. Mm. Fair so I'm very pleased with that. I've got to go and get mine. 4 99 RGG, poor P45. Number six, I think that's me, isn't it? Satellite bees. What is this, Rutal Quartz? Phantom, green phantom quartz. There's a lot, of, yeah, there's rutilations in here. Yeah, it's just, it, yeah, it's heavily coloured by the rutilations, yeah. 
These are dramatic. They're a stormy mood, these. Tempestuous, yeah. Ooh. What a great word. Tempestuous. That's your favourite word? I don't know what my favourite word is. B-O-G-P-25. Well, see, now this is perfect with the peridot. Look at the spaces there. Definitely. Yeah. They look good with the green, don't mm. they? These are lovely. Do you know, I think these could be masculine as well. And I love the sparkle on them. £9.99, BOG, P25 is your item code. Um, eight by 10 millimetres, they're on a 38 centimetre strand. Uh, and remember, these satellites do fly out because they make such a great uh, 1920s piece. Uh, number 12, and that was from Emma. A follow-up message to something else as well at RM. Go on then, what's it say? We're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. It's a big box. Tap it. Oh, you got it mixed up. Here we go. <laughs> bead box. This is such great value, a bead box. And I love the spikes. Have oh. you had any of these bead boxes? These are um, Czechoslovakian glass, money. Yeah, they, they always have some interesting beads in that you've never seen before, like those, mm -hmm. those the spikes that you were looking at. And the other sort of the frosted pink are those rounds. These ones, yeah. frosted pink rounds, then you've got some faceted rounds, you've got some little twists. Uh, so these look like campellos. Oh. Is that what they're called? Remember the sweets? You know what I mean? I love a bead box I do, and this is in pink. These are great for kids as well. It's a f uh, and they're preciosa. Oh, uh, Kaylee says, I'm showing my age, but I absolutely love a bit of M&M. &M. Um, who doesn't, Kaylee? Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> that is... They're saying you're showing off your age. <laughs> but no, who doesn't love a bit of M&M? &M? You've got to lose yourself in the moment after all. <laughs> I think I'm funny. Uh, 8 99 Mom's spaghetti. Um, can I add radio headset? Yes, you can, Lisa, in Bedfordshire. Um, OK computer album. I love Paranoid Android. Yeah, absolutely you can. That's going in. It's going it's in. Time. Yeah, you were a bit late there for Lisa in Bedfordshire. <laughs> she's in Bedfordshire and she's listening to Radiohead. Absolutely, you can. JM Studio, uh, Missed Things by uh, Michael Jackson. Beat it, yes. Oh, yes. Earth song, Ben, the two of us need to look no more. I'm a Bowie fan too, and that was Bev. Yes, Bev, we'll come around. What's your favourite MJ song? Hmm. Mind You Rock My World. Is it? Uh, and, the, yeah, the way you're making me feel. No, mine's Thriller. Thriller, yeah. 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 That's the best. The Rock My the World video. is brilliant. The best video, I think, is Thriller as well. Thriller's the best mm. video, yeah. You like Billie Jean? Billie Jean mm. is good. Yeah. The, I don't like the, the Dirty Diana one. That's the only song of Michael Jackson's I cannot bear. Mm. I literally can't bear it. And I think it's something to do with a computer game that I played. I don't know why. Mm. 899, VBO, A59. Beatbox, here we go. <laughs> It's hard to know your exact favourite MJ. I mean, yeah. when you hear... Do you know, I was so, ups I was so upset when he died, partly because he died, but also because it's the first time I managed to get tickets to a concert. <gasps> and, I, and I was on it for like a week and I got tickets in like the third row. Oh, oh. Heartbroken for you. <laughs> Heartbroken. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take you... What, this is lavender amethyst. I thought it was kunzite. A very kunzite strand going under ten pounds. <sighs> We're all having a little song, a, a little song there. Now, a little bit of an MJ moment. Now, I think this looks just like Kunzite. It is the most Kunzite amethyst I've ever seen. Mm. Have a look. I mean, now I see it's amethyst, but it does look very Kunzite, doesn't it? Oh. Lavender, amethyst, faceted rectangles. You've, you've already checked out a lot of you um, at the price that's on your screen. Let me just put this next to my Burmese jade. I don't know, I like to show oh, it yeah. off. It's like saying, pass me the keys of my Bentley, isn't it? I know I'm being annoying by doing that. I can't <laughs> help it. But it does go very, very well with my Bentley, doesn't it, over there? 
I ain't got no Bentley. 9.99 is not your price because this is a star buy. I think this in a necklace with some rounds, interspersed, yes. spaced out, kind of rosary. Gorgeous strand. Oof, 4.90 tiny nine. Back of the neck. This strand is coming home to you. Do you like what I did there? I uh, like <laughs> 75 carats. Oh, it's such a beautiful soft colour. Beautiful. Do you know what I think it might look nice with? Um, complete contrast, this amethyst with the sort of the, the matte purple lava rock rounds. I, that I we agree had. with you. Because that, that would be so different, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. And with the peridot, it would look lovely. That's wisteria, then, yes, isn't it? That definitely is. Lots of you coming through. Linda, Karen, Maker in West Midlands. Phyllis takes three. Leslie, Anne. Maker, Maker, Maker on the phone. Shaker, Maker. Uh, Pete in Norfolk. Kerry in Lancashire. You've got yours. Four pounds and 99 pence. JVP091 is your item. We have everything under 10 pounds in this hour. This is under five. It's remarkable. So many of you there. So many of you lapping up this price. Look with um, rose quartz. How gorgeous is that? Mm -hmm. These are lovely little pips. These are. They are number 11, if you would like them, on uh, the website. They're number 11. Uh, Penny and Rhonda joins us. Kerry takes two. Diane, you've got yours. Julian Wirral. Now we're going to go straight to our next star buy. And it's the Appetite. <laughs> Sorry, my hair gets everywhere. You know. If you've got long hair, it gets everywhere, doesn't it? Now, I've got for you a really deep, lovely colour. Oceanic. Deep, deep blues. Santorini seas. Oh, I think yes. these look lovely in rings. Look at that colour. Oh, yes. Like you did the memory wiring earlier. Just yes, like, like that. Yeah. Stretchy ring, memory wiring. I'm going to Barbados next year. We just booked it. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the seas will be this colour. Yes. Anyone been? No. You been to Barbados? Mm -mm. I've never been either. Oh. Well, you can tell me about it after. I'll tell you. <laughs> You'll see it on Facebook. <laughs> Are you ready to shop for Neon Appetite? Now, you've already been checking out this price. I think with gold. I think there's something kind of Egyptian about it with gold. There I love is. my bold colours together with gold. Well, because it's a turquoise colour, mm. isn't it? You're mm. right. Yes. NHP 005 is your item code. Now, this is your star by Neon Appetite Rectangles, eight by 10 millimeters, brand new today, spread across a 20 centimeter strand. Love it like this as a stacker bracelet. I think it would look amazing around an ankle as well. But of course, that's not your price. You knew we were gonna take it down. You already checked out at this price, but everybody pays the same low price no matter what time you checked it out. 6.99 and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 on my strand. You should have there or thereabouts now. I know this shouldn't make a difference, but it does to me. It's on one of those bougie tassels, <laughs> which has got the jump ring through the top. Yeah. Do you get really excited <laughs> when you... Well, I don't know why it, I get excited by that. It's such a small, silly thing. It is, yeah. But I love it. But I get excited with all the tassels. Yeah. Get, oh, this tassel's got... The stride's got... Yeah, but these <laughs> tassels are the best ones. It's like when you find the little blue bag of salt in a shaker, oh, it's shaker like, packet it's of like crisps. The, it's like the pink bubble wrap. Have you had any of the pink bubble yes, wrap? Yes, I have. Yeah. Pink bubble wrap is it's, great. It's a big, big thing on Facebook at the moment. Everybody's, why? Everybody's raving about the pink bubble wrap. Are they? Yeah, we've got it. Yeah, pink bubble wrap. I love it. Valerie in Blano, you've got yours. Mary in the Shire. Catherine in Staffordshire's got two. Phyllis, you've got yours. Deborah Kath in Greater Manchester. Julian, we're all Eunice. Louise, Lynn. Uh, I have got Beverly, Sue, Julianne in Bedfordshire. This time. Shani, you've got yours. Russell in Bedfordshire. Yeah, this time. Two for you, two for Russell. Linda, Penny has got two. Kerry's got two. Jane, you've got yours. Tracy's got two. Carol, Karen. Uh, Sandra, Lynn, Lillian in Hertfordshire, I love that name, Jill, Maureen, Rachel, Sonia, Pat, Pete, Hajra, Tracy, Anne, Candice, Deb, Anne, Jennifer, Trisha. These are going to sell out. Susan, Jennifer, Su another Susan, Chris and Jeannie. I have got uh, Linda, I have got Maureen in Cumbria with three. Yorkshire, you've got yours. Northamptonshire, Carol, you've got yours. 
Goodness me, we're busy for these six pounds and 99 pence. This is a star buy, 10 minutes, and this price will disappear. You're coming through on the phone lines and multi-buying. Uh, I've got loads of you coming through the phone lines, actually. Maker in Gloucestershire joins us. Stephanie in Berkshire joins us on the website. Oh gosh, Penny and Rhonda, you're there too, darling. Penny, you've been shopping today, haven't you? It's nice to have a little shop, especially when it's raining outside and you don't actually have to leave your house. An HP 005, 50 carats of multicoloured neon appetite, these faceted uh, rounded rectangles, which is a great description, mm. are going to be just perfect. Number 29, we've had a few requests. Ah, man made gemstone. That is a glower. It's a glower of a strand. It's a glower. It's a glower. This one is going to be on and gone. Three ninety nine. Those have sold out. Sorry. Seven is next, and I've got for you some more lanterns. Are we calling them lanterns, or are we calling them satellites? And this is lava kite, so black labradorite. A thundery mood mm. of. Labradorite. You get labradorescence in this. I, I think these could be very masculine and I think they could be definitely, wish bracelets too. Definitely, yeah. 999. Uh, and I think they make great cufflinks. Yes. Great cufflinks for the chaps. Not that we can't wear cufflinks, but not many of our shirts come with the. the mm. I suppose you could just snip off the button, couldn't you? No, no, it doesn't work like that, mm. Jenny. No, because you need two buttonholes for it. Yeah, indeed. Do you know how hard it is to do button um, holes on the sewing machine? It's like yeah, when you, the you least favourite thing to do. You need a buttonhole machine, really. Yeah. <laughs> well, you get a little thing that you put on the foot of yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Can you sew? Yeah. yeah. I used to be a tailor. Of course you did, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mommy. I know what she's talking about. You could go on our sister channel. Why don't you? Mm, no, I'd rather make jewellery, to be honest. <laughs> One of my favourite words is susurration. It means the sound that silk makes when you swoosh part. Yes, it is. Ooh. A susurration of silk. That's a such susurration. a perfect word for that sound, isn't it? <sighs> yes, it is. <laughs> susurration. Hmm. It's a lovely descriptive word, mm. isn't it? We don't wear enough silk, do we, in this life? It's hard mm. to wear. It rains, it's damaged. Yeah. My son's got a pair of shoes that he can't wear if it's going to rain. No. And he literally will run home in them. Because and I'm like, you're right. Yeah, it's going to rain out to change my shoes. Oh, no. It's that, <laughs> like, for God's sake, Max. TGP85. Number nine is next. And, oh, that's that lapis lazuli that I was telling you about. Seven miniatos until these deals disappear. So here we go, lapis lazuli. This is natural, and look at the colour of it. Wow. Eighty percent of our, uh, I'm going. That's my guess is that eighty percent mm. of our um, lapis lazuli that we give you here at Jewelry Maker mm. is actually dyed. So to have it natural and to have the saturation of colour so strong, wow. so pure, that's some of the world's best lapis lazuli. Mm. This would be lapped up by, the, you know, the likes of Von Cleef himself or herself. I don't actually know if Von Cleef is. Von Cleef is a brand, so a non-binary. OBG P81 is your item code. 7.99 is your price. Look at that. And you were just saying how good this would look with the appetite. The new Oh yes. yes. Do you know I want? Look at that. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That is a bit sexy together, isn't it? Oh, jewelry makers. Isn't this just a wonderful strand? 20 carats of lapis lazuli. Uh, these items will disappear right at the top of the hour as soon as it hits five o'clock, just like Cinderella. <laughs> these prices will disappear. They have to go back to their homes. They won't be leaving no slippers. Emma says, used to like Missy Elliott. Work it, let me work it. Put your thing down. <laughs> I love Missy Elliott. Love a little bit of Led Zeppelin. Yes, Liz. We're loving all of this tonight. Um, yes, Ben, you want to say something? Oh, I was no. like, ooh, oh, ooh, I'm ooh. Joking. It's... Go on. No, it's, it's, it's silly. I don't care if it's silly. Our, our drummer plays drums for Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. Your it's... drummer plays Led Zeppelin's drums? Well, Robert Plant. Uh, Robert Plant. But it's a joke because I talk about it a lot. Because you talk about it a lot? Yeah. Does he? Mm. Wow. What's Robert Plant like? He's, he's nice. 
Very nice. Very Have you met him? Yeah, I filmed for him. You filmed for him? Yeah. Oh, Ben, look, he's rubbing the shoulders <laughs> with all sorts. Look, look at him. Look at Ben. He looks like an ordinary guy. <laughs> so By how... day, he's here at Jewelry Maker. By night, how he's many, a whole different man. How many man. degrees of separation is that, Ben? Yeah, I know. It's like <laughs> three degrees. <laughs> Not that many. <laughs> 7.99 OBG P81. Still get the Neon Appetite. There's only a few available. The details are coming back up on your screen if you want to add it to your order. Now, um, all of these deals are going to disappear. You can go and have a look at all of the things that we've got uh, lined up for that, that we had lined up for you today from Al's show. Uh, and of course, don't forget you can shop on the website 24/7. Please go across and uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, Lucy is making an appearance tomorrow mm -hmm. with Carol. Rude, she didn't stay for my show. I've already sent her a very abusive message, but not like that. Like, I've been like, oh, why aren't you staying? She can't. I've taken offence to it, Lucy. <laughs> I haven't really. I will be uh, giving her a good old squeeze. K2 Jasper, in a seed bead, definitely. Oh. VWGP29 is your item code. K2 Jasper Fasted Rondelles. Are they rondelles, are they? Oh, yeah. See, that's also a really nice contrast with the lapis rondelles. Mm. Yes, it is. Oh, very nice. Oh, money. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> gorgeous. LJ, who have we got tomorrow? Beth. Oh, yes, it's it's Beth, it's gorgeous Beth tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So Lucy is up in the morning with Carol. Beth and I um, are going to be taking over the afternoon for you. And we've got a crystal healing hour. Oh, nice. Which if you hate that, I'll tell you ahead now. We've got a crystal healing hour tomorrow. <laughs> uh, if you love it. Ben wants to give you a wave. Give everyone a wave then, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Rubbing shoulders with the uh, stars. You saw it here first. Ben would like to give you a kiss goodbye. No, he's not <laughs> no, doing no, that. That was for Ben. Oh, that was for Ben. Okay. Stop kissing down the camera at people. No. Uh, we'd love to say a, a huge thank you to the gorgeous Moni, who is back with us on Sunday afternoon. Yes, with what you. What you got? What you got for us? Um, under ten pound kits. Under ten pound kits. <laughs> She's a rascal of a Don't woman. Don't know if I was supposed to tell you that. Ah, well, it's said now. <laughs> Let cats out of bags. That's what I say. <laughs> I can't wait to see you tomorrow afternoon. Carol will be waking you up with a great big fat smile on your face at 8 o'clock. See you tomorrow. Mwah. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Roll up, roll up. Coming this Friday on Jewel Maker, the greatest event in Jewel Maker history. Discounts and gains, oh, all the biggest, most thrilling fairground rides, giveaways, and prizes! Ah! Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a Jewel Maker show this Friday, the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> Hi! Oh, no, no. <sighs> How are you? Busy. Very busy, which is nice to have an events company that's busy coming out the other side of a pandemic. Just, th mm. just thinking about, well, mm. you might, what I don't was that? Know. No, you might be, you might not be. Just well. thinking, next Wednesday, what are you up to? Next Wednesday. 
Let me look at the calendar. Oh, I'm very grown up these days. I have to have a calendar Go to on, keep what track. Are you doing? What, are you doing? what am I doing? Meet and going off I coffee? Reckon, no. I reckon. For what? Can you come in to work, to jewellery maker? What, for a cup of tea? To do the show with me. <laughs> Should we eat some cake? Oh my God, we'll have to eat cake. I can't eat any more cake, but yeah, we'll eat cake. We'll Should eat we do cake. it? Next Wednesday? Well, will I be allowed? Yes! Yes! Should we do it? On Wednesday? Wednesday. You're on? Let's do it. Ah! on. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Roll up, roll up. Coming this Friday on Jewelry Maker, the greatest event in Jewelry Maker history. Discounts and gains. Oh, all the biggest, most thrilling fairground rides. Giveaways and prizes. Vegas has got nothing on us. There's no show like a joy maker show this Friday, the night. Who's going to clean this up? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source so your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Very busy, which is nice to have an events company that's busy coming out the other side of a pandemic. Just, th mm, just thinking about, well, mm, you might, what I don't, that? Know, you might be, you might not be. Just well, thinking, next Wednesday, what are you up to? Next Wednesday. Let me look at the calendar. The Oracle. Oh, I'm very grown up these days. I have to have a calendar Go to on, keep what track. Are what, are what am I doing? Meet and going off I coffee? Reckon, no, I reckon. For what? Can you come in to work, to jewellery maker? What, for a cup of tea? To do the show with me. <laughs> Should we eat some cake? Oh my God, we'll have to eat cake. I can't eat any more cake, but yeah, we'll eat cake. We'll Should eat we cake. do it? Next Wednesday? Well, will I be allowed? Yes! Yes! Should we do it? On Wednesday? Wednesday. You're on? 
Let's do it. Ah! We're on. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Your first JM crew member is in the hot seat. I'll let her get mic'd up on everything as well. Um, but before we get, we are still bringing the kits. And uh, listen, I'm just going to put this out there, no disrespect by the way, that don't expect Alison Tarry jewellery because we are nowhere near, we're not away, we're nowhere near as good as Alison. Is it all, we do all agree with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you're still going to be getting some lovely, lovely, happy faces on your screen. Now, just before um, we go across to our guest, our special guest, I'm going to talk to you about all things Angelite because this is a gemstone that is super, super popular amongst our jewelry maker viewers. Um, it's a sentimental gemstone as well. And I think that that's ultimately what jewelry is about, isn't it? I mean, it conjures up wonderful memories, whether you're wearing it, whether you're gifting it, um, the recipients, how they feel emotionally when they receive jewelry or how you feel most most importantly when you're actually creating it as well. Angelite is actually a relatively new gemstone to the, uh, to the uh, gemstone world. It was discovered in Peru um, in 1987, and as the name suggests, it's got lots of connotations to the heavens above. Uh, many people actually believe that it helps us communicate with people that are no longer actually with us, uh, <clears throat> so lost loved ones in particular, uh, and it just, it just really conjures up wonderful emotions, and I think that's why it's always incredibly popular here at Jewelry Maker, and actually uh, sort of in the, in the broader JM, uh, broad, broader jewelry market for sure. This strand, I can tell you, again, let me just jog my, Oh, goodness me, it is going to sell out. We've got 111 of these. Um, <clears throat> Angel Eye, again, I don't think I, I'd, I think we'd struggle to actually put together a showcase of Angel Eye because we don't have a huge amount of it. It's totally and utterly natural. And it's a gemstone that I know um, our founder's wife, Sarah Bennett, is particularly fond of. Um, you, I've seen it in some of her collections. I've certainly seen it in the Gemporia Partnership Jewelry Maker collection also. Um, because it has this really beautiful opaque blue and, and also an ability to glow. It kind of captures onto light and it fluoresces under UV light, but it will actually glow from the inside out. It's like each and every single angelite gemstone has their own little aura about them. Now, because I know that this is gonna be an on-screen sellout, I'm gonna show you the strand and then we're gonna get that 60 second clock rocking. Um, it, it, for sure gonna be a sellout. It always is, it always, always is. It's such a beautiful, beautiful gemstone. And, I, and emotionally, I always get quite emotional when I'm actually talking about uh, angelite as a gemstone because like I said it's got lots of sentiments around it even without the name itself it kind of lots of people actually reference uh, so that heavenly like blue uh, and it is completely and utterly natural now these are coming your way in your 10 millimeter rounds you've got 300 carats beautiful consistency of angel like blue throughout the entirety of the actual strand again you're knotting um, you can use it across pretty much every single medium because it's a classic round isn't it look at that lovely opacity can you also see the flex of light can you see how they that there's a they call it an internal play of light within each of the gemstones in 25 seconds we're going to introduce the graphics um and that 111 quantity and liam has i've just heard in my ear liam said l this is i think this is the only strand of angel like rounds that i could actually get hold of um we have it in different shapes but if you're looking for rounds it's the only ones that he could actually include um, in the schedule five seconds and it's gonna it's gonna erupt on the phone lines and on the web I know that for sure because there's certain gemstones that always actually produce that kind of reaction and angelite is one of them totally natural with little flecks of beautiful snow white
point, um, sort of patterns inside, and that's what we refer to with their internal play of life. It's got a softness, a tranquility, a, a sentiment behind this natural, genuine gemstone. And yet, believe it or not, it's so new to the gemstone world. 1987, in comparison to, you know, for example, sapphires being adorned and, and, and included in jewellery since the 1800s, angelite is actually within sort of our, our generation. Already, I can see com uh, confirmations being made. Now, this is going so, so, so low. If you wanted to make an entire angelite marla necklace, um, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to sort of multi-buy on this opportunity, then we are pricing it accordingly. Um, it's natural, yeah, absolutely. It's a completely and utterly natural gemstone. Um, the fact that you know whether you believe in crystal healing or not, um, I, I think most of us will agree that jewelry. Let's just, just talk jewelry generally. Um, <clears throat> has got a lot of sentiment behind it. You know, uh, certainly when I look at sapphire, for example, I think about my mum. When I look at um, when I look at gemstones like uh, aquamarine, I think about my sister. I mean, there's lots of gemstones that actually sort of conjure up um, emotions and feelings, and this is definitely one of those. Graphics Alive, tons and tons and tons of you there. Are you ready? There's just over 100 of these available. And Liam says, I'm going to make this extra affordable. For natural angelite. Natural angelite in 10 millimeter rounds. We're not even stopping there. We're not even going to stop there. Are you ready? This is your star buy, and this is why Liam says it's absolutely going to be an on-screen sellout. Congratulations to those of you that have already, already made your confirmations. Twelve ninety-nine. A simple stretchy is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Think about all the gems that it's going to it's going to complement as well. It work it work heavenly alongside um, uh, your serpentine that you saw um, a few moments ago. Go amazing alongside your pearls. I mean, I showed it against the, that lovely bundle of your shell pearl earlier on. If you want to multi buy, here's your opportunity. It's included in lots of very designer collections, not necessarily a mainstream gemstone, and that's purely because of the rarity of it. Um, it's very difficult to get hold of angelite. There's only a couple of places that actually uh, uh, sort of unearth this gemstone on the planet. Very, very, very limited, especially of this amazing quality. $12.99. Loads of you need to check out your baskets. That is your star by price tag. These are huge, huge individual natural stones. I find angelite very calming. I agree, Sue. It, it has this, just certain gemstones, I think Jade does the same. Certain gemstones have this, and Kunzite. It, it just it changes if you like how your uh, um if I'm talking to you on air, for example, you'll see immediately a change in how I actually uh, talk. Do you, find, do, you, do you agree with that? Um, yes, it has this sort of ability to sort of calm the senses. It's very peaceful gemstone. We talk about tranquility, as I said, and sentiment. $12.99 only. Hello, Marion. Hi, Sandra. Hello to you, Rubwanti, Gillian, Susan, Anita. Keep those messages coming through, by the way. Um, so... Jackie has asked for a 15 mil round mount for the turquoise. Um, we don't have them in stock at the moment, but watch this space. There we go, Jackie. I can't tell you exactly when they are, but watch this space. They are definitely coming in. I think it's the perfect time to introduce our special guest, don't you? And she is a special guest. You know, what you don't know about this wonderful lady, she's normally behind the scenes, is that she keeps us running smoothly. Without this lovely lady, I would be, it would be chaos. Yeah, complete and utter chaos. It's our lovely Lucy, everybody. Good morning. Good Lucy. morning. Yay. Yay. How you are, are the all? first victim. <laughs> I, think, I think I was a bit too keen to volunteer, though. No. I practically ran on set and was like, oh, I've just found the microphone. It's ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to have you on it. It's nice to be here. Because, Lucy, you were saying, you made jewellery. I have made one piece of jewellery. Okay, okay. In Do you want to time. show us your piece of yes. jewellery? So, if I remember... Oh, she knows where the cameras are and everything. Oh, what about the cameras? She knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so... This is a stretchy that I made out of a bundle that Tom Neary put together. Uh huh. Which, when I told him the other day, I was like, what are you talking about? Um, so I made one for me, one for my mum, one for both my sisters. My older sister doesn't have hers yet, so, Han, if you're watching, then sorry, that's a bit of a spoiler. Uh, uh. It's on its way to London <laughs> to you. But yeah, so we've all got the same, and I did all different like configuration so they're all a bit different love it yeah absolutely do you know what straight away though lucy you're talking about the sentiment of jewelry aren't yeah. you 
the scent and I really I'm a firm believer of that especially when we're talking about angel light on our screens right now it's sentimental jewelry it's oh definitely yeah I wear quite a lot of like simple jewelry but most of the pieces that I wear have got some kind of meaning whether they begin for a birthday yeah. or you've bought them in a like in a specific place so I think like you say especially stones like angel like they are really sentimental yeah um, but lovely no really yes. lovely now you're going to make some jewelry aren't you I'm going to try you're going she's going to she's going to give it give it a go jewelry makers I keep saying no disrespect to, respect to our Lucy <laughs> um don't expect Alice and Harry makes okay don't expect but you're going to be working with some of the kits yes so should we show the kits um and you can choose you can choose which one you want to work with. So I like the look of the amethyst and the citrine there because that citrine is really just... Delicious. Yeah. Delicious, delicious. Yeah, yeah let's do really that now lovely. then. That's it. Um, I can see why you went for this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. You've got, you've got the gold of your citrine that always works perfectly with your, um, with your amethyst. Now, we do have Alison's makes that we can actually show you on photographs. She can't sadly be with us this morning. She's perfectly fine, so no, no, nobody worry, but unfortunately, she can't be here in the studio. Something's popped up. Um, anyway, but we're still going to do her kits, and we're going to literally grab JMT members to join me on the show. Um, so I don't bore you. Georgia, you're coming on here, lovely. Okay, you're coming on here. So what you're getting with your uh, your, your kits, you firstly, your rose gold coloured copper wire in your 0.6. Then, this is exciting, you've got your copper flat wire. Now, I'm no metalsmith, Fine. but I know that you can do things like all uh, your, your um, oh, what do you call it? What do you call it? All your soldering and all those kind of things um, with, with, with copper. And this is actually the, uh, your, your copper wire flat. So you can almost create bezels with these as well. Um, in terms of thicknesses and length, it's two millimeters and you get 50 centimeters on a 0.8. So flat wire, perfect for sort of wrapping and maybe like a halo around your gemstones. Um, the combination of beautiful gemstones that you're getting in this kit, so this is Lucy's choice, um, is your beautiful amethyst. Amethyst you're getting in your eight mil rounds, so really rich gorgeous colour isn't it are you a fan of amethyst yes it's my little sister's birthstone 